you get with cardio when you watch a cardio hour look three phenomenal demonstrations and inspirations love that wendy thank you so much very welcome i've missed working with you so much i've enjoyed it and happy birthday as well thank you 18 years yeah. you have a lot more 18 years. 18 to go yeah, another one well, <laughs> a lot more a lot more you know, you really, everything, you deserve the success because the attention to detail, everything you bring, and you're so good in sharing your inspirations as well. Oh, thank Genuinely, you. As, as a presenter, whenever I work with you, I find I just become a viewer. So I love watching and learning from you. Genuinely thank well you. done. Thanks thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed the hour as well. Uh, do have a look at Facebook. So Crafting with Cardio, uh, check that out and uh, join the group, share your inspirations. I hope you've enjoyed everything on the show. With regard to the one day special, it's sold out in one one hour and now I can tell you that a third of the extended delivery has gone uh, in this hour which is just ridiculous but uh, it's worth it you're getting such a lovely lovely collection of stamps so thank you so much for joining us now Wendy will be returning so we've got a few uh, repeat shows throughout the night and then Wendy will be back live at 8 12 and 4 tomorrow so I really hope you can join her you see all the beautiful inspirations that she's going to be showing Wendy thank you thank, thank you. you and thank you don't go anywhere because we've got another cracking hour coming up with the lovely Lou hi this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 the craft store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. Hello, a very good morning to you. Oh, it's wonderful to have your company this morning on the craft store. Now, what is it all about? We're in for a lesson. We've got Paula with us this morning. If you want to know anything about your inks, this is the lady 
to yeah. us. So if you've got questions, please do email in studio at thecrustor.com. And it's all about Sukiniko, isn't it? Yeah. That is the brand that we're looking at. It is. At. And it's a Japanese brand. And I'm so, I have been a fan of Sukiniko for years and years and years. And it's a brand that has got an amazing heritage. It started in 1952, I think. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it started with uh, inks for calligraphy, Japanese calligraphy and so on. I see. And then in 90, and then it did, of course, inks for uh, ink pads and stamps. And then finally in 1982, I believe that's the correct date, I started to, it was the first in the world to make pigment ink pads. And therefore, it, they are revolutionary in the sense of grabbing, um, you know, like kind of concepts from the art world, like pigments, yeah. uh, and then creating formulas that will work perfectly for ink pads. Now, because it is quite confusing, all the dye base and, uh, and pigment base and water base and alcohol base and all this, I like to do every single time a little bit kind of go down what it means everything. Wonderful. Well, we'll start with the very first bundle. Now, this is a fantastic bundle to go for. And if you've never seen these shows before, you're probably looking at that and thinking, well, they all look black. Why do I need five different ink pads that are all black? Well, you do, don't you, Paula? Because there's yes. different surfaces, there's different different um, ways of working, you know, if you want to emboss Absolutely. or anything like uh, that. Right, so here you are getting five of them. That's why it appears to be brand new today, because this is a new bundle in terms of, you know, you are getting five of them. Now, of course, you are getting uh, Versa Fine, okay. you are getting Brilliance, you are getting Versa Magic, you are getting Memento, and you are getting a Stazon. The only one that you don't get in here from the board is Versa Craft, which is the fabric one. But we do have a pick and mix, which all the colors, so that would be perfect for you if you are looking for that one. We have got in here basically what I think is the essential ones. Now, you, if you are a stamper, you want to color in, right? So you want to color in with maybe alcohol markers. Therefore, you have got the memento there for them. Yeah. And I will explain why is the right one. If you want to color in with watercolors, well, you have got Versa Fine, but also you have got a Stazon. And there is a clear difference. One is a pigment oil base okay. and the other one is a solvent dye base Got so you. there of course they will have different uh, different properties also stays on as the name indicates stays on uh, non-porous surfaces so such a you know like kind of glass metal uh, you know acetate perspex you know resin yeah yeah, so, and polymer clay. And polymer, polymer clay, clay as yeah. well. And the other one that works on polymer clay as well very well is, of course, Brilliance, which Fantastic. is one of those unsung heroes, uh, both Brilliance and Versa Magic, because Brilliance will dry on wood, it will dry on polymer clay, on vellum, and so many more of those elements. And then Versa Magic is a more of a softer pigment base, and you can, it's, both are brilliant if you want to use them for, brill, uh, for uh, stencils. So we have got there, you can see the Versa Fine, we've got the Versa Magic, we've got the Brilliance, we've got the Memento, and we've got the Stays On as well. Now I have got some samples here. Now it might be a little bit di difficult to think, well, what's the difference between these? Because we're looking at the inks, but just to show the different surfaces again exactly. here, Paula. So b b this is, of course, Brilliance on Vellum. And that you can see, really well, and it dries naturally. You don't have to heat set it. You don't Fantastic. have to use embossing powder. It takes about, depending on room conditions of humidity and heat, about, I would say, about between 10 minutes and half an hour. Amazing. And then this one has been stamped with Versa Magic. And Versa Magic oh, has lovely. this chalk finish. Uh, it's a very matte black as well. And I love it when you want to get kind of color in as well with, uh, the, here I just use water, so kind of it draws a little bit. Can you see the gray? Ah. So that was just using water so to drag it in. That's, so it's just the ink there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, yeah. That is really good actually. And you can see how matte that is. You can see there's no sheen to it. I'm giving it a bit of a wiggle because normally when we've got something with a shine, the lights will catch it and you can see it is very matte. A really good look. Yeah. Again, Versa Magic on this In one, this, Paola. Uh, and one of the things with Versa Magic is that if you heat set, it becomes permanent. However, while it's wet or while it's, if you don't heat set it, you can drag it a little bit. Brilliant. And then we've got a couple of samples using the Memento. That's 
colored with alcohol markers to show that for me that my go-to ink uh, for alcohol markers coloring it would be with a memento perfect you can see that has not made the ink bleed at all the same with this one as well item number is four zero zero seven nine four only ten ninety nine you are getting five inks there that is a fantastic deal I've got to say I yeah. didn't realize the price was quite know, as low right? as that until I just saw it that is a really, really good bundle to go for. Now, we have got lots more as well, so you might want to be filling those baskets up. Moving along, we've got three ink pads here, slightly bigger ink pads. But the fact that we've got three completely different inks again, Paula, is a fantastic a, deal, isn't it? I mean, it? I would say one thing. If, if you are somebody who know what you want and you want a Versafan Claire and his own, excuse me, and brilliance this of course is the perfect pad because you are getting the larger pad I will say one thing as well that don't think that I like I use both the smaller pads and the bigger pads yeah. they're not exclusive because the smaller pads kind of go through a whole area but however the bigger pads especially the versa fine Claire you know I can dab it on larger stamps and it's quicker yeah here of course you are guessing versa fine Claire the previous ones was versa fine the original there is a tiny little reformulation that they did for Claire and also the pad itself is a little bit different in okay. the sense that it's less um, fabric, it's more felt, it's more dense. Got but, you. but also the ink itself, some people feel the difference. So some people like, um, um, for, I think it's uh, Janet Prank, for instance, yeah. prefers one. I think she prefers Versafine Original. While most of us prefer, um, well, we, we just reach either one, the Versafine Claire, because you get the finest detail with a pigment ink. Do you know, I was just going to say, watching the guests and being a presenter and, you know, watching the guests when they're my guests shows I would say when it comes to actual stamping versus fine Claire is the one that I have mentioned and seen used the very very yeah. most I mean it, I would I would go as far as saying that there is no a professional as uh, uh, you know professional uh, stamper that doesn't have or tried versa fan claire the the lot because the amount of detail that you are getting and of course it's oil based yeah uh so it it is not a slow it's it's a kind of i would say a fast drying a slow ink okay because so you can emboss onto you it. can emboss yeah. exactly so it, it's not one that you have to wait forever to dry it doesn't uh, you know but uh, still you have got that time for embossing and the other thing i love is that is the detail that you achieve with that is just beautiful and it's opaque because it's pigment it certainly is I do have some more samples to show you in a second but let's talk a little bit about the brilliance I think you referred to this one as the unsung hero it, well the brilliance I think is one of those ones that if you like to use it onto wood onto polymer clay or onto especially vellum if I am just stamping onto vellum I would definitely grab the brilliance because it was actually one of the reasons was formulated for parchment and vellum so if you're a groovy fan and you like the oldest stamps go for that one every single time we've got a vellum card here actually or the front of the card is vellum and you can see the effects on this will come in nice and close if we can there yeah. we are. Look at that. And, and you can see perfect. that here on vellum dries kind of, it has got a, like a nice matte finish in here. Look at that. Now this one, Paula. That's a stays on. Is it? Yeah, that is a stays on. Which stay we also have in this bundle. Doesn't exactly. That work well, so on to, this is Duralar, which is a type of acetate, sort of or, or equivalent of acetate. So of course, then this is why this bundle is so essential because you cannot stamp onto acetate and get that beautiful finish. You don't have to heat set; it will dry within 10 minutes, and of course, you will have that beautiful blagging. I wouldn't be without the stays on. A stays on and Versa Fine Claire are my go-to. And Versa uh, stays on. Look at that. And to glass, metal, polymer clay, leather, wood, um, vellum parchment as well, uh, string Brilliant. plastic, and acetate. I would say though, the difference between the stays on and brilliance on acid on parchment is that. Um, because it's pigment, the brilliance will give you a more, um, more opaque, more yeah. opaque finish. Wonderful. I'll give the details, and as I do that, I'm going to hold this up as well because you can see the brilliance and also the stays on has been used on this particular page. You can see the difference there. Three nine one five zero zero is the item number. We're very busy on this bundle actually. Sixteen ninety nine is the price. You've got a three pound saving. Three fantastic inks there, all completely different. Now let's move down again because talking of the brilliance, we've got the brilliance for you again. I love these little sort of dewdrop type. Um, little um containers here for the ink these are beautiful 9.95 that's all it's for five for five of these wow 
366634 is the item number. I've got more samples to show you as well. Paula, is there anything else you want to say about Brilliance what, before brilliant. we go through these? Also, can I say, I mean, we have got there, some of the colours are there, some of the colours are there and reflected because we have got some brand new options for you. Another thing about Brilliance is perfect for your jelly plates. So because it's pigment, so it's water-based, so it stays wet long enough. So you can pull prints, and not only that, you can pull prints onto a shrink plastic, <gasps> and then a shrink, you can see that, and the pearlescent nature. Wow. I mean, obviously the print didn't. I would not have thought that was ink. Yeah, that's ink. That is actually the colors there. So I think it's one of the greens and one of the blues in oh, there as well. Beautiful. And also think about it that you can use it on to, like you can see, shrink plastic. You can use it on polymer clay and wood. It will dry naturally. That's one of the prints that I pulled with a jelly plate. I'm not a master of it. I'm just wanted to show different techniques that you can achieve. So if you want to bring in, I mean, I look, this is the that. Galaxy Gold, and I think that one is a Galaxy Gold, Gold and Platinum Planet. They are one of my favorite, favorite, favorite metallic inks because compared to other metallic inks, these ones will dry naturally within about half an hour or so. And look at the lilacs as well. Look at how these gorgeous These are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, Paula, this is a great bundle. Nine ninety five. Have a look at those different colours there. Three six 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 three five. Sorry, six three four. Uh, five in a pick and mix. If you want to go for more than five, you certainly can do at that price. I think I'd be grabbing every single colour that's available. And even if you need to double up on anything, just go for your favourites and double up on those. Yeah, what a great buy. Now Versa Craft. I am loving, loving this bundle as well. Now again, it's a pick and mix. Any eight. Let's oh, wow. for eleven ninety nine. I'm gonna go yeah. shop it after this. I can't yeah. believe these prices. Eleven ninety nine for any eight. Now there's something a little bit different about these. Now this was mentioned in the first bundle because you had uh, the Versacraft on the board, yeah, but it but was this, this wasn't included yeah. in the first bundle. No, and this is this did is a fabric. It. It's, it's a pigment based, uh, water based ink pad. Now I'm gonna be. Um, you may have seen Wendy doing the cardio one day special. She uses, uh, I believe, or uh, as long as uh, you know, that's all of those demos. A Versa uh, color, which is from the Sukinique as well, but it's a slightly different okay. formulation. You can use Use these ones the same way however these ones have got the added benefit that once that you heat set them they become fabric inks so then you can yeah you can then wash them as well so you can That's see amazing. you can see them in here that but also you can ink them to the fabric spritz water the water will blend those colors and then heat set it it won't move anymore Wow. If you have seen pink ink designs, this is the ones that they use, pink ink designs for those fabric beautiful yeah. projects. Do you know, and more and more and more when we see stamps here on the shows as well, we talk about using them with fabric. You know, yes. you don't even have to be a soft crafter. We're talking about fabric journals, using your mixed media. What an amazing price. Any eight. 11.99 271125 is the item number there now we are getting very very busy we haven't finished yet because we've got another set to show you it's another pick and mix actually we've talked about the versifying claire when I came into the studio, this is the one I thought, I've, I will definitely be shopping. Uh, but now we've done the counter, it's like, you know, I'm thinking, I need all of these. Uh, let's have a look, because you've got lots of different colours here. It is a pick and mix of any three. That price, once again, is absolutely incredible. Fourteen ninety seven is the price here. Now, I do have a board. Not all of the colours are on the board, but I'm going to hold it up anyway, because a lot of them will be. Any three, remember if you're going for bundle number one, you've got the black Versafine Claire in there. If you want to add on to the Versafine, this is the bundle to go for. I think as well, Paola, we see often now, yeah. we always just grab a, a black ink straight away for stamping anything. But now we see much more in the way of colours being used, Absolutely. and especially greys browns if you like that sepia tone and Absolutely. brighter colors as well indeed now no, one of the things i also love and i'm so glad that it coincides with the uh, cardio one day special is the fact that there is a lot of uh, beautiful stamps solid stamps that you want to bring color in yeah. but as you were mentioning it's also perfect to color to stamp in the outlines this is one of wendy's may from art inspirations um the gorgeous stamps in there and i have used two or three colors in there uh, you can see, I think I use, oh, uh, let me, maybe Monarch, I think I use Monarch and Charming Pink. I think that's one of the other two colors that I use. Okay. And then, of course, because it stays white, 
a little bit, you can use embossing powder over it. Which and you can that see one, perfectly. yeah, you can see it there as well. Wonderful. And I love the way that if you cut a stamp or uh, any stamp with color, like you were saying, you can do them a soft effect, but also no line coloring, especially if you go for the Golden Meadow or the beautiful, um, I think, oh, I, I always forget the names, uh, the Charm, uh, no, the Cheerful, which is the beautiful yellow. Amazing. You, you know, you've got a great selection here. 1497-168-707. Now we'll just hop over to the website, then we'll get to uh, Paula for demonstration. We are busy across the board. We have got other things on the counter. If you've liked some of the samples, the face with the script, we've got that there as well. Everything's on the website, so we can see over there. We might get a look at those on the counter a bit later, but we do want to get to Paula. Now just remember, oh, we can't go to the website at the moment, but we will get to Paula. Um, if you've got any questions, if we haven't covered everything, if you've got questions about a particular ink, or if you're still uncertain about something, do email into the studio. Paula, if I can hand it to you. Yes, of course. Now, I'm going to do what I always do in the shows, because it's trying to explain why the pigments and dyes. I know that many of you may have seen it already, but always, every single time we have got new viewers, and just for them, uh, we're going to explain this. Right, now, the first thing is pigment and dye base. Now, this confuses people sometimes because it's like what that makes the difference it's not you know not that sometimes you say oh pigment is just very slow drying and dye base is very uh, quick drying yes that sort of is the idea but there is something more important about this and it, that comes to play as well when you have got a set of different inks the, fir the first thing I have got in here is just water and just water and you can see there two little pools of water that from the tap then I have got in here uh, this is distress oxides and this is a rinker for the, the regular distress so we all know that distress oxides have got pigment in there and then the distress is a dye based ink so if I put just a little drop of there it is a drop of the distress traditional so it, it's water based so kind of it will blend in here and then you can hear on the stress oxide that it has got like a ball bearing. Yeah. That's because pigment does never dissolve. It's like particles. The difference, what I call it, the difference is, um, I was saying that the last time to Derek, I think it was Derek, and that the difference is between wine and a smoothie. Okay. Oh, ah. a smoothie. <laughs> because, uh, you know, a wine, it's always kind of transparent, and yeah. a smoothie, you know, you have got those particles, yes. those fibers that settle at That's the bottom. That's a really good way of describing those. That, it kind of works, doesn't it? It does work. Because then, also, if you think about it, look at that. The smoothie, once you shake it, is completely opaque. Here, we still can see, just barely, but we can see about the lines. We can see, if I put it there, a little bit, yeah. we can see it. Whether if I put that, there is absolutely nothing coming through. So that's one of the main differences. But also think about it. If you have wine, the wine seeps through the fibers okay, immediately, yeah. or, or maybe a soda or something like that. It means, so it dries fairly quickly. Yeah. Whether if you have got something like a smoothie, uh, then of course you have got all those kind of fibers that are wet and stay wet for a long time because they sit on the surface. So this is the same thing with pigments and dyes in a way. I mean, this is kind of making it a little bit simpler. So this is when we go in. So we have got pigments and we have got dye. So pigment will be slower dry. Uh, it's perfect for embossing because it stays yeah. wet a little bit longer and also is good for opaque and um, you know when you want opaque uh, elements and also darker cards as well so if you have got craft cards or something like and um, you say like a yellow card or something like that and you want to stand out always pigment inks are going to stand a little bit more okay. the same way yeah. when you are layering so if for instance one of the if you see Cody's beautiful layering uh, elements layering cards the reason, one of the reasons that pigment works so well is because then everything that you put on top stands out. It doesn't kind that of blend sense. in and yeah. you can see it, that hence the pigment. Dye, on the other hand, is faster drying, it's translucent. That is clear, right? But then we are going to go on to the next element, which also okay. confu confuses some of us, which is, of course, the other element that is based, the water base, the oil base, or solvent base. Yeah. Right? So here, I'm going to go do another kind of a little experiment. So we're going to put a little oh, bit of water. It's like a scientific uh, 
class, isn't it, this morning? But that's why it's important. Now, why it's important to know what mediums they are, what they are based on, is because if we want to colour in, we don't yeah. want blurry lines. We of want clean not. lines. We want them. So therefore, it's important to know one. The first way that I put it, here we have got watered. I have got brilliance in here. So I have got the... And if I mix it up, you can see how it dilutes it as well, more or less perfectly. And then we have got that beautiful shimmer going through it. Can you see it? Of oh, course, nice. it's pigment, so therefore the particles kind of tend to go, settle in the bottom. Well, you can really see the shimmer, can't you? Absolutely. Know? And then I have got here a Stazon. A Stazon is alcohol base. So, look at this. Ah, oh wow, look at that. <laughs> So, so what happens is, of course, the opposites repel each yeah. other. So if you don't want blurry lines, you need to use an opposite. So Brilliance is water-based, it dissolves perfectly. Yeah. If you're using a stazon or oil-based, like uh, that's something that would happen because they maintain the clean lines. They that never is a fantastic miss. way of showing that. So that, I'm glad you like it. It's great to Seriously, do. I think I don't think you could have explained that more perfectly and showing us that, I think that is absolutely brilliant. So that is what you want, exactly, right? So you want the inks to repel each other. Hence why it's important to know. If you want to, if you like your alcohol markers, alcohol base, you need an opposite, which yeah. would be water base, because that was, if you want to color blend, if you want to kind of drag the color in with water base, then that is, of course, water pens, that would be perfect with water. Of course, okay. yeah. Now, then we have got again. the oil base. So oil base is, of course, our Versafine or also our Versafine clay. Now, this is uh, one of the, our favorites because it makes the pigment a little bit faster drying than water base, but okay. also it means that it's perfect for water coloring. And then finally, we have got our alcohol, which is, of course, the stazon, so or solvent base. Now, a stazon means, I'll put it here so you can see it, uh, because it's actually solvent dye base. Now, of course, non per service uh, surfaces and also is water resistant. Now, all this, then we get into, let me show you, this board. Now, you can see in this board that is all the different inks that I, I tend to use and we tend to have here, they are put on our, um, you know, in this board. So that kind of, you kind of understand where everyone sits in. These boards are available on my um, blog, okay, which is blog.paulapasquale.com. Oh, and you can download them and print them for your personal use as much as you want. And that is such a handy thing to have on your wall in the yeah. craft room, isn't it? It is, absolutely, because then it explains everything. It kind of, for me, if you see a book chart, the traditional chart used to be like this. This is confusing. Yeah. This is for a kind of, this is very confusing. Whether if you have got that board where it says, well, that board is like this, so you have got a slow and dry and palpeg, you know that that kind of works in, that works for me. The Genius. other thing that I love is also, um, you know, I, I do recommend to print out this one as well because it, this one is a kind of a quick cheat kind of way okay. of having. So if you want fabric, Versacraft, if you want vellum of parchment, either brilliance of a stazon will work, non porous surfaces, yep. stazon, over acrylic paints, both of them will work, but however, I would recommend more a stazon okay. because you don't need heat resistant. Alcohol markers, memento, water markers, you can go for either of them, but of course, you have got an explanation of the difference and then finally embossing powders you have got here a different ways of explaining that jo, so they I definitely will be printing everything out that Paula's offering there because when you've got that to hand that information it's going to make life so much more easily easier for you and if you're going for the bundles of hers, especially that first bundle where you are getting those five different inks you there is a chance you'll get them home and think oh i've forgotten now i've forgotten if you've got that chart there already printed out you will use every single one of those on a day-to-day -day basis if you're a paper crafter and you're a stamper um, right, absolutely fantastic way of describing power. And also, the other thing that I, I I want to make sure that this is another board that we are gonna that I'm gonna replicate. I forgot to print a blank one, so I'm gonna do it onto a plain card. But I also recommend doing this uh, if you if you can do it because you can have in this board 
basically the main the main uh, kind of inks that we are talking yeah. about it and I recommend to do that in your specific car so for instance you like to use a stamp uh, stamping car or ultra um, super smooth from uh, pink frog crafts you like to use a stamping car from uh, crafty devils whichever car you do print it out in that same cards and then do this if your printer doesn't take the thicker cards, what I would recommend is print it onto white paper, copy paper, and then cut a little piece and then stick it okay, in there. Yeah. So you are working on your. And basically what I'm going to do is just show you uh, how it will work. So I'm really sorry that I didn't print out these uh, early on, but uh, anyway. So I'm going to start with brilliance. And then I'm going to mention another thing that is that I love about this set, especially the small one. Uh, a lot of the time we compare inks that we bought five years ago to yeah. one that we bought right now. So, so therefore it's like they are not the same because obviously, you know, fresh uh, inks are the best way to compare fresh inks against each other. Yeah. Right. So you, we know that they are going to be um, as they manufacture intended. I tend to go, especially with the smaller ones, ink pad to a stamp especially the brilliance that has a foam pa foam pad oh, you don't yeah, want yeah. to press too hard okay. so by doing it like this just dab it in it's a light little touch light as it out. so i'm going to put it in here okay and look at that gorgeous a uh, gorgeous impression beautiful black now what i'm going to do immediately and this is just so you know there is immediately this is a kind of thing that you want to do there because you want to see that immediately it doesn't dry, right? Yeah. But that's because we want to know how slow or quick drying they are. This okay. is we do this much in pur on purpose. I'm then going to take Versafine Claire in here, and then going to stamp it in there. And again, you can see that they look perfectly similar. I'm going to drag it in. You can see that it's a smudge, but already that smudge is less. Fractionally, anything, is it? Fractionally. So therefore, I can barely see it. You, can and you were very see. quick to do that. As I, well. I, and I was, yeah. Then I'm going to take memento, and and I recommend to do this with every single um, ink that you have. Just do it on black if you have it. Then this is memento straight away. That is even less of a smudge. I mean, it is. A, that the camera will not pick it up. There is a tiny, tiny bit of a smudge, but not real. And then Stazen. Now Stazen is the solvent base. There we have it. There we have it. And then again, this one has absolutely zero smudge. Do you because know, that's again, a great, a great way of showing those. You can see the difference. Um, this is why it's so important to have different inks for every purpose. Because you will want those slower drying inks. You won't want to be fine if something dries too quick, of course, if you are embossing as well. Now, Paula, just while uh, you're on with those stamps, I want to show that we have actually got those in stock. These are from Dina Wakeley, of course. We've got a couple of sets for you here. Twenty-two ninety-nine. if you do love those flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. There is a sample here as well. Let me just bring this one in this option is actually called good idea there it is it's a good idea to get those in your basket as well five pounds saving two zero six two six five now we've got another option under the same item number and this is the one I said do keep an eye out for some of the samples because I know Paula's used this one a lot this is I want again 22.99 Dina Wakeley same item number you've just got a couple of different options there so you can grab those as well uh, right, Paula, well, back to you. Right, I love those stamps. I have to say, I have used They're them so much. They? I love the, the words, I love the faces. And Dina Wakeley was one of the first ones to incorporate faces into her artwork uh, in this kind of stamping world. Anyway, so then the next part, I'm going to show you again. Uh, I'm going to use the coloring in. Again, the boards will tell you alcohol markers and water markers. So I have got here a, an alcohol marker and I have got here a, um, you know, Ecoline, which is a water base. I have gone for similar colors just because they are very easy to see then the thing so if I take on brilliance I take the alcohol marker automatically oh. look you can see in there that is not good yeah you know then I take the echo line which is water base 
and you know that doesn't work either because it's water based yeah. in there. Oh, we can so look at how it's changed the color. Exactly. So brilliance definitely is not one ink that you would use for coloring in. Yeah. Unless you're using pencils, but on the back. So okay. that is one of the things that works really well for groovy. For instance, you stamp on the front and then you color in the back. Good point. Okay. So that will work in there. Now then I'm going to go in with uh, the Versafine. So I'm going to take my alcohol marker. I'm going to go for the brush. The, um, brother. Now, you can see there that it kind of it is difference. fine, but it's just not, you know, it's just still, uh, it blends in a little bit of the black. It's just not as clear. And then here with the water base, you can see that there's no, the color is just fine. It's just, it's not a proper jello. I'm going to put it like this so you can see that it's, it's absolutely not blurring those lines. I'm going over those lines and you can see the black isn't blurring. Yeah. I know that maybe I'm gonna do this with because it's a little bit easier. You can see it better maybe with this color. This is also water based. You can see that the lines are still very very clear. Also, I'm gonna go in with a pen uh, with the, the um, with my finger just to show you that brilliance. Yeah. Is still wet. Whether, Shows how whether much slower it is drying. Fine. It's not. Yeah. Big okay. difference. Then we are gonna go with memento, which okay. is our uh, water base. And then I'm going to go in here and color in. Now, the difference between this one and Versafine is that I know you cannot, probably the camera cannot pick it up, but the black is as intense or more intense with alcohol markers. Well, Versafine, when I went with the alcohol markers, I don't think it will fit, but it kind of dulls it a little bit. Can you I'm see that? I'm hoping we can see that on the camera because I can definitely see it here in the studio and you're perfectly right about that. Definitely, you've, you've got that stronger black still A stronger through black coming through. through with the memento. And then memento also, you can use with watercolors, but I wouldn't use it per se because it can blend a tiny bit. Okay. But you can use it as well. Uh, it doesn't blur in color. And then alcohol, um, of course, the stays on. Here we are using a stays on. If I do like this, then it kind of blurs a little bit yeah. those lines and you, if you can see it side by side you can see there that it's much um, you know kind of those lines that become a little bit blurry and then if I use it with the, the water base is absolutely pristine it's absolutely black it stays as strong so this is a board that I did earlier and you can see how the alcohol marker with certain alcohol markers will react even more so you can see those blurring lines with the season and you can see as well the blurring the you know kind of the, yeah. the, the kind of a slow drying of nature so this is good to do and if you have all the other ink pads by all means do the same thing cover this up and put whatever ink pad it is archival which we have got on the show so remember to do that that way you learn about the inks that is such a good demonstration isn't it so think about opposites so don't if you're working with watercolors don't go for the water base so much you know you want the opposite let's go through these again because this bundle incredible value you're getting all five of these i find these smaller ones really really useful as well uh, so you've got the versafine first of all so versafine is your oil based um, it's archival it's acid free as well you have got really good coverage with the versafine it's just a great quick drying pigmenting then we have of course the brilliance the unsung hero, I like that, how Paula described it as well. The, again, it's a pigment ink. It dries quickly on many surfaces. It, it is water-based, this one. Um, ideal for stenciling. You can use it on vellum and, and all sorts of different surfaces. Then we've got the stays on. Oh, we've missed the Versa Magic out, haven't we? That was the second one. Versa Magic, I better go to that one. That's a pigment ink. That's the one with your chalky or your matte finish. And it's water-based as well. So we've done the first three. The next one is Memento. We've just seen from that amazing demonstration there. If you're using your alcohol pens, this is probably the one that you want to go for. It's a water-based ink. So again, those opposites. Perfect. It's a dye base. It's fade resistant. Uh, yeah, you can get fantastic results with your alcohol pens. I'm just going to say as well, do remember the cardstock is important. It's not just about the inks. It is about the cardstock that you use as well, especially if you're using something like your watercolors or your alcohol pens. Then the stays on, which is a fantastic ink. I'm just going to borrow the board actually from the next bundle because we've got stays on in there, just to show again the different surfaces that you can stamp on. I mean, it's. it's 
it's from card, of course, through to different things. I should imagine rubber you could stamp on with stays on as well. We've got that on the board. We haven't have way. So rubber would work, wouldn't it, yes, if you want to stamp on yeah. rubber? Um, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So do have a look at that there and consider that particular bundle because you're getting almost everything you're ever going to need with those things. 1099-400-794 is the item number. Then moving on to our next bundle, another one that is proving popular. This one contains the VersaFine Claire, which we know so many people love. You've got your black inks again. So there is the VersaFine Claire. We've got the brilliance also included in here as well and the stays on. So your larger inks here. If you're going for the first bundle, there's nothing to stop you going for this one as well. Or even though you're getting the brilliance and the stays on, you've got those larger pads. So if you're doing, you're wanting coverage on larger stamps, then of course you're going to get that. I just want to show this again because the stays on has been used through the stencil. And you can see that lovely sort of matte finish. That is great for blending, isn't it? Really is. It that is. works so well. And then the brilliance there at the bottom, I'm trying to get that to catch the light a little bit because you can see how, you know, the, the clue is in the name again. The brilliance is a great name for that, isn't it? Uh, the brilliance is it's brilliant ink. I know the way that many colours have got a pearlescent look. Brilliant, the black one doesn't, it's a magged one. But of course, remember that for the stenciling, also MDF is one of the best ones. I, I'm going to show you how on MDF later on um, to, you know, how good it works. You don't even have to prime it. Amazing. And a couple more samples just while I'm here as well, just to show the stays on, of course, on your acetate works beautifully. And I'm showing this one because we've got the stamp available as well. And that is also your stays on there. $16.99, a £3 saving, 391500. A reminder of the brilliant dew drops. I absolutely love these. These have been very, very busy. This is well, let me find that little bit of plastic again. <gasps> The colours here, I would never have thought this was a brilliant ink on there. Look at those. You can go for those colours as well, I believe. But you've got the pearlescent finish in the brilliant ink pads here. You've got um, metallics in here as well. We've got a white. Absolutely beautiful. This is a pigment ink. It dries on most surfaces, on many surfaces. You've got pearlescent and matte finishes within this bundle. Any five for 9 dollars is the item number there. There. Remember, great with your jelly plates as well, great on vellum. I've just got to show this one again. I've picked this one up on purpose because, again, we've got that stamp, but also you can see that wonderful pearlescent finish there onto vellum. So that is a great sample to show you. 366-634, do not miss out on those. Any five, if you want to go for multiples, you certainly can do. Then another one that's proving popular, I'm not surprised with this one because this is the one, if you heat set it, you can wash it, you can work it on fabric. We've got an amazing sample here, but everybody could achieve this. So if you've got pink ink stamps, if you want to work, work on fabric, maybe you've got indigo blue or you've got indigo blue products as well, then this is another great one. We talk all the time, about stamping onto fabrics you don't have to sew just for your mixed media for those journals those albums what a great bundle again or well i'm saying bundle it's actually pick and mix any eight for 11.99 that is silly money that is absolutely ridiculous. 271125 is the item number i have no idea how many colors we've actually got there is it more than 16 we've got 20 options so if you want to go for one of each I would say, well, you're going to have to go for three multiples, but double up on your favourites. That's what I would say. I'll share them with your friends. Or just miss two of the colours out. You could do that and get all of those colours there. 271125. Then we've got Versafine Claire, proven extremely popular. Now, remember, you're getting the black in the first bundle, if you are going, sorry, in the second bundle, if you are going for that one. Is it in the first? Yes, it is. Um, but, of course, you've got the colours here as well. Now, I have got a board. Not every one of the colours on the board is actually included. But we'll show you those colours anyway. You can find all the names on the website. Choose in any three. There are 11 different colours to choose from. Uh, we do have, I believe... One of the uh, greys in there, which is an important one. You can go for a brown, you can go for the colours. You decide how you want to work with these. 1497 is the price, 168707. 
Now, we will try and get to the website this time. Let's see if we can get over there. Yes, there we are. So you can have a look at the reviews on there as well. Great five-star reviews. Remember this fine clay. We see so many guests using it here. It is their go-to ink when they're stamping. We've got those wonderful stamps available for you as well. Um, we've got all sorts, in fact, on the website. Do have a look at stencils. Perhaps you're looking at working with inks and you want to choose them with stencils. If you're going for the appropriate inks, then, of course, you can look at those new stencils as well. Cardstock, I did say, always important. Are you needing a heat tool? Of course, we've got one of those available as well. Now, we will get back to Paola. I know we've had some questions sent in, so we might be able to cover some of those. In fact, the first one... Paula, this is um, from Jean, yeah. and Jean is asking, which ink do you recommend for stamping on fabric? Uh, Bursa, Bursa Craft. We have got the pick and mix, and yeah. I definitely recommend. And I'm going to do a demonstration uh, later on. I mean, if hopefully we'll have time now to show it. Um, you can use, um, I think Bursa Fine Clair also works, but I would just say for wa watching, um, watching it. Washing it, uh, definitely versa, versa craft. And you say heat set that heat and set then it. it's yeah. washable. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Right. We've also had a question from Marilyn. Ah, this is a really good question, actually. Marilyn is saying if she stamps on glass and makes a mistake, how or can she or how can she remove the ink so I'm presuming that's going to be a stay zone. It's, a stay zone is the right ink for um, for our, you know for um, glass or acetate now if you have got to make a mistake uh, onto the glass you can use a stay zone cleaner and that's not just for your red rubber or gray rubber or any type of rubber stamps not clear stamps please do not use the, cl the cleaner on uh, clear stamps however onto glass you can just use it I'm going to show going to show you as well oh. Oh, so fantastic. Oh, because that's it's like great questions. Because we can do it like this. We stamp it into here. Okay. Okay, so that will dry and say, well, it's not quite perfect. Obviously, now it's wet. So if it's wet, you can take, let me grab a little bit of tissue in there. And if it's wet, some of it will come off. But there is a little bit, obviously, if it has dried, like in these areas in here, you can then go in with your Stazon cleaner and it will wipe it all away. And then what I would do straight away is just dab a little bit of water and wipe any alcohol residue oh, out okay. of it because obviously you know it's solvent based so you don't want yeah. solvent onto especially uh, plastic or glass hence why a lot of people I'm gonna uh, address on an, an issue that, which I want to make it clear some people don't use a stays on onto clear stamps I use I have used uh, stamps for uh, 19 years and uh, 19 years I have been using or, or some or some yeah, no, or 18 years a stays on on clear stamps they have never been ruined. However, what it will ruin your stamps is a stays on cleaner. Yeah. So don't use a stays on cleaner on clear stamps. Onto red rubber, absolutely no problem. It's actually the only cleaner I would use on my um, my rubber stamps, and then kind of just kind of take that bit off. And again, just use maybe another idea is to use Versa Mark or Versa Fine because being oil based. What it will do is recondition because it has got that oil, so it will not dry, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, there is lots of different ways to kind of go around, the, you know, with your inks. Once we've used any ink, Paula, even yeah. if we clean our stamps, let's say we're, we're looking at the rubber stamps that you've got yeah. there, you are never going to see them pristine like they were when they first came from the pack. They are going to stain, even if you're going to clean them. And that's not an issue at all, is it? It's not an issue at all. I, I, the thing is that uh, this stamp, for instance, this one is a stain, but it doesn't mean that it's dirty. I mean, it might be dirty, I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is, uh, it, it will stain, the inks will stain especially yeah. those ones that are uh, have got a permanent binder on them permanent binder is not something else that are, I haven't mentioned so far but they do have because uh, so for instance the distress inks are water based dye based but they are they have got these always reactive nature to them okay. whether some of these pigment patting inks if you heat set them even though they're water based they will stay permanent okay. and that's I, what I wanted to uh, show you as well is the way that brilliance, especially I'm using a star, I think this one is a starlight uh, silver, onto, look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. Onto black. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. 
Look at the shine it has. I just adore, adore brilliance. And again, if you've got your stamping platforms and you don't quite stamp perfectly, you can go back and you can build those layers as well. Absolutely. So you can get a really, really good even coverage. Absolutely. And then I'm going to go in. This one is um, Platinum Planet. So I'm going to put it right beside it so you can see the... Um, that is much lighter in cut, in cut tone in there as well. So this one is more white. This one is a little bit more silver. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to wipe it off. And again, I'm going to show you Galaxy Gold. Now, this one, in, you can see in here, again, how juicy they are. I abuse my stamps, I my inks. I use them a lot. And, you know, sometimes I'm not the best one at making sure that the lids are closed. This is important to close your lids because otherwise, of course, if you don't close your lids, then they they will be dry. Yeah. But look at this. I'm going to show you as well because it then I'm going to show you a brand new ink because that one is been out for a long time. So sometimes a little bit of a brand new one will give you a little bit of a stronger effect. But you can see that a little bit. But then still you can see that. Look at that. I love I that. Love that. The layering, yeah, you can layer them as well. Now, if you wanted to add a, um, I'm going to do the test because these ones will be still wet. So, of course, I'm going to do is I'm going to heat set them. You don't okay. need to do that with brilliance, but of course, it will take longer than we have got time for. So, I'm going to just draw, a, you know, kind of give it a, a waft in here. Remember, this is just to set, heat set it. Um, and then, by the way, if you don't have heat guns, we have got them on the show. Then I'm going to take um, the outline in here. And now because it's, I wouldn't go with the same ink pad if I want to layer on top. So I would tend to go for either Versafine or even a Stazon. Now okay. I'm going to go with the smaller one. You know the experiment you did earlier, Pam, yeah. and it was kind of work with the opposites. Is it the same when you're layering on top then? I would say that. I would kind of go in with the opposites. Yeah, that's a very good point. Now, because it's a stays on, it's not going to be as opaque. It's not going to be as, them, but you oh. can see still. Oh, isn't that lovely? Adding those details in there. And that will dry because remember, stays on will dry on any surface, yeah. even in an ink surface. So this is, again, another way why you, I think, going for this, especially the smaller bundle, if, if you don't, you know, you have got all those ink pads that you can then play around and then you can invest into the larger size as well. Right, so this is the demo, but also I wanted to show you that onto parchment, right? Okay. So I'm going to bring in, let's see what I put, oh, here it is, my uh, jelly plate. Well, it's not mine. I stole it from the wife. Um, you know, hopefully Leon is not watching at the minute. Um, <laughs> you know, um, so basically what I have used is one of the stencils, uh, which we have got on the show, again, for Idina Wakely. I place it over the top, and of course you can go in. Actually, I'm going to do it properly. I'm going to just bring in some, dabbing some gold okay. in here. Uh, shall we go for copper as well? Oh, that'd be good. Now, because they are dovers in here, you can go in directly and have a smaller elements. But if I tilt it there, you can see them there. There we really go. Do you know, these are the gr are great, aren't they? If you want to use jelly plates and you want to create flowers, you could use oh, those as petals absolutely. and leaves as well. Just by stamping as you are there, you've already got the shape. And then you can just start to brayer them. That's a good idea, actually. That's so you can do it like this or you can do it from the ink um, directly, uh, ink pad, because that way you will blend those lines. But I don't mind blending those petals in there. I like them to have some lines in there. Now, then I'm going to take in my um, stencil in okay. here. You can actually see how pleasant yeah. the inks are on your brayer now. It oh, yeah, you so can pretty. see it. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> and by the way, we do have also this brayer on the show. And then in here, you can go in. Now, I don't want to contaminate my ink pad, right? Okay. So yeah. what you can do is either, well, w uh, wipe it clean the brayer or just bring it in like that. This is what I meant by, and I don't mind if there are lines, but then of course, kind of do a little bit of element like this, right? Okay. Then I'm going to take it out and I know that I can clean up, but then I'm going to bring my vellum, my parchment. And by the way, we do have uh, seven-day savers. 
that contains 200 GSM, uh, 200 GSM uh, parchment vellum, which is actually one of my favorite medium. That again, look at that saving. 16 pound saving. Now what you're actually going to get is 10 of the 200 GSM, 40 of the 90 GSM, and 50 of the 110. That is such a good buy. 11 pounds and 20 pence, 320333. Treat yourself to that bundle, whether you're going for the inks or not actually, because that is an amazing buy. Yeah, pound your amazing uh, stencils, or stamps that you can use, but remember, you can pull prints now per lesson ink, and you could do that with shrink plastic and bring them to life as well. Then you can, of course, there is plenty more that I'm gonna take a piece of white card, and I'm using this, um, the super smooth um uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Sweet Dixie card. It's, it's one of those ones that is even smoother than I think a pink frog, but it's also 250 GSM, so it kind of, it, it just, you can die cut it as well. I love them both. I use them, um, you know, alternatively. But look at this as well. You have got even more. Look at this. It's just, oh wow. It's, it's it, sometimes brilliant. I love that um, finish. The per uh, brilliant since you're thinking, oh, for mixed media, they are not the right ones. But look at that. You have got here something that then you can use it as the first background. It's not, you know, like I'm never going to say, uh, you know, kind of say that I am the master of a, of, of a jelly, a jelly uh, plate. But there are so many things you can do. And with brilliant ink. again, wood, you can use it on MDF. Yes, you can. Yeah. So, for instance, the same inks. And I'm trying to say, take with the same ink so you can see the different. The, look at this. Look at this. Wow. Do you know, specifically this bundle, because you've got the pearlescent in there, you've got the gold, you've got the silver, I think the copper's also available, isn't it? Yes, in there? it should be. You've got the bright colours, you've got such a wonderful mix. There's 12 options available. Again, with this one, if you can afford to, I would multi-buy to get all of those colours and double up on your favourites or the ones that you think you're going to use most. Use it with your paper, your vellum, your shrink plastic, don't forget as well. We've seen that with the jelly plate, uh, absolutely gorgeous. It's the ones here at the side. Just under £30, you would get 15 15. We've got 12 colours, so you need to double up on three of those. 366-634 is the item number. We are very, very busy for those. I am not surprised. And you'll get different effects on your different card stocks as well. Building those layers. If you've got a stamping platform, try building those layers and doing different effects with those. Absolutely fantastic. So that price, I can't get over it. I really can't. Uh, let's get back to Paola because, yeah. of course, we've still got a little bit of time left for some more demonstration. If you've still got any more questions, please do email in. Paola is back at 10 o'clock for another hour. So if you haven't got your questions in this hour, you can get them in for 10 o'clock. Paola, back over to you. Uh, right. One of the things that you were saying about doubling up on the dewdrops, yeah. I would say double up on uh, especially the Platinum Planet and Moonlight White because Moonlight White is one of the best whites that you're gonna use on the, for black heart. It's one of my favorites, it's very opaque, but of course white that is one of those ones that is very easily contaminated. So yes. if you have got a dirty yes. stamp, you, a really good so point. I would definitely double up with that. This is one of those ones that I'm quite generous with getting, you know, distributing the extras that I have got. Not with one like what. <laughs> that one I keep it. It's because I know that it's one of those. Do you know, and it's nice sometimes. We always think if we want golds or coppers or you sort of those shiny finishes, we've got to emboss. You don't have to with no. the brilliance, do you? Because you're going to get those lovely effects without the need of embossing powders. I mean, you can see that it's kind of pretty much dry in here. So it will take a lot, you know, and I hit set it, but it, you know, you don't even have to. Like with the vellum, I will leave it yeah. try naturally and that's the, the beauty of it because sometimes vellum and especially acetate on certain surfaces do not like to be heat set yeah you know they kind of bubble so the fact that you can let it dry and you know that maybe in an hour's time you come back and it's completely dry that's an assurance right i'm gonna go for versa craft because it's the one that of course gives you uh the ability to stamp on fabric all of them you can stamp on fabric to be fair however they will not be able to wash it. Yeah. You know, they will, the colors will run. So I'm going to do, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take one of the Dina Wakely stamps in here and to a piece of fabric that I had. This is actually natural, natural fiber, uh, fibers. I think it's uh, linen, but I don't know. Anyway, so I have got my stamp in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, which are your favorite colors? I will go for pinks and purples. Oh, nice. Yes. I'm going to go I was going to say that, actually. If you're so, asking me, pinks yeah, well, and purples always work, don't they? They do. I'm going to go in with these three colors. So I'm going for a cherry pink, peony yeah. purple, and then pale lilac. Uh, first thing I see, this one is the lightest color. So I'm going to be, that's the one that I'm going to stamp first. Um, by all means, if you are very particular about having clean ink pads, make sure that you actually clean your stamps beforehand. If you are not that bothered, then do as I do, which is not like just a wet uh, piece of cl cloth, and that will be fine. Now, you can see that it's very light in the color, so I can intensify. Maybe it's the fabric that I cannot see it, so I go in with the darker color. And this is why you want to have a mix of lighter and darker colors, especially if you are going to stamp onto fabric. Here, look at that. So you start building the face in that, and then going to wipe up. Uh, let me grab a piece of card of, of tissue, and then, which is not the best thing to kind of. Just make sure, also when you're using water-based inks, that you clean the water because obviously it's a wet. Uh, you know, it's a water base, so you don't want to have water reacting with the ink right on the stamp. So then you kind of ink it up, there it is. That's a beautiful And color. then kind of press down. Now, for instance, I kind of think that that lilac looks really pale, so I kind of bring in. Look at that, I oh. love it. But I'm going to bring in, actually, I'm going to go for ultramarine, because ultramarine is a beautiful dark blue, so that will kind of intensify. Oh, I need to rush. We have, yeah, we haven't got okay, so have this, Look at that. You can heat set it, you know, you know, you yeah. can use an iron on the on, on the back and then you will set it. But also what you could do is if you don't want to heat set it just yet, if you want the colors to to kind of go in, just kind of press a little bit of water and that will kind of blend those inks like the pink for uh, not the pink ink ladies. And then if you want to stamp onto it with black versa craft or something like this then is when you have that look in here that more or less with the different colors and a different stamp you would have here that is an absolutely lovely lovely look isn't it as well could you dampen the the fabric before you stamp yes was that another way yeah, of doing that will, it that will blend even more so Yep. Wonderful. Do you know there's so much we can, more we can ask? So do keep those questions coming. I'm just holding this particular sample up again because it's very similar or the same as what Pavlos just done there. Uh, yeah, get those questions in for 10 o'clock. Don't forget to check out your baskets, though. We've been busy across the board. 271125. If you're going for, of course, the VersaCraft, any eight, check your baskets out now. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. Thank you. See you very soon. What an interesting show. Now, you might want to be checking those baskets out for the inks. For the next one as well, we've got Cardio, 80th birthday, one day special. Then we're crocheting with Pineapple Fiber Arts. And then it's back with Paola. Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. 
So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. And a very good morning to you. Now, one of my absolute, absolute favourite companies is here with me this morning. And it is their 18th birthday. It is the lovely Wendy. Good morning. Hi, hi. Oh, Wendy, you know I love your work. I can never remember the name because I always think running, <laughs> I think trainers. I'm thinking, oh, what? Is... And then, then the viewers have to tell me. I, I won't forget now. Uh, no, I finally, I finally embedded it in my brain, cardio. Uh, 18 years, where's I that know, gone, my I darling? Know. It's absolutely flown. I was just saying it makes me feel really, really old. But I say she looks youthful anyway. So we don't care. We don't care. <laughs> the, 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 the 18 years belies her, her youthful looks. Um, now, the one day special sold out last night. Absolutely flew. Um, this is the first time you've done a one day special, it is, isn't it? Yeah, in all this time. Yeah, the first time. Gosh, it's special in, in many ways. And I, I adore, adore, adore your stamps. And we did get the stock back because obviously we weren't going to let her leave until she gave us some more. Uh, <laughs> the 27th of September will be the dispatch. So it's well worth the wait. We're already. 40% of the extended stock gone and we're limited on our skaters getting well get not limited yet getting limited But I, I, I'm, I expect that to just go 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 go. So let's take you through the one day special um, Where are you coming at us? You know with this collection? Well, it's like all the others in the respect that you can blend it in with all the stamps You've already got so it's so versatile and a lot of this again as we usually do can be used outside of Christmas as well Absolutely, so let's start with these 65 stamps and we're just honing in there on our beautiful reindeer i mean yeah you've got the sheep there which i adore you've i got love your sheep squirrels <laughs> i just the first thing i went for look at the lammy new look at the lammy new uh, obviously we've got the christmas theme there with our with our snowman there but you've got your squirrels you've got an autumnal vista that could yeah. be in there as well yeah i do quite like it we seem to sort of miss autumn out a little bit i think yeah. and i do love i, I love think christmas colors. cards in autumnal is, is quite nice as well beautiful absolutely and what's this uh, i'm sure it'll all become clear that the, the little that dark that darker that's that's a little uh, sort of like a cliff edge a ledge so right. you've got we did that yesterday where Gorgeous. you've got them sort of in perspective so one in the background one in the foreground oh. and again you can use them with the little people on so depending on how big you want them to look right. you could put tiny things on top or you could put bigger things on top and Brilliant. get some perspective so watch let's watch yesterday's shows on rewind uh, and then we move across there and I can see sort of again the, the the landscape vistas the hedgerows the the gates there you've got the Christmas tree um, so that's that's building your background yeah and the, the Christmas tree if, if you notice on that it's got sort of open baubles yes, on there yeah. or open lights so basically you put your light behind it your color you stamp your tree over the top and then the light <gasps> sort of shines through i'm going to do that really cheekily you is so that that's beautiful? the smaller version of it as well which is in the little scene is that the peaceful oh. panorama but we've got the really nice big one as well oh here we come to the big one look at it there uh that beautiful big on oh, the ducks we love the ducks and you've got, yeah, Hugh, my, my director, was loving those little hoof prints. Yeah, and there's duck oh, prints as well. So big prints. we've been asked the footprints and uh, all sorts of different prints. So in this collection now, we've got cats, we've got dogs, we've got geese oh, prints, we've got um, reindeer prints and footprints. Oh, the lovely. I just adore them. I'm going to try and show as many of these samples as I can. We're moving across to our gorgeous, gorgeous snowman. You've got squirrels and cats leaping and dogs up on the paws. You've got footprints there again. 
birds. I mean, it's, it's just utterly, utterly adorable, Wendy. Look at that. Uh, what I love about the snowman is he's looking down, so you've got the little pets that can go underneath, but it looks like he's looking at them. I know, look at Larry really under the tree. Uh, I just love him. I just <laughs> love him. And then we've got our lovely worker stamps, our embellishes here with our bows and our bells and our holly. Yeah. And, and again, that'd be nice for a wedding as well. A lot of that. Oh, just gorgeous. And now we've got that's 65 stamps in total. Let me show you some of these gorgeous, gorgeous samples. Um, they, they, cause they really are stunning. And I mean, a phenomenal 39 pounds and 95. We can split it to two flexi buy payments of 19 pounds 98. Um, there's so many different machinations here. I'm just stealing cards from uh, from from Wendy just to show you as many as I can. And there's a huge amount of boards behind me. At some point, we'll have a look at those because the design team. Where's that? Where's that one? That's one of my favourites. That uh, reindeer one. That's uh, oh, look at this one. Oh, I've just posted that on face cloth. Um, <laughs> Laura, Laura, is that it? No? Yeah, Laura's in a lot of these She's actually. Done. Where's yeah. that? She's brilliant. Oh, that, we'll Dougie. Dougie, where's the one with the reindeers and the trees? We've got some lovely trees coming up. He doesn't know what I'm talking about. Um, doesn't matter, everybody. Doesn't matter. They're gorgeous. We'll see it in a moment. <laughs> £39.90 something. Two flexi pipe pumps are £19.98. £361.595. In fact, the white woods I'm going to show you now is to do with the reindeers that I'm rattling on about. It's kind of... It's kind of... This also sold out last night. I'm leaning over. Um, There's one there. On that one? No, it's... Not, yeah, that is gorgeous. I'm going to have to... You, you, you have a look. 27th will be dispatched. You, you have looked forward and it is 70% of the white woods has gone. It's that lovely, yeah. I am trying to, I am trying to, I'm leaning over. There it is, ta-da! It was worth the wait, folks, because wait till you see this. Oh yes, sorry everybody, that's the stamp set. <laughs> Apologies. Tell me about the white woods. Oh, it's lovely. You've got your open uh, ones, so you can have, obviously, the white the white trees if you want but you've got a nice solid one on there as well and then you've got sort of um, a reverse block stamp as well with all the little trees on it oh. so you can just stamp that stamp any color sky on there and just stamp it and you've got the reverse effect of the trees plus you've got the little branches if you want to add more dimension yeah. you can add in the little branches to it as well I'll just hold up some more. Oh, that's our object. You were just showing me one there as well in your hand, weren't you? There, I'll grab that. This is this, this, is, one, but this is one of the this projects is, that we're going to be doing. This is one of the projects you're going to do, but I'm just going to show you now because you need this stamp, so add it to your order at $9.99. You've got 11 stamps there. And that has, uh, set, was it 70% gone? So, yeah, the, of the extended. So this is going to be... Is this going to be one of your demonstrations? So we yeah, need to get second in there quick, one. Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quickly, quick as you can. 070304. Thank you. Thank you for indulging me there. Sorry, Dougie. I was really unhelpful. Just saying a, one card about uh, amongst 100 here that you have to find. There you go. That's your job today. Uh, festive fun. Let's move across now. Uh, also sold out back on Extended. I did try to give everybody the heads up on this because these are the skaters. <laughs> Two thirds of the stock has gone. I love, love, love the skaters. And I love it. When and she's going to hopefully do this uh, straight away when uh, uh, Wendy does the shadow reverse of, of <laughs> the little skating. reflection technique. I love that. So how many stamps have we got? Twenty, twenty-eight was it? Was it twenty? I can't. Twenty-eight. Oh my goodness me! Just amazing. The the gorgeous gorgeous skaters. I mean, whether they're they're dragging the skate across there, um, whether they're just falling over um, this is with the, the majestics that we've got on the show as well the little leaves how beautiful are, you see the shadow there the drop shadow oh everybody loves the skaters they're back um, but please don't miss out because you know so much has gone of, of the extended there as well 999 936 893 um we sold out of the masks uh, the stencil masks yesterday didn't we, we did yeah but we've got some more today of different we've got sets the, yeah we've got we've still got the bells and the uh the wreaths and things like that yeah so we've still got those and these also sold out last night, but they're back on extended. So over three quarters of the stock. We better get on with these demos. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing That's left for one of the first ones I'm uh, doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me about these then. Um, well, these are just lovely shit because sometimes you just want something extra. And yeah. it's lovely if you don't want to sort of do a whole card. So you can sort of section a little area off. So that's where the little, the masks come in. So the bell is gorgeous. The candle we did oh. yesterday, oh. which we've got a lovely sample of somewhere. I'll try and find that for you. It's just beautiful. And you just add them in. The wreath is great. So you can just add your little majestic stamps over the top. <gasps> so it gives you your, your guide really. So you don't have to worry about getting that perfect shape. It's already done for you. 
There's our lovely bell, you see. I love that, but you place them in the bell itself. Yeah. You know, they're, they're just stunning. And uh, like you said, the wreath, I mean, that's a... That's this. Uh, is that? Yeah, that's that's, that's that one. one. And we've just we just added some of the majestic stamps yeah, on the top all of, of it. These, yeah, look at these. I'll just so that's got the, the festive fir cones on the top as well. Through the wreaths there. Yeah, not beautiful. We'll bring those festive fir cones in a moment. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. These are back on extended as well. Um, one nine seven seven one two. And. Um, yeah, that, that lovely little skater one I showed you a moment ago. Oh, I'm going to grab it. Here it is, because I know where it is, Dougie. You'd be glad to know. Um, we sh this is using the beautiful... Because these work so well. These these are immediate dispatch, aren't they? Because we've got these in. Yes, ready yes. to go. Yes, yeah, still. Um, these are gorgeous. You brought these back for us, did you? Yeah, Andy? I mean, it's, lo it's lovely to sort of have something that you can build a wreath with as well. So the Tata Poinsettia is great for that. Well, the festive fir cones are probably one of our best sellers. Apart from the Oriental Blossom, because for fur cars oh, yeah. for Christmas, you can't really go wrong. Ah, I don't know. I think with the Oriental Blossom, I'm sure I could do some mistletoe or something. <laughs> uh, 11.99. Uh, three quarters of the stock has gone. i just show you that with the skaters. So I, I feel the need for you to have both there. Uh, 952, 972. You get both of those. Let's take you to the website, because uh, Wendy has brought her... The, do you know we call them rods? What do we call them? The um, the majestic rods, yeah. The majestic rods. We do call them rods. There we go. Um, they're all, I think, individually in the one-day special, they have sold out. So the only way to get those now is obviously with the one-day special. But you have got the white wood. You have got the skaters still. You have still got the, the, the fantastic stencils. There's those uh, lovely rods I was just talking about, the majestic rods. They're perfect for the size of some of those uh, majestic stamps, you know, the tattered poinsettia and the festive fur cones. You're going to see Wendy using those. So I'll just flag those up now for you, the different sizes, 12 99 So please shop ahead on the web if you can. We are very, very busy yet again, and I'm not surprised. Right, let's go to you, Wendy, before right, so we're going to get those stencils. To we're going to get those stencils in first. So we're just going to do a very simple bell. And we're going to put the uh, starry sky from the, the one day special in there as well. So that's the very first one. So what we've done, we have stuck our stencil to the top of this uh, card. And then I'm going to use uh, some wax paper because we want to emboss this. Uh, again, you don't have to do this. I've already oh. part done this just to speed it up. But if you rub the wax paper, it just helps your ball tool glide over the top of it. I've never so it makes that it done. a lot easier. And then you just take your largest ball tool that you've got and you're basically just pushing the cardstock into that stencil. So just all the way around. Now on here you've got the um, the, the bow as well. Yeah. So because that'll take a bit longer, I've just sort of skipped that out. So it just, again, shows that you can actually just pinpoint areas if you want to. You don't have to have the whole stencil. It's entirely up to you. So large ball, ball tool first, followed by a smaller one. Now, what this also does is lock the cardstock into the stencil. Ah. So it makes it a lot less likely that you're going to sort of seep underneath right. with your inks as well. So the first thing we're going to do is stamp our little scene at the bottom. So I want this to be uh, quite pale. So I'm going to use the, the VersaClo, which they were using earlier on this morning. Well, quite frankly, that show in this show that you're a perfect partnership, aren't you? <laughs> it's working That's well, what I was saying. She's saying, oh, these are all, you know, fantastic for cardio. Yeah, well, this is a really, I mean, it's quite, it is quite new to me, but I do really, really like them because they're a bit juicier yeah. as well. So rather than always using the archival, this is just a little bit wetter and makes life a little bit easier. Um, so what we're going to do is stamp this right at the bottom of the card here. And then we're going to mask this out. So if we don't go all the way to the edge, what I'm going to do is use oh. a little bit more of the scene from the Peaceful Panorama. And we're yeah. just going to join it on. OK. Oh, right. So I'll link a bit of this up. And I'm going to just join that on to the end here. Just a, a little tip, just make sure that you've actually masked out the edge of your card. Because the amount of times I sort of stamp off the edge and then end up sort of picking up ink on the edge of the card so just a little word of uh, yeah warning there so we've done that so what i've already done is cut out some little masks so we need to because we don't this is a snowy hill we want to sort of cover this up completely so what we're going to do is just mask out this area underneath here i'm not too bothered if we get ink over the top of the rest of it so we've already pre-done this as you can see so yeah. we're just going to pop that over the top just like that. And then it leaves us free then to ink over the top of it without having to worry about getting anything on this one here. So we're going to add in some colour. So I'm going to use some of the oxides. So again, this is where actually locking that 
cardstock in place in your stencil really does help. Mm. You watch it seep under now. No. It is early into well, it. masking sheets on yesterday. I don't know if you've got your own, have you, Wendy? Or What's that, sorry? masking sheets. Have you got your own? Or? Uh, no, masking sheets would be good for this as well, if yeah. you want to use well, masking sheets. I was sheets. Some yesterday with um, Hazel and Pink Frog, so I know they've, they're on the website there if you want to get some Yeah, they're, sheets. they're handy as well, aren't they? I should I'm mention. Thought, I'm a bit of a cheapskate. I just use no, <laughs> no, a bit of paper. You're thrifty. No, you're thrifty. <laughs> I've limited on the stencils. So this beautiful bell, this lovely wreath, the majestic stencils there. You're getting the ivy crescent, the chime, the mistletoe wreath, and the candle there. We are limited, 14.99. That's limited on the extended, isn't it? Just to remind myself. Oof. A lot to keep in your head this time. It is a lot. Day. It was a, there was a lot of product to actually uh, get through as well yesterday. Well, so and it does... what the, yeah, but it's what, what you bring us is so utterly, utterly gorgeous. Oh, why, thank you. Um, so, uh, quite simply, just have to have it. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. Just do it. Don't even think about it because you won't regret it. So, we're just popping this colour on. Mm -hmm. Which colour is that then? Which one this is, like is This is chip sapphire. Chip sapphire. Mm. You know what? I'm just hoping that I have masked this out properly on the edges here. <laughs> we'll just have to ignore any little. Uh, any little blips, I think it's okay. So now I'm going to put a little bit of blueprint sketch over the top of this. Now normally I would probably do a little bit of the water technique, flicking it with the water, okay. but for speed and because we've got the stencil on, I'm not going to do that. But we will be showing that technique later on in a minute anyway. Okay. Okay. Now the thing about the oxides is I find if you stamp over them straight away, uh, it can be a little bit too wet to stamp over the top of. Right. So because we're not drying this, because it's got the stencil on, and I can't have, we haven't got time to sort of leave it to wear dry. We're just going to straight go straight with it and just hope for the best with this. So because there's a lot of ink on this area here. Oh, you're using that one I was curious about, the, the ledge. Yes, so I'm going to do this nice and dark because obviously there's not a lot of space inside the little uh, bell here. Yeah. So we have to sort of choose our choose our stamps very carefully and then we're going to stamp off the edge but like I said I mean it could just be a little bit wet at the moment but we're going to go with it anyway so you might find as well you have to push a little bit harder because obviously you've got that plastic stencil yeah that you want to sort of you don't want a big gap between the stencil and the stamp on the edge no. there we go Ooh. so this is looking quite misty yeah. and then we're going to get get the you know why, don't you? Because I've used grey instead of black. Never mind. So let's ah. pop our little reindeer. Oh, I thought it was deliberate, there. as in, you know. You know what, actually, we'll go with that. Darker. Yeah. We'll go with that. So we'll stick with the, the grey for the, the reindeer. You've as used well. it here with his, with, with, his, yeah. with his squirrels. I'll show you. Uh, I don't know if Yeah, you, so that's you the darker that. version. There we go. And here we'll put the grey. So easy when they look the same. You just pick them, <laughs> pick them up, think you've got the right one. So let's put the little reindeer just at the top here. Okay, so he's in Aww. there. And then what we can do, we've got some little tiny vines and things. Now these are designed to sort of trail from the bottom. Yes. But what we could do is just have some sort of trailing from the top. So Aww. it is just a little bit slippy because we've got, like I said, quite wet ink underneath. So yeah. you do have to be a little bit careful at home, just dry it a little bit Yeah. before you actually go to stamp on it. So we've got some little trailers just there. And then what we can do is actually peel all of this off here now. So we should have some nice clean hills just underneath. So the only thing that we need to do is just sort of colour the bottom of this little stencil here. Mm -hmm. So usually you can pick up some of the ink that's already on there. Ah. So we don't want a lot. And we're just going to try just around the edges here just slightly. So that when we lift the mask off, you see the there's just a, yeah, there's yeah. just a we little bit of colour. We are limited on those stencils. Please don't miss out. 14.99 bottom of the screen. 197712, and that's limited on the extended stock. Dispatch 27. Okay, so with a bit of luck, we haven't actually. Yeah, I think we're all right. Let's have got mucky fingers. So there's our stencil. Beautiful. And then what we're going to do is just add some of the glitter and add our little bow. So if I put this on here which we've already got prepared. Uh -huh. So there's our little bow. Aww. And then we're just going to put some glitter on the bottom. So into all these little nooks and crannies here. So this as well, um, Laura's done this in green. Oh, yeah. Um, and then coloured the hills in green as well. So it looks like a sort of summer hill. Aww. So there's plenty of ways to sort of use these well, outside got, of Christmas. I've got two here again, just while you're glitterising. I'll show you. 
Um, we've got one here that's, uh, isn't that beautiful with a bow? And then this, so this is almost like a snow globe with our tree. And again, these are all from the one day special and the little fences in the back. And then again, how different is that again? How beautiful is that? Isn't that gorgeous? So with the, the sort of sepia tones, beautiful. All right, and there we go. So we've got a lot of glitter sort of stuck to the front of this at yeah. the moment because of the, the repositionable adhesive, but. Oh, fantastic. We're just coming in to get a shot there. There we are. Oh, Wendy. Absolutely stunning. Right, I'll uh, let you get ready for no the next problem. one. She's quick. She, she, she wants to get four in this morning. Uh, <laughs> we're, she's bionic. we're half of the extended gone now, so of the one day special. Um, so please, please, please don't miss out. Let's have a quick reminder of what you're getting. 65 beautiful stamps that can create vistas such as this. So uh, I'm going to stand out of the way so Hugh can get my panoramic shot of all these stunning samples. You, samples. You've got the reindeer, you've got the squirrels, you've got the little hoof prints, you've got the Christmas trees, you've got the ducks, uh, you've got um, the, the landscape, the fences, um, the little mice, the birds. The, I mean, the, the list just goes on and on and on. 65 amazing stamps. Uh, we'll bring you those white woods there that you can see in the background. They're a separate stamp for 9 99 You might want to add those to your order because a lot of the extended had gone of that as well. Um, but just to give you some inspiration for the stunning creations, yeah, of the stamps that you can make. They are beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Um, £39.95. You've got a six pound saving. We can split that over two flexi by payments. And don't forget, if you're adding stencils at the bottom of the screen to them, if you're adding the white woods, if you're adding the majestic fir cones and poinsettias, you know, you still can split that over two flexi by payments. So the one day special is 19 pounds 98 in September and October, but you can split the cost if you're adding to that order again over the two months. Um, let's have a look, look at those uh, stencils because they're very, very limited. I'm literally talking a handful now remaining. Um, there, that was the bell that our lovely um, Wendy was using. And you've got the Christmas wreath, you've got the candle, and you've got um, the chime and the mistletoes, yes. Uh, Ivy Crescent, sorry, I should say. 197712, very, very limited. Please don't miss out. Don't forget to check out your baskets. 14 99 for those as well. Right. right, is so, now a good time to come back to you? Yes, Andy? yeah, all I'm doing is just starting off. So okay. we'll call, what we're going to do is this one here. Oh, people are asking about this, one. Yeah, they? this was being asked about yesterday. So I'm just going to go through how, the, how we do this one here. Um, so so all I'm doing at the moment is just colouring uh, yeah. the background for this. So I thought because it takes a few minutes, I thought I'd get crack on with this. And you've used your white woods in that, haven't yes. you? And have you used the little majestics on that? Um, is that, is that, I've, I've only used one. Uh, the, branch the branch from the yeah, uh, yeah from that set, one yeah. over the top, which hopefully if we've got time, we're going to emboss in yeah. white over the top. That tattered point. So it's I'm quite just flagging it up for people in advance. Yeah. The one added to the so there's quite a lot going on in this card. So I'm just quickly. Covering this one completely. Which colour are you using? Is that still the this chip sapphire? This is, or? yeah, the chip sapphire. It's Ooh, a it's lovely sort colour, of nighttime scene. Now, you can either, with this, leave sort of a white patch for snow in the middle. But what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a water brush and we're just going to take some of the colour off. Yeah. So if you just excuse me while I sort no, this. No, no, not at all. You carry just on. Just colour this in so we get a nice sort of deep background. And then we decide whereabouts we want our little scene to go. So they do blend absolutely beautifully and this colour is oh. just absolutely stunning for sort of a really nice nighttime scene. And what I've done as well, because your fingers will react with the um, ink, I've actually just used a little piece, I've put a little, little bit of removable adhesive on top of this piece of card. And I'm just using this to keep my fingers off the, the actual cardstock so I don't leave any sort of marks on there. So that's quite a nice helpful little tip. So when we've done this, we're going to add another colour over the top. So this is completely covered now. But like I said, you could leave a little white space for the snow if you want to, but we're going to sort of take some of the colour out with a, with a bit of water. And we have actually got some that are already pre-done, so we can sort of move on from this bit. So I can show you all the techniques in between. Okay. So that's our covered card. So I'm just going to use a little bit of blueprint sketch just around the very edges. So 
So just, this just adds another dimension to this. And again, you want to sort of allow this to dry before you really do any stamping over the top. Um, we're very limited on the stencils, just to highlight that. So please don't miss out. First come, first served on the next few. Um, don't want you to miss out at the bottom of the screen. They're fourteen ninety nine, and uh, you are getting all four there. And this is on the extended stock. Um, one nine seven seven one two. You've got that lovely, lovely holly wreath there. Isn't that beautiful? Just a gorgeous, gorgeous stencil. You've got the stunning candle there. That you see there, that you've got the beautiful bell, and finally you've got the lovely Christmas wreath there. One nine seven seven one two. Please don't miss out. Next few, literally a handful now of those. So what I want is a nice little piece of ground in here. So I'm just adding a little bit of water. And then what we're going to do is just block that off. So it's giving us a little bit of grounding for where our little reindeers are going to go. Oh. So we just keep doing this until we've got the right amount. And again, this doesn't have to be bright white, but you just want somewhere to ground those little reindeers. Oh. So you can see how we're getting this ground in here. Yeah. So they react beautifully with water. So let's just do a little bit more. So this one's a little bit more involved for me. There's quite a lot going on in this one. But they are just absolutely beautiful. Especially the dark colours, because you really get that sort of difference in the, in the colour, from yeah. the light to the dark. Beautiful. And again, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Don't worry about getting this completely white. You just really want the highlight. Wendy, I'm just going to pause one second because the stencils now, the extended stock is now sold out. So congratulations if you've got those. If any bounce back, I will, of course, inform everybody, but they have now sent out, sold out. So if you've got your basket, please check it out because that's it. That's the extended stock gone. Can't bring you extended, extended. So um, well done. Uh, 197, 712, 14.99. Right, let's go straight back to Wendy. No problem. So we're going to add a little bit of texture to this as well. So we have got one that's pre-done, so we're not going to have to wait for everything to dry. Now, the only thing I will say, if you put the Distress Oxide on and then you leave it to dry for any prolonged period of time, it doesn't take the colour out quite as well, I found. But it's not the end of the world, it doesn't matter. Right. So it may just take you a little bit longer just to lift the colour out. So we've gone all over there with our water, and then all we would do is, like you saw me do yesterday, just roll this over the top, so you want to leave it for a second or two and then roll this over the top and pick up that wet ink that's sat on the surface and that gives you oh, so that beautiful sort of so nighttime good. texture. Yeah. So this one is a similar version that we've done but I've added a little bit of yellow in this one. So what we're going to do is add our little reindeers in here. So I'm going to pop this one in. And this time I'm going to make sure I pick the black up. Oops. <laughs> and we're going to pop this right in the middle. So maybe we'll put a little goose in there as well. We'll just see how we, how we get on. So you want this to be nice and dark. And then with the trees, we'll go back to the paler right. colour. So we're going to pop him right in the middle, so right on this ground. Mm. Now you'll see as well on those samples that the trees sort of disappear. Yes. So what we're going to do is take off the hard the edges. Trees. Yeah. The, yeah the so you can use them as a whole if you want stuff. to. Yeah. But in this card, what we've done is we want to make them look like they're sort of disappearing into oh. into the mist. So yes, there's like our gorgeous those. little reindeer. Yeah. And then we're going to use the two open mm. trees. So I'm not using the solid one for this, just the two open ones. So what I'm going to do is take the paler one. So we're using the grey. And I know I don't want the whole tree. So I'm just going to ink that up. And then what we'll do is just take away some of the ink. So we've got a nice sort of soft effect on here. And then we're just going to stamp that over the top. So you're not going to see this, re it's not going to be jet black. Can you see it's quite soft? Yes. But that's what we really want. And it's just disappearing into that ground. Yes, yeah, so we've got the sort of the outward ones that look like the barky texture. Yeah, and we'll more put solid some, ones. Yeah, we'll put some more in the front. Loads of the branches, little fronds. But just sort of take, can I use your finger? I'm, I'm quite messy, so I just use my finger. And then what we're going to do is just carry on working around. So you want some 
drops that are very, very pale and in the distance. And the nice thing about this is, if you've got a water brush or a fine paint brush, you can actually uh, just paint some branches in as well oh, with water and then yes. take that colour off. Oh. So these are sort of the sort of things we used to do when we had the older distress, oh, the distress inks. You know, not the oxides, but the older ones. Yeah. So, so these gonna... are nine ninety nine. The white woods. Eighty percent of the extended stock has gone. Nine ninety nine. Uh, the stamp, stamps that Wendy is using right now, 070304, and I am a little bit obsessed, so I'm going to have to ask Wendy afterwards, because I don't want to keep interrupting her demonstration, but how okay? did Laura... I mean, the, the, uh, there's no outline on the reindeer. I, I just don't. It's stunning, understand. isn't it? How did I, don't, she do I, that? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask her. You're going to have to ask yeah. her for me before we meet we'll again. We'll find out. Because it's just. I mean, the, the one next to She's it, a it's very just clever beautiful. lady. What can I say? She is very good. There's, there's these wee duckies here. You see, that's using the same stamps as well, isn't it? Beautiful. It just works so beautifully with the one day special. I wouldn't want you to miss out. So, 80% of the extended now gone, everybody. Okay, so I'm just going to swap to another tree. And again, we're still taking off those um, harsh edges because we don't want yeah. any really sort of sharp right. bottoms. So it's starting to look like they're actually disappearing now into that <laughs> into that ground. So we're going to bring a few the... forward. Ah, little branches. And then over the top of this, we can go over with the black. So this just take a bit longer because there's a lot of stages to it. Yeah. But yeah. actually, I think it's worth it in the end. You get a really lovely. And you can see the more you do, the less it matters what you've actually got in the middle as far as the colouring is concerned. It doesn't really matter whether it's blue, whether it's white, whether it's yellow. As long as it's sort of brighter, you're still going to get that lovely sort of effect. So don't be afraid to keep stamping like that. So we've yeah, got quite a lot of that. I'm just going to do a little bit behind the reindeer as well there. Yeah. So just a little bit more oh. and then we can start to take some colour out of these branches. So again the same way that we did with some of the others we're just going to go over the top of this now. So we've got a few trees in the background. So we could because with those trees as well you've got those little tiny branches but all we're going to do we're just going to miss those out because we can use our water brush. So I'm just going to make sure all we do is just take out some of this and again don't have to, you don't have to be too precise about this don't worry too much so I'm just gonna do a few at a time mm -hmm. and then we're gonna take some of this color away and what we should end up with is some paler trees in the background we are now limited on the white woods thank you for heeding my advice because I just know you if you're like me you'd have to have that with this set of stamps quite frankly seeing what Wendy's creating so we are limited please check out your baskets um, if it, especially if you're creating a flexi order there with, with the one day special, you know, and you want to spread that cost. 070304, the next few uh, that come in now can still obtain those white woods. That's the extended, so again, it's not something I can bring you, you know. Okay. I'm just going to take off some of that colour, and you'll see those trees just starting to stand out now. But like I said, the longer you sort of leave it, I think it takes a little bit longer to get that colour out. So we're just going back over. So we've got this lovely, it's really, really subtle, but very, very pretty. And again, can you see I'm not actually being too careful. I'm just gonna go over the top like that. And again, take a little bit more of this off. Now, hopefully the edges of this are not too wet. So what we're gonna do now is start to build and layer on top of it. So we're just gonna add some of the little branches and things. So let's just take the white, sorry, the, the branch from the um, tattered poinsettia. And we're gonna go in with the black on here. Oh, we'll bring these in. You see, this is the, this is the branchy one. And this is very, white, very yeah, pretty. This is lovely. And you've got the fir cones. You've got obviously the little poinsettias, the leaves. Um, this, this is just so beautiful. And then the matching, the fur cones with a little bow and the, and the little fronds. I've I seen you've used on lots of different cards as well. So that Yeah, is it's, they're just so, so usable. Pretty. You can sort of bring them in on everything. So on top of this, I mean, you could put some white branches as well and just emboss those. So we might just do a couple on the other side so you can actually see uh, the difference with those. They're a cracking little set there, 11 .99, 14 stamps. I've seen you do the beautiful, uh, I've got it here as well, um, uh, Wendy, you've done the, uh, the lovely, um, just wreath out of those, haven't you? I remember you yeah. did that too. Yeah, just really, um, really simple, but really, lovely. really effective. If you're starting off, it's absolutely fantastic to use. And that's if you were lucky enough to get the stencil, you see, it just it accentuates and embellishes further. It's beautiful. 
952972. Thank you, Wendy. So we're just going to add some white over the top. I'm going to emboss in a little bit of white. If I thought I'd have done the white first before the black, but so we didn't get any dirty edges. But we're just going to put a few of these on. And then we're going to emboss this side in white. Mainly, I would have done all of them all over, but we're just going to show you the difference between the white and the black there, how nice the white looks on mm. top. So what we're going to do is take some of the embossing powder and we're just going to emboss those white areas. I'm sure I'll use that side. So let's get this. And we're just going to sort of... No, it might be a bit wet because it's going to sort of stick to everything. But it's more of a speed thing, isn't it? We just want to make sure that we've got this done quite oh. quickly. So it's actually picked up some of the trees as well, but not to worry, because actually it'll just give them a sort of nice white edge. Yeah, yeah, and you did say you probably would have left Yeah, well, actually earlier. I'll be going over that with a white pen anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There's also sort of a little star set in the starry sky as well, oh. so if you wanted to emboss little white stars in the background, you could do that, which would be absolutely beautiful. And the starry well. sky being one of the... Um one yeah, one of the one yeah, special, yeah, one yeah. of the one day specials. Beautiful. Uh, I'll show everybody this one as well. You know, I'm obsessed with all your lovely samples because that's the white woods with the duckies out of the one day special. And you've done what you're saying now that yeah, have gone over the white pen now. Uh, yeah, that's. I'm going to do that at the end of this one as well. So we'll just pull out, just giving the the trees a little bit of time to dry. Am I right in thinking once those white woods and extended have gone, they've gone? You know? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Sure, what's your lovely husband called? Martin. Martin. I'm pretty yeah. Sure what he said to me this morning, Martin, if you're watching, you didn't tell me different, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure once this extended stop is gone, that's it. So please get in there quick. Don't, don't risk it. Zero seven zero three zero four nine ninety nine for the white woods. So we're just going to go over this now. And then we've got these lovely bright white. And mm. while this is hot, actually, it's really, really nice to throw some glitter on there as well. <laughs> you can have enough sparkle. Oh, we've got a bit of everything on here, haven't we? <laughs> so like I said, because we've, we've sort of been quite quick with this, it sort of picked up some of the trees, but actually it doesn't really matter. So while it's warm, uh -huh. we'll just pop some glitter on. Oh, lovely. And then that should stay in place. And then it's just really a case of popping a little bit of the white highlight on the top. So if you just take your white pen, yeah. the edges of these trees, we can just literally colour in and it will just bring those trees right out, gives them a little bit of sort of where the light is hitting. We have actually now sold out of the white wood stamps. Thank you for heeding our, our advice. Uh, please check out your baskets there. If any bounce back, of course, I will let everybody know, but uh, the extended stock on the 27th now, that has sold out. Um, back to the one day special, yeah. So and just, we're just drawing in yeah. some extra branches as well there. Ah. So just with the white. And again, they don't have to be perfect. I'm just sort of taking some of this off because some of this is just a little bit still wet. So I love the way as well your stamps, you know, with previous stamps, they all fit in together. Yeah. That's the beauty, isn't it? You can create so Definitely. many different stories. And so like once you've, because I've got what we've got here, but once I get them home, you can start then mixing them in with all the other things that we've actually got as well. So it is lovely. You've got a complete collection. And like I said, every time we bring new stamps out, we always sort of try and size them up to stamps that we've already got. So let's get a little bit of glitter on these trees as well. Oh, it really lifts it, doesn't it? It does, that, that yeah. Pen, yeah. Just a, like a little bit of light coming through, isn't it? There we go. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that, the glitter. Oh, you see, you got to love a bit of glitter. Absolutely Gives it a stunning. Bit of sparkle. Oh, beautiful. Right, I'll have a quick recap, let you get ready no for another problem. one. Wow, over half the stock of the extended one-day special now has gone. Don't forget it sold out last night. We're back. So we've had so many sellouts, to, to be honest. We have the stencils this morning. Um, we've had the white woods. Don't forget those lovely skaters. That I can see the same thing happening there, so please don't miss out on those. Um, the beautiful one-day special, 65 stamps. We'll just recap there for you. You've got the lovely landscape, the trees, Christmas trees, the deer, the ducks. Um, the, the, the edge there, the cliff edge there, the, the squirrels, 
the deer paw marks, the paw marks, the hoof marks, sorry, uh, the cats, the mice, little flowers, fronds, um, deer sitting down, deer standing up, ducks waddling, uh, Christmas trees that you can light from behind. Uh, I mean, the list just goes on. It's utterly, utterly adorable. Bows and mistletoes and oh, just gorgeous. I'm going to show you this. I'm starting to recognise Laura. Laura works with our Wendy now. She can't have to fit it all in. God love her. Um, I'm starting to recognise Laura's work. Um, this is one. I mean, how beautiful is that? Yeah, that could be autumnal, couldn't it? These are just stunning. And then back to our lovely Wendy again. Look at that. You see, you can create. They are all, and there's with the white woods. Look how different they are as well. How different they all can be. If you were lucky enough to get the, uh, the Christmas wreath one there as well. And if you're lucky enough to get that stencil last night, you can create the little squares. Just beautiful. I love that. Absolutely love that. So, 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 so pretty. So uh, well done to you. Please don't miss out because it is very, very popular. Look at this, this doggy. He, you've embossed the jacket there on him. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it just brings me it's utter, lovely, isn't it? Is it? It yeah. just brings me utter, utter joy. And it will bring you utter joy. £39.95, two flexi by payments as well. 361595. Let's bring you that uh, festive fun. And I'm going, oh, nearly 80% of the extended stock has now gone on the, uh, the festive fun. That's our skaters, isn't it? Sorry, I'm getting with the programme, everybody. Where are we going? Down here. That's it. We're here, Hugh. We're here, darling. Um, there we go. I, I'm, a, I'm a massive, massive fan of, of the skaters. Love, love, love the skaters. Um, just, oh, they're just, they're just brilliant. So much in there. But just, there we go. There they are. And... Um, yeah, oh, that's another one of Laura's there. Oh, when, well, well when, Wendy's amazing anyway. Um, oh, I'm trying to find some more, some more lovely skaters. Where's the, some more skaters? Have oh, we got some skaters on the background here? I'm trying to find some more skaters for you so I can show you some more. There's, there's, oh, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, the door, there we go. There's another one for you there. 28 stamps. And I love it when uh, we get that lovely shadow on the, on the floor as well um don't miss out on those please i know they're very popular 999-936-893 let's bring you the majestics and the tattered uh, poinsettia and uh, the lovely fur cones currently on immediate dispatch but already over 80 percent of the stock has gone there um that's as you can see i just showed you that card actually but you can see that has been done with the said fur cones out of this out of this collection unit you see yeah with the crescent um beautiful so you've got that uh, lovely little leaf fronds there that uh, wendy was just using you've got the poinsettia you've got the leaves you've got the fir cone you've got the bow just really really useful in terms of building up um your images I and mean, look at that isn't that gorgeous just gorgeous really really beautiful so yeah please don't miss out please don't miss out stunning and um, that is 11.99952972. Right, let's bring you those lovely rods that uh, Wendy uses on on a still there for you. Gorgeous. There we go. We got all four of those, and they are 12.99781058. Why do you like your rods then, uh, Wendy? It just makes the stamping, especially with the small stamps. It one, you don't have to have lots and lots of blocks, and it means you can rotate them really easily in your hands while you work. So it really yeah. speeds up the process. Absolutely, you've got the different sizes there, and the double ended, of course. Don't forget, so. You have one on one end and then especially yeah. the little uh, poinsettias or... Yeah, definitely. I or... always put one on each side yeah. of mine. Beautiful. So we've got the different... And then you've got a little short stubby one as well. Um, so you've got the four different sizes there. 12 dollars 781058 Lovely. Right. Back to our Wendy. Okay, doke. So we're going to do the little candle. Um, so what we've done... Um, so we're going to do something similar to this. This is one we did yesterday. So we had sort of the little um, candle that's blowing. Because if you notice on that candle sensor, you've got two or three different flames. And one of them is sort of blowing over uh -huh. to one side, which is really, really pretty. So uh, this is one we did yesterday. But this time I'm going to put a little scene inside. And I'm going to take it into the centre of the card rather than on the outside. So I've started off and I've put the mask over the top. And then we've just popped back. We want to emboss this wax afterwards. But I do need some colour underneath it. So I've popped the wax strips back into the stencil and just put a little bit of colour underneath and then what we can do is just 
uh, take this off and then we can pop the other piece back so then we can emboss the top part of this wax. So this will just go in and cover up what we've just done. And I'm just going to remove some of that adhesive that's just sort of stuck underneath there. And then we can turn this over and we can just emboss that wax. So I'm just going to take my wax paper again mm -hmm. and then we're just going to sort of rub over the top until I can see where my wax is and then we're going to emboss this so that when we take this away we'll have a lovely raised embossed area where this wax is dripping so it's really going to look quite realistic. So let's take our embossing tools and again start with your biggest one and we're just going to go over the top and just emboss our wax. So start with your biggest one and then we're just going to go over with the small one when we've done that. So you should be able to see roughly where your wax strips are, like that. And then we're going to take our small one and just go over the top of that. So really reinforce those lines that we've just done. And then when we take this off at the front, we'll have this lovely embossed waxy area at the top. Okay, so if I turn that back, we can then take this bottom bit off here. And there we've got our lovely little wax strips there, like that. So now we can focus on the bottom half here. So what I'm going to do is just mask out this, because we're not going to use this bit, which is what I love. You can pick and choose what you use here as well. So what I'm going to do is just bring the lines down here. So we're just going to emboss those lines back in. These stencils have sold out, but we are still using elements of the ones that right, yeah. so just to highlight it to everybody. We're not trying to tease you. Well done if you got them, because now you get more inspiration. <laughs> one day special on the screen there uh, for the one day special 361595. Two flexible by Fence 19 pounds 98. 65 glorious stamps. Okay, so we've got all of this masked out. Mm -hmm. And this is just so, because I am quite messy, so I want to make sure that when I stamp, I'm not going to get anything on these open edges here yeah. that are still open. So then we can take our little scene which we used earlier, and we're just going to sort of stamp this over the top. So we're going to put our little sheep in here as well. Ah, thank you. It's so cute. <laughs> it wasn't well, just me, it is actually no, in the plan. No, the sheep are, <laughs> sheep are really, really cute. They're so cute. So we've changed this design slightly from yesterday, ah. and we're actually going to use some of the Majestics in here, so you'll oh, get lovely. to see. Oh, I'm very fond of those, yeah. So we'll pop that about there. And again, just make sure you might have to push that a little bit harder just to get the mm -hmm. edges. With this anyway, it wouldn't matter. If you miss a bit, you can just literally colour this in with your fine liner. So don't worry too much about it. Okay, so there's our little scene. So actually, it's gone right to the edges. It doesn't yeah. really matter. We don't need to worry. So let's find the little sheep. Ah. And let's have... They do me as well. I always said if I had a bigger garden, I would definitely buy myself a couple of sheep. <laughs> definitely. So let's pop in this little bit of the fence. So again, these are the ones that we said we could use for summer as well if we wanted to. Yeah. So we're just going to sort of take it about here. Yeah, it could be a lovely bright summer oh, meadow. Oh yeah, with it could easily be green or yellow. Yeah. So come springtime, we're going to be using these quite a lot. Well, yeah, your lamb is perfect, your sheep, yeah. So let's get our little sheep in, just in the background here, like that. So he's just by our little fence. And he's so tiny, but so cute. You can it's see all the, the little best. bits of fur. He's really, really cute. So we can mask this out now, and we can add a little bit more colour. So let's just pop that about there. And then we'll go on and add some more of the yellow and red that we started at the top. I think we're about 10 minutes. Uh, no problem. Season. We've just got the little flame to do after this. So a little bit of yellow. So we're just going over that, that hillside there. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to avoid that wax area. You could actually mask it back out and cover it up if you want to, but yeah. we can sort of do this quite easily without going over the top. And then a little bit of the red. So it just gives a lovely little look of a sunset in the background there. And then we can take this off. Okay, Yay. so that gives us our gorgeous little Aww. shape. Now I'm going to peel all this off out of the way, and then we're going to do this candle uh, flame at the top. Are you doing it like this one then? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a straight version of this. Mm -hmm. So all we have to do is sort of move that into position now. So we're just getting rid of all these extra pieces. And then I'm going to take this off for a second. 
while we put our colour in for our flame. So again, a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red, and I'm going to do this before we put our wick in, because otherwise if you do it the other way around, what you yeah. end up with is sort of a blurry wick. So we're just going to go over the top. So don't be worried about getting this on the wax, because actually if the candle was glowing, you'd see the colour of the, yes, the flame reflect on reflected the wax, on, the, on the yeah. wax. So you don't really need to worry. You'll have to excuse my messy fingers. Okay, so there's our, well, this is where our flame's going to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just give my hands a little wipe. Usually if you're quick and you've got an eraser, you can actually rub this up. I seem to have lost mine somewhere along oh. the way. <laughs> so let's just put our little candle wick in here. So just a little fine line or anything you've got that's black, it doesn't really matter too much. And then we can put our stencil back over the top here. So we're just going to roughly line that up mm -hmm. like that. And then we're going to turn that over yeah. and we're just going to emboss that again. So I'm just going to use my wax paper again. Yeah. Just get into that little gap where that flame is. And then we're just going to emboss this. So I'm going to go straight in with a smaller one, just for speed. So you could put like a glossy accent on it. Or, Definitely, you know, yeah. Highlight it further, couldn't you? So there's our little flame in place there. And then what we're going to do is just use uh, some of the little uh, sense, uh, the little stamps to go underneath. So we want our little branch stamp, which is oh, like, oh, there we are. So we'll use that. Oh, and we're just going to put some little flowers and things at the bottom. Just let me yeah. peel this tape off actually first. Get rid of that. That's the one out of the, uh, the pine cones. And yes. So this is the, the duo set. Yeah. yeah. So we're just going to over this. Maybe. And then we're just going to put a little arrangement just at the bottom here. These, um, I mean, they're just such a favourite of mine. These are now limited as well. And that's for the immediate dispatch. So much to remember, isn't it? Uh, but for the immediate dispatch, these are now limited. 952-972-1199. They're well worth it. They're super duper 14 stamps. So we've just wiped off some of that white because I can't see a thing through there. <laughs> and we're just going to sort of fill in. That little gap here like so and then we can start to add in our other little bits and pieces so I'm just going to pick up a mixture of different ones here yeah. so let's use a couple of the little fur cones Enjoy. rods rods are in place everybody oh yeah I actually couldn't imagine stamping the, the little stamps without these now actually it just makes life so much easier and then we're just adding in so we're doing sort of a little floral arrangement at the mm. bottom here and we're just sort of going over the bottom so it looks like you've got a little candle with a lovely little floral arrangement at the bottom. <laughs> Let's do a couple of little flowers here as well, if I can find any. Let's have a look what we've got. Some little berries. So we're just sort of mixing up all those little yeah. Majestics and the Holly Berry set they're in here a, as well. They're, they're such a good set of stamps. Okay, and then all we have to do now is just to put our glossy accents on the top of this flame. Oh, lovely. And we're going to put some glitter on as well. So oh, let's course, do this glitter yeah. first. So we'll pull out the little dripping wax. Otherwise, you'll get the uh, the glossy Ooh. accent flame will be. Breaking news, Wendy. We've had two bounce back on the stencils. So if you're loving this candle stencil, it comes with a Christmas wreath. It comes with a mistletoe and uh, uh, the ivy crescent. So there's two, literally a couple just bounce back. First come, first serve, $14.99. Breaking news, one nine seven seven one two. So if you missed out... This is what happens, you see, so I always say I'll warn everybody, <laughs> if any if any bounce back, obviously. So, yeah, first come, first served. A couple just bounce back. Gone. Well done, you. They are listening. They're, they're on fire this morning, aren't they? They're just listening. They are, this is yeah. brilliant. Thank you. So we've just put some glitter on there. We're going to do that first. And then we're going to put our glossy accents on them for our snow. We've got five flame, sorry. Oh, we're fine. She's been doing her three demos in that time. <laughs> Just like a little bit longer than normal, doesn't it, with the stencils and things. Okay, so once we've done that, it's just going over the flame. And I've put some little bits of glitter around the edge of the flame as well, yeah. because it actually looks like, you know, when it sort of crackles? Yeah. And then we're just going to go over the top. Oh. Just like that. And then I think somewhere I've got a little greeting that we can just pop on. I'll have to be careful holding this one up. Let's have a look. Yeah, we have just there. So let's pop that Beautiful. just about there, 
like that. Stunning. There we go. 361595. Beautiful. Well done. Absolutely fabulous. We are talking about the one day special. Um, are you going to indulge me later with a skater reflection? Maybe? I will, yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it is the one day special. <laughs> I'm a rotter, aren't I? But that wasn't the plan for you. Um, we are talking about the fabulous one day special. At £39.95, you are getting 65 of these amazing stamps. And this is extended. Uh, 27th of uh, September dispatch. Almost 60% of the extended have gone. I'm rattling on about another festive fun. I'm rattling on about skaters here um, because I know they're popular as well. But uh, this is the extended 60% gone. So please, please, please don't miss out if you are loving Wendy's demonstrations. 361595. If you've got any questions for Wendy, then let us know on the, on the, on the Facebook or email us to studio at the craftstore.com are you are you poised for another or I, can, we... I could start another but we won't finish it I don't i'll have think. a quick look at the board yeah, no problem we'll, if there's any time we'll come back obviously, right, no worries. but we might as well have a look at all, all the hard work that you put in before you came darling so we've got the the ducks and there's more inspiration for you from uh, cardio as well here so um, there's that lovely lovely christmas tree that i love the idea that you said there about coloring from behind and just sort of been highlighted with some glossy accents there and the glitter beautiful our snowman, our ducks, our squirrels. So pretty, all the fronds and the leaves. See that blue one there with the message, it's just so pretty. It's the simplest card. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, the ducks are gorgeous, aren't they? It doesn't look like they're just having a natter in the background. Really, really beautiful. And of course, the, one of my big favourites being, of course, the sheep. Um, yeah, all there. Have a little look online because there's so many in there. 60, there they are, just having the right little natter. <laughs> I love them. Um, have a little look online as well for, for a closer detailed look at those gorgeous, gorgeous stamps. Yeah, right. I'll show you some more of these lovely. I think we're just going to look at some of the more finished samples. That's, That's fine. Right, yeah. I think you work I've just realised anyway, the next one was the trees and we've already sold out of that. Yeah. So Why it has gone. Why has gone. She'll, she'll have to do what I say now with the skaters, <laughs> won't she? Uh, <laughs> I am obsessed because I love them from the last time you were with me. Uh, look at these beautiful samples from yourself and Laura. Just incredible. So our snowman. What ones did you do last night then, if anybody wants to watch on Rewind, Wendy? Do you know, I can't remember. It feels like a blur. We did oh. uh, we did a lot of stencils. Yeah. Um, so we did the bells, we did the candle, uh, we did a wreath shape. So a lot of the scenery. We just did pretty much everything, really. Fab. So much fantastic. Well, we're down to the last 60 seconds. Uh, Wendy is back at 12. We haven't got an awful lot left. Uh, so please, please, please check out your baskets. And don't miss out because obviously you can still get that one day special in the meantime, in the interim. This is as cute as it's just, again, we were saying how some of the stamps didn't yeah. need for Christmas. No, it's just beautiful, the cutest, isn't it? It's isn't it? So make just like really lovely ditty cards. Absolutely stunning. Uh, Wendy, thank you so much thank as you. always for all your incredible hard work. Thanks so You're much. You're amazing. You're amazing. We love your stamps. We're loving the one day special. Thank you for watching. Um, plenty more still to see. Wendy will be back with us at 12. Um, so, yeah. See you then. Oh, yeah, we'll see you at 12, <laughs> my darling. Thank you so much. I seem to have lost the power of space. I just like love Wendy's stamps. That's all it is. Um, £39.95. Don't miss out and enjoy. And like I said, if you have any questions, Wendy, let us know. Plenty more still to see here on the craft store. I can see Catherine poised and ready with our lovely Emma. No, she's nodding at me. Yeah, Emma. Emma is ready. Let's see what's coming up. You are going to love crocheting with pineapple fibre arts. Then we've got the ink pads. I'm not even going to go there with that name. And then we've got dark room door. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town, and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique, because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers, we have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix, we have dyes and lots of other things coming to you soon. 
Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Dimple shows and have some fun. Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Craft Store channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it! You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, welcome back to the Craft Store. If you just found us actually this morning, welcome aboard. You're going to love it here, you certainly are. Now, what we're going to love also is this next hour, we've got a brand new guest. We're going to introduce it in a little while. I'm loving this already because it's all about crochet, but it's crochet with the difference. We've never seen anything like this here before. Let's say a very good morning and a big welcome to Emma. Hello. Good morning, Emma. Hello, thank How you for are having you? me. Yeah, all good, thank you. Uh, well, because you're new and you're new here with us today, the very first time you made an appearance yep. on the craft store, <laughs> we've got to ask you a little bit about yourself and where this all began. So I've crocheted for several years now um, and started with the mandala type thing um, and then discovered vintage doily patterns. And they're gorgeous patterns, yep. but you, you know, you don't have a white doily under your fruit bowl anymore, do you? Um, so I've been working with these patterns and adapting them to allow them to be enjoyed in a new way, um, in a colourful way, because I love colour and yarn and all these gorgeous soft colours we can work with. Um, and I like being able to buy nice yarn. So <laughs> we shall ask more about that because there's something very special about the yarn. We'll come back to that. Um, can I ask Emma as well? This has intrigued me. Where does the name come from? Okay, so a pineapple is this motif here. I see. That you see in a lot of vintage doily patterns and it's in my pattern on the hoops behind me. Um, so that's, that's a pineapple motif. Um, and I ran with it. And I'm known as the pineapple lady and I get messages on social media saying, I saw this pineapple and thought of you. Um, so the name has, has stuck. Um, oh, that is a brilliant name. And I can see now where it comes from. It was important to us, wasn't it? Let's have a look what we've got on offer, of course. Now, you did find some of these products before we even went live, which is really, really good. We're looking here at two different options. We've got Galadriel, is that how you Galadriel, pronounce it? Galadriel, yes. Galadriel. Oh, start off with a, a tongue twister. <laughs> now, we've got the Arch and t Crochet Kit here. Six inch and four inch are the size of the hoops. You do get the yarn, you get the ribbons, and of course, you're going to get the instructions as well. Now, I will talk about the yarn straight away, Emma, if I may, because these are no ordinary yarns. You said you wanted a, a supply of fantastic yarns, and this is what you've got. These are hand-dyed, I believe. Yeah, these are hand-dyed yarns, so I buy from small independent dyers. Um, I actually stopped in at the Rivenit studio in um, Wendenbeck, Wiedenbeck, just in Northamptonshire on the way down yesterday. Um, so these are hand-dyed in small batches, sometimes in studios, sometimes in people's garages or kitchens. Um, this, this one here is a blue-faced Leicester, um, but often they are merino and nylon blends. Um, Wonderful. Means I can support small businesses, other women and men working in their kitchens like I am. Um, and they are beautifully soft, and the joy of hand-dyed is I can 
get any colour I want. <laughs> Look at that, you can see a blend of colours. This first one that I've picked up there, absolutely stunning colour actually. That is my favourite, favourite colour there. Look at these, the blue, absolutely beautiful. This is the Peacock selection. You can see why it's been called Peacock. Look at the turquoise there. Beautiful yarns. Now, what's the, the size of the yarn? What sort of... Um... So this is, it's four-ply yarn. Okay. Um, sock yarn. I think the Americans call it fingering weight yarn. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's quite it is quite fine yarn, um, and you don't need very much of it for any of my any of my patterns or the smaller ones anyway. Um, it's it's little little tiny mini skeins that I wind around my dining chairs um, and twist up by hand, ready to go. Amazing. And can I just ask? From a beginner's point of view, or somebody that's quite new to crochet, could they achieve these? Yeah, the, the gin and tonic mandalas, so the, the two that you're seeing now, they're beginner's patterns. There's nothing outrageously complicated in it. Um, each round is different. In the, all my patterns come with a chart, so you can see how the stitches fit on top of each other. Um, working out how charts worked was a game changer for me as far as crochet goes, because you can you can just see how things go on top of each other um, and which stitch goes into which stitch lovely clear instructions there with those charts included of course 22.99 for the whole kit you're getting everything they need there including those hoops of course you could even hang these up and put feathers on and make them look yeah. like dream catchers yeah, couldn't you, you turn them into more dream catchers things if you wanted to what a lovely gift for someone as well if you're not treating yourself. 938108 is the item number if you go in here. So don't forget, you've got two different options. We've got Peacock, the one that we just looked at there. And we've also got uh, Galadriel as well. That one's actually in the lead. Beautiful colours once again. All hand-dyed yarns again. My Stunning colours. I pointed this one out when I came to the studio. I said, <laughs> the, you know, the, the yeah. blend that you've got here is just beautiful. I can see My why kind this of is colours. popular. <laughs> Stunning. You do get the hoops, of course, the six inch and the two two inch. Regardless of which option, it's the same ingredients in the box there. Sorry, six and four inch. What did I just say? Did I say two? I don't know where that came from. Nine three eight one zero eight. I have no idea where that came from. I knew what I was trying to say. Uh, let's move down because we have got another option for you as well. Now, if you are looking for a starter kit, but you want to use maybe your own yarns, then you can go for this next option. So, what are we getting here? We are still getting the patterns, of course, and we are getting the hoops, and we're getting the ribbon and some ribbon. Yeah. That's so right. when it comes to um, our yarns, could we use something a little bit thicker if we wanted to, or do we need to stick to the same sort of weight of yarn? You'd need to stick to the same sort of weight of yarn. Okay. Using a thicker yarn would mean that your final piece was, was substantially bigger and therefore might not fit in, in the hoops that I've supplied in the kit. Okay. Um, so you would really need to stick to, to stock weight of four-ply yarn. Lovely. Um, but it is only 13 metres of each of the five colours, so it's, it's really small amounts, perfect for finishing off the odds and ends oh, of the so project. if you knit as well perhaps maybe mm. you've been knitting i don't know baby clothes or something that's often used uh, using the four ply yarn isn't it so of course you could use those we we end up with so many scraps of yarn don't we we end up with those little balls at the end and we don't know what to do with them so if you want to go for this kit you can make use of those scraps 13.99 is the price here 005859 don't forget you are getting your patterns as well Almost a quarter of the stock this particular kit has already gone. What a great price that is. 005859, remember, if you want to go for the starter kit. Now, something else that everybody loves at the moment, of course, <laughs> the rainbow, because, well, we know why, don't we? But just the bright colours as well. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely beautiful. And we can offer this kit for you. Now, that looks very different in design, Emma, to the previous ones that we saw. Yeah. And I presume this is what you like to do. You like to sort of create brand new designs for yeah. different kits. So you keep the methods going and changing using different stitches. Is exactly. that how it works? Yes. Yeah. So this kit includes um, a stitch with a right mouthful of a name. It's called a front post double treble crochet, um, which is a really long name for a, a stitch that honestly isn't that difficult. But it gives that really nice raised effect. Ah, um, yes, of course. Which, which yeah. just, just gives a bit of depth to your pattern. And, and in this one, all the seven colours then all tie up really neatly in those that long row of front post double treble crochets <laughs> <laughs> another tongue twister but yeah honestly <laughs> it's not as difficult as it sounds is it uh, do you know it's a lovely kit isn't it i love the effect of the front post stitches because you do get that raised effect as you've pointed out the beautiful yarns there again all hand dyed i mean when you talk about rainbow these are true <laughs> rainbow colors aren't they 
$17.99 for this kit. You're getting the hoop included. This is a six inch hoop. You will get the ribbon. You've got to hang that up as well. Five four seven seven five nine. Another beauty, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Can't wait for demonstrations. <laughs> Moving down again. Oh, we've got two options on this one. This one drew my attention as well because you've got the flowers, haven't you? We've got the Fleur Mandala kit. Now, there's two options. The first one we're going to look at is cream. Absolutely beautiful. What sort of stitches are we using in this one then, Emma? Um, there are a basic range of crocheted stitches. There's mostly trebles, some half trebles and some double trebles um, and some double crochets. But it's it's the, the way the stitches are layered up and squeezed into those loops to make the petals curl. Beautiful. Again, a little bit of a 3D effect with the way the edges are raised slightly. Love it. Um, Absolutely gorgeous. And we do have another option because that was the cream. We've got the red for you as well. Do you know, that is quite, you could put that out at Christmas. It's not just for Christmas, but it, because of the colours. A little bit of a poinsettia yeah, thing. definitely. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful reds there being used. I love the different colours around the petals. So you can see the darker yeah. colour around the edge. $14.99, that's all it is for this particular bundle or kit because you've got those choices. You can go for one of each if you like. In the lead at the moment is the cream. <laughs> Jerry, I definitely I'd go for both of these and hang them together. 20% of the stock of the cream is gone, but let's see if that red does catch up. 10% of the red, so both busy. 14.99 is the price. 910337. Now another beauty coming up. Now there's something a little bit extra special about this one. <laughs> First thing, I've just spotted the pineapple in there as yeah. well. Now I know where the name came from. Indeed. This is a brand new design, not been seen before. No, this is my new release for the day. So it's launching today. Wow. So it's an exclusive to it's, us then? It's an exclusive to the craft store. <laughs> That, that's what we like to hear. And this <laughs> first day here, and she's given us an exclusive, and it is beautiful. The colour of the yarn is absolutely stunning. Twenty-four ninety-nine is going to get you the kit. This is an eight-inch hoop. You've got the yarn, of course. You've got the ribbon. You've got the full instructions. Isn't that stunning? Eight nine three five zero eight. I'm looking at that and thinking, I really want to do the pineapple stitch. I want <laughs> to know how to create those pineapples. If you want to do the same, this is one of those kits where you can do exactly that. That is beautiful. Oh, thank you for bringing us an exclusive. You're very, very kind of you. Made me get it finished. Yeah, <laughs> busy already. This is Martha, our Martha kit. I love the name. <laughs> All my hoops have uh, slightly old-fashioned lady names. It just keep, helps me keep track of them. I, I know love who's it. who. And it depends which part of the country you come from as to how it sounds. I'm from Yorkshire, so it's a bit more Martha than Martha. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's move down again because we've got a huge, huge hope for you now. Look at this. I'm just going to pick this up. 24 inches. Wow. This that is, is a statement piece, isn't it? I could hula hoop with that. It is a hula hoop. It is. I, I buy them from um, sports, <laughs> sports supply stores. Is that yes. an actual hula hoop? It is actually a wooden hula hoop. I thought yes. you were joking no. then. <laughs> it is literally a hula hoop. 60 I can hula hoop, diameter. you know. You never know, you might see a demonstration later. <laughs> that is fantastic. You've got the beautiful, beautiful instructions there. Now, the samples behind you, Emma, we'll yes. have a look at those in a little while. But if you want to create what you can see here, if you want to go for this particular kit, you can, of course, um, add in your own yarns. What a good price. And we've got Flexi on this as well. So if you're going for this one, you can split the cost. And also anything else that you put in your basket, you can also split the cost. That design is stunning. You can see the pineapple in there. Look at the centre. How many different stitches in this one, Emma? Again, a surprisingly few amount. Really? It, the, the complete... The, uh, sorry, get myself tongue-tied. Um, the complicated bit is, is following the pattern through. It's the pattern isn't complicated. The stitches aren't complicated. You just have to concentrate a little bit because every round is different. But there is a flow to it. You can see the leaves in the center get wider and then they get narrower again. So that so there is a sort of a flow to how the, the pattern grows. Um, but the stitches, you know, double, double crochet, treble crochet, halves, um, clusters, decreases and increases. Um, but really nothing dramatic. Um, again, fully charted, um, and I've done snippets so you can see a little bit at a time, make it nice and big so it's easy to follow. Um, Perfect. Lots and lots of pages this pattern as well. Yes. <laughs> 39.99 is the price. Don't use it as a hula hoop. Do create the pattern. <laughs> 
do do that. 333-415 is the item number there. Now, if you are loving the look of that and you're thinking, well, do you know, I'd love to create that, but... Do you know, I'm not sure about the yarn. I haven't got the appropriate yarn. That looks like it's going to need more. Then, of course, we can offer that as well. So the same hoop, the same pattern, but you do get the yarn included. And once again, this is absolutely beautiful, Emma. It is Emma. gorgeous, isn't it? So this is, like I say, just down, from, just down the road in Northamptonshire. It's uh, Blue Faced Leicester yarn from Rivenets. Um, it is gorgeous and soft and so my colour. You know, I'm wearing the matching necklace. Um, and just lovely to work with. It is very soft, isn't it? It's it gorgeous. Is. Because it's hand dyed as well, you get that variation of yes. colour running through, and yes. that just adds to the whole effect. Yeah. They're wow. all this, you know, they are very, all of the ones from the same batch will be very similar, but there are subtle, subtle variations which just add to the interest. Of course. Add to the depth of the piece. Love it. Absolutely love, love it. it. <laughs> there we are. So if you want to go for the full kit, you can certainly do so. 10% of the stock has gone. Item number is 220591. We must have flexi on that. Yes, we do. Of course we do. Two payments of £40. Now, if you go over to the website, you will find everything. I think there's something for absolutely everybody. We've got starter kits. We've got kits that are already complete with the yarn. So, of course, you can be going for those. Still as a beginner, we've got more advanced kits as well we've got the larger kits that we've just seen I want to show you and point out we've fallen in love with these if you look at end of call you can go for the crochet Christmas bauble now colors may vary but we can have a look at these they're absolutely fantastic and I think once you've got the technique again you'll find that your scraps of yarn can be used to be creating mm -hmm. no end of these I don't think these are just for Christmas either it says bauble but I would hang these as um, embellishments on bags and that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, I've as done well, them Emma. as garlands that are hanging from. Oh, that's from, a good um, idea. Look at that. Hang from mantelpieces and that sort of thing. My daughter's got one in various shades of pink in her room. Actually, Beautiful. my son's got a rainbow version as well. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Well, look out for those at end of call when you check your baskets out, of course. Now, let's get to Emma for demonstration <laughs> because when it comes to crochet, of course, the first thing we need to do is get started. Indeed. So all my patterns start from the centre and you work out. And I prefer to start with what's called a magic loop, a magic circle, because it just gives you more room to work. You could do a little chain and make it into a circle, but then you end up with a very small space that you're working in to get your hooks in, to get your stitches all in the same place. So I've got two here. So these are the starts for my gin and tonic mandalas. So this first centre round here, sorry, just get it in, there you go. Um, Lovely. And I've got two starting circles here. One I've done with a chain and put it into a circle. The other one is with a magic loop. And although I made them, I don't actually know which one is which, which just shows how smooth the magic loop can be. But it's a bit of, a, a bit of an odd one to start. So you would take your yarn and wrap it round... I just use two fingers just because that's what I'm used to. And you cross it over. Okay. And then with your crochet hook, we go under the first loop and over the second and pull it through. And do a little slip stitch to hold it. And now, can you see there, I've got a nice loop to work in. So rather than having to work into a tiny little chain circle, I've got some nice space which I can expand and then pull tight. Which okay. just... Make Emma, can I be easier. really, really pernickety and just, well, not pernickety, that's probably not the right <laughs> word, but I know from experience that the magic circle is not the easiest thing to follow and there's different techniques out there. You actually it work it in the same way as me. Can we do that again? Yeah, for of course those, we can. Because I know there's lots of people that still find it difficult and you did that beautifully, but I know <laughs> Watch that me be all to fingers repeat and thumbs it, this time. It, it always helps. Yeah. So, the way I do it is I would take the end of my yarn yeah. between my finger and thumb yeah. and then I would wrap it round two fingers and then cross it over the first line and then I hold it down with my ring finger. Lovely. Again, I do this a lot, yeah. so that's just how I find it easier to, to hold. Then with my crochet hook, I go under the first cross of yarn and over the second and grab it with my hook and pull it underneath. So I've got a loop on my hook now. Perfect. And then I do a slip, a slip stitch with the active end of my yarn. Yeah. Which just 
anchors, oh, split the arm there, which just anchors it so it won't unravel on your fingers. Lovely. Perfect. That and was very, very you've clear. you've got your loop to work into. Lovely. Fantastic stuff. So then from here with the start of the, the gin and tonic mandala, do a couple of chains and then a triple crochet. And that, that forms the, the basis of, that's my first um, treble two together. Okay. And then chain three and do it again. As you can see, I'm holding the loop. I hope you can see. I'm holding the loop open yeah. with my middle finger and thumb that's holding close to where I'm working. And then my ring finger is kind of holding the loop open. Okay. So that it's not going to, it's not moving unless I want it to move. Got you. Because I'm holding the, the little end in there so that it can't move. But it's held open so I can easily get my crochet hook in and out. And then when I was finished, it just pulls. So and I just, just love it, it's magic. This is where the magic end. comes. There so yeah, yes, and that it tightens just up beautifully. tightens up so you can pull it as tight as you want with your stitches in. I use it to start everything because, like I say, I just find it easier. If you wanted to do it as chain six and slip stitch it together, absolutely fine, knock yourself out. That works too. Wonderful. But um, yes, as far as I'm concerned, magic circle for the win. So, so that's the starting point to all of the kits then, Emma, just to sort Yes, of the magic circle again. is how I yeah. start all of them. They're, they're um, double treble, oh, sorry, the treble two together that I'm doing now. This is the, the central round for my gin mandalas. So the six inch one that we've got in the peacock and the galandrel and the um, yarn free version if you wanted to use up your own scraps. Okay. So it's, these tiny little circles make up the, the center of your, of your mandala. And you can see the difference well, you can't see the difference between the, the version that I've done with chains and the version that I've done with a magic circle. But that's the, the center of these here. Okay. But then you would do it in exactly the same way. So for the tonic one, which is the four inch, get the matching color one, is the four inch one of the, of the pair. You do exactly the same thing. But Very different in design when you look at the two together. I but love using with these, the same, I the love same with stitches. These, how different they look. They do, don't they? Despite being exactly the same colours of yarn, just in the opposite yeah. order. So they obviously go together. They, they, they look lovely hung up together, but they look so different. They I do. Just, it's just magic. It is magic, and uh, as you say, G and T goes perfectly together. Definitely. I can see where the name came from. <laughs> we have had a question actually. This is from Linda. Thank you, Linda, for emailing. In. Morning, all. Um, Linda's asking, as a beginner, she's never done crochet. Which kit would you say that's the one to start with? I'd be inclined to start with the gin and tonic. Okay. Sorry, Linda. Yep. Lovely to hear from you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'd be inclined to start with the gin and tonic. It's it's got options of stitches, but there's nothing unduly complicated. Um, if you've not crocheted, but I I don't know about you, but I learnt to crochet from YouTube videos. Um, so it's all completely it's all out there. You know, yeah. YouTube is full yeah. of information all is so the, accessible. Isn't all it? the tutorials you'd want. So I would start with with the gin and tonic. Um, I think the way the, the stitches build up is straightforward enough um, and you get a really effective piece at the end yeah. and there's something very, I think, learning to crochet, you want something that you can do, that you can finish and that you can feel good about, that you've, you've made this from start to finish. Definitely. We've seen a lot of that recently as well, Emma. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this. And Linda, I don't know if you've been following along the craft alongs, but of course we've had the crochet craft alongs that have covered mm -hmm. the basic stitches. The information is out there, as Emma said. So message, I think, to somebody that is a beginner, don't look at the designs and think, oh, and just dismiss it completely straight away by looking and thinking that looks complicated because when you learn those basics it's far more easier than you ever realize isn't it crochet is just the number of loops on your yeah. hook and the number of times you pull those loops through each other um it is just a a one two three counting you know through the through the stitches um but yeah i'd start with the gin and tonic wonderful well, Linda, I hope you're going for that one and give it a go. And if you've got any questions in the future, do come back to us as well. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on the gin and tonic, actually, because we've got two different options. We've got peacock, which is, the, as you can see, which is peacock, can't you? 10% <laughs> of the stock has gone. 
Now, Galadriel, over half the stock gone. You are loving this one. I wonder why. I, I mean, to me, that appeals. I tend to go for softer colours sometimes. I love the blend from the centre outwards. Mm -hmm. They're both beautiful. You're going to get the same patterns, mm -hmm. but everybody's loving Galadriel. Good choice. I say it's, it's my favourite too. I had a, a big hoop version on my bedroom wall for eight months or so before it sold, which was lovely. A really, you know, 70 centimetre version. Wow. Um, which was just beautiful. I love oh, those colours. Amazing stuff. Well, if you do want to go for either of those, 938108 is the item number. Now, don't forget, if you have got yarns, if you've got lots of scraps, if you've been doing other projects, crochet, knitting, and you've got yarns, we have got the starter kit. So uh, Emma does recommend working with a four-ply because that's what comes in the kits. But do you know what? If you've got something similar, could we, I'm thinking, could we work with something like a, an embroidery thread, a, a floss? Yeah, um, all, all the strings of a floss is about the same size as a four-ply four four ply yarn, so that would work. I have, I have crocheted in, um, in embroidery floss before, and it's fine, it's just a bit splitty, but um, as long as you're careful and don't split the, split the threads too much, that w would work fine if that's what you've got at home. Um, stash busting. <laughs> Amazing. Well, you are getting the hoops, you're getting the ribbon for hanging. Of course, you're getting the full instructions. So once you've created, you can continue to recreate. So we've got the gin and we've got the tonic there as well. 40% of the stock of the starter kit has gone. Yeah, I bet everybody's looking through their scraps now to see what they've got in four ply. Thirteen ninety nine <laughs> is the price on this one. Zero zero five eight five nine. I've got to say because everything comes so nicely packaged in a box as well. If you are buying to gift to somebody else, these make the most perfect gift. I'm looking at those boxes as well, and I think I'm right in saying they will go as the large letter size they in the will post. Indeed. Yep. Save on that postage as well. <laughs> there you go. Everything gets thought about, doesn't it? Let's move down again. I particularly like this next one for the reason of the fact that you've got that front post stitch in there because it is absolutely beautiful. So this is the rainbow mandala. So the front post stitch, I'm not going to give the abbreviation again or even the full term because it's so long and such a tongue twister. But of course, you can create it so, so easily. We may get to see that. I don't know in demonstration. Maybe. Five, four, seven. 7759 is the item number here, 1799 for the whole kit. Don't just think about this as a kit and a finished project as well. Think about, especially if you're quite new to crochet or you are a beginner, think about learning those stitches. It's a progression. You're going to take those stitches and use them in the future. Maybe you may even start making your own patterns up as well. So you have got a finished project. You can stand back and be proud of that. You can show that off to all your friends, but you are learning along the way. 40% of the stock has gone on this particular item. Busy on that one also. Moving along, we've got a couple more to remind you of. One item number, but two different options. If you want both of these, you can do. Go for two multiples, go for one of the cream and one of the red, or you might want pairs to match. It's entirely up to you. Now, cream is in the lead at the moment. 40% of the stock has gone. Isn't that lovely with the greens there as well? All hand-dyed yarns don't forget here uh, nothing that's just been bought off a shelf these have been specifically hand dyed for the kits then we're looking at the red option for you there I love that darker red around the edge of the petals so it really defines the shape of the flower 14.99 that's all it is for the whole kit 910-337 is the item number there now, the bit of an exclusive that we've got <laughs> or oh, never been seen before. This is launching today here on the craft store. This is our Martha using that beautiful pineapple motif. The stitch is forming the pineapples as you go around the mandala there. I particularly like the colour of the yarn in this one. All hand dyed again. $24.99 is the price. You've got an 8 inch hoop in this one. Full instructions. You get the ribbon. Again, all beautifully packaged. 893508. Love this, love that. It's not just the pineapple, but you've got, almost got that star in the center. Yeah, so I love the star beautiful. in the center of that going out into the pineapple, and they're really strongly defined pineapples on that one. There's no sort of blurring of the edges. It's oh yes, you can see it. See it against number white now. I thought my top was interfering a little <laughs> bit too much with that, so it's you can see it top. a lot better there. There yeah, you so are. The really clear pineapple shapes. Beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love it. Then, of course, we do also have the starter, not the starter kit, the kit um, for the large hoop, which is actually, we've discovered, a hula hoop. Now, you have got the starter kit. 
in a sense because you can work with the yarns that you've already got. 24 inches is the size of the hoop. You've got the ribbon and the instructions if you are going for that particular option. 39.99333415. We so have got flexi on that one, I think, haven't we? Yeah, two payments of £20. There it is. So if you are going for this kit, you can add in anything else that you wish and also split the cost. There we go. But we do have another option as well because, of course, if you do want the yarn, exactly what I've just mentioned, but also the yarn included. Different item number for this one, of course, because you're getting everything that you need there. Stunning colour. Absolutely beautiful. 220591 is the item number for this one. We will have a look at those samples behind Emma in a second. 79.99, but again, we've got Flexi on there, so two payments of £40. Oh, we've had an email in about the large ones from Francois. Oh, I wonder which Francois that is. Gorgeous project. Yes, they are, aren't they, Francois? The large hoops, Emma. Um, oh, what a great idea. <laughs> what a great idea. Actually, we've done something quite similar. Francois is saying two or three of these hung on a curtain rod would make a great room separator. Yes, that would be a beautiful idea. That's, a, that's would, a, lot of, a lot of crochet work in the separating your rooms up. But yeah, that would be beautiful. I you love see, that I've got idea. three behind me there in, the, uh, in three different colourways. Um, it's 100, 100 grams of yarn to make one of those. So a whole, a whole scheme. Um, so if we're going for the starter kit again, is it four ply again? Yeah, yeah. four ply. So it's, it's a whole, a whole skein, a whole hundred grams, four hundred meters of um, of yarn. You won't use quite all of it in a patience, um, but it would be close. You'd want to have the whole hundred to start, so that you made sure you had enough. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, do treat yourself and have a go at this, whatever you do. Now, if you are going for Flexi, because we've got it here on this particular kit, then we'll tell you how it all works, just in case you don't know. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Yes, maybe you are looking at some of these kits and thinking, there's some great Christmas presents, so fill your baskets and use that Flexi. Uh, right, the rainbow. I've got to come back to this one because half of the stock has now gone. Now, I have brought that little bit of paper with me to put behind so you can really appreciate the beauty of this one. Absolutely stunning. The shape of it, you know, the different rows. You've got all different rounds in there. It doesn't look difficult again, this one, Emma. I'm looking at the stitches there and thinking, are they quite repetitive stitches? Yeah, so, again, for a beginner, great. Yeah, it, it would be cast as an intermediate level pattern, but that's, that's purely because of the front post stitches. Um, it is the same all the way around. It just gets, the rounds just get larger. So it's just added chains and double crochets as you get, as the... Um, as you get further out, out so from the centre. For someone that's never done a front post stitch before, that is a great way to try it for the first yes. time. You would have mastered them by the time you'd finished your rainbow mandala. You would, indeed. The I love pattern it. has a, a really detailed photo tutorial in it for the front post stitches. A really detailed step-by-step -step photo, where you put your hook, where the yarn has to go. Fabulous. Um, because I know it is a stitch that people kind of balk at a little bit. There you but are. Really it's that progression need. again, isn't it? Only seventeen ninety nine for this kit. Very busy. Five four seven seven five nine is the item number. Everything new today, of course, because this is Emma's first visit here to the craft store. So we're going to hand it back to Emma and see what she's got for us right now. Yes, thank you. I just wanted to, like I say, go over the front post stitches because, like I say, they they make the pattern classed as an intermediate, but they're really not that complicated. So when we would normally crochet, you crochet into the V at the top of the stitch. So you would put your hook through there and that is where you would anchor your next stitch. 
but with a post stitch instead of working into the top of the stitch you work around it so with a front post stitch you would insert your hook behind the, the designated stitch and that was, would be what you would work around to anchor the stitch so these are front post double treble crochet stitches now all that means is you're doing a double treble around the front post so to start your double treble you wrap two loops around your hook and then there's the front post bit so you insert your hook under the front post okay draw a loop through yep. so you've now got four loops on your hook you can see there and then you pull a loop through two pull a loop through two and pull a loop through the final two and that's all there is to your front post double treble crochet and there you can see that gives that raid surface because you are putting the hook underneath the stitch and forming the loops on the front of that yeah, stitch. So you're forcing the whole stitch forward. Yeah. It goes over the top of the, uh, the first, the anchor round of the yellow and okay. it forces it up and forward so you get that, that line that's raised in the colours that goes out to the outside. You can see on the finished one it goes all the way to the can, red. Can we get over to the next one and show yep. us how we get there and do that so one again, Emma? This one is six double crochets along each section. Oh, watch me go all fingers and thumbs now, I'm being watched. So it's just straightforward double crochets. All my patterns are written in UK terminology, but I do give US equivalents. Lovely. It baffles me that we use different terminologies for the same stitches. <laughs> it's very irritating, and I do still have to consult translators to make sure that I am doing the right version but I, I chose to, to, to stick with writing my patterns in in UK terminology um, and so that's what they all are. Well we do but have an audience from Europe and also uh, United States as well so you can convert the patterns if you need to do so. Um, it's one of the questions I get asked so often as well how do we tell the difference between a U US and a UK and for me, you might have a different answer, Emma, but for me, I say watch out for the single crochet yeah. because if it's a single crochet, it's US. It's US, because definitely. Because we don't, we don't have a we single crochet. We don't have crochet. a single crochet. That, that's, that would be how I would, yeah. would look for it. If, it's, if your pattern has a single crochet stitch in it, it's using US terminology. Um, we call a single crochet a double crochet just to confuse everybody. I'm sure that's <laughs> the only reason. So I've, I've worked my way around to the next front post stitch okay. here. So I'm just going to go over it again slowly. Yeah. So because it's a double treble, we wrap twice around the hook, the twice around our hook. So we've got those two extra loops on it. Then the crochet hook, oh, sorry, I'm trying to keep it at the right angle for you. The crochet hook goes under the post of the stitch below. Yeah. And we pull through our loop. And then we pull another loop through two of the loops on our hook. You can see we're starting to add the, the height of the stitch now. And we pull a loop through the next two, and it's getting taller. And then we pull a loop through the final two stitches, and we've reached back up to the top of our row. Lovely. There we can see that raised effect again. Absolutely perfect. Thank you, Anne. That was really, really clear. If we can just have a look at the sample again. I'm going to show you with the paper behind if I can, first of all, just to show you the sample as it looks from the front. You can see the raised posts, if I just run my finger down one of them. It's almost like a dartboard, isn't it, with those grids in between. Yes. But if I just turn that to the side, hopefully you can see the definition a little bit more there. It's such a lovely stitch and honestly once you've, you've cracked it and you will crack it very quickly that is a very useful stitch to know and you'll find it, it's included in many patterns and I'm sure many more of Emma's that we're going to see as well. $17.99 if you're going for this kit, 547-759 is the item number. Now if you are looking and thinking, do you know what, I want to give this a go but I haven't got any hooks or maybe you were looking and thinking, well... I've worked with chunky yarn, but not with the finer yarn. I haven't got the right size hook. Well, we have got a set available for you today. This is a really good price again. $15.49, you're going to get the sizes right from a 2 millimeter right up to a 6 millimeter. So it's going to cover everything that you need and beyond everything for Emma's kits, of course. 552-544 is the item number. There's nine different hooks. They are easy grip. I love the fact that you've got the silicon handles there. I find them very comfortable. So, uh, yeah. 
Nice set, that one, for 15 49 Also, we've got a couple of books for you as well. Just one of them here. Colourful crochet. I mean, if you want to follow instructions but use plain colours, go monochrome, you can. But there's all sorts of wonderful designs in this book as well. If you want to provide your own yarns, your own hooks, of course, you can get going with the book. Twelve ninety nine is the price of that one. Brand new today, 105068. Now, we do have some other books for you as well. We've got some mandalas to crochet. Mm -hmm. There we are, 868983. Another new today. We've got lots of books today. Then we've got Hello Hexy. Hello Hexy. Where is it? We're saying hello. There it is. Now you've got 20 easy crochet patterns in there. Item number 012086, and that goes from the simple granny in a hexagon rather than a square, because often we think of granny squares, don't we? They don't have to be squares. $14.99 for that one. Now, I love, love, love kits. I think to go for a kit is the best way to start, because you don't have to worry about looking for the different yarns, getting the right yarn. You've got everything in a box ready to go, apart from the hook, which we have got the hooks available, of course. Now, we've got two different options here. This is the G&T crochet kit. You've got the peacock, first of all. So let me just show you those yarns again. I adore this colour. It's one of my favourite, favourite colours. You've got the beautiful blues. You can see exactly why it's called peacock. You've got all those wonderful colours in there. The turquoise, gold, the really dark green. That, oh, it's stunning, isn't it? All hand-dyed, remember. Absolutely beautiful. $22.99. The hoop size is 6 inches and 4 inches because you do get two patterns. You've got the gin and you've got the tonic. That's where the gin tea comes in, of course. 938108. So that's Peacock under the same item number. Galadriel. Now this has been proving very, very popular. Three quarters of the stock has now gone. So starting in the centre there with that deep blue and working out to the cream. Actually, I'm looking down at the yarn here. I presume there's equal amounts of each yarn, is there? There ever? is equal amounts of each yarn. So if we wanted to switch the way you that could... we... Use you can them. play with them, do them in any colour order you wanted to. Oh, lovely. Um, there's, there's not a right and a wrong. Um, there's what I choose, but, but that's, uh, that's my preference rather than anyone else's. So any order you like, just, um, just have a play and see, what, see how the colours make your heart sing. I love getting to play with all these yarns and I love playing with these tiny mini skeins and ordering them and dreaming up new collections. Oh, wonderful. A little bit of inspiration there, and you can see on the card in the kit as well. 938108, remember, whether you're going for Galadriel or Peacock, it's the same item number. You can go for one of each if you so wish at just 22.99. Then we do have the starter kit. So if you have got a four-ply yarn, that's what you're going to need for this one, or the equivalent of, of course, you can go for the starter kit. You've got the two hoops, you've got the ribbon in there, you've got the instructions, you just supply your own yarn. $13.99 for this one, 005-859 is the item number there. Now we're going to go back to Emma for the next part of the demonstration. So Emma, what are we going to look at right now? So I've got some gin mandalas here, and we'll get them in short, sorry. Um, I just wanted to show the difference that blocking makes to, to start with here for this ah, demo. Because blocking is something that as a crochet, you might get away with never doing. If you do clothes and blankets and toys, you'll never have had to block anything. For me, most of these don't necessarily need blocking. Fleur doesn't need blocking. Rainbow doesn't need blocking. For the gin, I think it makes a difference. So you can see here, I've got two gin mandalas. So they are both at the same stage. I've done the same number of rounds of both of these. This one here has been blocked, so okay. I've got it wet. Yep. I've used stainless steel blocking pins. And I block, I have, to be, I have to be honest, on my children's old foam mats with the numbers on. You know the ones? Yes. Yeah. So I block on those. So there's no, no fancy kit needed, although I know that the craft store has a beautiful wooden blocking board. We do. I think it's a Millward one, actually. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we still got lust that. after that one a yeah. little bit. But I use my, old, my children's foam mats. Um, so, yeah, get it wet. Pin it out to shape. You can use your, the hoops that's supplied as a guide, so you pull it out far enough and leave it to dry. And it really is just like that. Leave Emma. it to dry. Uh, just a quick question, if you, when you're wetting it, would you, is it better to spray it, spritz it, or to submerge it in water? I What's submerge, the best way? I have to be honest, I take it to the bathroom and run it under the tap okay. and then squeeze so it out. So just get it wet? Just get it wet, cold water, So it's not like a hot. misting, just get it wet? No. Okay, lovely. Um, yeah, I just, I soak it, get Perfect. it proper wet. 
got to let, got to let it dry a bit then, but it, it means that when, it, when you unpin it, it holds its shape and you can see the difference it makes into, into the shape. Yeah. Now, to put it into the hook, you see your, your final round, you've, you've finished your crochet, or you've nearly finished your crochet, and now you've got to get it into your hook. So I, as you can see, I've used scraps of yarn here to tie it into place, just okay. because it helps me to keep track of how far round I've gone, how tight I need to pull it. So it, and it is literally a case of tying a bow and holding it in place. And is it advisable to do four, so it's sort of every quarter? Yeah, on each my, kit? most of my patterns are worked on sort of eight repetitions around the round, okay. or a multiplication there. So with a hoop this size, tying it in four places is perfectly adequate. Um, you know, there's there's no need to do any more. If for blocking the, one of the patient's hoops behind me, you would have you'd tie all. Oh, eight or 16 times right, to, to hold it properly stretched yeah, out in that place. Makes sense. But once it's in place, it's, you can see then how, how many chains you'd need to do to anchor it into its hoop. So I'm just going to get myself started. And this is where there's a bit of slack in the pattern. Okay. So if yeah. you find that your finished piece is a little bit small, you know, you've crocheted maybe a little bit tighter, um, you have the space to amend it. So, ah. put, oh, sorry, I've got my, split Actually, my yarn Actually, that's there. a good point because everybody's tension does vary, Everyone's it? tension is very different. I'm aware that I crochet quite tightly. Yeah. Um, all my patterns have, um, if not a full-on gauge square, um, a suggestion of how, how big your mandala should be after certain rounds okay, got you. so if if you get to round you know round three or four and it's looking a lot bigger than the pattern suggests it should be you might need to change your hook size yeah or you might need to leave out the last couple of rounds um if it's smaller than i think it you then than my versions that is when you can change the number of chains so for me with a gin and tonic i do a double crochet into the very top you can see the double the double treble loop there yeah. at the top and then it's a 10 chain. And this is the same for all of my patterns with these size hoops. These little four, six and eight inch hoops I think I've got here today. So it's, it's a case of chaining 10 and then it loops around the hoop. You have to take your hook out, put it back in at the front again. And then to anchor it, I put a slip stitch in through the first chain of the 10. Oh, sorry. Fro frog in my throat there. So that it's not going to slip any further. And then you carry on with your double trebles down that side of it. And then you've got your first anchor point for your hoop. Now it's exactly the same process with the patients, except obviously you're working with a hula hoop. I tend to do bigger hoops when I'm putting them into the hoops. Um, knelt on the floor because it puts me at the same height as what I'm working <laughs> on. Um, because doing it at a table with a 60 centimetre hula hoop yeah. makes it likely that you're going to knock something else off or, you know, you've got to have tea when you're crafting, right? You don't want to knock your teacup over. So oh, Always a cup of tea when crafting. Definitely. So it's this last round. This, this is the thing that, in, that really finishes it off makes it look that the, the crochet is part of the hoop, that it's not two separate things. They are a whole that's made together. So you've got, you've got your double crochets. Yeah. And they go up and then you've got your, oh, sorry, your 10 chain that go round the hoop and then you anchor it back in and go all the way round again. Ah. So it looks, whilst you're doing it, a little bit scrappy. There's, there's no getting away from that. You've got odds and ends of yarn everywhere. But if you keep going, it's five DCs in each side. So DC being double crochet. DC being double crochet, unless you're American, of course, but we won't confuse anyone further. <laughs> and then we get back to the top to do our 10 chain again. Okay. So DC into the top of the stitch at the top of that mountain. This is where you would have put your pin through when it was blocking, and then 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't be the only one who has to do it out loud. <sighs> and then we go around again. Now this is where you can get tied in a bit of knots because your ball is going, your active thread is going round and round the hoop. But as you get close to your tie, oh, get through there. As you get close to the tie, you can release it. Oh, yes, of course. And now you can see how, because yeah. I've gone round Once you the start heap, losing those tie threads, you, you can, can you start to see yeah, it a bit better. Definitely. So then you can unthread yourself and carry on again. So, and like I say, now looks these loops that you're putting around the hoop are naturally going to sit in the right place, aren't they? Yeah. The more you do, they'll just find their own spot. Yeah, as long as you've blocked it evenly, it will be the same, the same distance between the hoop and the yarn all the way round. So, you can see, see on this finished one, that it's positioned very centrally. So the yeah. the, the, the teal bit right in the very centre there on this one is, is right in the middle because it's the same distance all the way around. So each of these are 10 chains to get us all the way around. Okay. So again, it's fiddly. There's, there's, you know, I can't say it isn't, that would be a lie. Um, you know, when you're working with fine yarn, but it's nice and soft, it's easy to do. It's just the repetition. And I do find the, the repetition of it quite meditative almost. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. It's the same thing going around. What I love about crochet is it's a mobile craft. Definitely. It's quiet. It's not, I mean, I love my messy crafts, don't get me wrong. But there are times where you've got to keep it nice and clean. You know, maybe you take something to work or round to a friend's house or on holiday. Um, crochet is such a lovely craft to do. And unlike knitting, you haven't got lots and lots of stitches on that hook. Normally, you end up with just one loop on there. There are a few exceptions but normally it's just for that one loop so you can easily put down and pick back up as well yes now you don't we have to worry about it falling yeah. off your needles you can shove it in a bag and it's fine exactly it's Love very it. portable I, I crochet everywhere I crochet on buses I crochet stood outside the children's school waiting for them to come out <laughs> I might be sat in the park until somebody yells for me to push them on the swing um, but yes it is a very portable craft and the apart from the the big patience hoops obviously these are all small little projects I've got a little basket that comes everywhere with me with them. Um, you, know, you can see, see my selection of yards and hooks and scissors and so that well, whatever I'm, wherever I am, I can pull my, pull my current project up and uh, get a few stitches done. Wonderful. Wonderful. Sociable craft as well. That's what I like. Yes. Now we've had a question from Sue as well. Now I'm, I'm really pleased somebody's asked this question. I'm going to ask you this one, um, Emery, if I may, because Sue said she's new to crochet. What is the correct way to hold the yarn? Oh. <laughs> I think it's one of those things that it's what works for you. Yes. You have to, you have to actually get a different ball of wool here. You have to, <laughs> to hold the tension. Um, if I think about it too much, I'm not going to be able to do it. So when I'm holding it, I wrap it around my little finger and then around my front top finger, I think. Now I need to do it so I can actually work it out. No, I don't. I, <laughs> there we go. I wrap it around two fingers at the top, my first two fingers, then it goes under my little finger and around, I think. Gosh, you put me on the spot do you know, now. Do you, know it is, do you know it's really difficult, <laughs> but I'm going to say, Emma, as you're just um, getting in preparation to show us again, I was scared to ask that question because I've done the craft along and I don't hold the yarn in the way that some people say you should hold the yarn and I'm a great believer in do what is comfortable to you. Definitely. So I was so relieved when Emma said that because <laughs> <laughs> I'm really nervous to ask the question. But so I do know that you did say that you find it easier for you to hold the yarn like you're knitting and you are not the only person to have said that. And I'm going to say, and I'm sure Emma now she's answered, is going to say exactly the same thing. If it works for you, do just that. Don't let anybody tell you you're doing it wrong. To me, there is no right and no. wrong. There's Everybody's not a right different. And wrong. No. You, you've got to control the tension, so you have to be able to hold it in a way that makes sense for you. So I've set up a stitch now, so I should be able to do it. So it is little fingers. Oh. Yeah, so little finger, gets, it gets wrapped around my little finger and then goes round my index finger so that I can control the tension and then I'm holding the, the piece I'm working on with my thumb and middle finger and my index finger is the one that's controlling the tension so I have you can see the line there on my finger from where that's where I hold yarn 
and I end up with, with indentations there nearly permanently um, because that's what I use to keep it nice and taut so I can work with it. So it's one of the trickier things it's, it's, and it's what you start with but once you can control the tension the rest of it is just is just looping it around. Yeah, it, it's the, it's the, it is the controlling the, the controlling the yarn and letting it run through so it does yep. run nicely, but you're not. It's not loose because if it's too loose, it's difficult to. You can see it's difficult to catch. Yeah, if and it's nice and taut, your stitches aren't going to be even if it's too no. loose, are they? If you keep it nice and taut, you can work it more easily. So to get your hook around it is easier if you can hold it taut but yeah so I go round my little finger and then round my index finger yeah again there isn't a right and wrong that's just how I do it yeah and you will see that method used a lot if you are looking at tutorials I don't hold my yarn that way because I've got an issue with my thumb and I find it more comfortable another way and this is why whatever it suits you so Sue yeah Carry on as you are, just give it a go and uh, you will crack it. Now let's have a bit of a recap before the end of the hour. So starting with the G&T, remember two different options. We've got Peacock and we've got Galadriel as well. I've got a feeling Galadriel is still in the lead because it's been <laughs> the front runner right through the show is. Yes, I've just had that confirmed. Now remember you have got those different colours in the same amounts or weights of yarn. So if you want to change the colour combination, you certainly can do. It looks beautiful as it is, but you can change that. 22.99 is going to get you the whole kit. So you've got two hoops. You've got the four inch and the six inch. You've got a couple of bits of ribbon in there so you can hang them up. And of course you've got the hand dyed yarn and the full instructions. Great price at $22.99. There we are. Now, moving on, we have the starter kit. So if you do have the yarn, four-ply. Remember to use a four-ply. If you go thicker than that, you're not going to find the stitches working the size of the hoop. You can find possibly other things to use, such as embroidery thread of a similar sort of weight to the four-ply. So give that a go if you haven't got the four-ply. But, for, you know, if you... If you're not sure, go for the kit because you've got everything you need. If you are sure, then you could go for this one, $13.99. It has been busy, I do know that. You're still getting the hoops, you're getting the ribbon, you're getting the instructions, you're just not getting the yarn in there. 005859 is the item number there. Then moving along, we have the rainbow. We saw the demonstration for the front post stitch there. 60% of the stock has gone. I'm just going to find that white card again just to put behind because it does really help. It's actually one of Emma's patterns I'm using here, but there's nothing printed on it, so you can see a little bit better. There you are. So the front po uh, post stitch has been used there, creating that sort of almost that grid work, almost like a dartboard. Lovely, lovely effect there. And that's something you're going to carry through into the project. 1799-547-759 is the item number there. Now the next item number, two different options again. So we've got the fleurs for you, the fleur mandala. We've got the cream and we've got the red. I'm going to put the paper behind this one as well. There we are. You can still see the cream. It's beautiful, isn't it? I had to be going for one of each of these. I wouldn't want yeah, to leave one Yeah, hung together, out. they would make a, a lovely arrangement. They would, wouldn't they? Or even go for three and have sort of a cream, a red and a cream, or a red, a cream and a red. It's entirely up to you. Where do you stop? That's the question. 1499-910-337 is the item number there. And then, of course, we have the exclusive kit. This has been busy as well. Martha. There she is. Gorgeous colour of yarn, all hand dyed right across the board, exclusive to us today. Uh, new design from Emma, 2499-893-508 is the item number. There you go. And we have, do, of course, have the large kits as well, including as a starter <laughs> kit there. You can find those on the website. I'm just going to say, Emma, well done. Really clear <laughs> demonstrations. <Thank you. laughs> Absolutely gorgeous products. I hope we can see you back very, very soon. We shall see. You were brilliant. Thank How you. How did you find it? A little it? bit nervous. Glad it's done. In you didn't way. seem <laughs> nervous at all. Oh, thank you so, so much, Emma. Check those baskets out. Don't miss out. Only one hour for Emma today. See you very, very soon. Menu coming up. Yes, we've got Sukiniko ink pads up next. Do not miss this hour with Paola. And then Dark Room Door, Sue Smith's here. Looking forward to that hour as well. Cardio back at 12, of course. Hi, I'm Jo, and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. 
Lost Crafty are a family-run business that started online in 2005. Initially, as an online business, the company has grown and Graham joined the business in 2015 and they now produce their own surfaces and stencils. That's Crafty have a wide range of products including stamps, surfaces, stencils, paints, inks and mediums, all geared up for mixed media and paper craft alike. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. I'm Trisha from So Totally Trisha. I've been sewing since I was about eight years old. I carried on through my teens, and when I had children, I've sewn for them. And now I love nothing more than to design fabric-based kits for patchwork, for bags and home decor. Make sure you don't miss the Sew Totally Trisha shows. Hi, I'm Julia Watts from Fairy Hugs. Fairy Hugs are a small family-run company based in Miami Beach in Florida, specializing in high-quality photopolymer stamps. Our stamp designs include fairies, dragons, under the sea, animals, foliage, everything you need to make your own scenes. Fairy Hugs started in September 2020 and was born out of the children's love of everything magical and mystical. On our shows on the craft store, we'll aim to demonstrate how easy it is for you to create your own magical scenes. So please join me for the Fairy Hug shows on the craft store. Hello and a very good morning to you. Now, do you get your mementos mucked up with your Versica Versafine? I can't even speak. Do you get your stays on mucks on? I wish we could just rewind. I can't even speak. Do you get your brilliance mixed up with your stays on? Your Versafine mixed up with your Versa Magic? Your memento confused with your Versafine Claire? Then the lady's going to tell us all about it now that I've put the right teeth in is our lovely Paula. Good morning, my darling. Good morning. How are you, Fiona? I'm very well. Very busy show earlier. Yes, indeed. And we were inviting lots of people to ask lots questions as well um, because if you struggle with your inks what's the right one what's the differences Absolutely. what do I need for what medium indeed so this email us in because studio at the craft uh, because we'll try to answer any questions that comes forward and of course we are talking about Sukiniko this amazing Japanese brand uh, that has this heritage in the 1950s and then in the 1980s were the first one to bring in pigment pads into uh, the stamping world which means that of course we have got a lot Lot more possibilities and they are always one of those was like Japanese you know they have got the, they are renowned for quality they are renowned for making sure that they do their job properly, properly. Do it right they do and you told me as well Sukiniko stands for Moon cat. moon cat. Yeah, Suki <laughs> is a moon and Nico is cat. I so love that. Suki Nico means moon cat. We know and then more. the logo means, <laughs> and it makes sense. You can see it there behind yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah, that's cat a moon in the moon. Cat. cat in the moon. Right. We're going to bring you through it all. We're going to explain it all. And if you have any questions, as Palace said, please email us into studio at thecraftstore.com or let us know on the Facebook page because this is your chance. We had some excellent questions this morning and we can certainly repeat those so that we can uh, bring you into the know how. So our first set is, is, is a bit of a mix. It, it is. And, and it's one of those ones that I remembered. I mean, we can tell the story when you ask me, it's like, oh, what ink should I go for my daughter because she wants mm -hmm. to do this and that? I said, go for this bundle because, of course, at 10 99 it's an amazing low amazing. price. But also, it means that you can try different inks. You are getting oil based pigment, mm -hmm. Versafine. You are getting Brilliance. You are getting a Stazon. You are getting Memento. And you are getting Versa Magic. All of them are great for different purposes. And 
I think that if you are trying also what happens is sometimes we get for instance you may have a memento or a stay zone that is about three years old and then you are trying to compare it to a for instance a versa a fine that mm -hmm. you just bought today the results aren't gonna be they're gonna be great but they are gonna be like a three-year-old ink it's yeah. great to have these ink pads brand new so then you know exactly and you can compare them brand new as well yeah so this is a brilliant little taster kit isn't it, it is a taster and don't be fooled I mean I have got the VersaFine uh, Cube. I got mine uh, about when it was released. So, and we are talking about 2005, 2006. Mm. I still have got the original. I still can get great impressions yeah. from it. And we are talking about over 10 years old. Well, uh, ink. Said I bought my daughter's two Christmases ago. Absolutely. Um, and still juicy. Exactly. So. They are still juicy. And uh, ultimately, I'm going to say uh, the ones that you need to be very careful about putting the lid are especially the Memento and the Stazon. But ones that you have got you know you just make to the habit of putting the lid on they should last you for years even the smaller ones brilliant so they all have different properties Paola yeah. so you've done me some lovely boards here I, yeah. I believe we can down this information I was holding yes. up we can download that every single board that I'm going to show you today are on, it's on my blog uh, power uh, blog uh, dot Paola Pascual dot com or actually my Facebook I shared some you be feel free to download them to print them out to make your own uh, you know boards if you wanted to to experiment and and of course for personal use now stays on for instance is as the name indicates stays on, on. Yeah. so stays on on two materials that traditionally are kind of almost impossible to stamp on like for instance uh, non-porous um, materials glass yes, shrink plastic yeah. acetate metal uh, polymer clay as well leather wood and some many more and of course the essentials ones as well and it's because it's solvent based it's brilliant for water coloring Ooh. they are really so if you want to cut water what well, water coloring and so, so stamp and then bring your water colors in Ah, oh, okay. So that's our stays on. Yeah. So we have uh, the big pad there. Yeah. Then we move across to the, across to the memento. memento. Memento is a water-based dye base, and don't worry, I will do my typical explanation about all the dye and the you know all those elements. But memento is the one that is water-based, but is dye-based, so it dries almost instantly, like takes about a second to dry. But also, it means that of course you can then use your alcohol markers because remember, if they are opposites in terms of what they are base they they repel each other so you get clean lines fabulous now one I asked you about so I was a little bit confused was my brilliance well what brilliance is brilliance a fabulous ink that the ones kind of almost designed to work uh, so kind of almost like um, mixed media ink that's the best way to put it because mm. it's one of that is pigment water based but once it hits it becomes permanent but also the br brilliant thing is that it will dry naturally onto vellum so if you want a sharp black or a chalky finish like a really nice onto vellum this is the one that will give you those results i mean i use a, a yeah. one of the finest um you know you can see there stamps yeah. onto vellum and it will not dry naturally. A station you can use it as well onto vellum. However, lots of people prefer brilliance because it will give you a sharper black, a more opaque black because it's pigment. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, and then if we move across from that, we've got the Versa Magic. What can the Versa Magic do? Now, me? the Versa Magic is a chalky finish, a chalk finish a ink pad. So, this is one of the unsung heroes. I think Brilliance and, 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 and that one is one of the unsung heroes. Because that one is a beautiful black. Now, I love it because it comes in with a sponge pad. So, this is what would be one of my go to if I were to stencil with a slightly chalkier finish. Oh. Is that watercolour card palette? Yes, it, it like, is. Yeah. It is yeah. Gosh, it looks gorgeous. And then last but not least, just we have, oh, the VersaFine. No. Yes, the VersaFine. VersaFine, uh, is, this is the original, the cube. Uh, and yeah. of course, the VersaFine is the original oil-based, pigment-based uh, ink pad. Now, it will dry on a variety of surface, but mostly a paper and card, that's the way to. And it's, it's the one that gives you that sharp black that is kind of a fast slow no so slow fast drying if you know what i mean it kind of takes a few um, a couple of minutes so if you want to use embossing powder you can but also it gives you fine detail because it has got a felt pad this is why I love this, this, these bundles because it's very good for me to tell you all about mm. them and how I feel but 
ultimately getting them a home for 10.99 means that you can experiment yeah, and then you will find which one is the best one for you and especially working on the different mediums exactly yeah. and then they will last all the others you know that you have them ready yeah. to go and the drying time i always exactly. hear you talk about drying time i don't use that one fee because it just takes a little bit longer to dry whereas i want a quick exactly stamp now and, yeah, yeah. absolutely that. what a brilliant price point as well that's why i went to it we're still using mine at home um 10.99 400794. Right, we're going to move on to some larger pad now. Uh, we've got the Versifying Claire, we've got the Brilliance, and the Stays On. So, this is a, a dynamic trio, isn't yes. it? I know we're going over the, some of the same common ground. But... Well, basically, exactly. That's the same. Be, uh, Brilliance and Stays On is exactly the same. Now, Versifying Claire, uh, I, uh, often we get asked what's the difference between Versifying Claire and the original Versifying. Now, there are certain people that may uh, prefer one or the other. And most people do prefer Versafan Claire. Uh in enough actual facts, Sukiniko says that it's a reformulation to make sure, but to make sure that it behaves exactly in the same way. Personally, the main difference is the pad. The pad, I find the original Versafine is a little bit more fibrous, so sometimes, you know, and with the Versafine Claire. It's also a felt pad, but it's a little bit more firmer. Now, one of the things I adore, uh, and most people go for Claire, is because it has got a range of colors. And the original Versafine used to be more um, vintage colors, where the Versafine Claire are more fresh colors, which, by the way, we have got a pick and mix about them. And also, the feather Versafine gives you that fine impression. I mean, it's such a rich black. If you have got a solid, I mean, you can see the sample there. The black is black even on mm. the r solid areas. The fine detail is extremely fine. And then, of course, because it has got that one, two minutes, that you can use embossing powder over it. So that's the Versafine, lovely big pad there. Uh, then if we go to the Brilliance then as well, uh, that's, that's the one we showed you there. Uh, there in terms of what you were explaining yeah. in terms of onto the vellum. parchment yeah yeah onto the parchment and then of course she stays on does what it does in terms of all those different mediums as well so yeah just a bigger bundle but three absolute I mean the first thing Catherine said to us was I need small first first of all Claire <laughs> yeah she so I need that I need that right that is 16 pounds and 99 391500 right let's talk about the brilliance let's talk about some color now Paula yeah. um, these are pigment inks and again I've got a beautiful board here but we've got a big selection. It's a pick and mix, so you can pick any five. Look at this price point. Is that right? Absolutely love them. Absolutely oh. love them. Uh, oh. Brilliant, especially in the dew drops. Now, as I mentioned before, Brilliance is brilliant for stenciling. Imagine doing that stenciling with a pearlescent finish because many of these colors, by the oh. way, uh, many of them are pearlescent. There is a couple that are not. If you need to know which ones are not, I will give you the which ones are not pearlescent. Okay. But you it will dry. Remember, beautiful colors onto vellum and parchment. They have got this... I, you know what, when I was looking at them, I said I couldn't make my mind up which one was my favorite. They will work on ensuring plastic as well. They will work on the thicker parchment, on the thinner one. And also imagine your groovy stamps. I stamp them onto parchment, let Ooh. them dry naturally about an hour time, and then to do the embossing, the white work on the back. That's using what two of my favorites, which is of course um, Platinum Planet. Oh, I think I think that's Platinum Planet and yeah. Galaxy Gold. Oh, you can see that shimmer there. There's some. These are beautiful. Again, I'm going to hold up some of these lovely samples here. Um, you can see. Oh, I've just knocked them over. The pearlescence there. You can really see that on. Gosh, on the vellum as well. Isn't it amazing? Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't do white work as uh, as much as I want it, but you could imagine too. Right, lots of colours there. Don't forget, you can download Paula's explanation. Oh. Leave them, Fiona. Leave them. Uh, let's move on. Nine pounds ninety-five, three six 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 three four. Now we're going to move on to uh, the, yeah, the pick and mix again of the Versa Craft small ink pads. So how do these differ then, Paula? Well, any so these ones are the ones that go to ink if you want to work on fabric. Once that they are heat set, they become permanent and they will not wash out. But they are mm. water-based, so it means that you can, for instance, here for that, I stamped onto linen. 
uh, with the colors. I spray it with water so it kind of moves. Then I heat set it with a, you know, with a iron on the back, and then I stamped it into black. And again, I heat set it. it means that I can put it through the wash. So you can wow. stamp onto your um, tote bags. You can stamp you, all your stamps. Now you can use them onto your calico or qu uh, qu quilting cotton, and then do s do your own patterns. Imagine yeah, that wow. with the colors. Gorgeous. I mean, pick any eight for that price point. Eleven ninety nine, and what a gorgeous set of colours there. Mass and I've got to say, I realise these aren't all the colours, um, yeah. but of the Versacraft, that uh, those colours. I mean, they really do pop. If I just show you a couple yeah. there, um, obviously there, there's yeah. not all there. There's a huge selection, but they really do pop there. Yeah. Really do pop. Pick any eight. Eleven ninety nine. Choose some one one two five. Uh, Versifying Claire. So again, lots of color choices. Pick any three. Lots of, these. of color choices. You can pick. Uh, so basically, here, uh, I mean, you can pick three for fourteen pounds or ninety-seven pence, or you can do for us a, a couple of them. Uh, I, I just go for your favorite colors. Yeah. I love. I have to say, uh, I love the verdant, which is that light green, and I love oh. the charming pink as well in there. But you know, it's your favorite three, and of course, remember, this is the one that will give you amazing fine detail. You can use this ones, of course with cardio you can use them with uh, any any stamps that you have got they are oil based uh, pigment based so you give you that crisp fine results every time and again stunning stunning colors there to choose from 40 pounds 97168707 let's look at the website as well uh, where you can get all those hidden extras and see what we've got here on the counter and choose those pick and mixes so you can pick any three for the versifying claire any eight for the versacraft and any five for the brilliance and don't forget our bundles of the stays on brilliance and versifying claire and of course the bundle of five the versifying brilliance stays on versa magic and the memento right we have already had a question come in from christine she said what is the best ink to use for different types of rubber What's best for acrylic? Very good question. Very good, good question. Yeah. Uh, personally, I would say my go-to ink, um, I would say ten, um, maybe about eight, nine, eight out of ten times would be Versafine Claire or Versafine um, Black, whichever one is, is closest to me. Tend to be go for Versafine Claire. So if I'm thinking more about the stamp, and that's a very good question because I kind of ask, you know, what do you think about if you are going to get an acrylic stamp, for instance, we, which we have got in here, Versafine Claire is the most, like you will give you the most even results across acrylic stamps or ru red rubber or gray rubber or photopolymer however I would say one thing is like brilliance is also great across the board brilliance so basically I would say pigment base are the best across all different types of uh, the rubber stamps so brilliance and versifying Claire are my favorite. Yeah. Carol's asking what do we mean by the word archival? Very good question uh, by the way all Sukuniko inks are archival and in that archival is to mean that they are um, so basically they will have if I stamp something five years ago it will as long as they are not direct sunshine every single day of the day you know yeah. they will keep their uh, consistency ah. so for instance if you stamp about I mean I have got some samples that I did literally 11 years ago wow. and I'll show you them uh, let, let me it's grab them depth because, of color isn't it that's um... so this is memento obviously it's colors these ones I stamped I think 10 years ago and look at that wow or 11 it years ago still it's still yeah you know the color doesn't degenerate so archival yeah. also means that it will not degenerate anything that comes in contact so if you it's safe to put it with your memory books or the scrapbooks that's a brilliant one I've never thought about that question what is archival you had some questions this morning as yeah, well. yeah we did like... and of course uh, so keep them coming in yeah. and we'll try to answer if I don't know them then I will be like I don't know <laughs> all right so <laughs> I'm gonna start I, again I, I apologize to those ones who have seen this demo a thousand times but we always have got new people um, watching us and it's very important for me the difference between the mediums how they are built and this are, of course it's about not only ink pads but also about any other products to know the difference between dye and pigment i have got here two rinkers which are exactly the same color broken china and i have it on distress oxide and distress ink on its own so Distress ink we know is a dye base and water base. So I'm going to put it in here, just a droplet into water. 
and you can see immediately that it kind of goes to the bottom but it kind of I go in like this and it kind of completely dilutes itself and I still can see a little bit of translucentness into it because of course dye has got that property it's like putting a drop of you know a, a soda or something like that or wine into water you like kind of mix it up yeah. and then the whole thing colors up yeah, right like or a dye you know yeah. uh, clothes dye pigment on the other hand you can see that immediately the difference it has got a ball bearing because pigment never quite dissolves into water or any medium it's always disperses mm. so never kind of the particles are always going to be there I'm going to put two drops because obviously there are smaller drops in of this one and then I'm going to just mix it up and automatically even though it's the same color you can see that I still mm -hmm. kind of see the lines in there you can see the cross there yes. but if I put it there there's absolutely opacity so that's pigment which is opaque dye is translucent also likewise if I do if I did into a piece of paper which I haven't done this demo before so let me grab a piece of paper which I should have had uh, ready to go, but sometimes if I put it onto paper, you can see that kind of sits in there with more kind of, um, you know, kind of a, a bubble in there. And then when I, if I do this one, kind of immediately kind of sips into there. So there is a, can you see how it's kind of lowering itself? Mm. And I'm sorry, like here is already completely disappears yeah. whether here I still even into the smaller part I still have that element of doming so that's because the dye goes directly sips into the fibers so it obviously I put a lot so it kind of takes a little bit of time yeah. so it's like a wine so if you drop a glass of wine onto the carpet yeah. immediately the sucks fibers up. sucks them up but however if you have got the smoothie Oh, you so know, with her fibers, sits on top. Sits yeah, on top. So you've got a bit of time to walk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because but that's the same way of dye. It's like uh, the wine yeah. sits right into the fibers. The smoothie, is, the pigment is like the smoothie that sits it's on the top. top. Yeah. So it's lower as I well like in nature. Then, of course, so if I will go here, and this is the boards that are on, that you can download on my blog, or of course on the website or on the Facebook, you have got the pigment and dye. So we have explained that pigment, of course, is more opaque, it's perfect for darker cards, so therefore, uh, so embossing is good because it's lower drying, and of course, dye is faster uh, drying. However, then we go into the other question Ooh. solvent, oil, oh, and water. Okay. Yeah, because of course, paper every, ready. exactly. So the pigment and dye is about the color. Yeah. The solvent oil and water is the kind of the medium, the carrier. Yeah. Okay. So that's one. So then let's have a look at the differences. So I'm going to put in here again, water mm -hmm. and just to show you, and I'm, I do apologize that it's one is black and one is, is gold, but that just, just you will have an idea. So I'm going to put brilliance, which is water base into water. Mm -hmm. So just a droplet in there. So you automatically it starts to disperse. But if I shake it, hopefully this will be dry. It kind of completely blends in. Now, of course, it is a pigment base, so mm -hmm. therefore the um, the particles are going to be there. But you can see that how it's water More based, opaque. so it's yeah. blending in with the water. However, yeah. if I put a stays on, which is um, of course alcohol based or solvent based. Just a droplet in there. Which is a dyeing. It's a dye alcohol base alcohol onto base. water. Look what happens. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> it has Where to go. Where'd it go? <laughs> it, it go? Well, it, it's, it's in there. It's in there. That was, that was like magic, isn't it? it it's, you can see it there. You want to see it again? It Tell just, me that again. It, yeah, I do. It just clung to the surface of your brush. So this yeah. is a dye ink with solvent based. Solvent based. <laughs> that's your new party trick. Uh, so, um, <laughs> I can make things basically, yeah, that's the magic of uh, television. No, this is what happens. And if you have got wrinkles, you can try this at home. Uh, <laughs> basically, that's important. Why? Because, of course, you want, when you're coloring in, especially, 
you want mediums that repel each other. So you don't want the water, uh, you know, you don't want the water-based inks uh, the, or pencils blending in with the outlines. You want a clean, yeah, crisp yeah. images. So that experiment is good because then you can see it. With oil-based inks, like for instance, um, Versafine would occur the same thing as you just don't have the re inker at hand. I need to sort that out. Anyway, um, so yeah, I need to also order those ones out. But you can see this is important now. So we have got water, oil, and solvent. So you have got the water are perfect for color blending as well. So you yeah. are because you they are slow blend drying. Yes, with blending. With it, yeah. They are great for alcohol markers because, of course, opposite, opposite, opposite so uh, yeah, yeah. react. And of course, if you have got inks that are not um, water react, so for instance, permanent. So for instance, uh, your distress inks will be the full bleaching as well. Wow. But not all water based are, are, are non permanent. So that's another whole show that we should do. We need a whole day but, for that one, Paula. <laughs> indeed. Yeah. Then we have got the oil base, which are medium drying, water resistant, watercolor mediums are the best. This one also gives you a faster medium drying. So that medium, you know, to, you have, can use embossing powders yeah. as well. And finally, alcohol or solvent base, which is the fastest drying, is perfect for non porous surfaces and is coarse is water resistant. And if you are confused, here it is another board that I have made. So every single one that are from Sukuniko as well as some extra ones are in, in, in here. So for instance, Stazon is dye base solvent, but also there exists a Stazon pigment. So it's alcohol solvent, but it's pigment. Versafine is pigment, but it's oil based. Right. Archival, for instance, is, uh, is this is when it comes in the hybrids. The hybrids can be this way mm -hmm. between oil and solvent based, or it can, they can be between like oxides that they are between pigment and dye base. So this right. is why this board, I find it really handy. Uh, they will be, of course, they are on blog. Uh, the website is blog.paulapasquale.com. Blog blog.paulapasquale.com. The surname is P-A-S-C-U-A-L. Yeah, that's good. Com, say, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, and then also this one is another board that I like to every, all the time to show it because it's like the cheat guide. Sometimes that is very kind of knowledge based. This is kind of, oh, I need to just use alcohol markers. Oh, memento. Uh -huh. I need water markers, Versafine or archival, uh -huh. or, you know, that will be perfect. Or, of course, you have got in here, sorry, this one is the right, the stays on. You have got the embossing powders, you have got all the details in here. So that is a really oh, good yeah. way. That's a good one, yeah. To go. So this one is like kind of the go-to, like the fastest questions, reference, reference one mm -hmm. as well. Brilliant. Right, and now, so we have done all, all that explanation. I hope it helps you to understand why different inks are necessary as well, you know, as others. Right, mm. so shall we start with some um, stamping on that parchment? So shall we yeah. do parchment? And if you've got any questions, she's here to answer them. This is the second of two shows. She was on at uh, 7 this morning with our Catherine. So email them in studio at the craft store .com or oh. on the Facebook page. Keep them coming because we, we have some brilliant questions. Are there any questions this morning that we haven't answered that, you know, were good ones that you had, Paola? Um, so the first question, oh, I, I, you know, I remember them. There were questions, it was about oh. fab, oh, no, I'm going to mix them up. I don't come back. Actually, I'm going to now stamp onto fabric, uh, onto vellum. I'm going to stamp onto paper. Now, this is another thing, exercise that I think is very good for you to do at home. Mm. And the reason is because if you, it, this is kind of um, a board that you can download. And mm -hmm. if you want to test different inks, by all means, just cover this up and then just put whatever other ink you want. Um, because. I don't know what cardstock you use at home. And all the cardstock will behave a slightly different from, a, you know, like a slow in drying time. So what I would do is start, uh, print it out with a computer and write it here, maybe a Sweet Dixie, super smooth, um, ultra smooth cardstock. Okay. Uh, Pink Frog, uh, you know, super smooth. On the, yeah. Well, slightly, some cards are more absorbent yeah, than others, more right. porous, so therefore the drying times, which are important, mm. might act a slightly different even using the same ink. Right. So we are going to start with Brilliance, uh, just because it's the first one that here. Now, Brilliance is one of those ones that I love to use as a home decor ink. And that means that it's one for MDF, is one for your vellum, is one 
a mixed media ink, you know, the one that you would use as well for uh, your polymer clay, but also for a sharp mm. black in there. Now, if I go like this immediately, you can see how wow. much yeah. it has kind of gotten, you know, like it's still is super wet, it's super rich. Juicy, you, yeah. yeah. You can uh, use embossing powders as well with it because it's still wet enough for that. Now, I'm going to clean it. Now, it's important that you not only clean, but you dry your stamps if you are mixing your inks, because, of course, some of them might be water-based. So if it's wet stamp, it might react a little bit. The next one I'm going to go for is VersaFine Clair. Um, now, VersaFine and VersaFine Clair, as I mentioned, um, they are very, they behave incredibly close to each other. Some people prefer one or the other. Most people prefer a VersaFine Clair just because of the pads. But um, some people like Janet Prime prefers um, a VersaFine original. So it's, it's just a tiny difference. I don't particularly, my preference is just because of the pads of the VersaFine Clair, but they both give you very fine results. Now, in here, you can see, of course, it's black, it looks the same, oh. but I'm gonna, and you can see that it's oh, a fraction. Yeah. It, there is a fractional, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of, of a mismatch, but tiny, tiny. So uh, automatically, you know that Brilliance is much slower drying than, um, of course, a Versa Fine Claire. Again, I'm cleaning my stamp, and then I'm gonna go in with Memento, which is a dye base water base but it becomes permanent in the sense that you know you, it's not one of those ones that you can drag the color in mm -hmm. because it has got a binder or a, or, or a fixative inside that makes it a little bit permanent onto paper or card then we kind of have it in here and then automatically I go in you cannot even see it no. I mean I can see a little bit of a smudge but it's just impossible to see to the eye and then I'm going to go in with a stazer, which is the alcohol solvent base that stays on non porous surfaces and, of course, is dye base as well. So I'm going to put it in here. Now, one of the things about the stazer, and I know because it's solvent, a lot of people have fear about using it into... Um, how you call it, um, a clear stamps, because they think that they... they stay on your clear yeah. acrylic stamp, yeah. However, um, it's it's one of those ones that I know, like, after, uh, you know, 17, no, how many years, I don't know how many years I have had a stazon and I have used it in clear stamps. I forgot, it's over two, over two, well, not two decades, almost two decades. I have never ruined a st a stazon, uh, with a stazon. However, I have with the stazon cleaner. I would recommend always to, if you're using a stazon, if you are fearful of ruining your stamps, just stamp afterwards with VersaFine because the oil will kind of um, moisturize the stamps okay. because of the oil. Yeah. But it doesn't really, I mean, personally, I have never had any problems with, with that issue. But, you know, just want to make sure that I mention it. I'm going to grab a... Um, marker. I don't know where I put my other marker. Oh, there it is. Anyway, so I have got here a water ba uh, alcohol base and a water base. Uh, in, and this is another exercise that is really good to do. Now, I'm using Brilliance and you can see immediately oh, how they pick it. Yeah, because it's water base and of course it does. Now, with alcohol, it's going to do the same thing, partly because it's not dry enough either. So just that's not good. This is not, and Brilliance is not an ink to use for coloring. I don't ever use, I use it for stenciling, for stamping crisp. I use it for vellum, but then I color in the back of the vellum. Ah, right. Okay. okay. Then we are going to go in with VersaFine. Remember, oil base, and mm -hmm. look at that. There is no, I kind of go over the lines, and it just doesn't, you know, it it's doesn't completely at all, yeah. those ones. And then I'm going to go in with the alcohol markers. And what happens is that will be almost invisible, but I can see the difference. What happens is that the black, and if you see that black and that black, it dulls the black. So mm -hmm. I don't recommend VersaFine for alcohol markers because it, it doesn't as much it, but it dulls, dulls the, the, color. The, the color. Right. Then we are going to Memento. And Memento is all right with watercolors, but however, what happens is that it doesn't stay as crisp with, with watercolors. And that's because it's a water-based permanent ink pad. Mm. However, 
the alcohol markers is just the perfect, perfect ink. The opposite, so because, the alcohol and the water. Yeah, yeah, because even if I go over the black, yeah. it will not diminish. The, there is no change with it here. If we come back to this one, can you see the difference between it's that black and that there. one black? Yeah. It's yeah. just a tiny, it, if you saw it in real Dulled life, it. it's just kind of completely dulled it. When in this case, it hasn't. And then finally, it stays on. Again, it stays on, has dried immediately. It's alcohol based, so I can go with my water. Waters. And then, if I go with my alcohol, can you see how it, they kind of blend those lines? Because yeah. alcohol and alcohol, they will blend together. Yeah. So, this is an exercise that is good to do to have a board. And also, the other thing that I like to do is after five minutes, do this. Because you can see brilliance is still wet. Mm -hmm. If I do that with a burst of fine, and I'm just kind of, I'm not I'm using this finger because this is like, the other one is, you can see that it's all dry. So this is a good exercise for, to make. Brilliant. Fabulous. So education is so good to revisit, isn't it? Because you forget. Um, I'm just going to start with that set of five that Powell's just been taking us through. The Versafine, the Brilliance, the Stays On, the Versa Magic, the Memento. Uh, this is what Paula recommended for, for, for me at home. So this is what we use my little girl. Um, 10 .99, and you can really see the differences then and experiment with your mediums, as Paula's explaining. Don't forget to download that as well. We'll give you that... Uh, um, uh, that blog uh, address in a moment again. 400-794-1099 for all five of those. If you're looking for three of the larger pads, which uh, I know a lot of you crafters do, this is your stays on, your brilliance, and your first fine Claire. 391-500-1699, and you're saving three pounds. So you've got your pigment, and uh, you've got your dye ink there as well. So you've got something that's water-based. You've got, uh, you know, the Versafine Claire in, in there, that, that brilliant uh, uh, go-to as well. That's also impossible for several minutes. But don't forget, all these fabulous boards that Paola has done are on her blog. And that was? Uh, Blog.paolapasquale.com. Uh, uh, so it's Paola Pasquale is P-A-U-L-A. A P A S C U A L blog dot com. There we go. So we can download these balls because she's done it for us. Next up, we have uh, the brilliance. I know. And what's this? Is there a bit of shrink plastic there? Uh, yes, with it the brilliance? is. Brilliance is uh, because I always say brilliance is one of those ink pads that if you want to pull prints with your a jelly plate or you want to use it onto shrink plastic or vellum, oh, this yeah. is perfect because it has got that pearlescent, beautiful color, and they will dry perfectly on a shrink plastic and of course onto vellum. So you can pull prints now onto a shrink plastic. You can pull prints onto parchment with this beautiful ink that has got that pearlescent nature. Beautiful. Oh, oops, oh, upside down there. That is gorgeous. So your card, your stenciling, your vellum parchment, your wood, your polymer clay, your shrink plastic. Choose any five of your colors. It, there's 12 different options there. And uh, they, they do pop. I've got some of the colors on there, though. And you can see that beautiful pearlescent element, that, uh, that the color depth of that rocket red. Isn't that gorgeous? 366-634-995. Two of Powell's favorite there being the platinum palette, I think, as she said, in the moonlight white there. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, we have the Versa Craft. Um, pick any eight for this one. Uh, 11 99 Again, great for the material, as Paola was explaining. Um, fabric stamping maintains the color there on your natural and soft hand fabrics of your mixed media. Um, permanent on natural fibers when you heat set and works on other porous surfaces um, and uh, when heat setting, heat setting with embossing powders, water-based, archival and acid-free. Uh, yeah, pick any eight. There's some gorgeous colors on there. Look at that color pop. That's just some of them. Amazing. Ooh. Uh, 271125, 1199. And then the first fine Claire. You pick any three big pads. Now, this is your oil-based ink pad. I'm, I mean, I'm just reading what Paola's written for me. Um, quick drying pigment ink, perfect for watercolor paints or water-based markers. Best ink for fine details, large stamps, and impossible for several minutes. Pick any three. Again, gorgeous colors. I mean, I, I, this sample board has a, a few more on there, um, but uh, have a little look on the web. You pick any three. 1497 168 seven, 
zero seven. Right back to our lovely Paola. What are we? What are, where are we going now? Well, Paola? I was thinking we would go to Brilliance because I think oh. it's one of those uh, you know versifying clay. You know what it does: fine results, stamping, beautiful colours, and you see them used by many demonstrators uh, all the time. Now, of course, we have got in here Moonlight White, which is one of the, oh. my favourite yeah. whites. Now, this one I'm going to mention the ones that are not pearlescent is Rocket Red, yeah. Gamma Green, uh, Moonlight White, and the Black are matte. All the others are pearlescent. Oh, right. Now, if I start onto the white, look at that. That's a good white. Oh, looks that good. That is, uh, you know, because it's really difficult. And remember, because they are pigment, that's why it has got that opacity onto the darker oh, cards. Nice. Then I'm going to go in with a Starlight Silver, which is one of my favorites. It's a very juicy one, but look at this. Then you, it's a kind of look at that so now Ooh. that has got the pearlescent nature yeah. now both of them give you that kind of white nature as well so it kind of stands up but one has got more the pearlescent and one has got more the chalky finish in them I'm going to use it as well onto white because then you can see it how it works onto white so just gonna go in there and you can Ooh, see yes. that. So that still oh, is visible in there. Yeah. Remember that this takes a little bit of time to dry, but it will dry naturally onto uh, surfaces. Uh, you know, you have to wait a little bit. Maybe oh, you better to wait naturally rather than get your heat gun out. You oh. can. You, it, it's up to you. I mean, it, it doesn't dull it at all. I personally like the fact that you can just let it look at the copper. Oh. That naturally it will dry. So again, which colour was that, darling? I That's did. the Cosmic Copper. Ah, Cosmic Copper. copper. I'm doing this so people also can see that there are some of the different colors. And then finally, I'm going to use one of the colors, which is the Pearlescent Mauve. I think mm. that's the one. Yeah, Pearlescent Purple, sorry. No. And then we have that. You can see, I'm going to put it in here. Can you see the, if I tilt it, yeah. you can see the pearlescent. I can see that from the overhead now, yeah. yeah. It's definitely, Beautiful. you can see, I'm going to tilt them again because then you will see the difference between all those colors. And then, of course, onto white looks so much stronger. But look at this. Oh, yes, look now at this. I can see that now, yeah. Look at Copper. all those gorgeous yeah. colors in them. So, of course, you have got a choice there of many more colors, including greens in there as well. Remember that some of them are matte and some of them are, uh, you know, shiny as well. But Pick shall we do it on to vellum as well? Because oh, yes, please. And you're picking any five. Yeah. Any five for 9 .95. Now, I have uh, used uh, before in a jelly print. So oh. it has now completely dried. I haven't heat set it. So in a couple of hours, it's completely dried. And, of course, that depends on the room temperature, oh. the room uh, you know, humidity as well, and how fast or something is going to dry. So like in people. here, is it supposed to look like people. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are oh, supposed like to be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not your eyes are not deceiving. Yeah. <laughs> but then, of course, it's, uh, I'm going to go in with the brilliance that is on the on the um, kit in there on the first bundle. First bundle of five. Yeah. yeah. But you can use the larger one that it comes in the bigger bundle. Yes. So I'm going to stamp on top of it. I always get very nervous when I'm stamping with an acrylic block. Live on telly. <laughs> <laughs> and if you've got any questions for Paula, let us know with 20 minutes remaining. That's turned out beautifully. Do you remember that you were my second hour here at Bola um, and it was with the stamping platform. Right. It was my first day, second oh. hour ever in this channel. So it was with you and I remember very well. Oh so, my goodness. Yeah. So this, look at that. Look at this, that gorgeous. Now, of course, then you, what I would do is let it dry naturally, and then if I want to color it, I would color from the back. So then that way, or you do some white work. But you can see in here that this has been done in the previous hour, that kind of through the jelly print. So it's really soft and gorgeous, the gold in here. But then you can color in from the back. I do remember it was a Tim Holtz platform, wasn't yes, it? Absolutely. I do remember. She yes, showed, yes. She showed me the wonders of a stamping platform, and now guess what we've got at home? A stamping platform. platform. Um, absolutely. Question in from Sue, uh, what colour is the best 
or which one is best for craft cards so that it doesn't lose its strength and you know uh, I would go for again I would go for either versifying clear or brilliance either or would work really well the reason why I like them both is because they are pigment so yeah. they sit on the surface craft oh, card yes. is very porous it's very mm. fibrous so what it does is absorbs the ink so and put in, suck it in, mm. in especially if they are dye base immediately goes in so something like brilliance or versifying clear or even also versa magic because they are pigment they will sit nice in the surface and will give you a great result. I think it's sinking in Paola. I think it's going into the grey matter over here. Good. Just about. It's just if you think about it you want if you have got something very fibrous you want something that sits, sits on, the top, on the top like your smoothie. So exactly. If you think, want yes, if, you. if you have uh, something that it, you need to for instance now we have got here a piece of well this is a buckle a uh, mirror buckle yeah. a glossy so then of course I'm going to go in uh, and I'm going to go with maybe this stamp which is acrylic and I know yes. a lot of people uh, will say that you know oh you're using a stays on onto acrylic stamp remember it you can clean it just don't use the clean this the cleaner that comes in and it will be absolutely fine now if wow. i know it look at that brilliant there it is oh. there is that. that's so good so imagine if you want so now i will let it dry yeah. and i don't have one that i've done earlier but i have got oh the way but you have got the board, haven't yes, you? Yes, I have, honey. Yes, here's the board. You've got it here on acetate. You've got it here on the shrink plastic. You've got it here on your glass, these non-porous surfaces. Um, and even before Paola got the stays on, I was thinking I'd go for stays on this that. I'm trying to learn, learn here. Um, and we've also had, an, and you've got it there on the clay, on the, on the sheet metal there, the craft metal. Um, Theo is asking, what... What ink would you ah? If you want to stamp an image and you want to color it in with your watercolor pencils, what ink would you use? Well, because you are, if you are using watercolor pencil, it means that you are gonna want to uh, kind of color in uh, with water. You want to blend those lines. So I personally, with with pencils, I will go either with Versafine or alcohol marker. Now, the reason why I suggest even go with a stays on. Sorry, I did, say, did I say alcohol marker? I meant a stays on. Um, so I would go for a stays on. It's because um, not being not pigment. Sometimes I'm not going to show you what you mean. If you're using a pencil mm. into pigment, you can rub because you are putting a little bit more pressure. You could rub some of the pigment off that's sitting on the surface. Yes, so if you have got a dye base like alcohol marker, mm. then you will not because it's sipped into the fibers. Yes. It, it, it's pretty much the same, but my go-to would be a Saison and then maybe Versafine Claire or right. Versafine. Yes. I think I remember the question from, that from earlier. All oh, right, okay. It, was it about, I mean, let me remember, if it was about cleaning your stamps with oh. the different, um, so, you know, how, uh, now, of course, and oh no, and which one was the best ink? That was it, a very good question. But what was the best ink to across the acrylic stamps, photopolymer and rubber stamps? Right. Now, personally, when it comes to acrylic stamps, which are traditionally the ones that are the most um, kind of, um, how can I say, challenging for inks, the ones that I stay away are the dye base inks especially water based inks so i wouldn't use my distress inks i wouldn't use anything that is kind of water based in there however mm -hmm. well water dye base however what i would use is the uh, of course the um, oil base that are let me show you the versafines i'm very proud by the way this That's is a it's a lovely cabinet there. This is my um, stamps away. So Ali oh. Reeve uh, gave me this very kindly. Oh. So you can see in here I have got all my Versafines. So Claire's and my black inks. This is my go-to most of the time. Like I'm going to go with Charming Pink, which I believe is a, uh, an option that we have. And then I just dab it. This is acrylic, remember? Mm -hmm. And then I kind of go in there, pressing down. And look at that, it's just such a sharp oh, wow. black in there. So then if I did that with an, uh, you know, a dye, uh, a dye base one, uh, it would kind of tend to pull a little bit. So, and it, well, I was, a, I was, I found it remarkable. I know you've just cleaned your stamp, but there was barely anything left on that stamp. 
it all went down onto the paper, yeah, didn't absolutely. it? Absolutely, it did. Yeah. yeah. So yes, Memento is great as well, even though it's exactly what I just said that it doesn't work. But again, we are talking about an amazing company to mm. Suginico that even the things that shouldn't work. Sometimes they work, <laughs> but definitely if you are struggling with acrylic stamps uh, or, and, you know, an ink that is for all the seasons and it's the, you know, good all-rounded, versatile player, I would say, is what the best all-rounder. And we've got some gorgeous colours there. We do. three of those large ink pads there for 1497-168-707, another choice. Um, we've got the brilliance as well that I'm standing in front of here, the pigment ink that dries on so many surfaces here with that lovely pearlescent finish. There's a couple in there that have a matte finish, for instance, like the Rocket Red. Great for your vellum, your shrink plastic, your non-porous surfaces, uh, polymer clay, wood leather. It's archival and acid-free and water-based. You're picking any five, 995-366-63. Four. And then the VersaCraft fabric stamping. Um, you get eight of these. Can this the VersaCraft go on uh, other stuff, not just fabric? Can it yes, go on other stuff as absolutely. well? Absolutely. Um, uh, so VersaCraft. Now you have seen uh, Wendy from Cardio, if you, um, you know, doing yes, her stamping. Yes, one, you know, special, one yeah. day special. And she uses not VersaCraft but VersaColor, which is also manufactured from, from Sukiniko. Now, I will say one thing, uh, she loves them and she makes amazing work, and, yeah. but I prefer her Bursa Craft just because uh, it behaves more or less in the same way, mm -hmm. personally, I find, but then what it has on top of it is that when you heat set it, it becomes permanent right. onto fabric. Right. So it means that you can wash it. Now, I did that on the end of the show in the previous hour. And this is what uh, the girls, um, you know, uh, Kathy from um, Pink Ink Designs Aww. uses because you can wet the fiber. And then, of course, because it's water-based, it will move around, Aww. but only until you heat set it. Right. So uh, once that you heat set it, that's um, it. It becomes fixed. permanent right. into the fabric, so you could wash it. Brilliant. But you can use it on cards. You can use you it can use perfectly. It cardio it's, cards. Stamps. It's absolutely you can. The only thing I would say with car, with with um, a Versa um, a a Versa, Versa color yeah. is a Versa craft. Yeah, is that it's a very rich pigment ink yeah. and water base. So it means that. When you put it in, again, you could do this exercise. Works brilliantly on our acrylic stamps as well. By the way, if you hear noises, it's my stomach rumbling. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> yeah, well, I forgot to eat properly. Wow. Now, this is obviously solid, but you can see that it kind of oh, is very just needs rich. just to that time to dry. Exactly. But remember, once you dry it, it becomes permanent. So, and you can stencil with it as well. So if I have got here a, a, a stencil, mm -hmm. and I know this is not quite the demos that I'm going to go in with, uh, what is this, a pink? I'm going to go with pink. Yeah, because we can pick any eight for 11 yep. So I'm going to say paint. Mm -hmm. And you can see that it's picking up a little bit of the black that was there because yeah, I obviously here. haven't cleaned my stencil. Naughty Paula. <laughs> but there you have it. But you can see in there that you use stencils yeah. really well. And it has blended those colors that they were there before. So, for instance, if I have got here a more clean and you can see the vibrance in there. The vibrance well. the color, yeah. So the art inks that if I wanted to bring in, so for instance, I bring in, um, do I have got a pink and let's go for the blue, and although it's very light. So I do apologize, my brushes are not very, but they're in here. So I kind of go in with that ant, and then I'm gonna go in. Oh, oh. I'm just now I'm, I'm well, having a little bit of all, yes, there, I yeah. am. Don't do that at home. But oh, see how blend. how well they have blended yes. in here yeah. because they are they are going to stay wet for quite a while. But please don't do like I do. Um, separate brushes. <laughs> separate brushes. If you want to clean your ink pads, uh, you, what you can do sometimes is just dab it gently. Yeah. And that will happen. Since it still will be stained, but you are getting rid of the, the first layer yeah, yeah. of color yeah. there. And then, of course, it, it won't get rid of too much. So that is a, a great top tape to use it. Yeah, brilliant. We've still got 10 minutes. So please, any questions you've got for our Paola, bring them in now is the time to ask. 
It is a, an absolute um, a brilliant study on all of the fantastic uh, stamp and colours here, I should say, for your mediums. Uh, the actual Versacraft that Pav's just shown us there for that lovely blending ability there on whatever the medium there, but you fix it when you eye, uh, you know, when, you, when it's heated, as if we were talking about the material, then it's fixed. 271125 pick any eight. Uh, the Versafine Claire, yeah, the oil-based ink pad yeah the pigment ink quick drying proven very popular picking any three colors there juicy pads there 1597 168707 and some really really um beautiful beautiful colors there have a little look on the web which are the three of your choice and of course we've still got on the on our brilliance uh, pick a mix of five of those and of course our pick a mix of the, of, of the black ones as well the black inks there with our uh, Versafine brilliant stays on uh, Memento and our Versa magic right let's go back to Paola right so I'm going to do it here I'm going to just show you with the Versafine Claire one of the reasons why we, so many of us use it now um, it is like we say a, a very intense color uh, compared to tr traditional Versafine uh, they have got Claire uh, you know beautiful Claire, you know what happens there? Claire, in I think it's in French, that means uh, um, lighter. Okay. So I think, I mean, I'm not, I don't know French, but I know that claro in Spanish means lighter. <laughs> So then it's, and also means clear. Oh, that's clear, clear you know, clear, that's, you yeah. know, but, uh, but they are definitely not clear inks. Uh, now, of course, we're going to choose which ones are your favorite colors from oh, over there? Uh, of these ones? Yeah. Uh, I like any, that, that third row, I like blues and greens and turquoise mermaid colors. Okay, so... You loved a green, you loved one of those greens in there, didn't Well, you? I do, but yeah. it's the kind of verdant. Do we have verdant in there? Verdant? <gasps> Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, Verdant. Yeah, Shall we do Verdant? And we have yes. got warm breeze as well. Do we Ooh, have warm breeze? Yeah, we do have yeah. green, yeah. So yeah, those ones are Verdun, two, two um, of my favorite, favorite. Green Oasis, yeah. yeah okay. Let's have those two, yeah. So I'm going to go for Verdant and Warm Breeze, and then I'm going to go start with the lighter one. And I'm using a photopolymer stamp from. Mm. Um, Hero Arts. Now, mm. this is, of course, the way that you are going to get the most. I mean, look at the tiniest dot mm. in there, but the oh, colors geez. are strong and beautiful. That's Even the, burden, the lighter it? ones. It, they give you such an amazing result. They are just such gorgeous colors in there. And then, of course, you can stamp it again with the lighter one. And there will be a little bit of interlining oh. here, but you can see there that because they are more opaque, if you want a perfect blend, you kind of use dye base. When you want kind of a, a more the marked effect, pigment base, but look at this. Beautiful. I just love the way that you are getting such a vibrancy with the pigments. And of ah. course this, if I do this, it will be a little bit white, but it will dry, com well, you can see it's almost dry immediately. Yeah, that was quick, wasn't yeah. it? So I love the transition there between those colors. I love that. Yeah, so. warm breeze there, beautiful. And it's the great ink. I mean, this is the kind of, if you want a sentiments in color of flowers and you want, sh you know, a strong ink, that would be absolutely perfect as well. Can I show you another quick demo that I wanted to yeah. do? Um, because we have, I mean, I'm making such a mess. You can imagine how my studio at home is. It's just a, a mess. It's just, it's just like all the time. And you know what I do is like when I have to do a project, I have to tidy up the project beforehand. Uh, no, <laughs> it's just, yeah. I mean, one of the reasons I love the Dewdrops app is because again it's a mixed media sort of way because we can take brilliance into here and then directly onto the uh, empty, well this is wood we yeah. can go in very easily all over now for so you the go straight onto your MDF MDF your, absolutely yeah, your cool cats pro pro projects and then you can then even if you wanted to bring in you can bring a brush in here Oh. And of course, blend those inks even more. So you have got the ability to do all that with these inks. And look, this is one coat. It doesn't need, you know, it's almost like you avoid having to use gesso because this partly is because of that pigment rich condensation. And that will give us, and then I'm going to open that wow, up. Wow, great coverage. I've never thought of going straight on to MDF with it. Uh, straight or up. Wood or wood yeah. yeah. And then of course, for those little nooks and crannies, you use Get your brush, your brush. Wow. Very long queues on the phone line. Do apologise. We know you're waiting. If you do have access to the web, that'd be fabulous. We do apologise. 
but see how e quick and easy and that will take a, you know because wood is very absorbent so it will be dry you're starting to dry so you can see yeah. there that there is a starting to dry uh, and some parts of it but you know this is so much easier than having to bring your acrylic paints and so much more because then it's it's done in here mm. now I have got a, this that a piece that I did early on which is of course galaxy gold onto MDF it started like this galaxy gold in there and look at that wow that beautiful thing you can stamp in on top of this as That's well. That's the brilliance one, isn't it? It is brilliant. Yeah. Now, to go on top of this, I tend to go for a stazon mm -hmm. because I think that the stazon is just the one that will dry on any surfaces. Mm -hmm. so, so that will be a good one to go for. You could use brilliance as well, but I kind of prefer a stazon in here. And there you have Oh, wow. That's so amazing. You could, um, there as well. So there is so many possibilities and I strongly recommend you get the boards and you practice with the ink pants, whichever bundle you have got. And with your mediums, yeah. Absolutely. And then just see what's going to work for you. Paula, thank you so much. Always insightful, always brilliant. And don't forget, you can access those boards and Paula's explained it all. She's got it on um, blog.paulapascual.com. And that's P-A-U-L-P-A-S-C-U-A-L. Um, so yeah, all those boards are on there for, for that insightful information. Make sure you check out the baskets because we know you're waiting there. Um, but uh, you can catch the shows on Rewind as well, of course, and see the seven o'clock show. Um, I think we've kind of covered everything. We went yeah. through it all again yeah. anyway, but if there's anything, uh, any other questions, um, yeah, I'm sure Paula will have it on her blog or you contact her on the Facebook as well Absolutely. via the craft store. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank Definitely. you so much, my darling. Thank you, Fiona. Oh, Thank you. brilliant. Brilliant. I think it's finally sinking in, folks. It's finally getting in there, the difference. Uh, it's taken a while, but, you know, I just listen and learn. Uh, thank you. We're very busy on the phone line, so please hang, hang fire. We will be with you as soon as we can. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy making your own boards. Enjoy exploring with your, your water-based pencils, you know, your water pe pencils and your alcohol pens and what have you. And, uh, yeah. Don't forget to check out your baskets. Right, let's see what else is coming up today on The Craft Store. Well, we've got Dark Room Door coming up next uh, with a lovely cafe. And then I'll be rejoining Wendy for the Cardio 18th birthday one day special. And then we've got my two ladies with some knitting. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. To make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific like our stitchery which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute to classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Hello everyone.
one. Were you watching the last show? Did you go for the inks? Well, maybe you want to go for some stamps to go with those inks. That's exactly what we've got for you. We've got dark room door, and that also means we've got a fabulous guest with us as well. I'm really pleased to see Sue today. It's Sue Smith. Good Hello. morning. <laughs> it is lovely to see you, Sue. It's Thank been a while you. since I've worked with you. Yes, yeah, and it's a pleasure to be here. Yes. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> How come you found yourself here with dark room door? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was just lucky and very fortunate to be asked. Oh, so I'm not, delighted. They are an amazing company, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They've been around yeah. for some time. Yeah, 2007 they were wow. founded. Yeah, by photographer Rachel Gregg, hence the name, I think. Do you know, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that fact. Do you know, that answers a lot of questions about the name, doesn't it? Mm. Let's have a look what we've got on offer, because we've got a whole selection for you. Something for everybody, I think. Now, almost everything mm. we've got on the show is absolutely brand new. You will see the new todays. Just a, a little reminder about dispatch dates, because these are coming from elsewhere, of course. So everything dispatched from the 26th of September. Let's start right here, though. We've got the Loopy Lace Border Rubber Stamp. This this is beautiful. It's a large stamp as well. Oh, aren't they fabulous? They really yeah. are. Do we know the length of this? Because it is enormous. I think they're long enough for your scrapbook pages. Yeah. I think they're 10 inches, I believe. Do you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they are 12. We'll, we'll try and find out. They're at least 10. 31 cent. That is a foot. It's just over a foot. So just over 12 inches. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, for the scrapbook pages, yeah, and journaling pages. That's what I'm being told. Wow. They're amazing, aren't they? They are. <laughs> so great for <laughs> scrapbooking, but obviously for your card making, you'd have to use the whole of the stamp. That is very effective as well with the texture that you're seeing in the stamp there, isn't it? Yeah, the detail is amazing. Yeah, it's lovely. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. 474743 is the item number. Let me just show you that stamp again because, of course, you can see it's red rubber, but I want to show you it is already cushioned as well. Absolutely fantastic. 474743. We've got more of those wonderful long stamps as well. Let's look at the next one. So underneath the, the lace, oh, this is lovely. You've got the snowflakes. Isn't that gorgeous? Again, if you want to do scrapbooking, that is going to be absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, and quick for background making, because you can, you know, stamp it, double it up. Of course. And create a whole array of snowflakes. You can, yeah. a little gem maybe in the centre of each, to put a little bit of sparkle in there, embossing powders. Your glittery embossing powders would look fantastic with this one. 14 167 another new today. Let's see what else we've got. We've got to have flowers, haven't we? We've got daisies for you. The daisy chain. That's lovely. That's that's a very versatile stamp. You could, I mean, there's so many ways you could use that, Sue, isn't there? It Keep is. it simple or be a little bit more elaborate with it. Isn't it delicate as well? It's I love gorgeous. how delicate it is. And you can obviously, yeah, colour it in. That sample's been done with uh, clear heat embossed and then inked over the top. Amazing. So the embossed in powder is like a resist yes, to the ink. Yes, yeah. Love it. It doesn't have to be a daisy. It could be, well, it could be whatever flower you want it to be, really. It could be a fantasy flower, if you prefer. You could put different centres in there. You could use your gems. So lots of options. Fourteen ninety nine is the price. 765309. Then we've got one more when it comes to these large stamps. Now, this one. I know it's Ross's favourite in the gallery. I think if I had to choose what, only one, if I could only have one, I think this is the one maybe I'd go for as well, Sue. So. Ditto. I, really? <laughs> I absolutely adore this. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. A row of pencils. The name is exactly as you see it. Oh, do you have, you'd have great fun with this because using the colours, you could change them into from um, black and white, you know, lead pencils into coloured pencils. Definitely, yes. You can cut each individual pencil out. You Very can useful. create a lovely border with them as well. Oh, you, you know, could, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, they're just amazing. I just love that. Definitely. Have fun with <laughs> colour with this one, I think. Fourteen ninety nine is the price. One nine five eight zero eight. Some really good choices already. Now we're getting busy already. I'm not surprised. I did say there's something for everybody, so let's have a look at the next one. 
This is another favourite of mine, Twisted Tree. Now, obviously, it's not just for Halloween, but straight away I'm thinking, how wonderful would that be? We've got that season coming up very soon, haven't we? So this is lovely because you've got the tree, but you could add leaves or flowers even if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be a naked tree. You could add other embellishments to it. Yes, you definitely can, and for all seasons as well. Definitely. And I, I just think the structure of that is, is just amazing. It's just fantastic. And it doesn't have to be Halloween, as you say. And I think that tree was a photograph that Rachel took and then converted it into a stamp. Amazing. And this is how the stamps arrive. So beautifully packaged, great for storage as well. 18.99 for this one, 134, 146. Again, cushioned, all these stamps are cushioned, so it's not just the rubber, they're ready to go. You can just cut them out and use them however you wish. Let's move down again, because we've still got lots to get through. Now we've got some sentiments for you now. So we've got the, the uh, greetings for you, birthday greetings in fact. You've even got a belated birthday in there. Make a wish. Hip hip hooray, it doesn't have to necessarily be birthday, I don't think. Time to celebrate, could be for anything. Of course, you have got happy birthday to you. You can use it to you or you don't have to. There we are, you're the icing on the cake. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, another one at 18.99, item number 156794. Just a reminder, dispatch from the 25th of September. I did say that at the beginning, but I've just got to make you aware of that. Everything's coming from abroad, of course. Now, the next one, we've got party balloons. A few words in this one as well. You've got celebrate, have fun, it's your day. You did it. Party invitation. Now, these are quite unusual. They're quite sketchy, aren't they? Yes, yeah. These are um, stamps produced by a different designer, um, similar to the cake ones coming up. And, and they do, they allow you to do so much and be so creative with them. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I can imagine if you've got a little teddy bear stamp, the teddy bear floating away on one of the balloons. <laughs> a tatty old teddy bear. You could put anything. Those. It could be anything, anything on the bottom it? of a balloon. Yes, you? you could do bunches of balloons as well. They don't yes. have to say separate. Item number on this one is 060544 once again. Now, Sue did just mention the cakes, and that's what we've got next for you. You can see how well they go together. Curly cupcakes. You've got more sentiments in here. You've got the candles. That's also like a sparkler, isn't it? Yeah. But it could be a dandelion if you want it to be. Yeah, yeah. Does it have to even be for a cake? Let me just show you a little sample that Sue's done for us. Oh, I want a party cake like that. That is lovely. I love how you've done the, the grounding, the shadowing under the cakes there, Sue. Oh, thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> just with a pencil. <laughs> That's amazing. 337-668 is the item number if you're going for the curly cupcakes. Now, we're moving away from stamps just briefly because we've got something completely different now. Of course, from Dark Room Door, we've got the postcards for you. Now, these are unusual. There's 24 altogether. Isn't that the most beautiful, beautiful image? Yes, again, <sighs> these are photographs that Rachel took, and they're on fabulous 300 GSM card. So, uh, and they can be used in, in several different ways as they are. You can just put them on a card front. You can tear into them, stitch them. I mean, white gel pens would look fabulous Ooh, nice. onto those. Add some lettering. They're you know, really they versatile. Are the sort of designs. There's a lot here for your money. I'm looking at these and I'm thinking straight away, I'd put those straight into a frame. <laughs> I really would. <laughs> these are nice with the wording on. All who are creative are doing something very important to the well-being of the world. Do you know that is very, very true? That is something we mm. hear all the time mm. with crafters, isn't it? Good for everybody's well-being. Some days you just have to create your own sunshine. I'm not going through all of these individually, but you can see different designs, something for everyone. Do you know, match these with maybe stencils and other stamps that you've got. You use them exactly as they are. Cut into them, as Sue said. You've got lots of options. We've got two more at the top. Again, we've got more black and white images. Oh, these are my sort of images. Yeah, they're so dramatic and, and I don't know, they're just... They're just amazing. You just want to open the door and see what's inside. <laughs> you do, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> the Lots detail of work that you can see in those as well. And then we've got some completely different ones again. Oh, fuchsia's one of my favourite flowers. There we These are. are gorgeous. I love the colours of them. 
They are the very sort of uh, vintage looking, aren't they? Yes. But you've got quite a vivid colour in there. They are beautiful. You can see the postcard detail. Again, I'll not go through each and every one because we've got so much to get through, but stunning. We have got one or two samples here as well. Of course, if you want to know what's behind the door, in fact, you decide what's behind the door. You can do that. You could put a message behind there. It could be a photograph behind there. It could be whatever you want it to be. Let me just pop in one of the flowers there as well. What's Add effective. a pop of colour. Yeah. Oh. Just one colour really makes yeah, it stand quick, out. Yeah, easy cards. Very quick and easy cards. Of course, you can be more creative if you wish and by adding other things to these as well. Uh, but very, very useful indeed. I adore these flowers. Twenty-three ninety-nine for the postcards. Four seven six one five eight. You're getting twenty-four individual postcards there. Really good price. That makes it a pound a postcard. That's amazing for a topper of that quality as well. Now this next bundle, I'm expecting this to be busy. This is one of my favourites on the show for a number of reasons. We all like to make our calendars. We all like our planners and our diaries, don't we? Maybe you're making invitations. Maybe it's for your journals. Maybe it's for your albums. Maybe it's just for your card making. You've got everything you would wish for here. Handmade by, belongs to, who, what, where, and when, <laughs> and mark the date. So, Sue, these are so useful, aren't they? They are, yeah, yeah. They're a must-have, I think. And the lettering style is really beautiful. I think, because it I could go so with a modern style or a vintage style. I just think it's really nice. They certainly are. I'm just going to pop it in front one or two of the samples we've got here so you can see what you can achieve. Of course, you can create your invitations. Of course, you can use them in your journals. All those happy planners will be very happy with these, won't they? Made for you by, and of course, you can put your own name in there or whoever's creating. Love, love, love the fact that you've got the calendars and the dates in there as well. There's so many more samples here, all along the same sort of theme. I mean, just to be able to do something like that, that would be really good for a save the date, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah, it that would. That would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just to circle that. And then, you know, if you make for other people, the fact that you've got one stamp and that particular date can be circled and the year filled in for whatever suits the occasion, just amazing. Eighteen ninety nine for the whole set. You're getting all four of these. Five five four four six two is the item number. Now moving on, we've got some texture stamps for you next. Always a favourite texture stamps. We've got the tree bark there as well. Another. You can never have too many uh, bark or wood effects. No. I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> You've got the tree bark and the fishing net. Eleven ninety nine for both of these. Six zero three three one seven. Um, let's have a look at the stamps themselves because, again, red rubber, as all, every one of the ones we've got on the show today that are red rubber are already cushioned for you as well. So there's your texture. You can see the detail there. Being red rubber, these are absolutely fantastic for getting a great impression from them. Use them into your air dry clay as well. Add texture into your clay. I love doing that with rubber stamps. 603317 is the item number there. Then moving on again, we've got a couple more for you. Again, you're getting both of these under one item number. Oh, those stars are nice, aren't they? There's so much texture in the background of the stars. Yes, yeah, brush stars. And I, I love those sewing spools. That's my second favourite. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's just amazing. Oh, look at I that. I love that. Oh, they're quite nostalgic, those. I, I reckon I've still got some spools that look just like that in my drawers at home. Eleven ninety nine for the pair. I've got a sample here as well, showing actually more than just these stamps. If I drink, bring that in, you can see that lace that we saw right at the beginning. There's the spools. Oh, you've used the um, sparkler from the cake I there have. as well. Yeah, yeah. They it's, kind of look like a sort of stitched, it does. embroidery stitch, yeah. Do you know, that is very, very clever. I like that a lot. 11 mm. if you want to go for the brush stars and the mm -hmm. sewing spools, 050292. And then finally on the counter, we've got much more than what's on this current counter, believe you me. But let's have a look at these stencils because these, again, are absolutely incredible. So we have got, of course, the honeycomb and the checkered. Now, you're getting two of each design, the large and the smaller version as well, all for eighteen ninety nine. That's another good price. Eight 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 six one one is the item number there. These are really useful, Sue. Yeah, um, and they're favourites as well. Must have favourites. 
definitely. I think, yes. So, and I love to see the same design, but in diff two different sizes, so you can lay them together as well. You can work with them in conjunction with each other. And ideal for different projects that you're doing as well. Yeah. Yes. Brilliant. Love it. 888-611. That's the end of the counter for now. Uh, do make sure you check those baskets out. Let's go to the website because I did say we've got lots more available as well. You see all of the stamps, starting with those really long ones. The pencil stamp is very busy. I am not surprised. It seems to be a favourite of many, many people, doesn't it? There's loads more to see. The postcards are there as well, don't forget. The stencils we've just seen. We've got lots more stencils besides. We might have a look at those later. We may or may not, but you can see all of the details on the website, of course. Sometimes there's so much product, we just don't have time to get through it all. We do want to get to demonstration, though, so we're going to head there right now. So over to you. Great, thank you. <laughs> OK, I've got a square card here at 14 and a half centimetres, and I've scored it down the centre so I can fold it back, and I've actually inked it with abandoned coral. Look, that is a beautiful colour, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, nice sort of delicate colour. So just go in from the from the bottom and sort of blend it up okay. all the way across. Should have it that way round, shouldn't Lovely. I? <laughs> and I'm going to add another colour across the top. So I'm going to go for salty ocean. Oh, a lovely combination. And just blend that in as well. Yeah. We've got this one's quite a juicy ink pad. I, so I was just thinking that it just looked yeah. very fresh. <laughs> I should have rubbed some off onto my board to start with. I do kind of like sort of a red and a blue together. I think they go nice. Well, doesn't it? Well, you've got your red, white, and blue at the moment. Yeah, a bit patriotic, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to blend this across the top, and I am going to use the pencils oh do you know everyone's loving these yeah these are such a, a good buy the, <laughs> the size of these in fact you've got your ruler there i don't know the depth of them we did say about 31 centimeters long six about six and a half i think six and a half six and yes half. yeah which is a good size terrific size so i'm just going to blend this out a bit okay. i have gone a bit over the top with the ink so it's not as blended as I'd like. Ooh, and then I'm going Ross to ink. I spotted something there, so if you turn Ooh. it the other way, it could be a sunset. And the sea. Oh, yeah, and the sea, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to use a stencil as well with this. And this one is um, sort of lines that's nice to use for journaling because they're, they're kind of a guide that you can then write in between the lines. Yeah, that's a good idea. And you can write in a circle and a spiral. Now, well, that's one of the stencils we saw when we looked at the website, but we didn't see it on the counter, but it is available. We'll find the details in a second for you. So I quite like this one. So I'm just going to add some lines. Journal lines and journal blocks. I thought, because I'm using the pencils, I'm going to kind of create the sort of um, lines that you might see in an exercise book. Let's line okay. that up again. So I want it to go all the way across. Lovely quality of stencils as well. Everything's superb quality, I think, with Dark Room Door. Yeah. They know what they're doing. Yeah. They've been around since 2007. Yes, yeah. Yeah, by Rachel and Stuart. Stuart's a designer, Stuart Yule. It's going to add a lighter line across here as well, just okay. so it looks like it's blending out. And easy to line up as yeah, well. So it's almost as though it's disappearing into the background. A yeah. Bit. That one there. That's it. There we are. Lovely. Kind of get an effect there. Another. Okay, let's put that to one side and stamp with the pencil rubber stamp. I'm going to put that on just a plain piece okay. of card with some black ink. Now, and I'm actually sort of ink using, are you using Sue? the Versafine ink. <gasps> Now, if you are looking for inks, I presume they're still available after the hour. We've had, of course, the Sukuniko 
um, ink shows today, one at 7 o'clock and one in the previous hour. So if you want to get those back and rewind, if you're confused about what sort of ink that you need, but I know Versafine Claire, we're definitely on there. Get plenty of ink on here. Okay, lovely. Now, because it's so long and sturdy, I'm going to have a go at just placing it down. That's it. Now, some items are extremely busy at the moment. Give it a rub. We have just seen uh, that lovely stencil. I'll see if we can find the whole bundle and show you, actually, because we're very busy on those. I'm just letting the ink soak into the paper. And then I'm just going to peel that off. Oh, yeah. I do love this stamp. I don't think I've ever seen a stamp quite like that. Looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> it's amazing. So I want to cut this out now. Okay. So I'm just going to take off most of the paper and then I can go in and cut it out. It's, you can do it with a scissors or a scalpel blade. Do you know, so it's basically just, just up and down. It is, isn't it? Ross has just said it looks a little bit like a fence. It could be, yes, it could be yeah. a, a little twist, yeah. <laughs> a picket type fence. <laughs> okay, so I've cut that out so you don't have to watch me wow, look at do that. that. And I'm going to bring the card back in. I've got ink on my fingers because there's a little bit of ink there. I'm going to turn it upside down okay. because I want to use this as a guide to score. So I want to place it here and it's long enough to go the whole length of my card which is fabulous so I'm going to score it between two pencils at the middle mark and then again at this this mark here so I'm going to put it just beyond that pencil okay and then I'm going to bend this under do you know it's really nice to have a stump to that length because yes. you, automatically you think about scrapbooks being the length it is, but you tend to forget about all these different folded cards. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm just going to stamp my caption. So I'm okay. going to take the caption stamps here. And they do recommend that you do cut them out with yeah. a good pair of scissors, sturdy scissors. Okay. And this having this case as well is just terrific. Well, just terrific. Get, as long as you put everything back, that's going to keep everything nice. Uh, yeah, and, and they're all labelled on the spine as well. Brilliant. So You've got far less room than putting them into a big box as well. You can get everything on the shelf so you can see exactly what you need. I'm trying to get that level. I'm going to put Make a Wish here, which is going to be on the front. And then I'm going to do another little caption inside okay it's your special day so i'm going to pop that in here and i'm also going to add oh that's come out wonky i'm also going to add the star let me show you the star from the cupcakes this one here all oh, right okay. i'm just going to yeah. take that oh, out i haven't even spotted that one before because I, I love this. <laughs> and I don't want the first generation stamp. So I'm just going to take this and stamp it away first and then just add it. So just so it is just a slightly paler image. Oh, it's a nice little star, isn't it? Oh. It. Turn it around so I get different We're getting angles. We're more patriotic by the second, so we've got stars and stripes <laughs> yes, now. Yeah. <laughs> so now I can attach my pencils to the card, and I'm just going to put some foam pads. Oh. I'm, I'm using the filling in pieces. <laughs> Well, you don't need to waste anything, Don't waste do nothing. <laughs> as long as I do the job. So I'm putting it on the first half of the first panel and then on this second panel. Okay. So either side of the score lines that you yeah. do. Yeah. So let me just line it up there. That's it. There. So when you fold it, it makes a Z oh, card. Wow. 
Oh, isn't that clever? And then so another, another clever thing you can do with this lovely stamp design is obviously cut out individual pencils as well. So you know, I can almost see, this might sound silly to some, but I can see it. This is how my brain works. If you drew little doors and windows onto each pencil, you could have like a pencil landscape of, of a cityscape. That's yeah, it looks thought. like that, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Or you could make them into people, perhaps, you could. as well. <laughs> Especially the individual ones. Put little stick arms on and legs. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a few pencils. I've put them on oh, foam pads as well. So I've one coming in here. As if they've just drawn the stars, really. What a lovely card. That's it. And then I'm just going to turn it the other way round and just cut off the ends. There. Oh, so I absolutely love that. Thank you. That is <laughs> fantastic. It really is. Just Isn't that amazing? Oh, well done, Sue. Oh, you must go for these. Oh, I love these pencils. Uh, $14.99. I'll remind you the size of these. 31 centimetres by six and a half is the size of the stamp itself. 195808. You're going to use that so many times over, I'm sure. Now, we're going to give you a recap in a little while, but Sue did use uh, a different stencil. I'm going to bring this in. I believe these come as a pair, do they then? They do. What I'm loving about these as well is Sue used the ink there, but you could use your fine liners and just trace into them as well. So you've got all sorts of lines and waves and dashes, so really, really fantastic for your journaling, your albums again, uh, scrapbooking. Of course, you can use all those different mediums. That is such a wonderful bundle, only 9 99 got one or two samples here on tags, just showing how. I don't know that, I presume they have been drawn through. I'm not sure it could be inked, but you can certainly use your fine liners as well. Don't they look fabulous? 248437 is the item number for the two stencils. Only 9 99 for both of them. They are very busy. Let's have a look at a couple of other stencils as well because we've got Smile and Friendship. Now these are good as well. Let me just turn this one around so it looks the right way. There we are. I'll show you them. You're getting both, but we'll do them one at a time. So I'm presuming this is Smile. Uh, because, well, you've got all sorts of words. I mean, you could stencil through here, cut these out individually, use that as an entire background. Then we have our friendship there. Buddies is in there as a word. Best friends, companion, playmates, uh, fun, joy, fun, pal, I can see in there as well. So lots of words. Again, separate that down. Use it as a full background. Use your different mediums. Texture, paste, it's all going to work. There you can see the background on that particular card as well. Another one at 9.99 for the pair, 925552, another new today as well. But so many new todays on this show. Let's have a bit of a recap and then we'll get back to Sue. So the looped lace, the detail in this is incredible. Incredible. Loopy lace, not looped lace. It looks like a piece of lace that's just laid onto the uh, card, doesn't it there? Beautiful. Use this in its entirety, break it down, cut into it. You've got lots of choices once again. That's going to look so good if you emboss it as well, isn't it? And give that texture. $14.99 is the price, 474-743. Remember, everything is red rubber. It's cushioned for you. And the prices are amazing. Let's have a look at the next one. We've got another lovely border stamp here, the Snowflakes. Oh, this is going to be used every year, isn't it? Not just for Christmas, all of your winter cards, again, your scrapbook pages, down the side of a journal page. You've got the options again. 14.99.162.487 is the item number there. And of course, you can continue to stamp that, as Sue said earlier, to create full backgrounds. It doesn't have to be a border. Then we're going to have a look at our daisy chain border. It doesn't have to be a daisy. It could be whatever flower you want it to be. Add lots of colour. Use a resist technique, as you can see on the card there. Keep it simple, but very, very effective indeed. 765309 is the item number on this one. 14.99 once again. We've got one more border stamp for you. You know which one it is, don't you? We've just seen it. Very busy on this one. Another one at 14.99. Oh, I think you'll have fun with this. I think you will try those different ideas that maybe we've mentioned. Don't just think of pencils. 195808 is the item number there. Love it. Now, moving down, we're staying with the red rubber stamps, but this time, these are where they come packaged beautifully for you as well. Now, you can cut these out. You don't have to leave them on a full sheet. They're already cushioned. 
but just a, a reminder how they arrive with you make sure you put everything back in the box now you can see there's a bit of a spooky atmosphere with this one it doesn't have to be just for halloween though you can decorate that tree with leaves and flowers if you so wish but shut that together haven't i otherwise it's not going to stand straight just put the stamp back in there we are uh, item number for this one is 134146. I think the little birds on there are so useful as well. When you actually look at the birds, you've got, you know, the little, it could be seagulls on a sea scene, landscape or something like that. You've got the birds that are, could be, um, oh, do you know, they are bats, aren't they? If you don't look too close, it could be seagulls. But they are bats when you look at the shape of the wings. I love the birds because you've got them in different positions, flying, landed, sitting. Um, you, yeah, you've got bigger bats at the bottom there. They're definitely bats, aren't they? Look at the wording with the lines. You know, it makes it look mysterious and spooky, doesn't it? With that texture in the background there. Oh, I like this one a lot. 134146 is the item number. 18.99 is the price. Amazing prices once again across the board. Another one comes in the box for you. $18.99, I presume, for this one. Let's see. You've got the birthday greetings. There they are. One five six seven nine four for this one. I don't know how many individually. We could count that quite quickly, maybe. One, two, three, four, ten stamps. Ten stamps for $18.99. Amazing value. Moving down again, we have those wonderful balloons. I'm going to pop the sample back in front in a second. You can see you've got words in this one as well. There we are. You can do many things with these. Have a whole bunch of balloons, have characters sort of floating away on them. Um, I'm sure you've got lots of stamps that will work with these. I bet you could find other uses for those as well. In fact, let me just turn that that way up. They could be sketchy baubles as well, couldn't they? Yeah. Don't put the words on upside down, obviously. 060544 is the item number on those, 1899. And stay with this celebration bravery theme maybe a birthday it could be i don't know it could be an anniversary cake but you've got curly cupcakes here this is that stamp that we've seen watch out for it coming up with the sample later i think that is so useful for many reasons it could be a sparkler it could be a dandelion it could be a star it could be stitches it can be whatever you want it to be but you've got those cupcakes and candles as well as the sentiments and that little star that sue used in the last demonstration the candles are great in this one as well you've got four different designs of candles three three seven six six eight is the item number another one at eighteen ninety nine then of course we do have the postcards for you uh, I'll not be too long on this. I'm not going to go through them all, but you do get individual. So, I think they're all individual. I don't think you've got any repeats in there. You've got kind of four different themes going on, but you've got 24 individual postcards, assorted designs. That's what we're classing them as. 476158 is the item number there. Now, the next item's been busy. I am not surprised. If I was told you can only have one item number on this show or one set i think this is the one that i would personally find most useful um although i do really want those pencils as well but i just think these are great whether you make cards just for yourself whether you create create and sell whether you make for other people just to give as friends you've got everything you need here we've got handmade by belongs to who, what, where, and when, and we've got mark the date. Now, I will just bring in one or two little samples again just to show you. Just simply on craft card there, you can see made for you by, and then you can handwrite your name, of course. Still love the calendar idea. The fact that you could just circle the date that is uh, relevant, whatever occasion it is, or maybe it is just a date in a diary that you've created, and you'll circle it as you go along. And, of course... You've got so much more within this bundle as well. All four stamps, 18.99, Then we're back to the texture stamps. Now, the first one, we've got the, the wood bark or the tree bark. We've also got the fishing net as well. Really nice stamps. Just to show you the actual stamps so you can see them, I'll pop those in front. There, that's the actual size of them. Getting both of these for 11.99, already cushioned again for you. 603-317 is the item number. No need to cut those down any further unless you want to, of course. If you want to trim the edges, that's entirely up to you, but already cushioned, as I say. Then we have the sewing spools, another favourite of Sue's. These are really clever. I've not actually realised they were sewing spools until Sue said, and then I could see the labels on each spool. Very nostalgic. Definitely. And you've also got the stars here, the brushed stars. And you can see why they're called brushed stars, because they've got almost that metal effect, that brushed metal effect in the background. I like these because the edge is very distressed as well. 050292 is the item number. Let me just pop that card back in. 
So it's got a number of the different stamps on there. You can see the lace borders on there. You can see um, from the curly cupcakes, the little star effect is on there. The spools are on there. We've got some of the lines from the stencils. Very nice indeed. And we've got a sentiment on there as well. 050292. And then finally, just as a recap for now, of course, we've got stencils for you. These aren't the only stencils on the show, but they're the only ones we've currently got on the counter. I love the fact that you've got the large and the smaller versions. You can work with them independently, you can work with them together as well, but you've got honeycomb and checkered. All four of those for just 18 888 611 is the item number there. Now we're going to get back to Sue. I know she's very busy at the other end of the counter. So Sue, what have you got for us next? <laughs> right, yes. I'm going to play with this stencil and create like a background. Okay. With the little checkerboard one. Because I, I love this. I think it's you can create some lovely effects with it. And I've got some black soot normal ox, yeah, oxide ink for this. So I'm just going to line it up on my piece of card. That looks like a basket weave as well. Yes, yeah. Let's line that up. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some nice black ink. I'm going to try and get it fairly dark, because obviously you can get a nice grey tone as well. And I'm coming down and creating an ombre effect oh, as wonderful. I work my way down. Don't forget to get the corner ones done as well. Okay. Oh, this looks like it's going to be a nice stencil. Brush that ink that's sitting on the stencil and brush that into the holes as well. Okay. Because you can, because the stencil's lovely and smooth. That's it, I'm coming down. Can't wait for the reveal of this one. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I think that's about it. Okay. Let's take that off. Oh, you wow. Get that kind I do of, like that. Looks like sort of kitchen tiles. It I does, think. doesn't it? Okay, so now I'm going to go in again, because that's obviously like a sort of a checker pattern. Yeah. So I'm going to just move this to one side. And because I've done it fairly dark, I can just see where the squares are, so I can line it up through the stencil. And this time I'm going in paler. So okay. I'm creating a grey this time. Yeah. You could do this with two very bright colours as well, completely Ooh, different colours. Diff yes, you? yeah, contrasting colours. Yeah, that would look really good. That might even look more like kitchen sort of tiles or a floor. Okay, you know, so I bet if you kind of offset that instead of laying it up completely, so you could still see a little bit of the original colour you put down, and you're using two different colours, say um, a yellow and a red you'd get a blend of orange coming through as well yes yeah you can really experiment with these okay i'm gonna like it misses a out a line down the side so i'm just adding adding that because i've offset it okay and you get oh, that wow. kind of oh, effect oh so i love that isn't it beautiful <gasps> and then of yeah. course you've got the larger version haven't you in the same bundle yes yeah oh i do love that and now I want to stamp um, a happy birthday caption onto the bottom of this. Oh, you need these stencils. So I'm going to use my platform because I want to make sure it comes out nicely. And then this is the, the last one of these ones. Okay. So what I would suggest is when you do cut these out is to cut as straight as and parallel as you can against your words. Yeah. Because then you can use that edge just to get it level yeah. when you want to stamp it down. That was a good little dog from the back there, the shape of it. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love that effect, you know, with that stencil. Yeah, and just just one ink as well. Yeah. Well, that so, just goes to show, if, if perhaps you're new to paper crafting or you've got a limited budget, you can create some amazing results with just one colour ink. Oh, that's stamped beautifully, hasn't it? Yeah, lovely. I'm happy with that. OK, let's put that to one side and then bring on the leaves. The leaf stencils. Ooh. I had all these as well, especially the, the cheese plant. 
leaf. I just think that's really lovely. So I've taken the big one because I like the smaller one of, of the big size. So I'm going to use this one. Place that on a spare piece of card and we can colour that one in. And I'm going to start off with some mowed lawn. That's oh, a nice bright green. Yeah, going with this. I'm just brushing it from the outside in. And fill in the night all the leaf with this lovely lighter green colour. And then we're going to blend in some other colours as well. So we'll have a darker colour. Okay. So we've got rustic wilderness here that's another lovely one for cutting out so isn't it it's not difficult to cut i can see with no the shape of it. no and that's exactly what i'm going to do with it i love how you get the light effect in the center as well Keep yeah it lighter in the middle so i'm just brushing in from the outside and it's quite quick to achieve as well or oh, you're having a jungle theme party that would be good yeah a tropical theme Especially with the big, the big stencil size, you know, you can create some real impact and, and some like even use it to make bunting and things like well, that. That's what I'm thinking. String it all together. Yeah. <laughs> or a tropical wreath would look amazing. Right, I've got some peacock feather just to tickle on the very edges, just to add a little bit more colour and darkness. And it kind of cools down the greens as well, just adding this bit of blue. That's it, just on the edges. And then if you want to, you can just blend it in a bit more with the light, back in with the lighter green. This is going to look amazing again. So there's my... Oh, wow. Cheese look plant at leaf. That. <laughs> and then just to add a little bit more detail that doesn't take very long at all is just get water with a fairly fine brush and I'm just going to go in and just create some vein lines ah. just with plain water because these are the oxides and they're water based then I can move the ink around just oh, well, with the water. Very well, doesn't it? It's not too prominent, but it's there you can see it and it adds to the overall effect. Yeah, that's as giving it, it more shape as well. Yes, as it dries as well, it'll become a bit more apparent. It does look as though that leaf is cut out and it's already curling. <laughs> that's a good, good sign then. <laughs> oh, you are clever. And then offset these veins as you come down. Because That's the brilliant. veins are just that little bit lighter, I think. And then if you want it a lot lighter, or a bit more lighter, then you can just dab in yeah. and pick up that water. That looks brilliant. And then all you have to do is to cut that out, which I've already done here. And I've left um, a little bit of a white border around as well. Lovely. And I've put it onto the foam pads. And just manipulate the leaves as well, the ends, just curl them up just to give them a bit of shape. And then what I've done is I've used the smaller stencil. It's lovely to have them both actually to combine. Combine. I mean, I've used it's a the... great bundle, isn't it? You've yes. actually got two yeah. of the leaves. Again, you've got the larger and the smaller. And you've got two of the tall flowers, again, the larger and smaller. So another bundle of four for eighteen ninety-nine. Details are there for you, 984-581. There we can see a little bit of glare as we can see that. I'm going to tip this one forward, if I may, just so we can see that a little bit better. Mm -hmm. There it is. And, of course, the cheese plant leaf. Uh, but there's other tropical leaves on this stencil as well. You, you really could go to town with these, couldn't you? The larger leaf, I don't know what that's called, a palm leaf, I suppose, that could be a feather as well. Yes, it can, yeah, yeah. That's a lovely yeah. bundle. <laughs> okay, so I've done two more in the smaller size, which I don't know if you noticed that it was the large size of the smaller stencil. Yeah. So I'm going to bring my 
piece of paper in and I'll actually stick it to my card base now. So I'll just apply a bit of glue on the you know, the, the back fact that there. you do get with those stencils as well, the pop-outs, you've, you've actually got a stencil and a mask with each. Yes, So yes. you're doubling up on the possibilities with each and every one of those. So place that down. So then I'm just simply going to attach my three leaves to the car. So I'll have... Let's take the foam pads off the back of this one. I just love green and black together. It's just one of I, my favourites. I favorites. just love everything about this card. I adore the background that you've created. The leaves are sensational. And now, how you've cut those out, so as well, leaving that white border. Yeah, it really just does make the difference. Makes them pop and keeps the colours fresh as well, I think. Definitely. And then a last bit of touch, well, two last touches. I've got some glossy accent sort of finish here that I'm just going to add a few blobs just so it looks like it's water droplets oh, nice. on the leaves just randomly because that dries clear and sprayed with water and then another thing I just want to do to the caption is just grab a pencil okay and then I'm just going to add like a, another line in grey just around the lettering Oh, doesn't that make a difference? Just to kind of give it a shadow so it stands out. And you're literally just following the, the lettering there. So yes, it's achievable yeah. by everybody, really, then. If you just follow the right-hand side and the, the bottom yeah. and draw a line against all of that, then that you get the so same well. consistent shadowing. And then I've done another card so I can hold it up here. Sort of similar... I can Good stand that, that one up. Camera and one the glue's there. dried yeah. on that one. <laughs> because, yes, we can see the glossy accents there, the little yeah. raindrops or dew drops on there. Beautiful, what a gorgeous card that is. Oh, do you know, you are clever, Sue. Thank Let's, you. Uh, we're going to very quickly go to a video. We're going to tell you all about our Freedom Club. In case you're not a member yet, you might want to think about it. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. Oh, yes, thank you for staying with us. Now, we are... Well, we're getting quite a way through the hour now on Dark Room Door, but something we haven't shown you is uh, another video with some wonderful inspiration using the products or some of the products on today's show. So I think we're going to show you that in a second. Um, but beforehand, let's remind you about those pencils because they're very, very, very busy. That wonderful stamp that Sue used in the first demonstration, only 14 99 Size of this is 31 centimetres by 6.5 centimetres. A third of the stock has gone. 195808 is the item number. You can see all of the other stamps on the website. Of course, we've got so many on this show. Don't forget those stencils. Have a good look at those stencils that Sue was just using. Seriously, value for money. They are incredible because you've got the stencil itself and the masks for the leaves and the flowers. There's so much available on this show. Everything dispatched, just as a reminder, from the 25th of September. Um, another one that's been busy, actually, are the stencils there, the journal lines and journal blocks. I think they're so useful. Right, shall we have a look at some finished samples? We have got a little bit of a video to show you. Let's run with that right now.
Wow, so many brilliant samples there, isn't there? Well, we are going to get back to Sue in a second because I know she's got another demonstration for us. A reminder on the screen then about those pencils. Did you see the one on the video there? That was so clever, where all the colours, had been, as though they'd been drawing. It was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. 195808 is the item number there if you want to go for the rubber stamp border. Right, so back to you. Oh, lovely. I'm liking this. You've got craft card out. Do you like craft card? I love it. <laughs> yeah, it makes a lovely change, I think. So I've got a square one here that's 13 and a half centimetres square. Okay. So I use this one. And this is going to be a very quick design because sometimes it's nice just to produce something really quick. And I'm going to show you some ink from Faded Jeans, the normal distress ink okay. because so I want originals. yeah because I want the color to sort of show through because the oxides are so ch sort of chalky aren't yeah. they so I've gone for the ink this time so I'm gonna well, make it nice look a bit moody. grungy yes yeah well I'm gonna play with the oh probably my third favorite Do you know it's definitely the tree. In my top three this one as well yeah I think my top three are the the pencils, the um, the set of four for the journaling, yeah, the made by, and yeah, then this one. Although I love that lace as well. That lace is beautiful. It's a lovely size, that mm. lace. Yeah. So I'm just going all the way around the edge. I'm creating a bit of a darker band along the bottom. And then I've sort of on a small a thinner border a bit thicker and then a bit thicker down this side okay. to get the corners dark as well love it so it's a bit of a sky i'm creating here because i want to create a nice dark night sort of sky for my tree i'm just going to grab a piece of paper okay. just so i can hold my card down Oh, that's one colour distressing I have not got. Any oh, this one, <gasps> picket yes. fence, yeah, picket fence. which is the original ink, but it's actually yeah. an oxide. I so I'm getting have, plenty. I've forgotten it even existed. The picket fence, you yeah. Know. I used to have it because I used to sell it in my shop. Oh, look at this! So I've just got as much as I can on my foam pad. I'm just twisting it slightly. I see where this is going. I just want to get a bit so more. So no stencil required, just using no, the yeah. foam pad. Let's just get a bit more down the bottom, just a bit more colour. That's it. And then just swish oh, nice. it about a bit to create my moon. Oh, oh really? It's very atmospheric. Yeah. I'm bringing in my stamp pad, my platform rather. Place that in here. And I can stamp my tree. Now this is a good reason to have the case because you've got so many little elements in here and it just holds them all in place. So I'm going to put the tree over to one side. It's about four minutes left, so we're doing really well. Oh, across the moon. Let's have in the dead of the night across oh, here. Nice, doesn't it? have that across there and then pick out some let's go for some bats we'll have one just touching the moon bats in there. yes the it's ones very ones good for ones. very good for perspective as Definitely. well okay we'll go for that pick all that up this is not going to be another fantastic reveal because looking at the back of the stamps when you see the cushioning and you see the shapes there, you think, oh, it's almost cartoon. Yeah. But the detail, of course, is all on the front. And I love the way the tree has detail. The, the bark, it's got, the, you know, it's got bark detail in the tree trunk. That's it. I've just patted the moon dry. Okay. Um, slightly, just so the ink doesn't bleed into it too much. So give that a good press. Allow the ink to soak in. Oh, wow. I might just do a little bit in the centre of the you tree. You really can see the detail in the trees. Can't yeah. You? Is there almost a little hollow in the, in the um, trunk there as well, did I see? It's got the detail of the bark. Yeah, but there's also nice sort of gaps where you can 
play some of those little birds as well. Yeah, because you've got birds in flight, sitting birds. Yeah. So I'm going to pick the tree out and I'm just going to very quickly go in and just well, create some... a Halloween party, these would be great invitations. Just create some grass effect down the bottom there. And then I'm just going to scratch in a bit of land. And that's basically the card. I absolutely love that once again. Isn't that fantastic? And I've done oh, another so one here that's like the, the moon's the other on the, the left-hand side as well. Love it. Love mm -hmm. it. You could create, you could if you were doing a whole batch of those as invitation, but they could all be individual at the same time. I just absolutely adore that. Eighteen ninety nine is the price if you're going for the Twisted Tree rubber stamp set. Very useful. Do we know how many individual elements in that one? Because there's a lot. Twenty-five. Are we Twenty-five there? Wow. in there. That's such a good buy, isn't it? One three four one four six is the item number. Over on the website, you can find everything we've got on the counter and more besides as well. We've been busy across the board. Now, Sue is back for another hour at two o'clock. Completely different demonstrations, of course. There's so many, many more projects that Sue can create, so many more products that haven't been seen yet as well, but you can shop in advance. Don't forget to check those baskets out. You don't want to miss out on anything. Do watch back. If you didn't see all of the show, do watch back Sue's demonstrations. Every single one of those cards that she created there were just fabulous. Um, so mm -hmm. looking forward to 2 o'clock, what can we expect to see from you? Have you any idea yet? Have you got it all planned out? Yes, yes. <laughs> what can we expect? Are you keeping it secret? Yes, oh yes, you have to watch. <laughs> oh, she's keeping it secret, she's keeping us in suspense. Oh, and that's what we like, isn't it? Yes, do not miss Sue's demonstrations at all. It's a delight to see Sue representing Dark Room Door as well, a company that's been around for some time. Quality, that's what we're talking here as well. Um, yeah, you will not be disappointed. Do have a look again on the website. Make sure that you get everything that you need. Those pencils have been extremely busy as well. Let's just have a final look at those. We'll bring the details up again. Uh, you know, the, everything's all over the place because everything is so popular. Look at the stencils as well. So thank you so much. Looking a forward pleasure. to two o'clock. Mm -hmm. Don't go anywhere though. We've got more coming up. The menu is next. Has the morning gone? It's almost 12 o'clock. That means, of course, we've got another wonderful hour with cardio. It's the 18th birthday celebrations. Then my two ladies knitting. That looks interesting. Dark Room Door back with Sue at two. Exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. Flexi order. When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Kathy. And I'm Mel. And we've been crafting for 30 years. 
We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. On our shows, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Hello and a very good afternoon to you. Now you join me for our cardio 18th birthday celebrations and we have a fantastic one day special for the first time ever. Our lovely Wendy has brought us a one day special. Good afternoon hi, my darling. Hi. Oh boy we've been busy haven't we? We have yeah. <laughs> I mention it, it sells out. I show it, it sells out. <laughs> Wendy demonstrates, it sells out. Uh, basically it all sold out last night. Mm -hmm. It's back on extended. We've had some more sellouts this morning. The early birds were up at 8 o'clock weren't they? They were yeah. Um, and we're all ready to thirds of the stock of the extended, which is dispatches the 27th of September. We're already two thirds of the stock gone. So what are we talking about? We're talking about a collection of 65 absolutely stunning uh, stamps. Now it says the wintry way because uh, you can go in other directions, can't you? Of course Wendy, you can, yeah. yeah. So we don't just have to have most of this for winter. We can have some of this for spring and summer as well. Obviously not the snowman, the Christmas tree, maybe they're a yeah. bit obvious, but <laughs> a lot of them you could quite easily change up for the rest of the year. And as you can see, there's Lamy New looking yeah. in there, leaping over the fence. Uh, you've got some, uh, some lovely scenes there. We've got the ducks. Uh, we've got the trees, we've got the landscape, you've got mice, you've got squirrels, you've got deers. Look at that, beautiful. So um, we don't, there we go, look at that happy birthday. So you don't just necessarily have to think for Christmas, although it does obviously lean towards that yes. with our bows and our yeah. bells and our, yes. yeah, the, the cards are absolutely stunning. I mean, this, this is what's so fabulous. You brought your boards with you behind me as well. We'll have a close look at those earlier, but so many different ways in which in different directions we can go in for these beautiful, beautiful stamps. And of course, I should say they work brilliantly with all the pre-existing cardio stamps you will have bought. Yeah, definitely. So if you've yeah. bought anything from us previously, they'll all sort of mix in with those quite easily. Absolutely. I've got millions, well, we've got a whole board of samples if you'd like to survey the vista, that is. Um, and uh, we, like I said, we sold out earlier of, of, of our white woods, and so well done if you got that. And there in the background there, please watch on Rewind. Wendy did loads of fabulous demonstrations. You know how bionic she is. She <laughs> usually fits in at least four, sometimes three, of, of, of the actual um, brilliant, brilliant demonstrations there, but so gorgeous. And of course, I know um, Laura has done some beautiful samples she has, as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely stunning. All I would say is please don't miss out, okay? I'm going to give you the headlines straight away. Two flexi buy payments of £19.98 spreads the cost over um, September and October. £39.95, it is a £6 saving. 361595. Um, I'm going to show you what's left. I'll be very quick when it comes to the festive fun. Poor Wendy's just humouring me because I am obsessed <laughs> with the skaters. But this is a perfect example of how the skaters look brilliant with these set of stamps. Because um, you have shown us these before, but you know I'm obsessed with these. Yeah, I, I mean, they sort of, they, they, they can just mix in with anything, can't they? So even those, like, again, a lot of these are, are wintry based. A lot of these you could use outside of uh, Christmas as well. There's lots of elements there that could be used all year round. Guess what, Wendy? Oh, no. No, we're limited. <laughs> she, she, she put in her first demo especially for me, so I'm going to be really quick so she can get to it. We can get at least one skater in. Uh, 936893, we are limited 999. Please, I urge you to move on that super duper quick because I don't want you to miss out. I know. How beautiful, how beautiful. 936893. By gum, we're going to get a skater stamp if it kills me, Wendy. Um, right, moving on. These are also beautiful. I'm a massive fan. These work in brilliant harmony with the uh, actual Christmas scenes, the wintry scenes as well. Um, you've got the tattered poinsettia and the festive fir cones. And hopefully if there's time, um, we will be able to see these stamped in a pretty, oh, stamped in a pretty wreath. There we go. Because uh, they work, they're, they're just brilliant, aren't they, they Wendy? Are. And they're so crisp. If you look at the detail in those, for yeah. such small stamps, they're absolutely beautiful. Lovely to use, very easy and very quick. There it is working with the Christmas wreath. If you were quick enough to get one of those stencils earlier, uh, we're moving down to one that is completely comprising of said um, beautiful poinsettia there. 
and the, and the, and the, and the acorns. And then my quiet obsession here with the skaters. Uh, 9529721199. If you're using those, you will want these, and you'll see Wendy using these. Um, these are the rods, the cardio rods, uh, different sizes there. Um, you Basically, they're brilliant for the little flowers and the little leaves, and the double-ended. You will see Wendy using these. They're, they're just a brilliant way to apply, really quick way, aren't they, to fill very, in with those very details. quick, because it's like I say, if you use a block, um, you'd still probably need two hands to do it, you know, yeah. to manoeuvre it do. properly. You position with two, yeah. don't you? Yeah, so whereas with this, you can hold your work with one hand, and it doesn't sound like much, but it makes a massive difference once you try them. Yeah. It's very hard to sort of go back to ordinary blocks. Especially if you're repeating and building. Yes. And, you yeah, know, and it rotates so easily in your hand as well. So you get yeah. this really random look to your stamping, which is what we want. Highly recommend. 12.99.781.058. Right. Um, quickly mention the one day special because oh, she's got to get the skater in otherwise I might cry um, it's 361595 you are getting 65 of those amazing stamps do not miss out I promise you you'll love them every bit as much as I do and if you want those skaters 999 limited limited you're gonna want them when you see this have you Wendy <laughs> okay so this is the first little one we're, we're gonna do today so we're gonna build up a little scene just like this with the little skater in as well yay okay so she's there so we're gonna do this little reflection technique so the first thing we're going to do is use uh, the peaceful panorama. So I'm going to stamp these two. So we've got this lovely um, sort of tree and fence in this one. In the one day special, aren't they? Yes, yeah. this is the one, all the one day special. So I'm going to stamp this in place at the back first. And we're just going to start to build up our scene. So this is going right at the back. Which ink are you using there? Uh, 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 this is the, the Claire. The Claire. Did you watch Parlour's show earlier? Uh, watched yes, a bit of it, didn't you? I yeah. did, I did. <laughs> I was, I was paying close attention. Because, like I said, you can use inks for years and not actually realise all of the benefits no. from them. So even if you've been sort of crafting like we have for such yeah. a long time, it still sort of pays to pay attention, doesn't it, yeah. when people are... <laughs> it's, it's, it's brilliant. Talking talking about the benefits, benefits, yeah. What are they talking about? <laughs> uh, Paula did this morning at 7 and 10. She took you through Very clever all these, isn't she? Ink permutations, yeah. And even then, it's sort of, it's quite um, complicated, isn't it, it is. sometimes, yeah. So we're just joining on this um, little section here. So this is how lovely this peaceful panorama is. So you can sort of just carry on the scene. So you could go on a really, really big card if you wanted to. Then we're going to mask out these areas. I'm going to pop my glasses on so I can actually see. So we're going to just mask these out. And then we can sort of put some colour on above. Yeah. So I've already previously done this, so we're not wasting any time so we can get these skaters in. Just move that up a touch. They are limited, everybody. It's not just skaters on there. I mean, you've oh, got no. the, the folk with the sled, you've got dogs, you've got um, somebody picking up something, throwing a ball, going for a yeah, walk with dogs, dog families, couples. All sorts on there. <laughs> and what I like about it is my favourite ones like the skater. You've got sort of two, two sizes as opposed to one. So yes. if you sort of want Distance. to, yeah, so mm, depending yeah. on where you want to use them in your design, it gives you a lot more scope. So we're just going over with the yellow. So this is back to my dry baby wipe technique. And we're just going to blend off the edge. So we've already masked this bottom out, so it'll keep, give us a nice white hill when we take this off. Now, I don't mind, we've not allowed the ink to dry at all. Uh, but I actually don't mind picking up a little bit of that black. It somehow just makes it that little bit more atmospheric. Yeah. So it's all sort of a bit of a free for all, isn't it? Yeah, I, quite, I like it. Yeah. So once you've got enough yellow on there, then we can pick up a little bit of the red. So this will just give us our sunsetty look mm. or sunrise, whichever you want it to be. Just that warmth in the sunshine. Yeah, it just needs a little bit of something. It's a bit flat without another colour. And I know we've got the masking sheets on the website because yeah. I did them yesterday with Lovey Hazel and uh, Pink Very handy, frog, aren't yeah. they? Okay, so once we've got that, I'm just going to add a little bit more mm. colour to the top. You see how sort of hazy it makes it look when you pick up a bit of that black as well? Yeah, it's almost like the, the yeah, departure of the night sky. Yeah, it's a really sky. nice effect. But if you don't want to, you need, your other, you need to let it dry. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Or we blast it. I'm not sort of one for messing about in between, I just like to get on get with on. it. <laughs> so I don't sort of, very often you'll not see me pick up my uh, heat gun and start drying things off in between. Yeah. But it does sort of, 
it does what's nice about it is it sort of picks up the layer of ink that's not quite dry yeah. but it doesn't sort of distort the image in any way no which is really nice that's still very clear so it keeps it, it nice and clear yeah and just picks up the bit that's, that's still a bit damp okay. we are just on the phone line so if you do have access to the web that'd be fabulous but again, what is nice about this, like we were saying, this could be easily a spring scene yes. as well. Just yes. by changing those colours out. The dogs and people were dog walking and yeah, there's, there's cats, there's all sorts in there, isn't there? Yes, Fox definitely. Ducks. Okay, so there's our little skyline. I'm going to pop that there because otherwise I'll go off piste. I'll be, all, <laughs> I'll be all over the show. Okay, so once we've done that, we can take this off. And that gives us our... Nice clean hill there. Now I can see, I've been looking all afternoon for my rubber and I've just found it. Ah, so you were, you loaded some of that, your rubber, this morning. I know. Well, I've just found it yeah. this afternoon, so we've got our rubber now, so I can get rid of my dirty finger marks. Okay, so there's our little skyline now. So what I want to create is a little, um, sort of a bottom to the hill, otherwise it looks completely flat. Mm. So what we're going to do is use a little piece of paper with a straight edge, and we're going to create a little skyline. Okay. So I'm going to pop it about there. Mm. So just about there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add a little bit of colour. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the black. And we're just going to make sure it's not too dark because we only want a tiny little bit. So you'll see me get rid of most of this. And we're just adding a little bit of shade just to the bottom of that hill. Okay. So hopefully we've got a shade line. Ah. So straight away now it looks like you've got a bottom to your hill. And then what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more colour just underneath that line. So this will be our frozen lake. So mostly I'm going for sort of the middle section. Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> yeah, like, I have to say oh, it. Jimmy. But that's okay because this, this is a perfect example of why these stamps, the one day special, works brilliantly with if you've got them before because these have been on before. But well done if you got those. Thank you for heeding my warning. They've now sold out. Please check out your baskets. If any bounce back, because it did happen with the stencils, yeah, two, yeah. two bounce back. If any bounce back, I'll give you everybody the heads up. But thank you for, for being so quick to react because I didn't want to miss out. So, um, okay. Well, we were nearly there, weren't we? We, we, were. Did, we, we nearly were, got darling, it. We were. So what I'm going to do, I want some foreground. So I'm going to put um, the little Christmas tree in. So this is the mini version of the big one we used yeah, on oh, the first right. show. Yes, because there's two in this set, isn't there? There is, yes. There's so a special. really tiny version. Yeah. And again, if there's something I think I'm really going to like and use a lot, then I tend to put it in in two different oh. sizes, or at least two different sizes. Yeah. So we're going to put the colour on now for this tree. So roughly I'm going to do a sort of triangular sort of shape. And we're just going off the edge of this paper. So it'll look like we've got this snowy hill in the foreground. Don't worry about going over this line that you've just done. Debbie's emailed us in. Oh, has she? Yes. Hello, Debbie. Debbie says, cardio on a league of their own and she could play with these all day long. Oh, well, thank you very much. And she also says, congratulations, congratulations on 18 years on your birthday. Oh, thank you. It's a company. I agree with you, Debbie. They are in a league of their own. They are amazing. And she's also had a question about the stencils. I know yeah. they've gone, so... Um, Will they deboss as well as emboss? Yes. Yeah. Oh. yeah, there's no reason why not. You just put yeah. your card on the top yeah. and deboss it in, yeah. There we go. Good question. Good question. Thank you, Debbie. That's a bit of old school for you there, yes, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there we've got our colour for our tree, which looks a bit odd at the moment because we haven't actually got anything on there. I never keep my hands clean these days, honestly. I don't know what's wrong with me. Right. Let's get our little tree. Uh. And then we're going to stamp over that little bit of colour that we've done. So that light will shine through. Yeah. yeah which so is lovely. everywhere where those little lights are. Yeah. So rather than, than it being completely solid, this tree, you've got those little gaps where the lights are. Mm -hmm. So it shines through to the front. Oh. So that's going to go just about there. And again, it's all about perspective. So this little tree could be massive compared to some of your little people. Or it could be really, really small. It could be a tiny little one. So you could put this next to a squirrel if you wanted to, because it's all relative. Okay, so next to that, we can take this off. Oh, actually, just going to add a little bit more shade just along this hill line okay. here because we want to put some little people on there as well. And I'm going to carry on with the, the yellow and the red because actually it's just sort of reflecting onto the snow. Mm. And it, it does make a different uh, 
kind of style and colour of Christmas card, doesn't it? Definitely. You know? I love get those lovely white. winter sun. Yeah. Don't yeah, I love black and white for Christmas. And it's just really nice to have, ah. you know, a little bit of colour pop in there as well. So we need something in the foreground here and we also need our little skater. Mm. So let's get our little skater in first. We and then, then everybody we've had a couple of bounce back you're kidding me what's oh no See, listen next well, couple of people good. that come in that can good. get the skater i'm upset now because i just didn't want you to miss out on them they are that brilliant uh 28 skater stamps oh the, where have they gone right don't you worry a couple there the next few people that just come in are li literally i'm talking couple <laughs> there we go you're not you're not you gonna believe this now. you will not want to miss out you're not gonna Plan believe what i've done misplaced my acetate <laughs> No, it's there. Is no, it there? It was, <laughs> you said it was... What was it? You pointed to it. I'll oh, find you're a, kidding I'll me. Find that was the first thing you said to I me this morning. I will find a piece in a second. Let's just do these people first, okay. and then we will find a piece. Where's that gone? I know, isn't it annoying? <laughs> it might have even told me, and we went, yeah, I, I loved it. I told you I'd put it there. I told you I'd lose it, didn't I? I think they've now sold out again. But I'd like I said, we'll warn you if, if that happens. Well done. Well done if you grab those, because you will not be disappointed. If you don't mind me just rooting around for one second, no, root away. Root I away. will find um, some sort of acetate, even if it's out of one of the stamp packs. I don't know why that happened, because it was sat, it sat there under your well, I knew. mat. I put it there, didn't I? I said, remind me that's where it is. But I knew I was going to lose it, because <laughs> I, I always do. Wendy. Well, have a, are you all right, yeah, Mr yeah. Baker? Of we just, yeah, I'll grab can a we just have a look acetate. at some more yeah, beautiful no pictures? Problem. Are we all right if we just have a look at some more of these lovely samples, just while Wendy's having a root? Just so you can get some more inspiration from the beautiful, uh, fab oh gosh, she says knocking it over. Yeah, don't knock those over. The f beautiful, fabulous uh, stamps, yeah, and all the different ways we can go in. That's nice. It's almost like globes in different places, isn't it? Love the duck. I love, the, I love the birdie on the snowman's head as well. And this, I was intrigued by that. The ledge stamp. That's brilliant. That's a new one-day special. 70% uh, gone of the one day special there as well. That was a technique that, uh, you know, in terms of that bleaching, that faux bleaching that Wendy showed us this morning as well. And um, yeah, love these two. They look like they're having a right gaggle, don't they? Right little chat to each other. I found a bit now. Yay, brilliant. Oh, that's okay, gives us an excuse to look at all the gorgeous samples. 70% gone, £19.98, two flexibuy payments of £19.98, 361595 or a one-off payment, and you are getting 65 of these brilliant, remember Debbie said, they're in a league of their own, cardio, and they really are uh, fabulous stamps, £39.95 as a one-off payment, and uh, two-thirds of the stock gone, nearly 70% gone now. Right, she's found her acetate. Why do we need the acetate, Wendy? We want to do a mirror image. Yeah. So basically, if we'll just look at this, what we've done now. If you stamp this onto your acetate, so just like that, it mm -hmm. can be a bit slippy, so just be careful. And then what you would do, you use this as a stamp. So you just position that exactly uh -huh. where you want the reflection to be and it's then just press tough. that down like a stamp and then you get this little reflection here you know it's one of my like favorites that, that. <laughs> oh, we, we got, got this there. thing that we got there and love it. It. you've indulged me this morning thank right, you darling so we're just going to finish this off so we want some glitter on there so i'm going to go across this little hill here now we could do all sorts you could have branches dangling down but we really just wanted to get this little skater in didn't we so underneath where she is we're all just going to go icy, down yeah. yeah so it looks icy and then just underneath where these are walking as well. So this is a fine example. This is, uh, there's two of these in that little set. Yes, yeah. so you've got two sizes. Well done if you got those. Okay, and then before we do anything else, I'm going to use a little bit of that embossing powder that we were talking about. Not oh, that yeah. One, one. So the chunky, the chunky one. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pop this over the top. So I'm going to open this out, sprinkle this on. Mm. And it's quite random, so you don't want it to be perfect and then we're going to just heat this up on the bottom so because i'm going to do it quickly you will see that the uh is it sort of give it a snowy yes yeah and it, because it's sort of different size chunks it's quite random mm. so i'm going to do this a bit too close just for speed so okay. i'll heat up really quickly and then while this is wet we can then put some glitter on it it'll also stick to the bits of the you know the areas where we put the glue pen as well oh yeah so you need to do this from underneath first because you're not fixing it anyway so it's ah. literally just sitting on top of the card. Okay. So you warm it from the bottom until it starts to stick. Right. And once it's started to stick, you can heat it from above. Okay. So you will get the odd bit fly off, but don't worry. Yeah. As long as it doesn't all fly off. 
but it's nice. It takes. If you could do this with a little white pen, which I do do sometimes. Yeah. But actually, for speed mm. um, and for the most for the most random look, this is perfect. So while that's warm, you can actually go straight into your glitter, mm. and we can put that on there, and that will just adhere to all of the the little dots as well that we've just done with the embossing oh, powder. Amazing. And there we go. How beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Ah, that's so pretty. There we go. Lovely, Wendy. I'll give you time to reset. No problem. Thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, over two thirds has gone, approaching 70% there of the one day special. That's the extended. So dispatch is the 27th of September. And you are getting 65 of these amazing stamps. So if we have a little look at the stamps, here we go. Let's start here. We've got our trees. We've got that ledge that I just pointed to when we looked at the boards behind me. We've got um, the, our deer, who does come in several sizes. You've got the sheep there. But notice there's the wee sheep up there in the corner. Uh, you've got your Christmas tree. Don't forget, there's two sizes there. You've got those beautiful berry branches, the leaves there. Again, the top and bottom, that bottom one, Wendy was just using the landscape. Move across to the two deers, the star. You've got their foot prints you've got the little ducks and their little uh, footprints as well and the deer sitting down three different sizes actually then we've got our squirrels our mice our, our cat prints paw prints footprints uh, the birdies and then all those lovely embellishments there the mistletoe the holly berries the fronds and the bells and if you look there yeah there you go there's our little lamb uh, not 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 a Christmas card so doesn't doesn't that look beautiful um, there was a couple here, 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 here I'll just bring that into down here to you again this is again oh I was just sorry darling there we go there we go now that see it's just, just a gorgeous gorgeous um, any any time card um, but they yeah they really are stunning if you were lucky enough to get one of the fantastic stencils earlier I mean yeah well done to you because this is, they are beautiful. And uh, see here at the bottom, that's your, your lovely poinsettia and your fir cones, that, that gorgeous dynamic little duo, the festive, the, mis, uh, the majestics, the 14 stamps there. Um, but yeah, just beautiful. So many gorgeous samples. Uh, a lot of these are Wendy's, is that right? And then we've got some of Laura's in yeah, here. Yeah, quite we? a lot. Of, a lot of these are mine, a lot yeah. of the ones of Laura's are on display. Yeah. I know I'm starting to recognise Laura's work now yeah. as well. This one's She's Laura's, like isn't it? Isn't She's Laura's. beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? I know, look at that, look, Lammy Noo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed. Oh, I love them, I love them. Right, don't miss out. 361595, two flexible payments or one off payment, £39.95. I mentioned the Majestic, so I said we just saw it there. Um, this this is them basically you do well you don't have to but i think the rods work beautifully with these they're very limited oh crikey what are we going to do that next <laughs> no that was the last one. Oh, <laughs> right okay we may not get to that demonstration not... <laughs> i can move around all so well um limited stock please don't miss out but uh, do you know what i, I really appreciate you you're you taking heed of of the warning because yeah i mean look at that that's how you build up this is what we're going to do. We're going to build up a wreath from it because it's the simplest thing. And I've seen Wendy do it before. And it, until you see it, you don't believe it. That's what Wendy did. And that's just in the black and white. How effective is that? And that's just using these stamps. That's just these stamps. Mm. Oh. 11.99, 952, Right, let's go back to Wendy. Okay, so I've just swapped it around. So we'll do the, the wreath one okay. uh, next. So we'll get this one done. So what we've done is this sort of look here. So we've created the background and then we've put the wreath over the top of it. I don't know whether you can see that or not. There we are. Ah, oh, how beautiful. You see, straight away I've got yeah, to have it. So um, we've already done the background. Match. So what we'll do, I mean, yeah. you've seen me do the background before already. Yeah. We've got one that's already dry here. Bless so you. we'll start with the wreath straight over the top. Now you'll have to excuse me because I've not moved all the stamps around. So I'm going to have to just sort of search them out. So we're going to start with the uh, tattered poinsettia. And I'm going to start with the grey. So rather than go straight in with black, because I want to create a little bit of dimension. Actually, this is good. So sorry, because I should have I should have said that actually limited on the emit. This is the only one that was immediate dispatch. So, oh, right, okay. yes, so this is immediate it? dispatch. So yeah. if we can get the extended, I'll have to yep, get, okay. talk to Martin. Yes, great. Oh, yeah. That's good news. So yes, to find so you right along with that lovely demonstration, no Wendy. <laughs> so <laughs> yourself out. we've already done the, the background here. 
But like I said, because we've done that quite a few times, everybody knows how to do that now. So what we're going to do is uh, create our wreath. And we're sort of going to ignore uh, what's on this card for the time being. And what I've done, I've inked it up once, and we're going to stamp it out two or three times without re-inking. So this will give us our sort of dimension to the design. Um, to do the wreath, the best thing to do is do top and bottom and then both sides. There's a slight curve to the branch as well, so just make sure that the very first one you do is slightly curving inwards. Wendy? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> They've sold out, but they're back on extended! Hey! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, I was going to move on to another demo. <laughs> she's just going to throw these samples at me because she has to make all new ones during the break, bless her, because everything's just selling out. So we're going to do exactly the same on all four sides, okay? So that gives you your basis for your wreath. Yeah. After that, all you have to do is sort of join this up. So we're just going to take this one and we're going to pop it in between the two, like that, and we're just going to follow that round. So this is giving us mm -hmm. our shape. And, and then don't the worry. Sorry. sorry, I'm so sorry, Wendy. No, no I was just about to say, I love the fact that it comes out round. I, but I know that sounds obvious. Well, I was just going to say, because sometimes you might not get it completely round. Yeah. So what you what you would do is just use your other stamps to draw the eye to certain areas. Yeah. So if it's if it's not as round in one place, you can use a darker colour to bring it back. So hence the reason why we started with a grey rather than a, a jet black. I see. Okay, so there's our basis for our wreath. Yeah. And now what we're going to do is add on our little flowers and things. Okay, so we're going to start with a little bit of the grey and then we're going to move on and start to use some of the black. So that will bring it into the foreground as well. So just sort of periodically we're just going to pop a few of these little grey flowers just over the top. And you can see how you can rotate these as you work. So it really sort of makes this so, so quick and easy to do. Okay, and a few more in grey before we move on. And then the black will really just make this pop when we put the black on. Now, oh, this is why the rods are good, aren't you? Because you just... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I couldn't tell you how long it would take if I was using a block to do this. It would take me so much longer to do. So these are back on extended um, 27th of September, so I just, I just think they're fabulous. So what we'll do now is start to add some of the black in as well. So yeah. we'll see now how this will start to look further away. Mm -hmm. So just over the top now with the black. Ooh. Point set so it really gives it some dimension. Yeah. And there's no real right or wrong with this. You can just, like I said, if you're a bit worried about the shape and you don't think you've got the shape quite right, then you can bring it out or in with a sort of dark stamp. So it'll really show up nicely. I was just showing everybody, this was one that, if you were lucky enough to get one of the stencils, but you can see it's used with the, the, the Christmas wreath there. There's the poinsettia and the fir cones that are in this collection. It looks so lovely. So in colour, again, the difference is, is so beautiful. And again, there's your ducks. And again, that's using elements of both these as well. Beautiful. OK, so just a little tiny flower in the set now as well. We're just sort of, again, just sort of drawing the eye. It's a good job I found my rubber. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to try and get some of this ink off the bottom here because I've got a messy finger, I think. So what I like about this is you've got the seam running through the actual um, card, mm. uh, through the actual uh, wreath. So I'm just trying to find my reindeer, where have I put him? Ah, there he is. Okay, so we'll pop him right centre stage oh. using the black. Sorry, I'm a bit all over the place because I just swapped the demo around. I know, I've, tried I've, to move I've, 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 I've thrown you, haven't no, I? No, rotter, rotter that I am. No, don't you worry. There's nothing that can't be sorted. Okay, so let's pop him about here. And then we've got our little mouse in there somewhere, so I'm just going to try and spy oh, him yeah. while I'm stamping because he's so cute. Utterly divine. So there's him. Oh. And let's get our little mouse in as well. So this one can go about there. <laughs> oh, so cute. Just looking up at him. And then if we just take a couple of these little 
trailing vines, we can have some of these coming down. Now we do all sorts of things as well. So we've got little lights and things. So you could you could really have some fun sort of swapping these up with different things. So beautiful. And there we go. So all we need now is a little bit of snow on the bottom. How quick was that? And then on the one, the other one, we've actually got some of the uh, liquid pearls or whatever it is you want to use for some dimensional mm -hmm. effects on there as well, which does make a difference to your, to your little floral wreath. So we're just going to pop some of that on there. And there we go. So there's our finished one. And that's one that we did earlier in the break as well. So you've got oh, both of those. This one's got the liquid beautiful. pearls in that one. Oh, just gorgeous. Thank you, Wendy. No I don't know why problem. she puts up with me, but she does. Bless her. 11 .99 for the poinsettia and the festive fir cones. 14 stamps in total. So that's how that wreath was just created. Well worth it. These are back on extended. They sold out. So back on extended. Well worth the wait. 27th of September will be dispatched. 952972. Now you saw Wendy use the rods because you can see how being double-ended, um, perfect for the size of some of those smaller stamps. Um, such as the little poinsettia or the berries. Um, just beautiful, just easy to dab and go first, second, third generation. As Wendy said, you, you know, that's the one that you can just do one-handed. Um, so, yeah, I see Wendy uses these all the time. So, 12 99 for all four of those, 781058. Who's on the phone line? Do apologise. We are aware that you are waiting. It is well worth the wait. You can, of course, go straight to the website and uh, obtain uh, the, the, the fantastic products there as well. Right. How can you create your own flexi order? Well, let's find out more. What is flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Indeed, and of course, if you are adding uh, the majestic fur cones and uh, the poinsettia to these two flexi by payments of the, of the one day special, that can spread over September and October for you as well. Or providing you're spending over, I think it's six pounds, you can create your own flexi order anyway on today. Right, let's get back to Wendy and our okay. one day special. So we're going to do a lovely little snowman scene now. Aww. So we're going to do something like this one here. So it's very, very simple, but very pretty. Okay, so it's, this is the one that I love because the snowman's actually sort of looking down at the little animals. So if you're a cat lover, we've got the cat. And if you're a dog lover, you've got the dog. And if you're both, you've got both of them. So it doesn't really matter which. Audrey's um, had inspiration. She's emailed us in. And oh, she says, if you wanted the snowman to have a hat, you could use the bell. Oh, yes. Where's the bell? Look at the this bell. is in the uh, Holly Berry set. So it's this one. Oh, yes, she could, yes. So, yes, she could. Just mask off you the could, little... Um, yeah. Or I like to squirrels on top of his head. Yeah. So that's why I did... I deliberately Playful. sort of didn't put a hat on, but like you say, Audrey, that's a great idea. You can use the bell. So we're going to stamp the little background scene like we did before in first. So I'm just going to take my dark ink. And then we're going to mask out and do this guy. I have sort of moved these on a few steps as well, so we're yeah. not sort of hanging around for inks and things to dry. And then we're going to mask this out and we're going to start to do our sky. So we're just, we're just pretty much creating this background area here. And this is the one I just, I love this little stamp. So versatile. And you could actually just carry it on again if you yeah, wanted to. Yeah, so you don't have to just leave it as one. You could, you could carry it on as many times as you want, really. So let's mask this one out. And then what we're going to do is stamp our little um, fence scene as well. Mm. Let's get rid of that one. And again, we've already made the mask for these. Actually, I'm just going to move that off for a second while I stamp this one. So we've created that skyline again. And then we can mask the whole thing out. So mm. let's mask this one. 
So this is just so we keep our hills nice and clean and white. And then again on this one here, like that. So now we can work across there without having to worry. Now on this one, we've used uh, some of the distressing. So that's what we'll do. Let's have, oh, here. let's have a few blues on this one. So I'm going to start with the palest one, yeah. which is shaded lilac. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to start to rub the ink in just across the top. So we can do those uh, techniques. I've already got another one done. Mm -hmm. So that one's already had some uh, water splashed on the top of that one to give us that sort of textured background that we really like. So like I was saying earlier, the more ink you put on with these, I think, the better it blends. Mm. So we're going to use a couple of colours on this anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. So this is Dusty Concord. I'm just going to go over with this one as well. And just blend the two together. Mm. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? It is. But it's nice if you can keep sort of um, a band of colour that's a little bit paler. Yeah. Just across the hills. Is that the so secret, I'm, is it? Yeah. yeah, I'm just trying to sort of keep... A little bit of distance away from that mm -hmm. so we've got that nice pale band just running across the top it's also great the little mask just for keeping your work clean because you can hold on to those while you're coloring mm -hmm. okay and then what we're going to do is put just a little bit darker on so we're going to use a little bit of the chip sapphire as well Oh, yes, like you're using this morning for the reindeer. Yeah, yeah I, it's a beautiful it's a great colour. colour. Mm. So it just sort of darkens the whole thing, just at the very edges. So you don't need to pull this too far down. But again, just adds that little bit of atmosphere. They have those beautiful colours. How long ago was it when you started doing all these, designing all of these Christmas stamps, Wendy? Oh, it's probably not too long, probably about six to eight weeks ago. No yeah, way. I was so, not expecting yeah. you to say that. I thought you were going to say months. No, no, no. <gasps> because that's a quick turnaround. This is only like the two of us, so it's a yeah. lot of a lot of work. So we're all trying to do everything between oh, us, you know. So yeah. it does take uh, quite a while to do. So it's probably about two months, I would say. Wow. All in all, that's amazing. Right. So there's our little sky. Hmm. So what I've done, there's one here that we did earlier. So it's exactly the same. Only this one, we've put some of that embossing enamel, which we've seen already. Yeah. So I thought we'd get that one done, so it's out of the way. Now what we're going to do is stamp our little snowman. So we're going to have him right in the foreground. And again, we've got our mask ready there as well, so mm -hmm. we can mask him out. And if you've got any questions for Wendy, let her know. Let her know on the Facebook. Let her know. Email us into studio at thecraftstore.com. I'm sure she'll be happy to answer. Of course. Or if you've got any of your own lovely cardio pictures, we do love sharing those oh, as I well. Oh, I love you seeing don't get yeah, see them. Yeah, I do. No, I love seeing people's pictures. It's so good and it's, it's great because when you see people who do something that you hadn't thought of and you're like, yeah. oh, wow, that's amazing. It's just great. Okay, so we're going to pop our snowman about here. And then we've left room for our little dog. Now you were doing, oh, okay. a t sorry to harken back, no, but Diane's okay. had a question in and you were doing a technique this morning when by you put your stencils on and you used your wax paper yeah. so that your um, ball tool would glide more. Yeah. Diane has asked, could you use parchment or grease proof? I don't suppose it's got a wax on it. I don't think it. so. No. It's the wax that's that on makes it, it that glide. really, yeah. yeah, that makes it glide. Um, but I think a tumble dryer sheet might work. You know, the right. tumble dryer sheets? Because yeah, they've just got some sort of um, coat sheen coating right. on them that actually when rubbed on your card does make a difference. Yeah, so, whereas your, your yeah. baking paper and your... The other paper, it just doesn't have the wax on no, it, does it? So no, that, that was and it's only sort of, it's, it's quite minimal, but it yeah. does make a massive difference. You'd, you'd notice it if you actually tried it, you yeah. know, without the wax paper, you would definitely notice a difference because it just sort of does that squeaky, <laughs> scratchy <laughs> kind of noise that, oh, it's horrible, it goes through you. If you're wondering what are, what are they talking about, uh, you need to watch back at the 8 o'clock show this morning. Yeah, when we had stencils, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, but we've still got the one-day special, so this is the good news, everybody. There's still time to join in the fun. Okay, so let's get our little cat in this side. Okay, oh. so he's there. So he's sitting on his back legs, yeah. and then we've got our little dog in his winter coat. Yeah, which is that lovely so card. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's the one Laura did, and she's embossed, embossed the, the, the actual winter coat there. It's so cute. It's very cute, isn't it? So there's our little dog. And then we're going to put a couple of the little squirrels on here. Now, I, like I said, I like to stick the little squirrel sitting on top of his head. So let's get the little squirrel up here. 
Laura's has got a mouse holding a frond, holding a bird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's very cute because you can tell so many stories with them, can't yeah, you? They're very, very cute. But it's amazing how different they can look, you know, different takes on things. Are, it's just lovely to see. So we've got a couple of the little squirrels there just sort of running away from the snowman there. And then all we need to do is start to add some colour to this little snowman. So I'm going to find um, a purple. Mm -hmm. So we're keeping him in the same sort of colourway as the sky. So this is sort of harping back to the the good old days with the pro markers here, but anything will do. So any coloured pencils, whatever it is you've got, it doesn't really matter, just to add a little bit of colour to this. But with the pro markers, what I like is you can go back in and add a little bit of shadow as well, which is lovely. And then we're going to use a little bit of a paint pen, and what I'm going to do is just highlight this nose here. So this will mm. go straight over the black. So just like that to give him a nice... Sort of shiny. Yeah, and then preference for cardstock? Yeah, that was another question we had in. Um, um, no, this is sort of, it's not expensive. These are just the card packs that you can buy, you know, okay. the 50 packs of card and envelopes. Mm -hmm. So that's all this is, but it's nice and smooth, mm. uh, not shiny in any way. Yeah. So you don't want anything shiny. And try and stay away from textured as well, because obviously the texture will come through yeah. um, in your stamp. Well, we had a good deal yesterday with the super smooth as well. So yeah. um, sometimes that's on our uh, seven day savers as well. So. So I'm just being quite quick with this. So you could take a bit, bit longer than me. I'm just sort of scribbling this on, but just to give us that lovely glitter effect. But you can have some real fun telling little stories like yeah. Laura does. It's so, so cute. And then just in the top here, so again, in these little field areas here, we're just going to pop some glitter. And then we have some nice sparkly hilltops as well. And then into your glitter. <laughs> I need to have it a big tub because I'm so messy. <laughs> there we go. And again, look how quickly that came together. And there's Fantastic. your little plastic, your little snowman scene. Ah. Uh. So lovely, gorgeous. And this is the one I was just talking about with uh, mice holding fronds, holding birds. <laughs> there we go. And that's, that's so cute. And the dog, yeah, that's the embossed coat Laura Wendy was just talking about. Um, yeah, he's he, he, he's amazing. That's the that's the little one. And that's if you were lucky enough to get one of those stencils. Yeah, just gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Uh, right, I'm dropping cards here on the floor. Let's look at the one day special. You are getting 65 of these amazing stamps. If you haven't seen them, feast your eyes on them all because they create such vistas, such stories, lambs, sheep, squirrels, paw prints, duck prints, ducks, Christmas trees. But we were saying, you know, you look at that, you look at that landscape, it could be autumn, it could be summer, it's just how you colour the fields. Uh, it could be springtime with all the, all the ducks and the squirrels and the mice and the cats. Um, the birds there, you've got the bows, the bells and the mistletoe and the holly berries and the fronds. Uh, just, just delightful, aren't they? Yeah, really, really beautiful. Let me show, show you some more of the gorgeous finished sample. So here we go as our deer within the beautiful um, bell, as it were, if you were lucky enough to get that. Um, there they are again. Just trying to find one of my favourites, which was our Laura's, wasn't it? Um, let me see, where did I put it? There we go, look at this one. Isn't that, isn't that? I mean, I know that's the whitewood, but how amazing is that? How amazing. It, that is, it's truly beautiful, isn't it? So gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. Just, uh, just amazing, aren't they? Just so, 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 so pretty. Um, shall we have a little look at the boards? Yes, because the bottom row we haven't had a look at yet. And again, more inspiration. So I'll step to the side here. And again, more inspiration using these fantastic stamps. There we go, the mice and the squirrel and the cat. I mean, that's just brilliant, one of the fronds there. There's the lovely wreath that you can build up if you get your pine cones and uh, the poinsettia. And again, building it up there with the bells, keeping it very simple. Any sentiment in the center there as well. They've got the bells and the bows there and all those extra leaf ones in the one day special. There's that ledge and then the falling, well, strands with the ducks. Beautiful, there's your Christmas tree. And then some of these have been embossed on the front there. So those lights glow even more. And one of my favorites there, the snowman, just for you. So you've got the bird on the twigs, the, the 
mouse on the, on the twigs. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, everybody. Ah, I love it. And then background, see how you can create little really sort of hillsides. Lovely depth. Three quarters of the current extended stock gone. Three quarters. Two flexi by pens of £19.98. They are awesome. They are brilliant. You will have such fun with them. There's no end of possibilities given the 65 stamps that you are getting in this Winter Way complete collection. 361595. Such an amazing price. And don't forget, if you've bought from Cardio before, they work beautifully with them. So we've seen that with the skaters and we've seen that. We've still got uh, the extended stock of the lovely uh, festive poinsettia and uh, fur cones as well. What direction are we going to go now, Wendy? Right, so we're going to do the little ledge. So funny you should mention oh, the little okay. ledge. So we're going to do something similar to this one here. Ah, oh. I'd never get this right. We've <laughs> <laughs> <It's laughs> got 12 minutes. Right. Got lots of time for this yeah. one, Wendy. So I'll do the colouring this time in case somebody hasn't seen it. Yeah. So I've started with the tattered, uh, sc sorry, scattered straw and the spiced marmalade just in the centre there. So now we're going to go on and add a pale of blue. Uh, the reason I use the paler blue is because you're less likely to form a green with this, I've okay. found. So you know where your yellow and your blue mix, you're going to get a greeny colour. So we're just going to start to use a little bit of the tumble glass just around the outside here. And we're just going to blend all the way around this yellow. So are you working on a new collection at the moment? I know how industrious yes. you are. You're yeah, always on the I have. Go. Yeah, I've got another one already sort of... Uh, it's and not complete, but it's getting there. Can you give us a little little taster of um, what's um, going well, on? Well, the candle's cheeky. a bit of a clue. Oh. The candle is a little bit of a clue. Where I was saying before about the candle flames. So that's a, that's a bit of a clue there. Candles. Mm. Mine's racing now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it'll become clear. I think we're on in October anyway, so it's not long to go. Gosh. Yeah, the way it's been this year, we've sort of had to really start trying to get designs in uh, quite early. Mm. You know, because there's uh, shortages of things yes, and things absolutely. like that. So yeah, it's um, we're here, isn't yeah, it? Really, it's, materials and what have you. It's a case of really sort of getting your act together, really. Mm. Yes, indeed. It's sort of um, made me work that a little bit quicker, I think. Yeah, what? Can you physically go any quicker? <laughs> Wendy, you, you are like Superwoman. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. You must be at warp speed if you go any quicker. <laughs> Okay, so just blending around that yellow area there, and you will get a little bit of green, but I don't mind because again, it sort of makes it look a bit northern lights. So yeah, it's, it's haze, absolutely it? fine, yeah. And I do want it sort of yellow in the middle. I like the yellow look in the centre. So once we've gone all the way around, and I like to put a base coat on as well, mm -hmm. so that when we put the next colours on, it's just going to nicely blend over the top. Mm. And obviously, like I said, the more ink you get on here, the better you will find that that's going to blend. Right. So once we've done the pale blue, mm -hmm. I'm going to work over with some broken china. Uh -huh. Just add a little bit more and stay a little bit clear of that yellow. Lovely. Don't forget three quarters of the stock of the one day special has gone as well. And if you have any questions for Wendy, she's obviously here for the final call as well. Um, Now's the time, yeah. And then if we put a little bit of the black soot over the top of this, that will really just give it some depth as well. Okay. Right. So let's just go for the black. So we don't need a lot of the black, but again, it's just going to add to that dimension. Yeah. So it just needs a little bit of something to darken that up, otherwise it's in danger of looking a bit summery. So let's put some of this on the edges. Mm. And again, it just really sort of blends together with, with that blue and just sort of darkens up those edges nicely. Lovely. And then we're going to do our lovely water technique. So I've got one already dry as well. So we can sort of go on to that one. Mm -hmm. But it just makes it look much more atmospheric. So just be careful you don't put your fingers on there. I usually have a little piece of sticky paper or something. Okay. Or even a post-it note. And if you have your fingers stuck to the, the bit that's sticky, yeah. you can just move your hand around on your, <laughs> your card. <laughs> Got all these handy tips for speed you have. <laughs> well, otherwise, you just end up leaving little fingerprints everywhere. Okay. 
It's not too bad if you've got it masked out at the bottom as well, because mm. you can just hold on yeah, to that exactly. bit. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's your purchase bit, isn't it? So we've got that nice bright bit in the centre there now. And we've got all those edges darkened up. So we're going to use some of the greenery on this one as well, which we haven't used yet. So I'm going to peel this away now. And that gives us our nice sort of snowy edge. So another tip there, if you've used the repositionable adhesive, just make sure you've got rid of it. Because if you stamp over the top of it, mm. and then you go to rub it off, you're going to lose, lose a little bit of your stamping. Yeah. yeah, so you'll, you don't want to do that. So let's get our main areas in now before we do anything else. So we're going to use our little goose because we've not used the goose yet. No, so we're going to no, pop no, him in. And if I remember, I'll or if I've left him out, I'll try and find some little footprints. Oh, yeah, I love those. If not, we've got the reindeer prints, so we can use some oh. of the reindeer prints. So just make sure this is really nicely inked up. Oh, yeah, it's falling out there. Okay, so we'll pop this right in the middle. Mm -hmm. And just make sure you take his feet down into the snow. And the nice thing we're having in the centre quite pale is he really stands out. Yeah, he really pops, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, you, you sort of your eyes are drawn straight into the middle of this card. This is a similar design that we did with the trees, isn't it, earlier on? Ah, oh, yes, yes, he was centre stage, wasn't he? Yeah. So there's our gorgeous oh. reindeer in the centre there. So it's worth just spending a little bit of time, you know, rather than just taking it off straight away. Yeah. Just giving it time to sort of for the ink to settle oh, properly yeah. on your card before you start to pull that away. So let's get our little goose. Now, I love this little goose. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm going to pop him right underneath the reindeer. So just about there. And I can't lay my hands on the little goose feet. Oh, For, oh yes, I can. She found it. I think I found it, yep. They're all so tiny, aren't they? I it's know. Like, oh. I know. <laughs> You've got it on the block eyes. there, yeah. Got so we ready. can put those in a minute. And we have also got the little footprints for the... Um, the deer as well so i just want my little mouse now so let's get him in at the back so these are our main characters for this one mm -hmm. and then they're all looking up so they're all looking up or at least the reindeer and the little mouse are yeah and what we're going to put on here is our little ledge ah and then on top of that you could have anything yeah anything you want but again this for summer would be lovely you could do this in browns with a little bit of green. I've only trailing mm. things being green. So this one is going to go about here. And then because we're only having the little squirrels on here, it can go fairly low down. But it makes a difference having all the animals looking in a certain direction. So now it looks like they're looking directly yeah. up at that, which is really cute. And geese is going, so, going around. Yeah, yeah. So let's Whatever. get these little squiggles. Okay, so let's get those in first. So I'll have one about there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these are probably one of my favourites on here. I seem to have sort of a thing about mice as well at the moment. Mice, <laughs> mice and sheep. <laughs> so let's just get a couple of these in. In fact, let's use that one because he's sitting up the other direction. So let's use him. You can go up there like that. And then we've got all these little trailing things as well that we can use. So let's get to these. And we'll just start to have these trailing down mm -hmm. from the little sort of cliff edge that we've got there. So you could create a lovely little hideaway underneath there for little yeah, animals to go in as well, couldn't you? Just walking through or peeping out from underneath. The thing was with this show, there were so many different elements to try and use. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I sat there for at least three weeks solid and barely moved. Oh gosh. And they still, still couldn't get around to using all of everything. There we go. Get you busy. Definitely. So these are our little trailing vines. And you can put a few of these up here as well. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to put a little bit more dimension there. I mean, you could have a little stack of these yeah. little things that are all with different things on. So let's get these little, little elements now. So we've got our rose hip and we've got our little berries. So all we're going to do is just start to stamp these around the edges of the card. So we're just going to go around the edge. And again, it's just going to add a little bit of dimension to this as well. 
So you've got some foreground in there. Beautiful. Now, I know we're getting those rise, so don't forget to check out your bats to get three quarters of the stock there of the one day special has gone. That's the extended. And we've oh, every time I turn around and say the words Wendy, she just <laughs> starts thrown away from me because uh, everything keeps selling out. So, but this is the extended. We have got stock available. An amazing price point, and truly, I mean, Wendy can sit there for three weeks and still not reach the end of the possibilities with her own stamps. Where is it going to take you? 361595. And don't forget, it's not just the Christmas. There's so many other ways we can go with those farmyard animals, with those vistas, you know, in terms of colouring it. Look at that, 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 uh, that one there. It's just a beautiful birthday card. So, lovely spring and summer. Okay. So, there's our little uh, finished sample. So, what I'm going to do now is just put some of that um, embossing powder over the top. Perfect timing. Got about 90, well, a minute and a half, darling. Nice. Okay, okay. A little bit of this over the top. And I'm just going to heat them underneath. So it doesn't all blow off. So I'll try and do this a bit quicker than we can get. So if it warps a little bit, I'm sorry, I apologise. But just so we can get through it so you can see it. Mm -hmm. So if a bit blows away, I apologise. But the white against the colour is just something else. It's yeah. really stunning. Gives it that snowy. It really kind of does, doesn't it? it? And again, what I love about it is the randomness of that. Yeah. Like so into the glitter. Beautiful. And there we go. Oh, look at that. Four fabulous demonstrations. Absolutely stunning. And still time to spare. Wendy, absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. You were like a treasure. Thank you for mixing it up. Thank you for indulging oh, no my problem. skater. No problem at all. Fix. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please remember to check out your baskets. Would hate for you to miss out. I know we're on the extended, but uh, as we said, three quarters of stock has already gone. Um, enjoy. Wendy will be back with us again at four o'clock. So more, more fabulous demonstrations. If you've got any questions for Wendy, or you want to show us some, some of your beautiful images that you've created with cardio stamps, I'm sure, sure, sure she'd love to see them we'd love to see some of those beautiful pine cone and because uh, you showed us yes, those before because yes, they're still yes. with us the poinsettia so if you've got any of those I'd like to see your take on it as well uh wendy what are we going to do with the last show oh i don't know hopefully <laughs> we'll have enough won't we, to oh, yeah get yeah definitely for the one day special for you my darling <laughs> uh thank you so much thank you thanks for as you. always and thank you for watching thank you for getting in there early not missing out that's the worst thing that could happen first time ever for cardio to have a one day special and it is there 18 years in the business, so uh, well worth celebrating with them. Two flexible payments at £90.98 for 65 incredible stamps, and I don't know how many tens of thousands of options you can go in. Uh, 361595, but I'm certainly looking forward to seeing them when you complete your wintry collection. Right, let's have a catch up and see what's coming up, and uh, you can catch Wendy again at four this afternoon. Well, we've got my two ladies knitting next, and then we'll return to Dark Room Door, and then we've got the Social Circle. Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Did you know you can continue watching The Craft Store 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. 
You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Kula Pink is a fabric designer, a quilter and an author. She works closely with Free Spirit Fabrics to develop multiple fabric collections every year and is best known for her dark sense of humor, a flair for hiding animals within her designs and her bold, unique use of color and pattern. I will be bringing you a wide selection of wonderful fabrics at fantastic prices. Hello everyone and welcome to the craft store. Now if you've been with us throughout the day so far, of course we went live at 7 o'clock this morning, great variety of shows. We've already seen um, paper craft of course, we've seen uh, dark room door with rubber stamping. This hour I've been looking forward to it very very much because we've got my two ladies. Now we've got, this is completely different because you've got knitting needles with a difference and crochet hooks and other products as well but these are with a difference for a number of reasons. Now I'm going to tell you right at the beginning that we may have some technical issues with our Skype because our guest is in America and Alexis we're trying our hardest to get hold of her if we have any issues we're going to bring in a substitute demonstrator um, I don't know how good she is her name's Catherine and uh, yeah so I might be wearing two hats for this hour as well but that's fine that's fine because it gives me a chance to play with these doesn't it now the first few to buy all we've got a limited amount of these I don't know how many there are but there's a free bag while stocks last with your purchase as well so get your orders in quick my two ladies uh, very handy to keep your crochet hooks in or your bits of yarn or whatever you're working with and of course those knitting needles as well you'll see why the knitting needles will fit into that bag in a second these are knitting needles with a difference now what we've got here are the US size 4 you UK size is 3.5 millimeters. I know it sounds complicated. If you're in the UK, you, you know those millimeter sizes, don't you? Now, the sizes go right the way up to 15 millimeters. That can't be right, 15 millimeters? That's one and a half centimeters. Is that right? It might be, actually. It might be that's really chunky yarn, US 19, UK. 15 millimeters wow I don't think I've ever knitted with needles that thick yeah that really chunky one now let me tell you something about the knitting needles themselves these are made of rosewood they're absolutely beautiful they're created by craftsmen in India artisan craftsmen you can see there the brass fittings they are brass you've also got the flexible cable on there we'll open some of these out for you to see in a second and um, that's that's going to be a sort of anti-twist as well these needles are going to enable you to create and work with lots and lots of stitches so patterns and things in the past where you might have had to work in panels and sew together or knit together you can create in one piece I am going to open some of these up so you can see a little bit because I might as well go for the ones nearest to me which are these very chunky ones there's something else that's very very clever about these as well I'm just going to unloop these they are two knitting needles now what you would normally expect with knitting needles of course are quite long ones and you see some people tuck them under their arms and try and work with them in that way these have got the flexible cable on them and also the beautiful rosewood stop on the end now there is an actual stop itself there and then you've got the spring loaded slider so that means that you can change essentially the length of your needle look at the length of the flex that means you can put multiple and I mean up to hundreds of needle uh, stitches onto that needle all in one go so you'll work with these in the same principle you've got two separate needles but you can change the length of this these are really really good I can tell you I did have a bit of a play beforehand because we thought we might have technical issues 
I can't tell you how impressed I was with these, not only the knitting needles, but the crochet hooks coming up as well. So we'll see how we go when it comes to Skype. See, we've got a demonstrator who will be joining us live. If not, I will be having a go myself live on air. What else can I tell you about these? Well, you know, when you're working with um, regular knitting needles, they are quite long. Sometimes they're a little bit clumsy. They click clack a lot as well, don't they? With these, the actual wooden areas are seven inches in length. So they're shorter. They're easier to handle. They are arthritic friendly. Honestly, you need to try these to realise how incredibly special these are. I didn't believe it when I was told about that. I thought, yeah, they won't be that different. Honestly, I've had a play. They are incredible. Let's have a look at the details there. $24.99. You choose your size, of course. These are made to last as well. They're beautifully crafted. 283470. Choose your size. If you're in the UK, obviously work to your UK sizes. In the US, you'll know your sizes as well. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's move down because I did mention crochet hooks and we have got those. And if you do watch, you'll know that I do crochet. I do my own shows here as well. Uh, I tend to work with a metal hook normally with a silicon handle. It's an easy grip. These are the rosewood ones. Again, I thought, yeah, they look good, but let me have a go with them. Let me try them out. Honestly, once again, absolutely exceptional. Now, the size is very considerably, so they start at three and three quarter millimeters and they work through all the way to 12 millimeters. That's in UK size there. In US size, you tend to go for letters of the alphabet. Um, now, if you're a beginner, if you're working with, let's say, a double knitting yarn, you would normally find on a label in the UK that they would suggest using a four or even a five millimeter needle. I tend to drop down a size a little bit with crochet. That's entirely up to the individual, but if your tension tends to be quite loose, I would say drop down. I tend to use, more often than not, a three, three to four millimeter. So you've got sizes that will work here if you are looking at working with those sorts of yarns. If you're looking at a narrower yarn, a thinner yarn, then of course you go down a size. If you're looking at chunky yarn, you're going to go to the larger sizes. So think carefully about what sort of yarns you're most likely to use if you're only going for the one set but you can do more than uh, one thing with one size of course now you will get the bag included these are really beautiful once again this is the smallest of the crochet hooks that I've got here if we can have a really close look at this in fact I'm going to hold it in front of the bag because you might be able to see the detailing that you've got on this as well now what I found and I was having a play with these before the hour I like my metal hooks, I really do, but you still find, and it's not always down to the quality of the yarn, you do find that sometimes the hooks can start to separate the, um, the strands of the yarn themselves. I wasn't finding it was happening so much with these particular uh, hooks. They're very comfortable to hold as well extremely extremely useful because I often find again that working with different yarns, especially with acrylic, on a metal hook that the yarn tends to stick, it almost grates against the metal, not with the wooden ones. I just, I just found that the yarn worked beautifully against the rosewood. 168667 is the item number if you're going for the crochet hooks. A four pound saving today, 14.99 is the price. You've got all those different sizes there. If you're looking for gift ideas as well, Seriously, somebody who's a crocheter already or a knitter already, these are going to be ideal gifts because they're beautifully, beautifully presented as well. Now, we have got more coming up. This is changing a little bit now. We've gone from knitting needles to crochet hooks. We're now going to shawl pins. So these are finished items. They are absolutely beautiful. Now, we've got one item number with two different options. We've got the triangular or the geometric. Just have a look. We need to have a look at these. The detail is incredible. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? So you can see you've got the brooch itself, you've got the pin. If you're creating a wonderful shawl or a poncho even or something that requires a pin in it, this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. £20.99, 853-886 is the item number. They are limited edition as well. Remember, these are all handcrafted. Uh, what a fabulous gift. 
Perhaps if you've made a shawl for someone and you want to gift with this attached to the shawl, maybe if you know someone that crochets or knits and they would appreciate this as a gift. So don't just think about treating yourself, think about treating somebody else as well. 853-886, I just love those. Now I'm intrigued by the next item. I know what it is. This is one craft I haven't actually tried yet myself. I'm saying yet because you never know. Again, the workmanship is just beautiful. What we've got here is the spindle kit. Now you do get full instructions. You're also getting some wool as well, the fleece, so the fibers here. You do get the pouch. I can feel the instructions are in the pouch. What a beautiful gift again this would be. Look at the workmanship in this. $26.99. If anybody does their own spinning, please, or they use a spindle kit, please send in some pictures. This is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? 761-103 is the item number. I think that price is amazing, I've got to say. I love that. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it from every single angle, actually. It is absolutely beautiful. Remember, these are all made of rosewood. There we go. Gorgeous. All from my two ladies, of course. Right, now we've worked our way down the counter with the rosewood. We've got one or two other things on the show as well, but we're going to go to our Flexi VT first because, of course, if you're going for multiples, you might be totting up that basket to £60 or more. Let's hear how Flexi Basket works. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. I'm just laughing at that because it's me who does the voiceover, so I'm presenting. <laughs> Looks like I'm now demonstrating and in the voiceover as well. Talk about many hats. Right, OK, we're still trying to get hold of Alexis on Skype. We're having a few technical issues. So you are, um, unfortunately, stuck with me for the demonstration. But do you know what? It is nice because I have... I know uh, Alexis has been here before. It's been a while ago, and I know, you know, everybody loved the products. But it's the first time I've actually seen these, and I am so, so genuinely impressed impressed with these. I only literally got 15 minutes or so before the show to have a quick go and straight away I said to our buyer, these are incredible. Now I do know there's another lady in the, in the buying department, in fact she did um, the last knitting craft along, so if you were watching that, she's a knitting expert. These are the needles she now uses because she was also so impressed with them. Now, I've just randomly picked up a size. I wasn't even sure what size I've gone for, but the sizes are on the actual needles themselves. Um, my eyesight is terrible close up, so glasses are on. Which one is it on? These are a six millimeter if you're looking at UK. So let me just unravel these and go through the needles again. So obviously you've got your seven inch rosewood needle, you've got the brass component there as well, you've got your anti-twist um, flex there as well, so you've got a good length of flex. This is why you can hold so many needles, so many, uh, sorry, stitches on here. Now if I just show you the slider again, it is got a little spring in there, that's not going to go anywhere until you press down the top. If I just hold it that way so you can see, so you just press in the top, and then that will slide along the flex and wherever you stop, as soon as you release that, that is holding. And then you've got the stop at the end, so you can't take it right off the end of the flex. It is going to stop there. So now I've got various different um, yarns here. I probably could have gone with a slightly bigger needle, but we'll work with this one. We're just going to do a bit of simple casting on. So you're getting an impromptu uh, demonstration here as well. So I've just made a little slip knot there. I'm going to pick up the needles. I'm right-handed, so I'm holding in my left hand the main needle 
Um, and I'm going to do the way that I cast on. Do you know, I almost did that as I was going to crochet then, because I'm so used to crocheting. So with the slip knot, I'm going to put the needle into the loop. So I've formed a cross. I'm going to go round with the yarn through the cross. I'm going to slide down the needle. So I've got the loop on the needle there. And then I'm going to pop that onto the left hand needle. So I've now got two stitches. Now, because we're not really doing a craft along, I am explaining what I'm doing, but what I want to tell you about more than what I'm actually creating here is how this feels on the needles. They are so smooth. There is no sort of grating or sticking of the yarn. You can slide down that needle very, very easily. I can tell you that when I've knitted in the past and even doing the craft along, that some needles, depending on whether they're plastic ones or, of course, metal ones, you will find that it's a little bit difficult sometimes to slide the yarn along the needle. These are so, so easy to work with, seriously. I'm just carrying on here, casting on the stitches. I'm going quite slow, just so you can see what I'm doing. But I do want to try and get quite a way down so I can go onto the flex. Now, what I will just remind you about as well is don't forget to check out very quickly because if you want to get that free bag, we've got a certain amount of stock and when they're gone, they're gone. So it'll be the first few, well, not few, we've got more than a few, the first people while we've got the stocks to check out who will get those. Now, when I'm casting on here, what I actually do, I take the needle and put it in between the two stitches. There are different ways of casting on. This is my preferred way round again there slide that needle through honestly i i am not just saying this these are so easy to work with this is a game changer if you've never tried these before buy a pair if you work with multiple sizes go for the size that you're most likely to use i think once you've got one pair you are going to come back for more seriously these are genuinely a game changer. No wonder Katie uses these all the time now. Now I am just going to speed up a little bit. I think we might be uh, having some luck with Skype. So we might be switching over. We can't switch over just yet, so I'm going to keep going. But I'm just going to cast on as many stitches as I can, as quickly as I can now. Um, now I'm not the fastest of knitters, I've got to say. I do more crochet than knitting. I used to do a lot of knitting in the past, but I'm more crochet now. But I have it under good authority that with these needles, and I can see it as well, that you can work faster. Because of the ease of using them, you can create speed as well. Honestly, these are really brilliant. I hope we have got Alexis coming on here, because I want to say what fabulous products we've got here. Now, you have, of course, got that flex there. You can change the length of that flex with the stopper. I'm still working with the cast on. I'm almost at the end of the seven inches of the needle here. I've got my yarn just tangled up a little bit. If you've got one of those yarn spinners, they're really handy as well. I don't know if we've still got those on the website, the Millward ones. They're really, really useful. You put your ball of yarn on there and it just unravels itself. You don't have to keep uh, pulling at it. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. I just want to get onto the flex so you can see what happens here. I've no idea how many stitches I've done. I'm almost off the end there now. I'm thinking things like your shawls, your ponchos, um, all those larger items that, you know, you have to have hundreds of stitches for. Quite often you do have to make in panels. You do have to stitch them together. You do have to sort of stop and start. And then you've got all those ends to fasten in as well. If you can hold hundreds of stitches all in one go, that is going to save you an awful lot of work. That's another reason why you will find that your garments will create faster because you're not doing them in panels. You're not sewing them together. That will also give you a neater finish. Now, I know I've gone far enough now to be onto the flex. I can feel it, but that's fine because, of course, that's going to hold everything. Nothing is going to escape. No stitches are going to come off the ends of the needles because you've got the stop there. Let's see where we're at. There you can see how easily that will actually slide down. Now, obviously, I wouldn't normally slide it that far down. I would keep them on the needle and just keep going and going and going. Uh, but obviously, we want to have a look at other items and hopefully get to a Skype demonstration as well. But you can see how that is going to hold. And obviously, when you work the other way, if you're doing a knit or a purl or a cable or whatever sort of stitching you're doing, you will just work back on those same stitches. And the more, you, they will slide beautifully. 
along the flex as well. The fact that you've got the, the brass piece, can I just show you this a little bit more closely? How well shaped that is. If it wasn't shaped, it's almost like a, a pencil end. But if it wasn't shaped so beautifully, you wouldn't be able to get those stitches to slide back up the needle so easily. Now, I can tell you, and I'm not surprised at this, actually, I'm just hearing that the four millimeter needle is one of the most popular. Sorry, I hate looking at people over my glasses. Um, I'm not surprised because in the UK, I would say four millimeters is likely to be the most used needle simply because I think most people tend to work with double knitting. So that is a size that you'd work with with double knitting. It can vary, of course. You can get textured yarn, uh, but yes, very busy on the four millimeter. Don't forget we've got savings today. Whether you're in the UK or the US, we have got sizes for you ranging from the UK three and a half millimeter right up to the 15 millimeter which are really really chunky needles you will use a good chunky yarn for those 283470 is the item number if you're looking at the knitted needles if there's anybody out there that bought from the first show and you're using these please do email in and tell us how you've been getting on with them the show was actually back in 2019 i didn't realize it was that long ago i'm pretty certain this is the show where our very own adam humphreys learned to knit i think it is adam if you're watching oh he might be on his way in is he in today he is isn't he he might be on his way in uh, but adam did learn to knit and i'm certain it was with this show with these needles 283470 is the item number all those different sizes there um components as i say you've got the rosewood the seven inch needle itself then you've got the brass components that hold all the, the needles together along with the flex the flex has very little twist in it you shouldn't get tangled up with that at all you've got the room there to get hundreds of stitches you've got that stop you've got that slider on there as well these are in my opinion genius now let's move down again because the crochet hooks we have been very busy for these as well. Now, crochet is becoming more and more popular. I'm just hearing our Katie, producer in the gallery, her sister's just going to crochet as well. I think crochet has become really fashionable. It's not just about toys and arigurumi. It's not just about granny squares or granny hexagons, as we discovered earlier on. It's also about fashion. So hats, scarves, shawls, dresses, skirts, jackets tunics all of those things and once you get going with crochet once you've learned how to get going and hold the yarn and you're comfortable with your your hook and your yarn itself then you will be flying with this now these are brilliant if we still haven't got uh, the guests which i'm hoping we have i'll be demonstrating these as well but we think we think we think we might be all right. $14.99 is the price for the crochet hooks. You've got a four pound saving, 168, 667. And we're working right from a 3.75 millimeter up to, what was the largest one? Was it 12 millimeters on this one? Yes, 12 millimeters. Now, I'm so delighted that in my monitor, I can see that we've got a very special guest about to join us. It is Alexis, the inventor of these fantastic tools. I'm so pleased we've got you there, Alexis. Can I just say, I wasn't in the studios the first time you joined us, and I know you were here in the UK the first time. I've wow. never tried these tools out before. I had about 15 minutes prior to the start of the show to have a bit of a play. I am so impressed, seriously. Seriously, wonderful, thank you. Thank you so much, I'm glad you enjoyed them. I'm glad that we got this technical problem um, fixed, and um, you let me know when I can talk. I talk quite a bit, so you'll have to uh, let me know what you would like me to do. Okay, well, which... we can hear you loud and clear, okay. Alexis, and we can see you've got some knitting there as well. I so... do. I brought some knitting here, yes. Lovely. If you want to go straight to a demonstration, we're very happy with that. I can do that. I'm, I'm set for that. I want, um, you know, uh, uh, chime in if I'm talking too much. <laughs> so, uh, 
again, thank you for, for letting me be here and my two ladies. And I actually do have quite a few customers from England and um, they have to be my most wonderful customers. Aww. They are just, seriously, they are just um, phenomenal. We're friends now and um, I'm so happy to be here also because um, as we know, it's quite expensive, right, to order from New York, yeah. especially now. So um, I have many that are here. I know watching because they're happy to be able to get um, certainly a better deal here on the here here on the show. Definitely. So I will uh, just say to yeah, our viewers well, as well, Alexis, if that's okay. Of course, everything is coming from America. Um, you are going to save on, of course, those costs. But the delay is 29th of September, so it's only two weeks because they are coming from America, of course. And I can tell you now, you will be well worth waiting for these, seriously. Now, Alexis, if we can just get back to you, I can see you've got a large piece of knitting there. And that just shows the size of the garment or the project that you're creating on these needles. Yes. So I will show you. And this is actually how I invented these needles. Um, I was working on this. It is a jumbo size 19, well 19, um, I always talk in US, forgive me. So 19 is uh, 15 mm yep. needle, bulky, you know, that you can see very bulky, king size blanket. Okay. So, um, yes, it's very large. And what happened was I had just retired and I took up my knitting to another level since now I had time, right? So, um, I will show you. Now, these are, um, has everybody, excuse me, but since I got in so late here um, that we got in, has everyone seen the needles? Yes, we've, we're, we've had a really good look at them. Okay, you had a very good look at them. Yes. Terrific. Okay, terrific. So I will do the demo then. So here we have, as you can see, whoa, let me go over here. Okay, as you can see, here's one side of the needle. They're straight needles, yeah. right? So you're, you're using these needles as straight needles, even though you see this cable. Okay. The cable is just an extension of the needle. So the purpose of this needle is to give you a very long um, area where you literally can fit hundreds of stitches. And now this is a bulky, right? So, um, and what this will do Here's the other side. You can imagine how how heavy this is. Um, and how else would you do this? How exactly. else would you make it? Well, I guess you would, you would, you you would have to um, put pieces together. Exactly. To That's exactly what I was saying, that. Alexis, before we got you back, that you would have to make in panels and then stitch them together. Then you've got more ends. You, it wouldn't be such a neat yes. job. Yes, exactly. And even, you know, for those who like to use, um, for those that like to use circulars, it's a circular needle will not handle this. And if it did handle it, it, it would be so difficult with it going yeah. down to the bottom of the, and pulling the stitches up. So here we go. You're knitting just as you would with any other needle okay right and well i'm at the end but this little toggle with this little toggle it looks it looks like nothing really um special but what it does is when your stitches and when i go over to the other side the other needle you'll see it more clearly you use this little toggle and here let me do it this way it's hard for me to do it up here you use this little toggle and it pushes all your stitches all the way up to the front ah. so they don't fall back down, yeah. which means you don't have to keep going and pulling them up, down, yeah. 
and pulling them up. So what I'll do is I'll continue talking. Talk, I know my New York accent, excuse me, talking. Um, I, will, I will continue doing this till we get the, to the other side. Okay. So you really can get the dramatic um, experience of what these do. So um, what are these needles good for? These needles are good for anything with a lot of stitches. Okay, so okay. you're not making a hat with this, you know, you're not, obviously you're not making socks with this. Um, this is for something with a lot of stitches. The other so, thing Yeah, that your blankets, your hats, shawls, your big sort of cozy coats. Oh, I also have a sample here of shawls, but I will show you it with this, because just because you can see it larger. But I will also show you the shawl. Shawls are phenomenal with these um, these needles. The other thing is, you literally, I, I kid you not, you will you will knit twice as fast. You will knit twice as fast with these. Yeah, I can understand you're that. Spending less time. Um, you're spending. Uh, you're spending less time. Here we go. Um, you know, going down and pulling those stitches up, going down, pulling those stitches up. Okay. So now you see I have this all on one needle. Okay. Wow. It's Do you know how many stitches stuff. you've got on there? It's, it's, it's very sturdy. This revolves here. So everything also is made, um, ergonomically, of course, and it's made for hand health for good hand health. You okay. do not, if you can see, I have a, something on my hand. It's a glove because I have nerve damage. Um, and so uh, there are so many reasons that these will help you with your hand health, either to provide hand health or to prevent something of bad, you know, something bad hand health. Okay. You know, we all get tendonitis, we get um, carpal tunnel, all of these things that will stop us, not stop us completely from knitting because we, we won't do that, right? We don't give up easily, but we can knit longer um, and again, less stress and um, just wonderful. You'll also notice the needle itself, as compared to a circular, yep. is longer than the average circular needle. The reason for that is, because, again, ergonomics. Um, it is much uh, better for you to be holding on to a sizable okay. needle yep. and a say small that. needle to take the to take the straight to take the pull off of all, all of your other tendons, tendons, joints, and all of the above. Now, now that I'm further into the project, I will show you. And again, this is very large, but now. So I, ha I have this on, on here, right? Okay, now I'm we going can say, to show yeah. you. Here is the, and I know I'm using, usually I can do it much easier, but since I'm trying to get it into the camera, I'm kind of using two hands, um, but it's simple, simple. You're taking this little toggle and your thumb and you're just, there you go. So now all of those stitches that are at the bottom, where are they now? They're way up here. They're course, way close yeah. to your needle, yeah. as you can see. And also, so not, Alexis, yeah. there, the, the brass component on the end of the needle as well, the way that is shaped means that those stitches are going to just glide back onto the main needle as well. Exa yes, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, yes, everything is made so that there's no hang-ups, right? So yes, it does glide right over. I got a piece of fuzz in my mouth from this blanket. <laughs> and uh, the... The brass piece, it actually, it is brass, yeah. and it rotates. Um, so what does that do? So the cable turns. And what that does also is that keeps 
um, uh, that keeps your project from getting into a position that you have to keep flipping and, okay, and yeah. adjust. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm not flipping. I'm not adjusting. I'm just moving along. And I would say every maybe, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 stitches. I really don't need to do it now, but I'll do it again. This is such a big one. Um, so sorry, I'm trying to get it into the camera. You would just push this up again because you, you used so much space. Of course. But I don't really need to do it at this exact moment. Do you so think, Alexis, that, you, you could accompany me down the counter, maybe keep knitting as we go down the counter, and then we can yes. maybe ask questions as we go as well. Perfect. And I think what I'll do is I will go, and I have it right here, I'm going to grab a uh, shawl so you can see that, and it's easier, lighter, that. would be lovely. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Oh, Absolutely okay. fantastic. Because, of course, we've got so many different sizes available for you. Now, we are getting very busy for the needles. Now you understand the concept of it. Now you can see it. We've talked more about the components of the needles, the benefits of the needles. We've got everything, if you're in the UK, from the size 3.5 right up to the 15 millimeter in US size obviously it's, it's kind of a different combination but we've got both sizes there for you four pounds and 96 pence saving today these are just wonderful we can see the benefits of them now talking to Alexis we're going to see that show in a little while as well 24.99 283470 that's the item number if you are wanting to work on those bigger projects you need these Honestly, you need these. These are genuinely a game changer. We're going to move down and have another look at the crochet hooks as well in a little while because, of course, we've got those available as well. Now, these were off to a very busy start. You do get the little bag, and it's all about presentation as well. When you've got quality items, they want to be kept, you know, especially protected. And also, if you do want to, of course, gift these as well, the fact that you've got that presentation is an added bonus. But it's all about the tool, really. The craftsmanship again, absolutely gorgeous. These are made of rosewood. They are absolutely perfect. I'm just hearing it looks as though the four millimeter needle is the most popular one again in the crochet. And again, I'm not surprised simply because, oh, I've left one over the, my little counter. Um, I think this is the four millimeter down here. You would expect in the UK, especially if we're using double knitting, that's probably the size of needle or hook that, you're, that you will go for. If your tension is very very loose i would probably say i'm just gonna put my hand in front of that so you can see the hook end um i would probably say you know you could look at dropping down a size maybe go to the 3.75 millimeter if your tension's a little bit loose and you're working with a double knit but you might not be working with double knit you might be working with a cotton yarn it might be a four ply it might be a chunky it might be a super chunky so you work to the size that will best accommodate the yarns that you're working with nothing to stop you from going for more than one size of course if you work with multiple yarns 1499 is the price 168667 from the 3.75 up to 12 now I noticed on the screen there we could only get enough details on to show up to eight millimeters but it does actually go up to 12 millimeters so you've got lots of options there let me give you a reminder of the shawl pins as well now I know Alexis is going to show us a wonderful shawl that she's been creating you need something if you've created something yourself or you've created something to gift how magnificent would that item be, that garment be with one of these on? Now you've got two different options here. We've got the triangle or we've got the geometric. Now these are limited edition. It's not just about the actual triangle or the geometric part itself, but the pin. Look again at the detail in that beautiful wood. They are stunning, aren't they? £20.99. What an unusual gift as well. Do you know, for something... Um, if you're looking for a gift for somebody special and you think, oh, I'm not sure what to get and maybe else things will be repeated and <laughs> unless you've got lots of friends who are also watching this right at the same time, you know, this could be something quite unique. 853-886 is the item number there. Now, something else I'm intrigued with, I really, I might have to get this, you know, because I want to have a go myself now. This is a whole kit. This is your spindle kit. Again, the craftsmanship with the wood is just superb. 
I'm presuming that hook is brass as well. I'll check that with Alexis. You've got the fibres included, you've got full instructions. If you want to do a little bit of spinning yourself, then you can certainly do that. £26.99, item number 761103. Oh. Now, the fibres are included, say. The pouch is included. Instructions are in the pouch. Uh, I think that price point is just fantastic at 26.99 761 103 is the item number hopefully alexis has got that shawl to show us as well and we can ask some further questions if you've got anything you want to ask or you want us to put questions to alexis if we've got time we will do that in fact i'm, I'm just saying we've had one in from jean so i'm going to ask alexis right now ah okay so jean alexis has emailed into the studio asking what is the difference between the knitting needles that we've got on the show today and circular needles if you can just explain again the benefits of yeah. the needles we've got absolutely so i'm glad that you asked what is the difference between circular needles and um these needles uh so the first thing we have to do is get out of our, our head. It's hard to do because we see the, the cable. Um, they are absolutely straight needles. We need to just consider these to be straight needles when we think of these, okay? okay. So straight yeah. needles with this bonus. Um, I'm hoping you can hear me okay. I yeah, we can hear you. Just bounce back. Okay. Um, and with this, this is really the patent, actually. As you know, I'm patented for these needles. You cannot get these needles anywhere else. Anywhere else in the world, you can only get them from me. They are patented. Wow. So uh, the difference is when you're using circular needles, I'll put this down for a second. When you're using circular needles, as you know, first of all, the needle is small, yeah. right? And that... If you're using that and you like it, that's wonderful. It's not exactly the most ergonomic um, um, type of size for you to use, but that has nothing to do with it. So the difference is that when you're working on a circular, as you know, all the stitches just kind of fall down into the bottom, rest on your lap, and you are continually pulling those stitches back up to the forefront of the needle. So you're spending so much extra time doing that. Um, you're spending extra um, on your hands. Yep. It's not necessary. It was not necessary but to, to put that extra movement on your hands because it's, you know, you don't need to pull back up. So as you see with ours, you're, you're, you don't have a problem with having to have something that's long and you can fit, you know, quite a bit because you can fit whatever you want. And as you're knitting, you just do this little, this little toggle. The thing I would also just like to mention um, is that some people think that if they don't see the demonstration maybe and they pick it up in a store or whatever, they think that you just put this little toggle to the size, um, the length of the project you're working on, okay. that you just leave it there. But that is not what the needle is about. Yes, that will work, but the, the joy of the needle is that you are able to take your project that is, well, it's way down here, right? You don't have to keep going down, which is what happens with the circular. You have to keep pulling them up again because they fall back down. You just take this toggle and here you go. It's right here up at the front. Now I have, I think if I recall correctly, there has to be almost 200 stitches here. So just think about that, um, that you are able to, to knit like this. So I hope I answered your question. You think of this as a straight with the benefit of not having to reach down and get all of those stitches. So I tell everybody this is, is not a needle that you would say is going to replace all of the needles that you have. You know we love to collect needles, right? Um, so it's a needle for what you want it for. Okay. What, each needle has its own purpose. 
And these needles, the purpose is to use it for something that has a lot of stitches. And it's funny because after time, um, I, I get this all the time, if you do switch to a different needle that, that is not this adjustable needle, because maybe you're making um, something that doesn't need it, you find yourself and you go down to, to fix it, you know, to, to use the toggle and you miss it. You really miss it. And so it's an interesting, um, it's an interesting concept that you really will, will love. You definitely will. And I'll go back to just the fact that I had a little play before the show, Alexis, as well, because I've got to be honest, I looked at them and I thought they look great. They look amazing. I can kind of see it, but I need to try this myself. And I can tell you straight away, I could tell the difference. And I want to go back to the fact that that flex will also rotate because Jean's question yeah. as well, asking about the circular needle, I have never ever seen your standard circular needles where you'll get any rotation of that flex whatsoever and it will twist and it will tangle. And then again about the time, Alexis, that you just said, you'll be totally spending a lot of time untwisting the flex and, and sort of getting kinks in it and you don't want that. Yeah. So I appreciate every aspect of of the design that you've created here, and I think it is incredible. Very quickly, I just want to let everybody know, because um, we have a free gift while stocks last. If you want to get your free gift, you need to check your baskets out now. We haven't got an awful lot of these left. We've got a busy, busy show going on here as well. Phone lines are very, very busy. Uh, yeah, if you want that free gift, it's well worth it. You can keep your needles in there, your hook in there, your little bits of yarn and everything else. Now, keep your questions coming in while we've got Alexis as well. Uh, we've still got a little bit of time left, so studio at thecraftstore.com. We're going back to demo with Alexis. Alexis, I'm trying to think if I've got any more questions for you as well, because, oh, I, yes, there is something I mentioned before we managed to get you back. What I noticed yeah. when I was trying the needles out, there are obviously there's different qualities of yarn. There are different textures of yarn as well. But what I found working with your needles was how easily the yarn moved on those needles. So when you're creating a stitch and you have to take that loop and pass it over or you're knitting together or increasing, it's the way that the yarn moved on the needle. When I've worked with metal needles, if I've ever worked with plastic needles, which aren't my preference, metal would be normally, and I'm saying normally because I'm totally convinced by yeah. these, I find that the yarn can grate and stick a little bit depending on the yarn I'm using. I didn't find it with these. What, and was I just lucky, or is that a, a good point to make? Um, you are absolutely correct. That is another beauty of this needle. And as I said, it is made from a solid wood. So wood, uh, not, a, not a bamboo. It's an actual hard wood. And the finish, this is the color of the the needle yeah rosewood has many different hues so you may get um, a set where the color looks one needle looks a little bit different than the other needle because of the different hues with natural wood um, many needles are made with pressed wood um, or they are bamboo which does not have that nice it sticks, but it doesn't stick too much. And the finish on ours, the finish on ours, this is hand polished. Yeah. That's what you're getting this beautiful um, glide, glide from, hand polished. The whole needle, everything that I have made here is handmade. But in particular, the, the crochet hooks, and the knitting needles, that's where you really feel the quality um, of it. And if you are an experienced knitter or crocheter, actually that's one of the first things that um, you, will, you will notice. Definitely. I have companies that, um, smaller companies, that buy these when they're giving instruction or they're doing a class or um, they want to have quality um, quality products. Um, they want to have them use our needles, our 
crochet hooks. I can totally understand the, why that is as well. You know, that short time yeah. I've used them, I can totally understand that. We've actually had an email in from Kim, from Kimberley, saying that the last time you were here, which was back in 2019, Alexis, Kimberley did buy them, and she said they are exceptional quality. She gives them 100% backing. The quality is absolutely stunning. I think anybody that hasn't seen these before, you're watching for the first time today, you go for the most used size needle that you expect to use. Just buy the one pair today. Give them a go. I think you will definitely be back for more. Whether it's the knitting, whether it's a crochet or both, you will not be disappointed. Details on the screen there if you are looking at the knitting needles, $24.99. Again, if you want to gift these, fantastic gift for anybody. You don't have to knit at all. Gift to someone that does, or somebody that's starting a new craft. Get them off on the right path. It's all about the right tool for the job, and I'm a big believer in that. Yes, we can cut corners. Yes, we can start with the basics, but you will not get the results that you want. And sometimes, if you go for tools that aren't the best quality for something like knitting and crocheting it puts you off it puts you off progressing with that journey and you'll give up if you've got the right tools that will give you the best results then you're already halfway through that journey 283470 is the item number for the knitting needles let's get back to alexa see how she's getting on okay thank you um, and that's interesting that you said the question was from Kimberly. I will not say anything more about Kimberly, but if it's Kimberly H, she has to be one of the best customers that, that I have. Um, she waits for me to, to come out with new products because she basically owns everything that I have. Oh. So, um, and I just love all of my customers, especially from the UK. Um, uh, so yes. That, that is correct. I would like to know, maybe I will show you since now we, we kind of have this um, down pat, I think. Um, I just wanted to give a little bit of a demonstration on this if that's all right with you. That's fine. Uh, While you're getting that. ready, Alexis, I'm going to tell you as well that Mary's also emailed in. So I know you keep in touch with your customers. You might know who Mary is as well, but Mary also purchased the last time you were on, and she's now knitting cardigans in one piece. That's from newborn, newborn baby to adult size, all on these fabulous needles. The wool moves so what? smoothly, so you will work faster. You know, that is another great yes. testimonial there. That is a wonderful testimonial, and I appreciate that. And I also want to um, stress, because it sounds like people that I'm speaking with are um, avid, avid knitters. Yeah. Right now, I'm just using my crochet hook while I'm talking to you, because I it's just easy to do. And... Um, I just lost my train of thought. Can you imagine? Okay. <laughs> I just I just had a brain freeze. That never happens to me. I talk incessantly. Um, what were we talking we, we about? We were talking about, well, the testimonials and how great they are. You know, people are getting on board and they're creating. They can see the ease of working with them, how the yarn moves on the uh, needles. Now, it came back to me. Okay. It came back to me. So I'll, I'll just give you a little bit of an example. And as I said, you can see I'm wearing this, this um, glove. I have severe nerve damage. When I invented these needles, I had no damage. I had an accident, which is what happened um, two years ago. And a big, you, you name it, I had a surgery, blah, blah, blah. So I was told that I would never knit or crochet or do anything intricate again. So through lots of therapy, and I, I had a wonderful therapist also that happened to be a knitter, and she understood how, imagine getting uh, knitting ripped away from you. Um, it releases your stress, as you know, and um, that that just couldn't be. So we tried different different things and different needles and different, <laughs> different hooks and all, all of the above. And I got my needles. We've had to do it on virtually. Okay. And I said, look, I, believe it or not, I invented needles. So I pulled them out. And at first she thought that they were uh, complicated looking and saying, I don't know, um, you know, but let's try. Well, this is the God's honest truth. I picked up my needles 
I first of all, I could grab right onto them. You're not using just little minute um, pieces of of your hands and of your your tendons, your joints. Everything is is you know spent out here where it should be. Yeah. And yes, it took me a little bit longer, but as you can see, I am knitting beautifully. I don't have any type of tendonitis um, or pain. And that is another thing that I am getting so much feedback from. People that could not knit anymore because they had arthritis or, like I said, carpal tunnel, all these, these things that we get, and they buy one, and I kid you not, they come back and they buy them all. They just... Um, you see the difference. You really do see the difference. And I'm not going to put to put the plug in and say, well, if you really you like them, um, or if you see how they are, and you knit a lot of uh, shawls or yeah. or large items, you might want to consider buying more than one. Simply because if you're from UK, not from US. Simply because shipping is crazy, you have a very nice price here. So we certainly that is do. my only little type of sales pitch to say. And you will get with each purchase, not with each, if you purchase a one of these yeah. adjustable needles, you get that beautiful pouch, which we only made that pouch about six months ago. Um, because we wanted to be able to have somewhere for yeah. our customers. We have those free gifts while stocks last, and I've got to tell you, you need to check your baskets out quickly because we do not have many left. Uh, so if you do want that pouch, you need to be checking those baskets out. Do you know, Alexis, as you've been talking there, I've just picked up again a crochet hook and some, it's a thinner yarn, this one. I think it's a four ply that I've got. Um, the ease of working with this hook is absolutely incredible. I don't know if you can see here. I'm just, I'm almost, well, I'm forming a little yeah. flower. I'm just kind of doing this, making some petals here. And I'm I'm doing uh, what we class as a double crochet, single crochet crochet in the, yeah. in the uh, US. Uh, I'm doing what we class as a treble here, a double treble. Seriously, there is no sticking of the yarn. The glide that you get with the yarn, this is what's impressed me more than anything. It's the glide of the yeah. yarn. Something else I've noticed as well, and I don't know if it's just me, Alexis, I will ask the question. When I'm crocheting with a, a regular metal hook, I often find that, you know, yarns can split, they, they vary. You can get yarns that split quite easily, others that don't. But I've found there's no splitting of the yarn with the hook either. Is that because, again, the polished surface of the wood? It's a combination. It's a combination of, I dropped my hook. We're in the last it's minute, Alexis, by the way. Would yes. you believe? Wow, that was quick. Well, that was quick because we had that little problem with getting me over there to the UK. <laughs> but, um, yes, it is because of the uh, what the hook is we, made out of. We it's do need to get you here, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry to cut you off, Alexis, because we are rapidly running out of time. Honestly, if you're sitting on the fence here, for the price point we've got, to, whether it's the needles or across the crochet, do treat yourself to a pair. It will change the way that you work. Whatever you're creating, especially the needles with the bigger garments, the crochet, with anything that you're working with. I cannot wait for Alexis to come here. We're almost out of time, so I will just say once again, check those baskets out. Stay with us. Menu coming up. See you soon. I really want Alexis to come back to the UK. I will look forward to that. Up next, we've got Sue back with Dark Room Doll. That was a lovely show earlier. Then we've got the so Social Circle. Is that how I say it? Cardio back at four. Social Circle. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples, and I've been crafting since I was a little girl, and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town, and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique, because you've got that quirkiness about them. 
we have decoupage, backing papers, we have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix, we have dies and lots of other things coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Dimple shows and have some fun. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. From two ladies that knit to two ladies that stamp. Well, one lady in particular. Uh, we've got a great show lined up. We've got a superb guest as well. You may have seen it earlier on today, but we're back for another show. We've got Sue Smith with us. Hi. How hello. are you? Great, thank you. Yes. Um, I'm really looking forward to this show, Sue, and I know you are as well. You've had one already today. Yes. But can you tell us, we were very busy by the way, can you tell us a little bit about Darkroom? Because I know you're really, really excited about working with them. I am. I feel really honoured. So, yeah, because I their, their products are just gorgeous. They're inspirational and very artistic. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of based on photography because Rachel Craig is the founder. And she was a, she's a photographer, so yeah. she converts a lot of her images into stamps. Perfect. And How it, exciting. Yeah, and it all started in 2007. Yeah. And she's Australian. I think she's Australian. It's, a, it's an Australian family business. Yes. Yeah. And Stuart Yule is a designer who's there as well. Yeah. Fabulous. Isn't it exciting? Mm -hmm. And because it's coming from Australia as well, there is a 10-day... Um, I was going to say delay, I don't like using that word. We will be dispatching them on the 25th of September. It's not too long to wait, but again, because they're coming from Australia, but they're definitely worth waiting for all my days. Shall we have a look at the stamps? First of all, the details are on your screen, 14 99 These are huge, ginormous stamps. They really, really are. Let's have a look at the snowflakes, and I'll lift this up, because this is um, made in red rubber, which means they're deeply edged, and of course, they will take all of your different mediums, Sue, won't they? Yes, yes, and they're very high quality, rubber as well they're, they're fantastic now what I like about these as well Sue is that you can use these with your heating techniques or your bossing powders mm -hmm. you can also use these maybe just to place into your texture paste to yes. give you patterns yes. which is a good idea yeah. and your but jelly plates as yeah, well and it's the yeah. size of the stamps as mm -hmm. well Imagine making ribbon at Christmas time with the right <gasps> particular um, ink. Wouldn't that be fabulous? Great idea. Yeah. yeah I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you've got a great repeating pattern on there as well. So if you want to, you can make larger patterns, maybe wrapping paper and things like that. £14.99. 162487 is your item number. Here's a gorgeous sample of what you can create with this particular snowflake stamp. And uh, they're always very, very popular at Christmas. I guess
lasso, you could use these after Christmas in another way by using a different colour other than white, because there'll just be a pattern then. Yes. Yeah, definitely, like a starburst pattern or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. that'd be good. Yeah. Uh, 162487 is your item number for your snowflakes. We're going to take a look at the other stamp we've got you for you, and this is your loopy lace. Again, if you are making ribbon or you want to make any faux lace because of the detail that you've got here in the stamp and the size as well, I think you'll be able to make some gorgeous designs, don't you, Sue? Yes, yeah. And, and the detail that comes out is incredible as well, especially with ink. I mean, this sample there was produced with um, clear heating boss. Okay. And then inked over the top like a resist. But I think when you use ink, you know, you really get a lot of detail. Yeah. It's amazing. The great thing about these stamps, of course, size-wise, did we measure them earlier? Yeah, they're definitely over 12 inches long and six and a half centimetres uh, deep. Yes. So they're fantastic for scrapbooking. Yeah, they are. And do you know what's great about these as well? You don't have to use the whole of the stamp, but you've got that pattern continuing for you. You could, of course, just use part of the stamp and mask off the other areas. 474743 is your item number. We've got some more to show you. One of my favourites is down here. Uh, next one, we've got the daisies. Um, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. They're a nice doodle-esque daisy, aren't they, Sue? Yeah, yeah, very delicate and open. So you can, you know, add detail with a pen yourself and change the, the centres. There's, yeah, there's so much you can do. Yeah, it's really pretty, isn't it? Again, for your scrapbooking, you could make frames out of these stamps because you've got that great mm -hmm. size as well with that repeating pattern. £14.99, 765309 is your item number. And then my favourite, my favourite, I yeah. love this one. Yeah, so I like think it's everywhere. Soon? Oh, yes, that's my top Why favourite. Why do you like it so much? I, I just like the sort of graphicness of it and it, it almost looks like graphite to me and I yeah. just love the rigidness of it as well it's just and the, the way they're all hickledy pickledy it's it's lovely I could almost make a belt out of that I think if I stamped it again do you know what what a great <laughs> idea <laughs> belt. that would be I didn't think of that it's lovely yeah and um, on fabric in particular if you've yeah. got an apron maybe going across the pocket oh, yeah. Um, yeah or if you're making pencil cases for example how cool will this be um it's my favorite but of course they're all absolutely fantastic it's only 14 pounds and 99 pence 195808 we've been busy for that one uh stock wise 40% of the stock gone of that one. Not it, surprised. I, do you know what? It reminds me, there's a, I went to Amsterdam and there was oh. a... No, I didn't. It was Dublin. It wasn't Amsterdam oh. at all. <laughs> that was a very different trip. <laughs> because it was a different place, that's what I mean. I was in Dublin. And we saw a fence. It was a metal fence. You know the ones with the big pieces of metal in? And they'd painted them all to look like pencils. Oh, great. Yes, yeah, so that was... Oh. A, so it's just a random little story for you there. Those are your stamps, so £14.99. I'm, I'm just... I'm not going to tell you what happened in Amsterdam. Right, uh, 195808 <laughs> is your item number. Shall we move on? Swiftly. Right, next up, uh, we've got some fantastic stamp sets for you. Now, these are collected together on one stamp, Sue. Would you recommend cutting into the red rubber to divide these up or just stamp them out? Definitely. As they are? I, yeah? I think definitely, yes. Do, don't be shy and cut out every individual element with a good pair of scissors. Yeah. Because you also get that lovely case. Yeah. And then that holds them all, because especially on that design, there's lots of little diddy little elements, so yes. it keeps them all together. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So again, if you've got a pair of scissors, a good pair of scissors, um, you can quite easily just cut around the individual images. I think what they've done in the design on here, they've given you that chance to do that. So you can get close to the detail and still get all of that wonderful um, uh, images that you've got there. So in the dead of night, you've got wicked, you've got dark and twisted, you've got mysterious, you've got lost in the woods, spooky and boo. It's like describing myself. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I love this set. I love birds. I love the bats in here, but I love that tree. Yeah, the tree is amazing. Yeah, and it's good that you've got two different sort of, you know, birds. You've got, well, you've got the bats and the birds yeah. and the crows. So you Look can make it spooky or you could you know, have um, any other, any season tree. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you could actually um, put some leaves on there or have leaves falling down. This is a very effective card. Who did this one? I did it. It's a demo from the did previous show. Yeah, very, very quick to make that I, one. Do you know what? Yeah. I really like this. 
really, really like this. I'm a big fan of horror stories, you see, especially oh, from the mm. 1970s. Those, yeah, love those kind of movies. Yeah. Uh, and that's what this reminds me of. Absolutely fantastic. And then, sorry, that's an example. If you do cut the elements out, yep. then you can place them like on a stamping platform yeah. and stamp them in one go then. Yeah, that, do you know what, it's a great idea, yeah, mm. using your stamping platform. Love that sample. £18.99, 134146 is your item number. Moving on, again, I love the cases that they come in as well, because as Sue said, when you actually cut into these stamps, then your little boxes there, your CD boxes or your DVD boxes, are going to keep them nice and tidy. So, you've got your sentiments here, make a wish, Hip, hip, hooray. Time to celebrate. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Uh, wishing you a fabulous birthday. It's your special day. Happy belated birthday, which is always a good one, isn't it? You're the icing on the cake. Wishing you the best birthday ever. Um, I think this is a fabulous set. And again, cut into these. So you've got all of those different sentiments. And it's only £18.99. But great font on here, Sue. Yes, yes, yeah, lovely. Nice and flowing. And I, I do love a caption with two different font styles as yes. well it's lovely makes it interesting yeah makes yeah. it interesting and makes you read it as well uh, lovely background to this and again a lovely uh, card designed by Rachel herself 156794 is your item number love that background that's in there uh, right next up we have got some balloons so we can have a party and you can put your sentiments inside those balloons if you want to again it all comes to your one red rubber stamp but again you can cut into these can't you Sue? Yes, yeah, that's, that one will be a little bit easier to cut out. But again, like you say, they're spaced out nicely, so there's, there's, you should be able to manage to do that. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And if I turn it that way, you can start to see the balloons. You've got a love heart balloon there. Turn it the other way, and you've got the other balloons that are in that particular collection. Then all you have to do is paint them up. They're nice and sketchy, a cartoon-style one would say. £18.99, 060544 is your item number for that set. Right, we've got more for you. By the way, if you want to jump ahead of us and go to the website, you'll be able to see everything that we've got available on the show, and you'll be able to start to check out your baskets early, which is great. Now, we've got an interesting set here. You've got your curly cupcakes. Yeah, isn't it lovely? And they're a nice size as well, those cakes. Yes, they are. Do you know what? They're almost like life size, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, could be. Yes. They are. <laughs> What's your favourite cupcake, Sue? Chocolate. Chocolate. With a cherry on the top. <laughs> Ooh, chocolate cherry yeah. on top. It's like a Black Forest yeah. style. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. I don't know what, I think mine would be chocolate, but I like a bit of cream butter icing on the top in, in creamy colour. Vanilla. Vanilla butter icing mm -hmm. on the top. Uh, Ross likes the red velvet. Oh, cupcake. Yeah. Mm. I don't think I've seen a red velvet cupcake. Apparently you can get them. Apparently you can get them. Whatever your favourite cupcake is, you could create it with this stamp set. £18.99, although you won't be able to create it and eat it, I'm afraid. Uh, just colour it in. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> mm. Love that. 1899 337668 is your item number for your chuffin muffins. Right. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> Yeah. Let's that would be a good card, wouldn't it? Send somebody. Here's your chuffing muffins. Right. <laughs> um, I love these, Sue. What have we got here? They're postcards, oh, really. What a great idea. On lovely 300 GSM card. So you can use them as a postcard, yep. or you can just simply stick them onto a card blank, and then you've got a lovely card. And you can tear them, sew onto them draw onto them like those ones would be lovely with a white gel pen or something oh, yeah. wouldn't Gorgeous. it yeah stamp Gorgeous. onto them cut them up and here's so, some examples of them on cards so it's a great idea just a bit of folded card very very simple very very easy um i think there you go that one's not stuck together and how effective is that because you could use the other stamps that we've got in the collection to put your sentiments inside yes yes yeah, certainly can yeah they're just beautiful and stunning on their own aren't they they really are i love the monochrome i love the black background with the white of the flowers maybe we could add some color to these soon mm -hmm. yeah i would have thought you could take they could take some colour, yeah. And then you could pop your stamps on there as well. It's a pretty cool one, isn't it? And it's it? a nice variety. You know, you've got the, the moody ones, the monochrome ones, the very colourful ones, and the sort of vintage style ones. So it's a lovely pack to have. 
Yes, all four certainly of them. Yes. Yeah, you're getting 24 in total, £23.99. pence. So imagine that, you've got 24, so it works out to be about a pound a postcard, which is a pound a card, really. Then you add your card stock on top of that. So you could actually create a beautiful design for just over one pound. And I guess if we wanted to sell these, can we, Sue? Do you know what the age policy is? Um, yes, I think it is, you yeah. know, uh, you can sell what you make yeah. out of them. Well, yeah, not, nice. not directly sell the postcards, yeah, obviously, but if, but you, if you make card, them into, yeah, something. Well, like, you yeah. do the math at home, £1, I don't know, 20 per card. You could be selling them at 2 99 3 99 um, That, of course, is entirely up to you. 476 or 158, or alternatively, it's going to save you all that money as well. Rather than going out and buying cards, you're making them instead. Right, let's move on. We've got more for you, and we've got a second of four stamps now these are excellent for your journaling for your diaries um, making cards and making um, making items that you want to sell as well because you've got handmade by created by made by for you you've also got your diet your calendar in there which is great because you could make a little tear off calendar which would be pretty cool and then you've got your other stamps in there this journal belongs to and this book belongs to and then who what where and when that's lovely, that one, that last one, isn't it's good, it? isn't it? It's brilliant. Who, what, where, yeah. and when. Um, great little yeah. stamps as well, all red rubber. Uh, so again, they're deeply etched. They're going to last a long time, and they've all got that sponge on the back as well. So when you get these home, um, all you need to do is just take the back off like so. Um, £18.99. pence. It is a great price, Sue. Yes, yeah, because they're... I mean, the calendar one, you can use that year after year, obviously. It's not just for a specific year. Yeah. And the, the font is delightful, I think, as well, and go with lots of different genres of, of the projects that you're creating as well. I think they're, they're marvellous. All of Grandma's family and friends, what? Well, we're celebrating her 90th birthday. Where? At the Garden Team Rooms. When? October 2018. That is a great little way of putting together um, a little invitation, isn't it? Yeah, invitations and journaling for scrapbook pages and your journal books and everything and make little labels, yes, and tags and Aww. great for invitations. Yeah. yeah, I love that. And then if you are making cards, you've got handmade by and then you can write your name in. Five, five, four, four, six, two is your item number for that set of stamps. Great, great value for money. Right, we have got tree bark and fishing net for you now. Again, two great stamps. Now, yes, it is a tree bark and a fishing net, but it could be anything because you can start to manipulate these images each and every time you stamp them. You get both for eleven ninety nine. Again, I think that's great value for money, Sue. It is, yeah. Again, with the same beautiful rubber quality. And the thing I really like about these texture stamps is that they don't have a sort of sharp outline they sort of fade sort of ragged around the outside so you they look great when you stamp the whole image immediately yeah i like that now is that reflection under the boat part of i don't know whether it is but it could be you could actually use your tree yeah, bark. It does look like sea waves now. You put it horizontally. Be, yeah. That <laughs> yeah. could be a choppy sea. Maybe, well, no, it is called tree bark, but it does look like a choppy sea. Um, so, yeah, you can use that in various different ways. Only 11 99 and you get both of those stamp sets. Uh, right, 603 317. I'm not good in a choppy sea. Are you good at sea, no, Sue? No, no. No, I'm not. I'd good. rather be up a mountain than in the sea. Yeah, me mm. too. Yeah, I get, I get a bit bilious when I go on the water. Or oh, I could tell you several stories. Anyway, you don't want to know about that. Uh, right, another duo mm. for you. You like this one, don't you, Sue? The, the um, cotton spools, yeah, that's my second favourite, yes. Look at the detail in there. Now, this really shows off red rubber as far as stamps are concerned because of the detail in there that you've got on the stamps, which is quite remarkable, really. And then you've got the stars as well, again, with great texture detail in. Only 11 99 I think this is a fabulous duo to get. 050292 is your item number. Remember, everything is going to be dispatched on the 25th of September. But you're right, so I think that's my favourite. Apart from the pencils, pencils yes, and the cupcakes. And that one. Um, yes, those are my favourite. <laughs> right, we've got some stencils for you. Stencils are really handy, not just in your artwork for your paper crafting, but you could also use your stencils on upcycling or repurposing furniture and things like that uh, on drawers and doors and tabletops. 888611 is your item number and you get two of your large stencils so you get that lovely honeycomb 
and the checkered. And then you've got the two smaller ones as well, which are the same patterns, but they're in smaller. Um, £18.99. pence. Your large stencils are 12 by 9 inches, and your smaller ones are... Is it 7.2? 7 7.2 by 4.5. There you go. Great little set for eighteen ninety nine. It really is. And uh, here's a lovely example. Who would have thought to use that check in the background of your tropical um, leaves? That's lovely. Did you do that, Sue? Yes, that was oh. a demo card as well. From I really like that. Show. Thank That's you. really good. Eight 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 six double one is your item number. Right. Whilst you decide what you want and you check out your baskets, ready for your demonstrations. Take a look at this inspiration. Oh, it's delightful. Any questions, by the way, email in. It is studio at thecraftstore.com. Or if you'd like to share any inspirational um, makes that you've put together with previous collections from the darkroom door, then please email in and show us those because I'm sure Sue, as a fan of darkroom door, mm -hmm. would love to see what you've been up to before. Yeah. Uh, right then, Sue, what we're we looking at <laughs> right. now? Right. Okay, I'm going to have a play with the postcards because I just love this, the door set. Um, so I'm going to probably pick this one and I've got a 14 and a half centimetre square card blank and I think I'm going to use it the top top fold and I'm just going to tear into this and use a section of it because I want to get creative and do a background to go with it. So I'm just going to rip two sides. Got a bit extra there that I don't want. And that'll sit there. Oh, that's get rid nice. of those bits. So let's have a play with the big checkerboard because I do like the the fact you've got the two different sizes. I think that's quite yeah, useful. The, the, the checks are different sizes, aren't they? Yes, it's not just the stencils. Yeah. So I'm going to have a play with some um, oxide pumice stones. I'm just going to line this up. I don't think it matters where in particular. I'm going to rub some pumice stone over this. I was doing that this morning in the shower. <laughs> I'm going to try and get lots of colour down, make it as dark, dark as I can. Just blend out towards the edges. That's a nice colour, actually. It is, yes. It kind of, I think it sort of mimics the sort of colour in the image because it's got those soft greys. It's not just yeah. set black and white, which I think is you know is really really beautiful I was, I was always told there was no black and white it was all just gray scale different shades of gray mm -hmm. from yes. darker to lighter yes so i think that's about it on there yes and now i'm going to do it again but just move it oh it's like one of those magic eye tricks <laughs> when you do yeah. that isn't it <laughs> like you're making yeah. your own rattan furniture <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you did this, what you're doing now, you know, if you did it in like a darker ink, would that give, would that give a different effect? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm, I've kind of done it darker first of right, all, and okay. now I'm going in a little bit lighter. Okay. So that I get um, two different sort of checker effects. And you can also obviously do it with different colours. Yeah. I think this one would be great with texture paste as well. Oh, yes, wow. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now that's clever. That's a sort of interesting effect. And then I'm going to go in with some, another sort of a grey colour, hickory smoke. Again with the stencil. And this time I'm going to just put it halfway along. So I've got that line in the middle of each square. Okay. Because I kind of want to mimic brickwork. 
Oh. Really? So I'm, I'm hoping that I sort of elongate the squares to make a kind of brick rectangle. Now with stencils like this that are large, I've also seen people um, cut out apertures like hearts and stars and shapes. And then when you put the stencil over that, it will just give you the heart or the star shape, but you'll have all the checks in it. Yes, That's yes. A That's a good idea. Yes. You can layer up your stencils. So I've got that effect there. And then I want to build on that. I kind of see this, the lacy, loopy lace border. I kind of thought if I use that upside down, yeah. I kind of think just this section here looks a bit carved stony yeah. sort and of look. Actually, looking at it like that, they look like flowers. Yes, yes. Yeah, and leaves perhaps yeah. on, on that part. <laughs> So I'm going to go for some hickory smoke because it's a bit darker and I'm just going to put some ink, you can see that, ink just on that bottom section. Now how would you clean your red rubber stamps? I, I wash them under the Do tap you? really, yes. Do you use any cleaning stuff? Um, yeah, I, I, well with the water-based inks. Then, cleaning. Um, yeah, like washing up liquid. With the water-based inks, I just rinse them. Do you? And then with um, the oil-based, I just use a bit of um, hand wash. <laughs> yes, like the al the alcohol-based hand wash that we... You, you can do, yeah. Or, or if it, if you use just normal hand wash and give it a good rub, yeah. it, it sort of comes off. Oh. Yeah, especially the Versa, Versa fine ink. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got that going on in there. Or we can get just a wipe and wipe, yes. wipe them off as well. So I've got that detail on there. And then the tree, I kind of see some cracks with the branches. So I'm going to use okay. the tree hey, that's a good idea. to create some sort of cracks. And if I get another spare piece of paper and use the black this time. Yeah. So I'm just going to ink one side of the tree. And I'm just going to take some of that ink off, and maybe use the third generation, and just oh, I like that. plonk that on there just to create. Actually, I'll use the other side so the the cracks look different, or or like a used um, vine or something that's that's not there anymore. Mm. It's just it's just adding sort of texture really and having fun with it. It's a great idea. And also the bark as well, That's that can be, I don't know, sort of distressed or dirt or yeah. something. So I think I'll go in with the black again, I think. I'm just going to do one edge of it. And again, I don't think I want all of that intense colour. And I'm just going to sort of use this to help frame... And this goes card. to show the versatility that you've got in the designs in these stamps as well. Don't just see it as for what it is, see it for what it could be. Yeah, yeah. Them. You know, you can use little parts of them. Actually, I quite like that sort of... Actually, I quite like the corner there. Yeah, I like that. It's just mark making, really, yes. isn't it? Yeah, you're right. And then uh, I like the numbers from the calendar stamp as well. Now, this set has been very popular. It doesn't surprise me. We're half the stock gone. And in that particular collection, I'll just go down and grab your papers. Uh, you can see there you've got those fabulous stamps, all red rubber again. And you've got handmade, created by and made for by you. Um, made, no, made for you by. There you go. And you've got the little dots underneath as well, so you can write on them. You've also got this journal belongs to, this book belongs to, uh, which is great for the school kids, actually, and for yourself. You've also got who, what, where and when, which is great for invitation. So a beautiful set of four stamps and the calendar, which could be any time of year. Eighteen ninety nine, great price for all four. Five, five, four, four, six, two. There you go. Back to see. And I'm using the stencil here to mask off a specific number, but I'm just using the ran numbers randomly. So I just think numbers kind of go with doors. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. And some of the designs actually have numbers on them as well. 
some doors. Some of the door graphics, they actually have numbers they on do. them. They do. So, so you can copy door, those numbers. Number 69. There you go. So there. that's a great door there. Uh, does this door have a number? Let's see if you can see that at home. I don't think it does. What? Oh, hang on. What's that there? Is that a number? Kind of. Is it? No, that's probably a letterbox. Uh, <laughs> next one up. Does that have a number on it? Let's have a look. Can you see at home? Oh, oh, it does 31 or is it 51? Just, just there. So that's got a number on it just there. The next one, everyone at home, are you ready? Yeah, it does have a number. Here we go. 25, 20. These could be the lottery numbers. If anyone's at home, put them on the lottery tonight. Please don't gamble and do it responsibly. I don't know what I'm saying. There you go. <laughs> does that have a number? Uh, no, I don't think it does. Must be posh. Doesn't have a number. But it's got a lovely pair of uh, door handles there, hasn't it? Lovely, lovely design. A uh, couple of door knockers. We like that. Uh, 476158 <laughs> is your item number. We actually. We all used to have a door knocker, didn't we? You don't get them anymore. You those, can do, I think. You've got those ding-dong bells now. Yeah, some Love a, good a door lot of people do, yes. I want mine to open, so I'm cutting down the middle. Oh, I thought you were talking about your door knockers. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she want to go a bit deeper. That's it. And then score the hinge side so it opens nicely. See, isn't this fantastic? We've taken the postcard, we've torn into it, and now we're actually making <laughs> the doors open. So yeah. creative. Well, I see them, and I want to, you know, I want to, I want to know what's behind them. Yeah. So you can add things behind them: other images, photographs, a nice message. That'd be nice. Yeah. My blade might be getting blunt, or I'm finding it a bit tricky to cut on the glass mat. I love the, um, the shape of these doors as well, with the round tops. Yeah. There, so fold those back. And then what I want to do is to create an aperture in the card itself. So I'm going to place that where I think that looks nice and maybe just put a little pencil mark up there so I can place it in the right place. So if you draw around the round there and then you can cut it out. And then I want to place that on there with foam pads. And then that's basically the card there that's done. Great, and that. I've done one here yep. to show you in a similar way which opens out. This one's got the 25 on there, which I've mimicked here. Oh, do you know what? They'd make great advent calendars. Yes. They? We need more of quite them. Quite a few sets, though. Yes. Yeah, we need more of them. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very good. I love that. How effective is that? Absolutely fantastic. Now, we were using stencils for that particular design. We do have some more stencils for you. Um, let's have a look. First of all, now, these ones were very, very busy earlier on because you can use these in your journal for your journal lines. But you could also use them for um, pattern building as well. Only $9.99. I've got a feeling we're going to be busy again for these. And you also get those fabulous swirls in the blocks as well. So two styles for you for $9.99. is your item number for those two. We've got another set for you equally as fantastic love these now this could be an instant background for you whether you're using your inks whether you're using your texture paste i think these are absolutely fantastic happiness fun laugh smile life is fun enjoy you've got friends lucky hugs a great friend friendship lovely positive words love that 999-925-552 is your item number and again you can section those off so you can just use a little bit of each of those designs or use the whole lot just maybe um, ink through it and then cut it up be fantastic uh, 925-552 make and create your own um toppers with those only 9.99 for those two let's go through the borders that we've got for you these are proven to be very popular they're a great stamp it's a great price as well because you get a lot of stamp for your money the first one 
is that lovely lace design. Again, if you were to turn it the other way, there could be flowers. You've got all kinds of different designs that you can highlight from here. 474743 is your item number. And again, you've got that red rubber. You can use the whole of that or just part of it in your designs. And even if you're just using part of it, really does give you that lovely suggestion. You can see that's down the bottom of that particular card. 474743 is your item number. Next along, we've got your snowflakes. So in time for Christmas, for building and creating your Christmas cards, but also your winter cards as well. I wonder if you were to stamp this out in other colours, other than white and blue, whether you could create like mandala style patterns maybe. Um, so again, very, very versatile. 162487 is your item number, 14 pounds and 99 pence for that one. Next up, we're gonna have a look at the daisies, uh, which I love. Now you can use this across as you see there, or you can use it down, as you can see in the sample that we've got for you. So that would create some brilliant DL style cards, which in America, very, very popular. And lots of people making DL size cards here as well, those thin, narrow cards, which are very effective. 765309 your item number, 14 pounds and 99 pence for that one. And then finally, my favorite, I love this one with the pencils. I think it's brilliant, I really, really do. Um, a great border stamp to have. Over half the stock has gone of this one. 14.99. It's your row of pencils. 195.808 is your item number. Yes, it could be uh, a fence. It could be uh, a windbreaker or a sea breaker. You know, on the beach. Um, it could be anything really. It could be uh, yeah, a cityscape. You could put some doors in there. There could be little houses. How lovely is that? A little bit of smoke coming from the chimneys. 14 pounds and 99 pence, 195808. We've got more to show you. Um, I love this. This is proving to be very popular. Um, Sue's been using this and has made and created a fabulous card here. This is your twisted tree, 134146. So you've got mysterious, lost in the woods, spooky, boo. You've got in the dead, I bet you scared them when I said that, boo. Uh, in the dead of night, wicked, uh, which could mean wicked. Isn't that great? Or it could be Wicked, that's naughty. Um, and then you've got dark and twisted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently they call me wicked and I've got to decide whether I'm wicked, naughty or wicked. Cool, I don't know. Uh, I'll be both. Depends how I wake up in the morning. Uh, in the dead of, look at that. I love that card, Sue, love that card. That Thank tree, you. that <laughs> tree is fantastic. I really like that. It's got um, loads of movement, isn't it? Yeah, it's it just, has. And I think that was a photograph that Rachel took yeah. and then somehow, in court, you know, made it into a stamp for us to use. It's very lovely. Very realistic, very realistic. That suggestion of mist in the moon and those bats. Ooh, 18, I don't think that's a superhero either. 18 pounds and 99 pence, 134146 is your item number for that particular set. Remember, you can cut into these red rubber um, stamps. You can make your individual stamps. Now, you've got your sentiments here. Again, make a wish, hip, hip, hooray. Different font styles here mixed up, so it makes them interesting. Uh, and I think when they're, when they're interesting like that, people read them. Uh, time to celebrate. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Wishing you the best birthday ever. You're the icing on the cake, uh, which doesn't have to be for a birthday. It could be anything, really. And happy belated birthday. Um, and they look absolutely fantastic when they're stamped out as well. Well, 156794 is your item number, 18 pounds and 99 pence. Now, no party would be complete without balloons. No party would be complete. Uh, we've got some balloons in the studio here today for cardio. Yes, the one day special. Uh, celebrations all around. So we've got some fabulous, fabulous balloons. And you've also got your sentiments there. Have fun, it's your day. You did it. She's all very good, isn't it? it could be anything, really. Uh, you've also got a party invitation. Have fun, it's your day and celebrate and you've got those balloons as well so let me show you a sample of what you can create isn't that lovely really nice cartoon style balloons love those love those 18 pounds and 99 pence 060544 is your item number no party would be complete without balloons and cake love cake love candles this is brilliant you've got your love hearts there you've got your stars and you've got your curly cupcakes as well um happy birthday and do enjoy these 18.99 pop those into your basket 337668 is your item number they really are delicious don't eat them though um and there's that happy birthday sentiment from the previous stamp set 337668 is your item number
Right, the postcards, let's take you through these because these are fabulous. Um, now, you've got kind of four different styles. So we've got the funky, colourful styles here, which are great. Remember, you can cut into these, cut them up, stamp onto them, put your texture paste, uh, maybe just use them as a card topper or use them as intended as a postcard. You get six of the funky, colourful ones. I'll pop those down. You get six of your vintage style. So these are actually like a photograph of a proper postcard or a letter that was sent at some time. Uh, again, these are beautiful for toppers or use them as a postcard. You also get six of your lovely black and white, very classy, and they look incredibly, I can't say that word, sophisticated. That's the one, Sue, thank you very much. <laughs> I can't say that, but sophisticated, sophisticated, that's it, sophisticated, yes. there you go, sorry, have trouble with some of the words, um, there's a daisy, I can say that, um, there's a dahlia, there you go, and you've got a, oh, what's the name of that flower, gerbera, yeah. gerbera, there you go, and then you've got your beautiful lilies in there as well, um, and then, You've got your doors, you've got your doors, your doors with knockers and your doors with numbers. There you go. And you'll see the different designs as you go through and you can cut into these and make the doors open. We love that. £23.99, 476, 158 is your item number. They are fabulous. Right, we're heading down even further uh, and then we'll head back to Sue. This has been very, very popular. Your four stamps, 60% of the stock has gone. Uh, again, they are all in red rubber. Absolutely fantastic to use, going to last a long time. 18 99554462. Great for journals, great for invitations. Um, I love the who, what, where, and when. Um, let me bring uh, a sample of that. There you go. So you could make your little invitations. Who is it? What is it? Where is it? And when is it? Those are the things you need to know when you're in being invited out. Uh, so you can just stamp it out like that. And you also have your calendars as well. 1899-554-462 item number. Uh, right, we've got two sets of two for you now. Your first set is your wood and your fisherman's net or your fishing net. But because they've got the jagged edges to them, they you could just use these in all kinds of different designs. We did think that the tree trunk turned to the side looks like a choppy sea. Or a close-up of a knee. Uh, <laughs> 603. <laughs> if you've not moisturised your knees lately or used a pumice stone on your feet, that's what it's going to look like. Uh, 603, <laughs> sorry if you're eating dinner. 603 317 is your item number. Fabulous set, only 11.99. And then we've got another set. Sue, this is your favourite, isn't it? Second favourite. Yeah, Second after the pencils. After yeah. the pencils. Yes. Oh, you're a girl after my own art. Yeah. Um, love these. <laughs> yeah, I really do because you've got lots of detail in here. Your stars and your bobbins, um, brilliant. Your sewing spool, should I say, and your brush stars. 11.99-050-292 is your item number. Again, great, great little size there. They're perfect for artist trading cards, aren't they? Yeah. I need to make some of those yeah. with the spools. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Or little mm. handmade by cards, you know, if you're yeah. into sewing crafts, which would be lovely. Yeah. It could be like a little tag. Uh, right, we've got some stencils for you. Great value for money. Two big ones and two small ones. Yeah. And these come as a collection of four. They're the same design. But you've got the two large ones and the two small ones. £18.99, 888 And this is the one that uh, our Sue made and created earlier on today in the previous show with that card there. Great, that is now wonderful. And then we also used it in the demonstration, just gone. 1899-888-611 is your item number. Right, let's head back to Sue. What have we got, Sue? More inking oh, and stenciling. Okay. <laughs> Talking of DL cards, actually, I've got one here. Well, actually, it was an A5 card, and I've just sliced a section from the side of it. But I think a DL is um, an A4 divided into three. So you cut out one third, fold the other two thirds, and that's a DL. Yeah, it's very popular in America, DL yeah. cards. Yeah, and it's coming nice. over here as well. In yeah, popularity. well, we used to call them slimline, I think. Did we? Tall cards or slimline cards, yeah. What does DL stand for? We did find this D out. Dimensional long. Oh, thank you very <laughs> much, Sue. Well I, li I like things like that. Do you? Yeah, like sizes and... 
Oh, maybe we could test you yeah. in the show. Have you got? <laughs> if you think you can test <laughs> Steady Sue on. on sizes, <laughs> we don't mean send a picture in. She's got to guess the size or anything like that. But terminology. <laughs> email in. Uh, it's studio at the cross <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not good. <laughs> Okay, um, I must have a play with the, the lettering one now and I'm choosing a light colour to start with because I'm creating another background and if you go for a lighter colour first then it's yep. nice to add, add your darker tones with whatever stencil or stamping you like on top and then you can build, build on that. Although using the oxides of course the colour kind of goes over the top of each other anyway don't they yeah. because of the chalky nature of them. It's nice to make a background and again something like this even if you're using texture paste um, or the actually using it with a die cutting machine to emboss that would look great. It would yes yeah, yeah if you can get that detail. Yeah yeah you, I bet you can using the right I mean experiment with shims but if you send that through a die cutting machine, that would make a great embossed card. Yes. There's a bit yeah. of gilding wax or something over the top. And I do love the fact that you could just ink that smile and cut it out. Yeah. And you've got a marvellous sentiment or a banner or a tag. Yeah, because the sentiments you've got, you could mix them all up. You could that's smile, aesthetic. happy days, laughter. Yeah. Cherish good. today. So you could have smile and then cherish today. Yeah, you can make almost a sentence. Yeah, you could. You? Yeah. Well, I must uh, confess, actually, I've made some samples and then I've gone and left them at home. Have you seen? Yes. So I actually um, found an S and an E and a W the same size from both the sets. Ah, so you can do so. So I use the so word, yeah, for those spools. I bet I can find an S, a U, and an E. You can you can make up different words. Yeah. S, U, and an E. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You've got heart. Uh, you could have art. <laughs> you could have he art. He or art. names. You can. You know, yeah, definitely personalise with names. Yeah, but I, I will upload those images of the cards that I've done, and my mum's helped me as well. So, thank you, Janet, and sorry that I have left them at home. Have you left Janet at home as well? <laughs> Have you left Janet at home as well? I did, I did ask her if she fancied coming. Oh, <laughs> Janet, you should come yeah. on one day. We'd love yeah, to see you. Yeah, she should. She'd love that. She would love that. Okay, so I'm going to do a lacy border at the bottom. Again, I'm stamping with the oxide because I want the colour and just, just a small section of it along the bottom. And because it's so big, I'm just going to go ahead and use it as it is. I suppose you could have the stamp facing upwards and then place the card down as well on top, whichever, Ooh, whichever way. Nice. And I don't think it matters if it doesn't quite come out because no. I'm doing a sort of vintage style. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy that that sort of missed a bit at the bottom, really. Now, we've got 12 minutes left on this hour. This is the final hour for the dark room door. Um, you've not got another hour today, have you, Sue? No, no, that's it now. Yeah. And the spools, it's, it's 12 minutes isn't long. No, it's not. But don't rush. I can go faster. <laughs> right, the lovely spool stamp. So I'm just going to do sections of this. Oh, look, look at, that. at that. It's like a, ooh. I love, it draws me in because you kind of see it from a distance and you think, well, what, what is that? Is it bottle tops or something? And then it draws you in to sort of have a I closer like look, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's really good there. in that vintage colour. Yes, yeah. It'd be nice to get a, a little bit, maybe a little bit of colour on the top of the spools, you know, where the little signs are. Um, almost like Technicolor then, so you've got the vintage vibe of stamping it out and then colouring in some of the labels. Yeah. So I'm just going to get that handmade word on this stamp and just put that in. Because it's kind of the handmade sort of sewing look about it. What were you doing with the piece of paper then? I'm just masking the by. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, and um, it's a good idea with this this one to yeah. cut them perhaps into three individual stamps as well. You can obviously yeah. do that. That's a good idea. So just covering up the bit you don't want to ink, 
And then ink in the rest. Oh, what else should we do? What else have you got? Uh, oh, I quite like this starburst from the cupcake. Yeah, that'll be good. Because that kind of reminds me of an embroidery stitch. Oh, like a... Do you know what like I mean? Like a French knot. That sort of thing, yeah. yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to take that. Yeah, that works. Nice in the pink as well. Yeah, just to girl it up a bit. One down there, and another one in there. It's just having a look at them stamps and just seeing other sort of detail and other marks in them, I think. Yeah. And then we'll add a flower as well. Um, we'll now, go, for, go for this the one. The stencil that you're using at the moment... Um, well, we've got some masks and stencils, so I don't know whether you can actually this turn the camera to here. me, only because there's quite a bit to carry in because you've got the stencils themselves this is almost like um like a twofer because you're doubling up with the stencil you've got the open images that you can see here and then you also have the mask images as well so they come out so you've got those and you've got the same in the taller flowers but it's not just those you also get the same images the same system as you can see here this will just pull out and they'll pull out as well you've got them in the smaller I think this is a terrific set I really really do uh, 984581 is your item number and I've got a great sample this is the one that um, Sue made and created in the earlier show using this particular set again I think it's great value for money because not only do you get the stencils like that but you also get the masks as well so it's a terrific deal do consider this 18 pounds and 99 pence nine Eight four eight uh, five eight one is your item number. Let's head back to Sue. Okay, what I've done with this one, I've deeply inked the flower as it is, and I've just pushed it up and used the top section just to extend the flower and did a lighter inking on the top there. So that's pretty much my background made. So let's get rid of that bit of ink there, and then I can put it on my card blank. It. and then I'm going to create a caption from the spare piece that I cut off let's yep. put that to one side and bring that piece in and have the happy birthday stamp I do like the, the different fonts that they have on these ones and we'll go in again with the same colour the vintage photo yep and also, I'm going to I'm going to do two colours, the aged mahogany as well. Do them both. Again, just to make sure that comes out. Okay. And then, what I'm going to do is to cut this out into a banner shape and just go round the the edge with another piece. Now, time-wise on the show, just to give you a time check, we've got seven minutes, Sue. Ooh, ooh. Do you have another demo for ooh, us? I do, ooh. I do. Here's the banner here. Yep. And I've put foam pads on the back. Okay. And I'm just going to place it on the top and slightly overhang it just to make it look a bit interesting. Oh, now that is Maybe lovely. there. Yeah. And there we have it. Terrific. Right, let's crack on with another demo then, Sue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Straight away? Yeah, let's do it. Let's okay. do it. If that's okay with you. Oh, yeah, I just need to... Um, I don't like mess. <laughs> if you have just joined us, please do go and head uh, down to the website and have a look at all the different items we've got. Terrific stamps, terrific stamps. Uh, the pencil border is the most popular. Look at this. Isn't this fabulous? Turn these into little houses. Isn't that a great idea? Use these along like so, or you could use them down the side of a card and down the other side so you can actually draw the attention to the middle. £14.99, a great size stamp. Let me show you just how big that is. It's made of red rubber as well. So you've got that great edge detail in there that will produce super duper cards like this. Um, use them on fabric as well. I think that's a great idea. Maybe for a pocket or maybe you're making a pencil case. So you could use this uh, with the right inks on fabric or make ribbons and things like that. I think it's a great idea. Uh, right, uh, £14.99, 195808 is your item number if you want to get hold of that. It could be fangs as well. Oh. <laughs> it could be. You, know, you like have Halloween. such an imagination. Mm. <laughs> right, Sue, back to you. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to work with the postcards again and choose one of the flower images. Okay. And basically I'm just going to sort of create something with this to make it a bit more interesting and use it as it is, basically. Okay. So I want to just do a pop of colour. So I'm, I've chosen a green because I sort of see green when I see that image. I like this stencil. Yes. It's I like the larger so one. So useful. Yeah, I'll be really using is. this all the time. Yeah. I think. And checkers goes with everything, doesn't it? Checkers, you sort of yeah, create some gingham sort of. Yeah. Yeah, it's just superb. I think that'll be enough. So that'll sit on there, maybe oh, in the nice. middle. Yeah. Um, actually, I might even just cut a little bit off just to make it just to make it a little bit smaller. So I might just cut a little piece off that side and a little piece off that side to give me some room to add a splash of green around the outside. And I just love ripped paper. I it's just nice love ripping the, paper. It's nice <laughs> when the colour goes all the way through the paper, isn't it, Sue? Oh, yes, when I you've think, got a coloured yeah. core. Yeah, definitely look for that. Yeah, coloured core rather than the less more, less expensive, I think, card that's got, yeah, white core. Yeah. So let's place that about there. And let's add some bits of torn paper. Just slot them in. There, and then we'll have another, another bit. I love that touch of colour. That green really works. Yeah, it? yeah. It just makes it sort of pop. Another bit down there, and then I wanted to add a caption. What's nice? You've got that black and white image, but green, of course, is the colour originally of the stalks. So it's quite a nice little combination. Yes, that's yeah. Mm. That's what I mean. I kind of that's the colour I sort of look at you know like the rose you know i yeah. see kind of a pinky color or a, a deep red so i'm going to stamp one of the smaller captions it's lovely to have the two different sizes i think get rid of that a smaller caption and just to place that on the bottom left hand oh see i've managed to catch the birthday there as well but I might be able to rip that off. See, I think that's very brave, ripping after you've stamped. Oh, you do might, you? Yeah. <laughs> if it was me, I'd just tear straight through the stamping. So I'd probably... Oh, I guess it's your preference and your choice, isn't it? There is an art to ripping, and yeah. you, do, you do get a feel for it if you do it more often. So I'd have to do an old juice and rip it up and start again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know the ink's wet, so I'm just going to apply it down there. I do like sort of sewing as well mm. on my sort of cards. So, because I couldn't bring my sewing machine, I did the sewing first. Okay. And I've kind of sewed a line, a zigzag line, in three different lengths. I'm just going to cut those threads. So you put that through your sewing, sewing machine. machine? Yeah. Great idea. Just on a piece of spare card. So I'm going to rip those. The idea is to have a good grip of the the image, yeah. and then rip towards you the bit that you want to rip off. Okay. I'm going to rip these off, and st I'm just going to stick these these on, and it looks kind of looks like you've sort of sewn a little bit onto the card. We've got a minute left, so just to let you know, You're doing really well. Ooh. Let's get these on then. Can I rip that one as well? It just ties in the black and the white, I think, if you yeah, it does, can add right. a little bit of stitching. Oh, little bits of ripped paper everywhere. I like that. What a great idea. And leave the, the threads hanging as well. I think that's quite nice to yeah. leave the threads hanging. Do check yeah. out your baskets and make sure you get the stamps that you want. Everything's <laughs> got uh, a 10-day delay dispatch on. We are dispatching on the 25th because they're coming from Australia. What a great show. I'm not sure when the dark room are coming again, so it's a good idea to make sure you get what you need. Sue, thank you so much. It's a great pleasure. Oh, I've well, really enjoyed it. Oh, yes. Well, hopefully <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Hope so. Uh, mm. Whether it be with Dark Door or someone else. <laughs> yeah. Sue, mm. thank you very much. 
Thank you. Great demonstrations. Thank you for watching as well. Uh, make sure you check out your baskets. If you have just joined us, don't worry. You can head to the website and have a look at all the goodies we've got left for you. We'll see you in a few moments' time. Right, coming up next, we've got an interesting show, haven't you? We've got the Soki. We've got that one. Uh, we've got the Cardio 18th Birthday One Day Special and your Funky Fossil Festive Fun. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etched that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. I'm Trisha from So Totally Trisha. I've been sewing since I was about eight years old. I carried on through my teens, and when I had children, I've sewn for them. And now I love nothing more than to design fabric-based kits for patchwork, for bags and home decor. Make sure you don't miss the Sew Totally Trisha shows. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dies and flower stamps. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows Good afternoon, I hope you're well. The time has just struck three o'clock here in the United Kingdom and uh, what a show. Yes, it has. Three o'clock. I know. Your watch is wrong. Uh, yeah, we have people from all around the world. All around the world watching. So in case you're watching this, I'm back on repeat. Anyway, let's get, let's get to the point. Uh, we are talking... You shouldn't have said anything. Uh, we are talking this hour. We are talking sort of five in ones. We are talking about a bit of everything that you are going to need that when you look at it and you go, oh yeah. How did I live without it? It's one of those projects. We've not seen it uh, since about May, I think, uh, and we've brought it back to now. We are talking the social circle is what we're talking about. Have you ever struggled making pom-poms that are perfect in every way, shape or form, that are unique, that are all the same thickness, all the same fluffage? Good word. Uh, all the same fluffies that are all the same size. You can do that with what I'm about to show you. We've also got looms as well on the show that are exclusive exclusive uh, to us as well. We've got rainbows and we've got eyes and I'm not alone from the social circle herself. We've also got uh, Katie. Afternoon, my love. You all right? <laughs> yeah. I love these. I, I, I remember when you launched here on the channel a couple of months ago um, and it was a very busy show. For those people that may have not seen you before, um, give me a little bit about your background and how you all started in the wonderful world of looming and pom pomming. Yeah, so I'm Katie from the social circle. Um, I started the social circle um, about eight years ago and it started with kids crafts we did a lot of sewing um, children's birthday parties that sort of thing and then the girls were desperate to make pom-poms they're like Katie let's make pom-poms 
So I brought in the like plastic clunky pom pom makers and they couldn't do it. It was too tricky, too fiddly, and I thought there's got to be a better way to make a pom pom. And that's when I discovered um, the loom tools, which are an American invention and they're absolutely brilliant. So there's no moving parts, they're really like sturdy, and the kids could just make pom poms really easily with them. So I was like, great, I'm going to bring them over. Um, and then I got a few more tools in, um, and then the range just kind of expanded with kits, um, project-based kits. Um, and then once you have the tool, you can keep going making all the different crafts. So that's how it started. Now we're just pom-pom mad, basically. Well, this is the thing. I mean, there's so much more you can do with the tools as well. And we'll get to the tools later on in the show, because I have got them on their own. And I've also got them in kits as well. But let's start off with our newness on the show. This is a little bit of weaving, but weaving with a difference. Because normally when you weave, you weave away, weave away, weave away, and you have to leave it on the weaving frame. You can't normally take it off that frame unless you do something snazzy with the edges. You have to then decorate the frame and you pop the frame onto the wall. With this though, this is reusable, so you can reuse it over and over again. So first of all, the details on the screen are just for the tools. Now it's a pick and mix. You can either go for the eye or you go for the rainbow. It's entirely up to you. I have got them in kits as well, which I'll give you the details for in a moment. £15.99. So explain the concept to me. What are we using here? What are we going to create from this? So with the eye and rainbow, I'll just show them up for you to see um, how they look once they're all woven. So this is the rainbow, so you can use all your yarn scraps to make really pretty um, rainbow looms. I've got one off the loom as well. So once you take it off the loom, um, I've seen loads of ways to use it so you could back it with some interfacing and felt and use it as a badge like think of it on the back of like a denim jacket it's really trendy at the minute so you whoops you can make your own little patches with them um i've had one customer make like a cake topper so she's just secured some skewers on the ends and used it as a cake topper um, you could stitch them onto like wall hangings for children's bedrooms that sort of thing um, and similar goes um, with the eyes as well. You could fill in the edges to make the eye shape, or you can just leave the circle. So it's up to you if you want to do just a circular weaving or make this kind of traditional, this is like a Greek symbol, traditional like eye woven love piece. Love it. Basically. It's so you can tell that I'm making coasters and things like that if you yeah. wanted to, and you can go slightly larger if you wanted to do the different eyes. You could have all the eyes that are placed around and you know, make tapestries and things like that. They are just for though, just for the templates alone. £15.99, 579131 is your item number. But then, I also have on the show, I have a little set. So this is sort of everything incorporated into this. Obviously, you need to add your own yarn onto this, but all those little bit of scraps that you don't know what to do with, you could use those. Once again, it comes in two different options. I have the eye, if you wanted to go for the eye, or I have the rainbow, okay? But this time, the eye and the rainbow are also going to come uh, with your thread that you will take through, and that's, this is basically where you start to loom and you will loom it around. Uh, you're also going to get your little looming comb uh, that's in there as well to make sure everything's taut and tight, uh, which is nice. And you're also going to get your, uh, your looming needles. Now, something slightly different with these because they have that slight kick on uh, just so you can get underneath. Everything comes with full instructions as well, all the instructions are on the back of the packaging, so you really can't go wrong uh, with these ones. So once again, nice little giftable, I'm thinking, with these, because everything is in that kit. You haven't got to go out. Oh, the only thing you really need are your bit of scraps of yarn. Is yarn, yeah. So if you already know someone that really likes to do the kind of square weavings, the eye and the rainbow shape are patent pending, so the loom is the only company that produces this kind of weaving loom. So they are quite unique. Um, you cannot find them anywhere else. So if you already know someone that likes loves to do weaving. It's a great little add-on project for them to experiment with. I adore that. I really do, because there's something slightly, there's something different, especially about the eye as well. We've not seen the eye in the sort of looming world. It's normally the normal squares that we get. But then the rainbow, there is so many possibilities for the rainbow. Uh, as Kate said, uh, cake toppers. Uh, it may turn them into necklaces, because in, in theory, it doesn't have to be a, a rainbow. If you turn it upside down and you put a bit of cord on, you have got that beautiful necklace, should you so wish. Make two of them and you've got a circle. 
it's those little tiny things and then obviously because it's a rainbow you can change the colors and you can change the height of the rainbow that you've already got there so maybe you want to make smaller circles you can do that maybe you're going to make larger circles you could do that as well 24 pounds and 99 pence 415829 is your item number for your sort of full kit that we're talking about your eye or your rainbow from there we've then got a pom-pom garland love it love a pom now we've got two color options you have your natural you've got your rose and you've got your turquoise or you've got your blue you've got your sky blue and you've got mustard so they come in a kit everything is in the box everything is beautifully presented as well uh, that you are looking at so you're going to get every single thing all beautifully packaged in the box, full instructions, thread included as well. You're even getting the cord to hang the pom-poms onto with this. Uh, and, but once again, we're not talking inferior goods, we're talking high, of the highest quality. Yeah, so we've got really beautiful um, braided cord, which is um, normally used for macrame, but um, I've got one finished here. So I do a lot of pom-pom demos, as you can see. So I've just been collecting all my pom-poms and I've just sewn them on. And we've got these hanging all over our living room, in my children's bedrooms and around the studio. And it's just a really fun way to display your pom-poms. Coming up to Christmas, the pom-pom garlands are super brilliant if you do them in red, green and white or add your other favorite colors to them. Um, they're just really fun decor to have around your home. They are, and if you notice from every single one of them pom-poms that you've got there are all unique. They're all slightly different, but they're all the same size. You don't see one that stands out and it's massive. And then you've got one that's really, really itty pitty small. Uh, you get all the tools that are in the kit uh, that you've got here as well. Uh, so you're getting your pom-pom maker that you're getting in here. So you're getting that to make those perfect pom-poms every single time. You're also getting your cord that's thrown in as well. You're also getting your string uh, to tie all your pom-poms together. Then you've got all the wool. With the amount of wool, you are getting an awful lot of wool here. How long is a piece of string, no pun intended, but how many pom-poms <laughs> could you make if they're standard size pom-poms? About 24 pom-poms and you get five meters of rope so you could either have one really long garland or you could cut it up into shorter garlands. That's, that's a good amount of pom-poms. It's a lot, yeah. So you can mix and match the colours. I'll show you that a little bit later to make multicoloured pom-poms. So you don't have to keep the colours separate. You could mix the natural and turquoise, for example, to make a multicoloured pom-pom. So this is just going to make your pom-poms that you're looking at and here. But then don't just think uh, your garlands, your hanging garlands. Then start thinking about pom-pom wreaths and stuff like that. We are getting closer to Christmas. And you go out and try and find a pom-pom wreath. Mm -hmm. they're, not, they're not cheap. Let's put it... Let's, Let's call a spade a spade. Uh, they're not cheap at all, but you can make them. Once you've got the concept of making that pom pom, all you need is the backing of a wreath that you can go that you can buy. We probably sell them on the website, to be honest. Uh, then you can make your own uh, pom pom wreaths that are there as well. I don't know if you've ever tried to make pom-poms in the past, and what do we usually use? We usually use that little bit of old uh, cereal packet, and now and then it gets bent up and bent up, and it starts to curl, and your pom-poms all become different sizes. I know this because I've tried this. <laughs> and it all worked different and in the end I made my nan do them because I couldn't do them and I was getting too frustrated making the pom-poms. Uh, but with this tool you're perfect, uh, no, no, now they're all in a nice vase. Uh, no, uh, but you are getting the pom-pom tool, 28 pounds and 49 pence, 25 bad palms is what you can make with this one. You're getting blue, sky blue and mustard or you're getting your turquoise, your rose and your natural. 226598 is your item number. Now if you're thinking well this is all well and good Adam but I don't just want to make pom-poms. Come with. Uh, for the sheer fact, how about if I told you now, you could start making pom-poms, you could make tassels, you can make friendship bracelets, you can weave, and you can also do your cords on here as well. All with the one tool. Now there's two options you can go from. You can go for the robot, or you can go for the big A. Now they both do the same job, but the jobs that they do, one is... They've both got their own individual talents, as it were. Yeah. They will both do the same job, but individually they do something better than the other one. So let's start with the robot first. What is the robot's speciality subject? Um, so if you could just show from top to bottom. So we've got the pom-poms, tassels, friendship bracelets, cords and weavings. I tend to use the robot the most for pom-poms and tassels because you've got two different sizes in the arms there. So this ends a little bit narrower, so it makes smaller pom-poms, smaller tassels. So I tend to use this tool the most for those. 
The big A, on the other hand, um, is excellent for weaving. So you can see here, you've got a 12 string warp and it makes a really pretty um, like woven badge. So that's the big A, it's kind of super power. The weaving on the robot is a little bit looser, a little bit taller, um, but I tend to do most of my weaving on the big A. So weaving for the big A, and then it sort of pom-poms uh, for the... Because in theory, you're getting two pom-poms two for one, aren't you? You've got a larger and then a sort of a smaller pom-pom. But this is the thing. Each one of these pom-poms will be exactly the same. If you wind your wall around exactly the same number of times, it's going to be exactly the same every single time. You can also make tassels with them as well. If I show you that one, uh, you can make friendship bracelets uh, that's in there. Everything all on one tool, 11 pounds and 99 pence, either for the robot or the big A. The choice is yours. But if you're thinking, I like these, I want to go bigger. We can go bigger as well. We've got the gift set on the show. This in, there's two options on this one, once again, that you are looking at. You can either go for the robot or you can go for the big A. So that's the only difference between the kits on these ones. And once again, once these have gone, these have gone. Uh, as there's no more of these. Uh, you, you're also getting here, so there, we'll start with the robot because it's easier. Uh, so you're getting the robot. You're also getting the slingshot. So what can we do with the slingshot? So the slingshot makes bigger pom-poms, longer tassels. So this is it warped up, ready to make a tassel. Um, you can also make friendship bracelets that are longer. So on the robot, for example, they're quite short, where this one you can um, warp it up across the tool so it makes longer friendship bracelets. That's nice to say that. So it's sort of, ex so, so it's sort of like an extender. Yeah. That you're getting in there. So you get an extender, then this little, this is your pom-pom <laughs> trim guide. This is worth its weight in gold. I feel this sold out last time we were on air because I think it was an end of call. Uh, and I think it's sold out. You can get these. This is one of those things that gives you, this is where the accuracy comes in with your pom-poms. Yeah, exactly. People ask me all the time, how do you get your pom-poms so perfectly round and dense? And I say there's two things. It's mostly getting the center string really tight and trimming it using a trim guide. Um, and then the other thing, which we didn't manage to get to on the last show, is that you can also use this disc to make these braided cord friendship bracelets. So everything with the loom is like double duty. Um, so these are really brilliant for kids. Stuff that in their stocking um, and it'll keep them busy for hours basically making little bracelets. There you go. That's how you get your pom-poms looking the same every single time. You can get them on the end of call as well if you are going for some of the pom-pom kits and you also want to go uh, for sort of the wooden ones that you're getting in there. There you're also getting your little comb as well to keeping all of your, uh, to keep your loom, to keep everything uh, packed and tight that's in there. And you also get full instructions and it comes in a nifty little box. Uh, once again, the only difference is, is your robot or your big A that you're getting here. That's the only difference depending on what you want to go for. Remember your big A is good for your, well, the robot's good for your pom-poms. So the, you've got that double end and your tassels. So this one's good for your pom-poms and your tassels. Uh, then this one's sort of good for your smaller looming and your weaving that you want to do there. Uh, maybe you want to make little pins and things. You might want to make little seams for cabochons or bracelets. So you can do that with that. Uh, 24 pounds and 25 pence across two interest-free flexible payments. 153383 is your item. And then last but no means least, I've got kits. I have got pom-pom kits. These come beautifully packaged. Let me show you what they look like so you can see everything that's in there. You know everything that's in there as well. Uh, but from that, you then get everything you need in the kit. Now, this time, it's not an option. You are getting uh, the robot that's already in here. But these are your pom-pom kits. All you have to do is choose the color that you like. So you've got the rose and the mustard in one set. You've got the blue and the lilac, uh, violet in the other set. I was close. Uh, then you've got your sky blue and your azalea in the next set. So are these... I don't like using the word beginner friendly because nothing's really beginner friendly because you can use it. You just need to read the instructions because these instructions are there. Uh, but are they be are this we sort of beginner friendly pom pom kits for working instructions that you've got in this? Yeah, definitely. So you just need scissors with these kits, um, and it comes with merino wool. So the yarn is really squishy, makes really beautiful, like lovely soft pom poms. Um, and this is one of my best sellers on my own website. They're brilliant gifts for kids as well. So I would say from seven up, um, they work really well for kids. 
And then there's different like inspiration in the booklet projects you can make. The head pom pom hair bands are really popular. I, I want a pom pom hair yeah, band. Yeah, or you could add pom poms to your storage basket baskets at home, that sort of thing. Add them to your wall hanging. So many things you can do with a pom pom. You can have any. You could put a pom pom on anything. Yeah. We put them down the side of Molly's curtains. We put them all the way down the side and all the way along the bottom, uh, just to brighten up her room. And she absolutely adored them. Twenty-seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. All you have to do is pick your favourite colour. This will all make sense when we go through it with Katie in a moment, uh, in a matter of moments. But jump to the website. Everything is on the website for you. It's the quickest and the easiest place to go. Uh, so you've got your loom on their own. You've got your weaving tools on their own as well. You've got them in the kit. Uh, you've got a couple of books on the hour as well. The little loom weaving that's on there. Uh, love all these. It's worth having a little look on the website. Nice little giftables as well. Should you need giftables uh, that you've got on there, it's worth having a little look. Right then, let's get to demo to see how all of this works. Where would you like to start first? Let's um, kick it off with some pom pom making yes. since that tends to be the favorite. So I'm just going to clear my space a little bit. So I'm going to demo today on the robot tool just because that's my favorite tool for the pom poms and that's the one you get in the kit. So I'm just going to grab some yarn from my baskets and they're really simple so just give yourself a little bit of slack there. Question about yeah. yarn. Yeah. Can we use any yarn any size? You can use any yarn. Um, you can do like thinner yarn, hand dyed yarn. Um, I tend to mostly work with 100% um, wool and merino just because it makes really lovely pom poms. So, um, but you can use any kind of yarn. If you use a really chunky yarn, obviously you don't need to wrap it around as many times. So inside the booklet, there's different guides. Like if you want this size pom pom, wrap this many times. But um, if you're using a chunky yarn, obviously you don't need to wrap as many times. Um, or if you need a, if you're using a thinner yarn, you might need to wrap it more times. So it's just experimenting. So did you just start wrapping around, or did you anchor it off somewhere? Yeah. So um, the end of your yarn, you can just stick in one of the notches there. That's what those are there for. Um, it holds it in place. So I've just stuck it in there and just started wrapping around. And you're not doing it too tight, um, nice even tension. I find when I teach adults pom pom making, they're so stressed out, they're like holding it all like for dear life. But just try to like relax your hands, you want to have a nice even tension. Um, and the kids alternatively <laughs> tend to wrap it too loose. So. <laughs> oh. So I would say we all hold our stress in our hands. <laughs> so just wrap it round. Um, if you want to change colors, just use those notches there again to hold it in place and then you can just cut it off and I'm gonna pick a nice pink. Do you need to move it then down the robot's arms? Or? No, you try to wrap it in the same kind of spot. You do need a hole at the bottom there for the string so don't cover that bit but yeah you can cover the whole little arms there. doesn't really... can wrap it on top. Can you over wrap? Yeah, you can overlap it. it. Depends what kind of pattern you want. So, if you want a stripe one, you'll want to keep the colors kind of separate. But I'm just going to go for a multicolored. Switch it up with another. Can you one. wind it too many times, or do you, is it the more times you wind, the bigger the pom pom is going to exactly. be? Exactly. The more you wind, the bigger the pom pom will be. So you want to have a nice, like, thick bundle. Just I suppose the notches really come in handy because how else would you do this without this tool to change all the colours? Yeah, yeah, you could hold it in place, but it does just make it easier. It's one last thing to think about. Um, just do one last colour. And on the same um, kind of token, if you want it to be a bit quicker to wrap, you could wrap two balls of yarn at the same time. So just add a little bit more here and then I think we're ready to tie the string. So once you've got like a nice fat bundle there, um, you're ready for some string which comes in the kit. So this is crochet cotton which is like really the most versatile thing you could have in your craft stash. Um, so you can use it for warp string um, or to tie the center of your pom-poms. So we're going to tie the center, so I'm just going to slide the end there underneath that gap that I've left. I'm just going to wrap it around once, slide it under again, and then this is the trick, because um, you want the center of your pom-pom to be really tight, so that's why I've wrapped it around twice, and then I'm just going to do a simple 
double overhand knot. So I'm just wrapping that left over right, left over right again to pull. And then you can see it's nice and snug there. Before I secure the knot, I'm just gonna pull it off the tool and then just pull it really tight there. And I'm just gonna do one single knot to close it. So you've got like a double knot there. And then in the middle, you shouldn't be able to move it around too much. It's really nice and secure there. So just cut my little tails off. And then I'll open it up. So you just get your scissors and you're going to cut all the loops there. So make a nice, I love that sound. That's like, oh. <laughs> And it's always a surprise if you do multicolored pom poms, it's always a surprise what kind of patterns you get. So once you cut all your loops, um, this is where most people say, well, that's my pom pom. I <laughs> say, so wait, <laughs> you've got to trim it next. So just got a little um, tray here to collect all my pom pom bits. And then I've got my trim guide as well. Um, so when you're ready to trim and you've cut all your loops, just hold your trim guide over the top and then use your scissors to cut around. So use that trim guide to help you with the size. We'll give you the size. You can see so how we, dense it is there. So we literally just hold it. Yeah, and then just cut close to it and that will give you a nice medium sized pom pom. Just going to rotate it once around. Trim that off. Oh, so we can't really go wrong with this. You just go the size of the wooden... Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> and then just roll it around in your hands to fluff it up a little bit. And then you can use your scissors to just tidy it up a little bit. There's always going to be a few little corners sticking out there. So the rest you can kind of do by eye. So what I find is if you try to trim it by eye, um, you tend to get really lopsided pom-poms. Well, it's like when you trim like um, the hedge, and you always yeah, go in like a, little, a little you, bit more. You start off all more. right, and then by the time you get to the end, you're just hacking away no, at the end. And you've got beautiful green <laughs> down to twinks. Or your child's fringe, if you're just like a little more, a little <laughs> more. And then it's like, right at the top of the you've head. You've got to know when to stop. <laughs> that was like our Scots. They started trimming his hair. They didn't know where to stop. <laughs> Well, can we use those bits for anything that you're cutting off, though? Can they be used for other projects? Yeah, so I've seen um, I've seen people filling their clear Christmas baubles. You know, you can get the empty ones that you can fill up. Um, I had some customers last year using their colourful pom-pom bits to fill them up so it looks like confetti. Um, you could use it to stuff, like, little projects. Um, or if you're using 100% natural fibres, like the merino, um, you could use it for um, animal bedding, or you can compost it as well. Awesome. So, yeah. There we go. Just a little bit more tidying up, and then you've got your nice little pom pom ready to be sewn onto my garland or whatever project you want to make Look with at that. that, the perfect pom-pom <laughs> every single time. Remember, I've got them in kits. I've also got them on their own. If you want the uh, trim guide, you can get that on the end of call. But let's go back to the tools on their own. Remember, you've got the robots and you've also got the big A as well. These are not just pom-pom makers. These are also tassels you can make with these, friendship bracelets. You can weave in with them and you can also use them for your cords as well. The robot is better for your pom-poms because you've got that double end and then the big A is better for the loom. But they both do the same job. They come with full instructions as well, so you know what you're doing every single time. But they're pretty self-explanatory when you get these home. You sort of know what you're doing. And Emily, my, my producer, so like, she'll get both. Because then you've got, you really have got the best of both worlds, haven't you? You've got your beautiful pom-pom maker, but you can also make pom-poms uh, with the end of your arms on the big A. But this one, you're going to get two different. You can make tassels with this one. So maybe as we are getting close to Christmas as well, maybe you've got those ornate baubles that just need something on the end. Maybe you're going to want that tassel uh, this year. Maybe it's going to be the end of tablecloths. Maybe it's the end of that big project and you just want to put it onto the cushions. Well, I'm guessing with this, this is not a one-trick pony. As we said, it does make beautiful, beautiful tassels uh, that you can change and add beads and make as big as elaborate as you want to. Because if you've been out to buy cushions 
and they've got tassels on the end. The price of the cushion goes up just for the tassels. That's what you're really paying for. And then you get them home, you pop them, you make them look nice, you flop back in the sofa. What do you do? Tear the tassel off. Uh, because you always sit on it. Everyone does. Everyone's done it. You go, ah, oh, that's the one I'll tuck underneath. I'll put it at the top so it flops over the back. But with these, you can get the baskets with the pom-poms uh, on. They're expensive to do, but you can make your own now with this. As we said, uh, friendship bracelets. You could have a massive pom-pom in the middle with a friendship bracelet all the way around the edge if you wanted to, like a new snazzy watch, the pom-pom watch. Uh, but you could. This is what you could do if you've got kids' parties. You could make friendship bracelets as well. There's so many possibilities. Get the kids to make them if you wanted to. £11.99. Can we make to sell? Yeah, totally. I mean, these tools are just like, you can use them to make so many things. So yeah, definitely make pom-poms to your heart's content. <laughs> well, this is the thing, and as, but as I keep saying, it's not just for your pom-poms. There is so many things you can do with this. Uh, you've got your tassels, you've got that little bit of weaving. Maybe you want to have a little go at weaving, and you've never tried it before. Well, what a way to start. For the sheer fact, it ain't, it's not going to take you long to build up these beautiful projects that you've got in there to make cord, big chunky cord bracelets that we were looking at as well. You can do that with those, but not just bracelets. If you can do it with big chunky cord, you can also make straps for your bags. Because I'm guessing you can go quite long as well with these, with the cords. With the cords, definitely. Um, so here's the necklace um, that you can make as well. So if you just leave a long tail and you just cord this kind of section, I've added some beads as well. but. They make really nice, like, chunky jewellery. So. Look at that. So now you've got your jewellery, but that could be on, that you add onto a little bag. So you could add it to that little bag if you wanted to. £11.99, 511747 <laughs> is your item number that we're looking at. Uh, from there, uh, let's look at the pom-pom garland uh, that we've got here. So the pom-pom garland is going to be the string of pom-poms uh, that we are looking at. They are absolutely beautiful they really really are they make perfect pom-poms every single time uh, with these and you're getting all your cord in there as well so you're getting your crochet cord to tie your pom-poms up so super sturdy cord um, i remember that then you're also getting five meters of your rope uh, that's in there so you can have a five meter long garland should you so wish or you could cut it down and make smaller garlands maybe you're making it for shelves or a bookshelf you could do it for that 24 pom-poms did we say yeah 24 pom-poms is what you can make from the wall that we just have here but remember you could then also use other could you use other things other than wool to make pom-poms if i've got old scrappy shirts could i cut them over and turn them into um, pom-poms i find the fabric strips work better for tassels you get that kind of like rustic boho kind of style so i tend to use like fabric more for tassels than pom-poms but yeah well <laughs> have a go. Have, have a, go. a go. What have you got to lose? What have you got to lose? Uh, but you've got the colour ways that we've got here. I've got blue, sky blue and mustard. I've got natural, rose and turquoise. Uh, exactly the same kits, it's just the colour ways. And they come beautifully presented as well in the beautiful box uh, that you're getting here. So it's nice little giftable uh, that you get as well. Everything's in your box, full instructions uh, included that's already in there. Uh, nice little gift, £28.49. A project that you can do in front of the tent. Sit there, little lap tray, pom pom away, trimming them down. You can get the trim, uh, trim guide at the end of call as well. Put a pom pom on everything. I suppose you can make small little pom poms and turn them into Christmas trees. Yeah, <laughs> or a little snowman if you do like three sizes of white ones, stack them up for a little snowman. You could. Now I know these aren't pom poms, but you could go sort of this size if you wanted to. So you could go really small with your card. How small can you go? Can you go to this size if I wanted to? Um, yeah, if you want to. I guess the more you trim down, the smaller your pom-pom will be and also the denser it will be. But I wouldn't go, like, too much smaller. You don't want it to fall apart. So. <laughs> Really thought I had. Uh, let's go back to weaving then, shall we? But give it a go. So you can use these for your card making. What I'm trying to get across is it's not just for uh, soft crafters. These are for everyone. You can put these anywhere. You can put these 
everywhere. The choice is up to you. Uh, let's go back to a bit of weaving now. We've got the eyes. These are your weaving kits. You've got your eyes and you've also got your rainbows on the show. The choice is yours. £24.99. Not only do you get the tools, though, you get everything else that you need in the kits. £24.99. You choose whether you want to go for the eye or you want to go for the rainbow. 415829 is your item number. Are these beginners friendly? Yeah, so for these ones, you just need a tabby stitch. And actually, we should demo those next because since you're already talking about them. Yeah, you can just do a tabby stitch on them, which is like the basic over, under, over, under. So I find the rainbow one is quite good for kids as they're just learning to weave. It's not too fiddly. So. As we're there then, as we're here, yeah, let's, let's, see, let's see it in action. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just show you. So we've got the two different looms. I'll do the eye first. So this is how it looks once it's all woven up. Um, I've just done this one um, just to save a bit of time, but there's really clear instructions on the back. Um, and if you have trouble, there's um, a link to YouTube and there's a really great video um, in case you get stuck on the warping. But it is really simple. I'll show you how to warp up the rainbow in a minute. Um, but they are really simple to do. Um, you need a bent tip needle, and I'll just use black so that it's quite obvious against the white warp string. And we're getting two bent tip needles in the kits as well. Yeah, so it just makes your life a little bit easier having um, the bent tip. So I'll just get a little bit of black to start off the center of the eye. And you don't have to do these kind of eye colors. You can see this one I've started with some pink, turquoise, mustard, that sort of thing. So you're just going to thread your yarn and just start from the back. I'm going to leave a little tail so I can weave that in later. And then you're just going to go over, under, over, under. Do about four or five and then I pull it through. I'm going to start a bit away from the center and then pull it tighter as we go. So just over, under, over, under. Just work your way around. The circular ones are quite addictive because you just go round and round and round and just rotate your loom as you go over, under, over, under. That's basically it, how you go along. And then once you've kind of done one, let me grab that out of the way. Once round, um, it starts to build up and you can just pull it tighter. So I've nearly gone one way around. So just over, under, over, under. And you can see how much easier it is with that little bent tip. So I've gone one way around and I'm going to just pull that nice and tight so it's nice and snug to the center. And then you just keep going around in the same way. Just keep working your way around the loom as you go around. When we use the end, when we come to the end of this color, is it just a case of we start with another color or do we have to tie the end on to the next no, one? No, so you'll, um, you'll weave all your ends in once you finish. So if I wanted to change color, I'd just pull that to the back and then start on the next color. So once you've gone around and you've kind of built up that center and it's nice and tight, and you can go on to the next um, color. So on this one, I've woven in the ends already just to keep it nice and tidy. Um, and if I want to change the color from the mustard, just grab another color here. You don't need too much. Um, I've kind of been working with like two feet, 60 centimeters for each color. Now where did my needle go? <laughs> on this one. So to start on the next color, you just start where you've left off. So that one's gone over, so I'm going to go under there and just pick up um, where you left off. Always oh, leave okay. a little tail and just keep going over, under, over, under. And it's really therapeutic to do these kinds of crafts. And I suppose you can stop at any point what you want. Yeah, especially if you're just going to do a circle, you could just weave up to the top here, or if you wanted a smaller one, if you're doing like a badge, so you could back the weaving with felt um, and attach a little pin to make it into a badge, which I think looks quite good. And then as you go, you'll want to make sure that you use the weaving comb um, to always push your work towards the center. So that's what the little comb is for. So just keep pushing your work as you go and you can just keep going round. Once you kind of get 
um, quite a big circle and then you can start to fill in from the outside working in um, if you wanted to do the eye shape so but yeah it's really remember with the kits as well you get a full detailed instructions with these you are not on your own with these step one is wrapping the loom step two uh, is weaving the eye step three is the finish so that's removing it from the loom these are the first things I, I think these are the first ones I've seen where you can actually take them from the looms themselves and use them and they're different shapes they're not your standard square or circle these are something slightly different that the case said at the start of the show you can't get these anywhere else these are here only at the moment on your website yeah, so the loom, um, she's still waiting for the patent to come through, but they're um, uniquely shaped, so there's no other company making these shaped looms. And is it the same process on the rainbow as well? Yeah, so I'll show you the rainbow next. So as you can see, you just keep going. If you wanted to take it off the loom for the eye, you're just cutting, pulling off the loops, cutting them, and just tying them close to this edge, and then you could just secure them on the back either weave in the ends or just put like felt on the back to secure them so that's how the eyes work for the rainbows I've got one here I just wanted to show you how easy it is to warp them up so I've got oh, some yeah. string already attached here just to make it quick so I've just tied a single knot and I just put a bit of tape there to make it um, really secure so once you're ready to warp just give myself a little bit of slack here you're just going across under the little notch across under the little notch across and just keep the string nice and tight and you're just working around just back and forth getting under the little notches and that's how easy it is actually you get into a little rhythm and that's how easy it is to warp them up. There's no like special secret way. It's just back and forth so around the notches. So you're wrapping it around the little teeth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So just work your way around. So it's really simple to do. And then once you've got it on, you're just going to work with the tabby stitch, which is the one that goes over, under, over, under. Just like that. So you can see how quick it is to get it all warped up. And as you said, the key is just to keep it quite tight, quick, yeah, quite Yeah, you want to hold it. You don't want it to be too loose um, So as you're weaving. But yeah, just nice and taut. And just work your way around. And then once you reach the last um, little row, you're just tying a single knot on the hole at the bottom. I just have a little bit more to go here and then um, you can pick your color so I've done five um, colors on my rainbows that fits quite nicely if you're using this Aran or worsted weight yarn if you're using a thinner yarn then obviously you might you could fit in a few more colors or you could do more rows of the same color and I tend to do about four rows of each color and that fits quite nicely and snug on the loom when and do you just it's, it's a silly question but if you don't ask it we will never know uh, <laughs> do you just go back and forward so you get to, from one end of the rainbow you go all the way over and then you go all the way back the way you've just came or do you start from the beginning again and go back and loom again no you just go back and forth um yeah just back and forth and work your way around around the around the arch basically so just tie a single knot here and then you can see it's all ready to go um, so I would just put a little bit of tape there and it's ready to weave basically so there you go so that's how you warp up the rainbow um, I've got one I started earlier just so you can kind of see how it works with the weaving so I've started one color already and I'll just do a row of the blue for you to see and so finished under, so you're always alternating this over, under, over, under. Use your comb to make sure it's nice. Can you do other patterns rather than over and under? Can you do like over one, miss out two, over the th yeah, over Yeah, so there's one um, stitch that's called the sumac stitch, which makes kind of like a V pattern. If you look up, let's see if it's got it on the back of here. No. If you look up um, on Pinterest, there's loads of different um, resources. Any kind of stitch um, 
that works in the rows um, could work on here. Just experiment and have fun and see how it looks. Um, I tend to stitch mostly like flat ones or you could add like the tassels as well on the end, um, that sort of thing. I think just have a little play and experiment and see how it turns out. I like that idea. I don't know if I've seen it in a picture somewhere. I think I have seen it somewhere. Uh, with the little, oh yeah, it is. It's in the picture on the front. Uh, with the little rainbow with the, uh, the two pom-poms as clouds uh, on the bottom. Uh, so it literally looks like you've got that beautiful rainbow uh, that you've got on there. So it also works with your pom-poms as well. Uh, you could make a beautiful mobile, Miss Bay. You really could. Um, if you're having little ones or even for yourself, maybe, if you want to... If you, nice... Especially now we're getting closer to Christmas. I know I said it, but we are getting closer now. Um, but now we are getting closer to Christmas. These would be beautiful giftables. And if you can make to sell as well, if you are looking at some of the, the handmade sites, let's say, these things like this are very expensive to go out and buy. When for £24 I'm giving you an entire kit and you can now change them every year to the colour scheme that you are going to use maybe for your Christmas. Then not just for Christmas, maybe it's going to be birthdays uh, that's in there. Uh, you could, I'm guessing, use them as um, a plea case for embroidery and make a rainbow and put it on the front of a pair of dungarees or a pair of a jumper if you yeah, wanted to. Yeah, definitely. I think they work really brilliantly for patches. Or if you do other like bigger woven pieces, incorporate tassels and rainbows into your bigger woven tapestries, that sort of thing. That'd be nice. I'd like that idea. Oh, you could have a rainbow and then two little pom-poms. Oh, <laughs> cute. So that's how um, the looms work. So I can show how to take it off if you want, or we can move on to like the pom pom tassel ornaments. Should we do? What do you want to do, Em? Tassels or take it off? Hmm? Let's take it off. Cool. All right. So once you've gone around, <laughs> it's ready to come off the loom. So I've woven in my ends as well, so it's all ready to go. I find it easier to weave in the ends um, with the weaving on the loom. So just take off my tape and I've got a little needle here. So you'll want to just undo your knots. So just try to get under that knot. So my producer is now just chanting, take it off in my ear. I don't know off. if she's talking about the rainbow or if she's talking to me. I'm not too sure. Hmm? So I've just taken it off. So you just undo the first little knot there and just the first couple loops. And then what you're going to do is just pull that one oh, tight. This is satisfying. Yeah, so this part um, takes a little bit of time, so I won't do the whole way. But just to show you how easy it is, you're just going to hold it nice and uh, gently. And then you're just working the... You're not pulling it so tight that it pulls the work, but just so that it's... Um, snug against your weaving. So you do one side, pull so that, then like the next shoelaces. side. When you talk shoelaces. Yeah, pulling that, and then you just alternate which side you're pulling it on. And remember, don't pull it so tight that it tugs it, but just nice and gently um, work your way around. He's quite satisfying to watch. The weaving, yeah. So just as you go, your string will get a little bit longer. Um, but that's all there is to it to take it off. And then once you get to the other end, um, you just weave in the ends. And that will all be secure, that's not going to fray, that's yeah, not going to come no apart, pull apart your hand, you're just going to be left with a ball of wool again. This is how it is once you've taken it off. And I've just woven in the white strings in the back. Can you hold that still for me? That's how it is. There you go, just there, stay, there we go. Look at that. So you can well, see the cute. warp string on the tops and bottoms, but that's how it looks once it's off the loom. I like this. Then I suppose if you've got the string that you want to do, if you want to do it in gold or you want to do it in a black or something like that, you can, yeah. you can change the colour of the string as well. You can use any colour. Then you could add little tassels on the bottom if you wanted, like a little fringe hanging down. Maybe some white would look really cute as like the little clouds. But yeah, there's lots you can do with it. Um, the possibilities are endless. Just use what you've got in your stash for the weaving. Oh, I like this idea. And you can carry on. Imagine this in a little frame. Uh, with a little, oh, with a little person's or a family member's name or uh, the, the little initials that's in there, gold foiled in the middle of the rainbow, and you get you hand that as a gift. That would be a beautiful giftable. Yeah, they're really beautiful. 
24 pounds and 99 pence, 415 829 is your item number. That is for the kits that we've got. Now you've got two options, so you've got the eye or you've got the rainbow that you've got. Both are exactly the same. Obviously the only difference is one's an eye and one's a rainbow. And you can't get these shapes anywhere else. You are getting the comb uh, that's in there. You are getting the crochet, um, sort of the looming wire, as it were. There's the thread that you, uh, the, sort of the base. Without this, it's, it's just a bit of MDF. Uh, but with that, you need that because that's what's going to give you the shape. And that's what's going to hold its toughness. And it's not just any old cotton. That is uh, built with a purpose. It's crochet cotton. So you know it's strong and sturdy and it's going to last the test of time. Uh, then you also get your needles as well, your bent needles that's also in there. £24.99, pence, four one five eight two nine is your item number. I've also got the tools on their own. Maybe you've got your already owned bent needles, you've got a bit of crochet carton and you've got your fed. You say, I just want these tools. I want these tools. Uh, 15 pounds and 99 pence for the tools on their own. You've got your eye or you've got your rainbow. The choice is yours. Uh, 579131 is your item number for these. Something else though that you are absolutely loving is the tool on its own. I think the penny is slowly dropping and you're like, these are actually, you can do so much with these. Uh, you can make pom-poms, you can make tassels. Uh, are we looking at tassels next? Yep. Yes. Uh, let's make tassels. Uh, you can get friendship bracelets, you can do weaving and you can do cording as well. You've got your robot or you've got your big A. The choice is yours. £11.99. 511747 is your item number. If you're liking these, most popular with the robot so far. Uh, that you're getting in there because there's so many more possibilities. Uh, your big A is good for your weaving. Um, your robot is good for the robot's one with the arms up. Uh, is the one for your pom poms because you get two different pom poms out of it. I've also got it in kit form. Um, I've got a gift set. So you've also got your slingshot in here. Uh, this does sort of bigger. So you can get, imagine the pom pom you can create on that. Uh, you can do bigger tassels with this one. You can do um, small weaving. You can do friendship bracelets. You can also do your cord bracelets uh, on here. Then you've got your robot. Then you've got your pom-pom pom -pom guide, pom -pom. Uh, you've got your pom-pom guide, you've got your comb, and you've also got your booklet, and it also comes in a nifty box. Once this has gone, this has gone. Uh, 153383 is your item number. Or you've got exactly the same kit in your big A. That's what they used to call me at school. Uh, 48 pounds and 49 pence, the big A. Uh, one, just because I was quite tall. Uh, 153383 is your item number. From there, we've got your pom-pom kits. Uh, so you are getting your robot uh, that's in there, you're also getting your cord, uh, you're also getting your little guide, uh, you get, this time you're getting a cardboard guide that's in there, but you can get the wooden guides on the end of court, and you're getting your colourways. You are getting mustard and rose, you're getting your blue and your violet, you're getting your sky blue and your azalea. Pink. Uh, 27 pounds and 99 pence, 450048 is your item number that you are looking at for this one. They also come, where's it gone? Uh, beautifully packaged, right at the back, would they? Uh, there you go. So it also comes beautifully packaged as well, so a beautiful little giftable uh, that you get. They look absolutely beautiful. I love them. I love them a lot. I love them all. Uh, right then, we've got about, how long we got, Baker? We've got seven minutes. Let's make a tassel. Yeah, let's make a tassel. I love a tassel. <laughs> okay, so this is where um, the extra large tool really comes into the limelight. So just notch your string. Um, this time I'm going to do two strands just to make it a bit quicker. And just wrap your string around. I'm going to make what's called a pom tass, which is a combination of a pom pom and a tassel. I've got some little beads to add, and these are really sweet um, Christmas decorations. And you could have them on your doorknobs or on your curtain pulls, that sort of thing. Um, but they're just really cute um, ways to combine pom-poms and tassels together. So I'm just going to wrap around. The only thing that's different with tassels compared to pom-poms is that you have to start and end on the same side. So with pom-poms, it didn't matter. We notched it wherever we wanted. Um, but because our tassel is going to hang from the top, you want to make sure you start and end on the same side. So I'm just going to trim that. And I've got a bit of string. So to string up our tassel. I'm just going to slide that in the center. Let's see if I can find it. I've got a very squishy yarn here. So it's just gone to the center. I'm going to pull it up to the top of the tool Okay. and just do another one of those double overhand knots before I pull it off the tool. 
This tassel is going to be quite like chunky. So if you had a smaller tassel, I think I had some here. Um, you could use embroidery floss to make tiny little tassel earrings, that sort of thing. So um, you can experiment with different fibers to make different types of tassels. Oh, I've seen some really nice ones with like raffia, that kind of like paper. Um, paper yarn. I pulled this quite tight and it's just broken. So I'm just going to wrap that one more time. <laughs> don't know my own strength. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. So once you've got your um, knot secure, you're ready to cut your loops and that's what effectively makes the um, tassel. So this is what we call the wild and crazy tassel. So you could um, tie another string at the top here to make your kind of classic tassel. Oh, okay. Um, but for these, um, I want to have that kind of like shaggy bottom here. So I'm just going to do another string because I don't want it to fall apart in front of me. So That's always the fear. It's like, don't pull it so tight. Don't pull it don't so pull tight. Don't pull it tight. Pom-pom <laughs> tassel will fall apart. Yeah. And then, um, so I'm just going to add an extra little string just so that um, it's super secure. Cannot plan these things. Live TV, you know how it works. Once uh, again, remember, you can use all your little offcuts. So you can go as big as small as you want. We were using the slingshot for this one, but you can use, um, obviously, the robot that comes in the kit. You can use those to make your tassels yeah, as well. Yeah, so I tend to use the robot for these little kind of tiny jewelry-sized tassels. Um, same with, like, the pom-poms. I've made the earrings out of some, um, like, kind of hand-dyed yarn. So it makes like a really nice speckled pom pom. And again, I've just like gone to a jewelry store and picked up the little findings. Um, but you don't need any like jewelry experience to make your own kind of pom pom earrings or tassel earrings. Um, so I'm going to pull in the pom pom we made earlier in the okay. show. So I've got my two strings, I've just tied it, um, threaded it on a darning needle. And then for the pom poms, um, so as you remember, we tied that string in the middle. So I'm just going to go through the center of the pom-pom and pull it up. And then you could always add like a little bead or something. Let's just go for this one because I've got it here. You could do a little bead Glass. on the top. Um, and then you could just tie the knot at the top here. Or if you wanted to add like a little ribbon or something. And then it's ready to ready to hang. There you go, look, and there he is, your tassel. Yeah. And then you've got your little tassel comb. Comb that out and then just give your tassel a little trim there so it's nice and... You can become a hairdresser. Yeah, my mom's a hairdresser. I learned from the pro. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And that is how you make your tassel and your pom-poms together. You see how quick these come together? So these can be your projects. These could be for tiny bookmarks uh, that you're going to be making. Maybe you've got your bookmarks and you want to add something onto them. Maybe you're going to start putting them on the end of your keys. Maybe you've got to start making key rings and things like that. Something that you can get the kids to do, but you can also do yourself as well. And I think if you find one and you buy one, you'll be like, actually, I'm going to keep this one. I'm not going to let the kids sort this. Uh, they're super sturdy. They're not brown or bright. They're super sturdy that you've got there as well. Remember, there's so many things you can do with them, from pom-poms to tassels, <laughs> to friendship bracelets that you've got, to weaving, also to your cording that you can do on there as well. This is the robot uh, that you're looking at at the moment, um, and it also comes in the pom-pom kits that we've got here. All you need to do is pick your favourite colours that you've got. Um, we've got a few minutes left. Um, can we see the looms? There's a smaller loom. Have you got any of the smaller looms set up? Um, I've got this one, yeah. So this is the big A. This one, that's what you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll do a few stitches on that. Um, so this one's already warped up. It's again, you can just secure the ends with some masking tape. Um, there's really great video resources on YouTube from the loom. There's so many videos. You've got about a minute and a half. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I just grab a little bit of yarn here. Again, just put it on a needle wherever my needle's gone <laughs> and it's again you can just do in and out in and out to make your nice little tabby stitch across so just use that bent tip that's why it's really great to have these bent tip needles just use that tip to pick it up just work your way around 
back and forth, over, under, over, under. And they're great little um, looms to learn on. You can experiment, change colors. You can see how I've kind of done some pattern work, that sort of thing. There we go. And then make sure you've got your little comb. And just keep going. So remember, not only can you do weaving, you can do your cords on this as well. So if you want to do those cord bracelets that we showed you, or maybe use them as handles, you can use them for those. Uh, you can use it for your tassels, you can use it for your pom-poms. There's so many things that you can use these for. And no doubt when you get them home, you'll be like, oh yeah, I could use that then. Oh, I could use that and then all my pom-poms are going to be the same size. Oh, I'll use that because then all my tassels are going to be exactly the same length every single time uh, that I get these home. £11.99 uh, for the robots or the Big A. That's them on their own. Uh, they got, um, we're using the Big A at the moment. Uh, but you can also use the robots, uh, which is the one with his arms in the air. So this is the robot. The details are for this on the screen on its own. We've only got 25 seconds left. Uh, thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure this hour. Thanks for having me. Anytime. <laughs> pop in more often. Just keep popping in. We'll give you a show. Don't worry about it. Uh, thank you very much, Katie. It's always a pleasure. Uh, start checking out your baskets if I was you as well. Don't go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for here on the wonderful world of the craft store. The shop that never ever shuts. Yes, indeed, it's four o'clock, which means it's final call. Cardio's 18th birthday, one day special. Then we're going funky, fossil, festive fun. How many Fs can we fit into that? It's going to be fantastic. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly, and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the craft store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine, which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific like our stitchery, which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. Make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. To make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows,
Oh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm so glad you could join us. If you have missed the other shows with cardio, the good news is we still have just about some stock extended delivery of the one-day special. Let me tell you, we launch a one-day special here on the craft store every 6 o'clock, every 6 o'clock, every day at 6 o'clock. And, uh, well, this one sold out in the first hour. Wow, it took us all, not by surprise, we knew it was going to be busy, but it was a huge stock, so it did kind of take us by surprise. There was a lot of scrambling behind the scenes. We managed to get another amount of stock for you that was on extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched on the 27th of September, but three quarters of that stock has gone. We've had so many sellouts. Oh, my days. We've got two lots of stamp sets for you, but we do have, the good news is, that one day special. Now, you're saving six pounds. That original price for you reduced by six pounds. And guess what? For 19 pounds and 98 pence today, you can get your one day special home. If you've never seen cardio before, Oh, where do I start? These stamps are incredible. And these are the kind of stamps that you'll get home and you'll have a look and you'll see so much detail in there. If you like little tiny books, tiny cards, tiny images and just fascinated by that. And all of these stamps together build up images and pictures that you want to put together, which means each and every time you put these stamps to paper to build and create a beautiful card like this, it can be different. You can put your own slant on there as well. These are silhouette cards, so they look beautiful with your backgrounds created, or you can add color to them as well and glitter and embossing powder to make them look extra, extra special. Now, I did say if you like tiny cards, look at that. But the detail just coming in is just incredible. I am in absolute awe of the artist. And we have lovely Wendy with us now from Cardio. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Celebrating 18 years yeah. of Cardio. It doesn't seem like five minutes. I know. I'm I can't really quick. 18 years. I How's know. it been for you over the past 18 years? It's been fast <laughs> it's been well, I don't, since we started the tv that's sort of been when we've just yeah. been sort of super busy so with thanks to the craft store it's just been fabulous did you ever think you would be this popular this busy with no. your collections that you design no and to be honest this all shocks me every day and i'm so grateful to everybody you know, Aww. who buys our products, it's, it's really appreciated. Do you know, your, your, your stamps, your imagery is just absolutely spectacular. We've been having lots and lots of conversations in between the shows about the design process, drawing, getting detail in. And also it's the quality of the stamp as well, because when you do have a look at the detail that you've got here in the stamp, some of the small, some of the tiny, tiny images, the little bird that you've got in there, the animals that you've got in there, you can see the stag as well. The detail is phenomenal because it's then reduced down to the size in the stamps. Yeah, it's taken us a number of years really to sort of perfect it. Uh, so I know how much detail to put in for the size of stamp that we're doing. Otherwise, you'll lose a lot of the details. So you've yeah. got to be quite careful what you're doing with them. I mean, you could see here with this particular set. I mean, isn't this beautiful? You look at this, you see the scene, you see the piece, and then look, it's a candle, an amazing sample. But this is what I mean by the detail, because you've got the sheep there, but coming in closer, uh, not necessarily you guys walking up to the TV, our lovely hues just coming in there to get that close-up image. You can see you've got the detail on the inside of that sheep. Even down to the, this is what amazes me, even down to the shape of the head. It's absolutely, it's absolutely accurate and perfect, isn't it's it? It's almost like a bit of a challenge for me now. How small I can actually get. Really? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Oh, I just, I, I really do think these are phenomenal. And they give that beautiful silhouette image, but Adding colour, like the top there, makes such a difference, doesn't it? Me, for me, Christmas cards, I love black and white with yeah. just a little hint of colour. Aww. Absolutely adore. It's my favourite and it's very quick to do as well. well it, it makes it glow. I mean, that, that yellow there that you can see, the ombre effect, is just sensational. It does look like you're looking out and the sun rising mm. on a wintry morning. It's just absolutely beautiful. But how easy and simple is that? Again, you can see the detail in the fence, in the tree, in the grass 
mats. You've got the detail in the snowman there. Absolutely wonderful. So something that you can create and build, not just for Christmas. You can create scenes here throughout the year, throughout the whole entire year. You can give them that frosty, wintry look, but you can also have these as a summer look as well. Um, £39.95, but take advantage of Flexibuy. Only £19.98 today will get you this full set home. Uh, don't delay. Get these into your basket. Three quarters of the extended delivery has gone. It's absolutely terrific. It's really going to make you smile when you get these home. Uh, 361 595 is your item number. Right. The other stamp set we've got available to you. The only other one we've got available to you because we sold out of everything. This one also sold out, but we've got it back on extended dispatch. Dispatching on the 27th of September. It's my anniversary, actually. Uh, just thought I'd throw that one in. Oh, I know. Uh, and here we have got another fabulous stamp set to start to create your wreaths, your flowers, your poinsettia, and your Christmas decorations. I mean, this sample here is absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? You've got the geese in the center there, and you've got all of these wonderful stamps going around the outside, building and creating. And it makes such a difference when you've got precision in the stamps because they look lifelike, they look realistic. Even in those tiny images there, you can still see the full, beautiful detail that you're going to capture using the stamps. I just think it's absolutely incredible. And when Wendy says using them in silhouette form, how gorgeous is that? You could add a pop of colour, a little bit of glitter in there, you can see that, maybe some gems as well, really brings it to life. It's mythical, it's magical, it's absolutely uh, breathtaking, they really are. £11.99, that's breathtaking in itself, because you're getting 14 stamps in this majestic... Uh, collection. 952972 is your item number. Now something that you do need for the precision of your stamps to get them in the right place are some wonderful, wonderful um, stamps uh, rods for you. Now 80% of the stock is gone of these. Wendy, I think these are brilliant because of the size. It's almost like, you know, when you draw with a pencil, you've got the long part of the pencil that you draw with. These just give you that precision, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, and if you've got sort of mild dexterity problems as well, they're very easy to handle. Yeah, do you know what? Give you that stability, don't you? Yeah. Imagine with these smaller blocks trying to get that tiny detail in. I mean, my hands would start to shake, but if I use them up here, you've got that stability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love that. These are brilliant. You've got your different sizes in here as well, so that even the tiny, tiny stamps can go on there. Not just for cardio, mm -hmm. for other stamps that you've got in your collection as well. They'll be absolutely superb. £12.99, 781058. Any questions, anything you want to send in, maybe other creations that we've brought to you from cardio if you've got them i'm sure wendy'd love to see what you've been I up would. to send the pictures in this is the final live hour in its studio at thecraftstore.com right don't delay getting that one day special in two baskets so i'll keep you updated on the stocks and make sure that you are aware if it's just about to go because we are very very busy right wendy what we're we doing okay so the very first one we're going to go right back to our basic sort of range so we're going to use um the majestics that are on there so okay. we're going to do the tattered poinsettia wreath so this this is the one we're going to make. We're going to incorporate a couple of other little bits and pieces as well. But into this, you could put little squirrels, you could put all sorts. You can keep it really, really simple to yep. start off. And then you can work your way into scenery if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to pop my glasses on before I forget, because last time I made a whole card without putting my glasses on, I wonder what <laughs> was wrong. <laughs> so we're going to start with the uh, tattered poinsettia. So I'm going to do this in um, a nice dark brown. And what we're going to do is to build this wreath, we start at the top. And then without re-inking, we're going to turn this all the way around and we're just going to over stamp it. Now, if this is the first time stamping, you know, lots of new people um, coming into the craft store and purchasing stamps and ink pads for the very first time. When we're talking about composition, for me, I might get a very faint line and just draw around where I'm going to put the wreath. Would you recommend that? Yeah, I mean, you could do that quite easily. But I think if you just follow these sort of steps, it's yeah. actually quite simple okay. and straightforward. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's whatever makes you comfortable. So I, I would just say do whatever you, you find comfortable. So we're making sure there's like a slight um, curve in this branch. So we're just making sure that that curve is curving inwards on the very first time that you stamp it because that's going to be your darkest ink. Okay. So you want to draw the eye to one that is actually curved inwards. 
just to let you know at home, we do have queues on the phone because we're very busy. That's fine. We know you're there. We're getting through your calls. They're working very hard in the call centre. They're right above our heads, actually. Uh, so they're very, very busy, but we will get to your calls. If you've got access to the internet or if you've got the app, you can buy online. That's the quickest way to check out your baskets. Okay, back to Wendy. Okay, so I'm going to leave this corner. So once, you, once you've done your four points, all we're going to do then is position the stamp in the corner there and we're just going to follow that round. So again, just don't re-ink each time. So let, it, let the ink run out on the stamp. This corner here, I'm going to leave for the time being because what I want to do is put um, a bow in there. Okay. So we're going to stamp the bow first and then we'll put a few branches over the top. Isn't that stamp lovely? It's very sort of delicate, isn't it, on the yeah. ends? It's so yeah. pretty. Okay. I mean, it's nice to use on its own, and mm -hmm. it's wonderful to use like this. Yeah, I love it. I do love it. So let's get our bow. So this bow is from the Holly Berry, which is in the, the One Day collection as well. Okay. So we're going to do um, two colours on this one. So I'm going to stick with the browns because we've got quite a lot of brown in this, and I quite like it with just a touch of the red. So I'm going to go all over the bow with the bark, and then we're going to use the pine cone. That's my dark one. And we're just going to edge this one in a little bit of the pine cone. Just again, just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then we're going to stamp this just in this corner here. Okay, so you can see we've got a couple of colours going on in there as well. So before we go any further, I'm also going to pop a little bell in. So you could actually use this for a wedding card. I mean, so far, a lot of this is so easily transformed into something that's not Christmas. Yeah, it certainly like is. Like a very pretty wedding card. I'm just mesmerised by all the samples that I'm looking at um, around. <laughs> I, th I think that's what's going to happen to you guys as well when you get the stamps home. When you stamp them out, I think you'll just go quiet for a while because they really are There's incredible. Been so <laughs> many made today, hasn't there, as yeah. well? So I'm just going to off stamp this one because I want this to go over the top of the bow. So we've got actually something running behind it. So I'm just going to let that go over the top so it still looks like we've got some branches there although they're, they're very pale and sort of in the distance so once we've done this now we've got to add in the rest of the little stamps so this is the uh, tattered poinsettia i can't get my words out so this is where the rods really come in you'll see wendy using them now yeah and this is what makes it super speedy so because you can rotate these in your hand it makes it super quick Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. So we're just rotating because you don't want all your stamps in the same direction. What a great idea. You want this to be nice and random. So just rotate as you're working. It's one of those things you start to do without actually thinking about it. Yeah. So sometimes I forget to mention it. I mean, we, we started off with the rods, and you forget how wonderful they actually are. They just they, they really do transform the way you stamp, especially with the little ones. So it, it's almost like as well... It's almost like you're drawing the card. The way you're holding the rod, it's like holding a pen. So it feels more natural in the build-up of, so, of the pattern. Yeah, Do you think, know what yeah, I mean I think by you're that? right there, yeah. It's like I said, sort of even the like minor dexterity problems, you can actually sort of, you know, use these yeah. in quite easily because of the way you can grip them. So we're just walking, around, just going around the card now and we're adding in all of the little extras here we're getting busy for the one day special um all my days uh, over three quarters now of the one day special is gone remember you can buy this in two payments you can divide the cost which means if you want to add the poinsettia set you can do that's the wintry way complete collection you've got on the screen there 65 stamps 65 stamps in total amazing value for money and if you wanted to add the other set that we've got for you, you're only paying half today because we're dividing the cost into two. So it's a great way to get the whole complete collection. So it'll only be six pounds. Um, so that'll be 19.98 plus six is 25.98. Is that right? Yeah, 25.98. That's, yeah. um, that's all it'll be today. And then another 25.98 in a month's time. That will get you everything we've got available for you on the counter. But if you just want to go for the one day special, superb. If you just want to go for your lovely poinsettia um, set, then you're more than welcome to do that. Maybe you bought the one-day special yesterday or earlier on today. But you can see how beautiful that wreath looks. And that's going to look different each and every time you stamp out, because you can put as much into it 
or as little. And I really like that idea, Wendy, of being able to put a little squirrel or a little yeah. animal in there. I mean, it's complete control, isn't it? Because yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you could put a little scene in here. So if you, like I said, if you just want to start off very, very simply with a little wreath, and then later on add in some more yeah. stamps you know you you're in complete control of it that's what i love and the creation side of it is still down to you yeah so it's, it's up to you what you put in and what you leave out now there are other wreath stamps that you can get that stamps out the wreath and that's it and that's great but it's going to be the same every time this because of the detail that you've got in all the different stamps that wendy is using it, it's building it up. It look, for me, it looks very natural, doesn't it? It looks as a reef should look, almost like a photograph of one. Yeah, and I think partly that's, um, I mean, one, down to the stamp, uh, the quality of the stamp, and two, uh, down to the down to the fact that you can rotate and you get yeah. a nice random um, look with the actual um, yeah. rod itself. So I think that does make a massive difference. So we finished the actual uh, reef shape. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what I'm going to do is add some uh, dimension around the outside. Okay. So we're just going to wander around the outside with the brown. And you're just using like a wet wipe? Yeah, this is just a dry, a dry baby wipe. This is sort of where my, my heart lies, really. Really? Very, very simple. <clears throat> Something you could do on the train or, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't sort of have a lot of things. I don't use a lot of machinery. So even when I'm embossing with stencils and things, I'm back to my old ball tool. I don't sort of you have a lot tool. of... Ball tool? Oh, ball you know, your, 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 your tool. Your old the old ball tools that you used to use. Bottle on it. Yeah. No, 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 no. But yeah, so that's, I'm, I'm quite simple. I like things to Traditional. be. Traditional? Yes, yeah. yes. I find it quite therapeutic yeah. to do things yourself. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm a bit like that. I kind of, it, it's satisfying, isn't yeah. it? When you reach out for something to do a task that you wouldn't normally use, a little bit like MacGyver when he puts together things in the TV series. Yeah, I, th I think sometimes if you've got to get a lot of stuff out, yeah. it sort of can put you off a little bit yeah. and you think, oh, no, I'll leave it. You want it to be an organic process, don't yeah. you? Yeah. So it's sort of back to basics, this one, isn't it, really? So once we've done this, I'm going to add a little bit of texture to this. Okay. And we're just going to use uh, the branch stamp that we used before. But this time, we're going to ink that up and then we're going to off stamp it first so it's a little bit paler. Okay. Because <clears throat> it's only a background, so we don't want anything too sort of dark. So if you just off stamp it and then just take that in, so you get this really pale oh, yeah. texture just around the outside. It's almost like a misty morning and you're just looking at it through the mist. Oh, yeah. Lovely. So just go all the way around the outside of the card. Yeah, that looks good. And again, it's using it in a different way. Now it looks like a pattern rather than a branch, but a yeah. branch in the wreath itself. And, and that's how you can look at all the different stamps and experiment with them and use these techniques. You will be able to watch all the shows again. They will be available on Rewind for you. So um, you can watch them again, watch the different techniques and different designs that Wendy has put together. We've still got cues on the phone. I just need to tell you that. If you have just joined us, it's great to have your company. We're dispatching on the 27th of September. Um, um, because everything's sold out. <laughs> but we managed to get you one day special back, which I'm so chuffed about. I was really looking forward to this show. Um, so we've got five minute queues on the phones. We know you're there. We will get through to you. Um, but the best way to order would be the website. It's very easy for you to do so if you've downloaded the app. And if you've not downloaded the app, you can do that right now. Um, so those are the ways to order. 952972 is your item number if you want to go for the Majestics stamp sets. And that's your tattered poinsettia and your festive fur cones. And that's the one we're using at the moment. 14 stamp in total with that one okay so we're nearly there now actually with this one <clears throat> so I just popped a little greeted in the center and then all we've got to do now is to add some dimension so I like to use uh, liquid pearls but anything that's sort of dimensional like you said before it could be gems if you want yeah whatever you sort of prefer and we're just going to work around but what happens is it really brings those flowers right out to the surface oh i love that so they just really pop with a little center oh i suppose glossy accents would do yeah do a good job well i, I know usually you like put glossy that on accents my, i do i love my yeah. again it's little things for me i like tiny little touches tiny little things that we yeah. can use just to sort of bring the detail out in in the stamps so Look what we're that. Oh, you know i just lo not. i love that uh, that <laughs> Is it an ombre effect in the background, would you say? It's or sort of, yeah, sort it is of. sort of an ombre, isn't it? It just looks amazing. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of the glossy accents on this little yeah, bell here. We've so we've got that. a lovely shiny bell. But I mean, this could easily be a swag. You could do swags with the bells on the, yeah. on the ends. There's so many different ways to use it. Oh, I love this card. But there we go. So that's oh, the one we've just, just done. just wonderful. And then there's our original. 
that we're starting off with. Do you know what? It, it's absolutely, it's just fascinating that that full, rich, beautiful image has come from a collection of stamps that you're going to get and you can do this as well. Wow, amazing. Love that, Wendy. Thank you. You're very welcome. Aren't they absolutely fabulous? Right, your one-day special. Almost 80% of the stock has gone. Right, and that's it, because this is your extended stock. It's sold out in the first hour. Now, if there's any stock left, the price is going back at 6 o'clock. It's going back up at 6 o'clock. That's what happens on a one-day special. It's a 24-hour deal. So you're saving £6. Do you know what? I wouldn't even I wouldn't even cons I wouldn't even look at that saving. I'd just buy them at the regular price if it was me because they are absolutely incredible. And it was a great price at 45.95, but we're taking six pounds off for you and dividing the cost into two. It makes it ultra affordable. When you look at your budget, and we do, we're always looking at our budget and things like that. So 1998, we will wait for your next payment. We will dispatch these. See, I'm part of cardio now, I'm saying we. Uh, <laughs> we will dispatch these on the 20 7th of September. Oh, the different kind of styles that you can build and create. That's what we love. You've got dogs, you've got stags, you've got squirrels in there, you've got your different animals, you've got your sheep as well. You can bring them together. I mean, look at that. You've got a little squirrel out there, beautiful background, and then the stag in the silhouette, using some of the stamps around the outside just to draw your eye in, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, another one in that, oh my days, look at this. Is that one of your stamps there, that little bird? Yes. <gasps> yeah, this is Laura's take on, on the stamps, which I think is absolutely wow. amazing. It looks like a painting. That is just incredible. Talking about painting, let me grab the sample that's at the front. This one, they all blow me away. But the one I'm about to, I mean that, look at that. But look at this one, are you ready? I mean, just come on. I want to put my wellies on and walk right over there. It's just oh so stunning, isn't it? Oh, my day. Now, you're probably thinking, right, that's a drawing, that's an image. No, that's been made up from the stamps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's wow. an, like I said, one that Laura's done, and they're just phenomenal. Wow. And then look at this one here. Oh, I love that. I love that image with the birds. I could just look at that all day. I What's could look nice at that. about that is, as well, it just shows that you don't need to do anything too complicated. No. It's very, very don't. simple and very effective. That's because the stamps are very effective, aren't they? And they're fabulous. Let me just push that over there for you. Isn't that lovely? I love the colours in that. Look at the squirrel. Yeah. Do you know what? When you send cards like this, what you can do, you can, you can hide things in the foliage. Yes. Because you've got those lovely ditzy um, birds and the animals. You could hide things in there and it could almost be um, that you send that note so someone's got to find everything in the image. In fact, <laughs> Wouldn't this be really cool if you've got a really large A3 piece of card and you stamped out your image, but you hid all of those little animals you could and keep then you give it to kids. somebody. You could keep your kids occupied yeah. for ages. You've got to find all the animals. You keep me occupied. I'd I'd <laughs> Even if I stamped it out myself, I'd still go back and try and find the animals. I'd love it. I'd absolutely love it. It's a wonderful collection. Please get yours before it goes. 361-595 is your item number. 39.95 is your price. Right. Right, the other set that we've got available for you that's also available on extended dispatching on the 27th of September uh, are your Majestics, but 30% of the stock has gone. This is the stamp set that we were using to create the wreath that Wendy's just put together there. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, imagine the wreaths, imagine the designs that you could put together. Maybe you're putting a border around something. If you've got uh, fabric ink as well, wow, you could make your own fabric patterns. But you could also stitch into them as well. So you could stamp these onto your calico or onto your Ada or, or whatever uh, fabric you're using. And you could actually do some embroidery. That I think that would be absolutely superb with the stamps. But wonderful beautiful images great inspirational cards here 11.99 gets you 14 stamps in total 952 972 is your item number now in order to place all of the stamps precisely onto your cards your decorations and your compositions we've got some rods for you um, now these have been very busy over 80 percent of the stock has gone Oh, I hope there's some stock left at the end of the show because I really want to get these. Um, these are brilliant. They really are. And they're very stylish as well. They 
certainly are. So your stamps, just a deer. You don't need to stick them on. You don't need to use any glue if you're new to stamping, of course. I don't want to tell you how to suck eggs if you're already stamped. But you just simply pop your stamp onto there in the ink and then it's done. But look at the precision that you've got. And as Wendy said, you can start turning your stamps really, really effectively and easily, especially if they're leaves and flowers as well. I think that's a great idea. Never thought about that before. But yeah, it's really easy to do. And you can see exactly where you're putting those stamps. So you've got your four rods there, £12.99, 781-058 is your item number. If you're going for your one day special, this is divisible into two payments. That means it's going to be um, £6.50 today and then £6.50 in a month's time. That's an absolute bargain and a great investment. You won't regret that. 781-058, right back to Wendy. Okay, so we're gonna do a nice sort of silhouette with a little pop of color. So we're going to do with our little snowman card. So this is the one that we're going to do. Oh, wow. Here, yeah. You can see the sparkle in oh, there or not. There. Oh, that's wonderful. So, so you've got the squirrel. Some, yeah, you've got the squirrel. The you've got two squirrels, the a little goose. There's a, the, little, the little sheep in the background there that you oh, might like. Oh, there's the sheep. Oh, there's the Just sheep. Just right in the background. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they're really, really tiny. <laughs> oh, wow. And is that a little... <laughs> how, low, how small can you go? <laughs> is that another squirrel at the, at the base, like a little field mouse? I can't see where I'm looking. Um, the bottom scarf, bottom snowman. Uh, it's a tiny little squirrel. So you've got oh, a little squirrel there and a little squirrel on his head there. I just love, and I don't know if you can see there, we've got little footprints as well. Oh, yeah. Just here. It's quite pale because you don't want them too dark, the footprints. So is that don't a stamp or is that something? Yes, it's a stamp in, inside no. there. So you've got geese prints, you've got um, you've... reindeer, you've got oh, footprints. Amazing. amazing. So there's, there's lots and lots and lots of different ways to sort of use them all. Oh. So we're going to start with this one. So let's get our snowman in first. Okay. So I've put a little piece of paper there because I want to create a sort of snowy hill that we've got there. Okay. So we're going to ink him up. Now, is this drawn after some snowman you used to make when you were a child? Or still do? Not really, do? not really. They just all seem to end up with their own little character. Yeah. So this little snowman, the la I think the last one we did was looking up. So yeah. this one's looking down. Aww. So he's looking down at the little animals that have come to visit him. Oh, oh. It is oh, really cute, that. isn't it? Cute idea. So we'll pop him in about here. I'm going to leave some of the base of the snowman on. You could take this down lower if you want to. And then we're going to mask him out. And we don't really need to. We could probably avoid doing that. But actually, I just want to make sure that we don't sort of put anything, any colour over the top. It just makes life a bit easier. Oh. So again, I don't like to fiddle. So I've, I've actually cut the snowman out, but we haven't cut his arms out here okay. either. So we just, because really the black anyway, so we don't really need to worry too much about that. So I'm just gonna line this up. So when you, when you make a mask, you want to make sure that the actual mask is slightly smaller. Oh, why is so that? It's just so, if it was the same size or slightly bigger, obviously when you ink over the top, you're going to get like a white halo effect ah. around the outside. So you just need to sort of make allowances for the thickness of the paper and just make sure you cut it that little bit Good smaller. Idea. So I always say take off um, some of the black line yeah. on your mask and that Good way tip. you know it's going to be absolutely fine. So now what we're going to do is put our little scenery in the background. So I'm going to take this lovely tree. I love this one. I'm going to put this oh, that, on here. Oh, yeah. That's the one I with the little this. fence and the little tree. That yeah. is lovely. So you can just stamp this on its own. You don't need to sort of put any sort of mask at the bottom of this one. But again, imagine this in greens and browns. Yeah. 85% of the one day special has now gone and we are around about halfway through the final show. The price will be going back up at six o'clock. I don't think it's going to get to six o'clock stocks wise because 85% of the stock has now gone. It's an absolutely beautiful collection. We're showing you more and more as we go through the demos. Uh, 1998 today. If you have just joined us, that's your first payment and another payment in a month's time. So there's our first one down there. I just absolutely love that one. I like that. There's just something about it that's really pretty. So on this side, what I'm going to do is just create a little mask. So we're going to pop this about here. So it's sort of a continuation of this line here, okay. this tree line. And then we're going to pop on these little... I've just realised how much I say pop. I'm going to count them. Pop, pop. pop. It seems to be my favourite word. Pop this, pop this. <laughs> Do you know what? With, with, with all... Sometimes... <laughs> We're getting picked up for our popping words. 
Um, but we've all got them. We've all got them. It's, it's like it's like a comfort word. It's like a marmite or a jam marmalade. We call it a marmalade. It's the go-to word. I don't think it'd be funny if we actually wound it and saw every oh, time. Just, pop, pop, pop. That's all I seem to say. Oh, you, you're giving me something to do tonight when I get home, aren't you, Wendy? It'd be fun to know. I'm actually already know. working on a Julia Watts oh, one. I might add. That's, it would be funny. That's that's in the making, but I shall start to do them for everyone else. <sighs> Honestly. It's one of those things. It's nothing wrong with it at all. I've drawn everybody's attention to it now as well, haven't I? <laughs> I don't say it now for the rest it's of the keep popping for the rest out of the, every time yeah, you for say the rest it. of the afternoon, that's it. Oh look at that snow. Isn't it sad when snowmen melt? I or know. I always think that when they've melted, that's why the snowdrops come up because they're all, that's what they come back well, as. Well there's some little snowdrops in this set as well. <laughs> I mean I know they sort of don't come up at Christmas really but yeah. actually they're so pretty. They I are. just I love snowdrops. Yeah snowdrops and crocuses are, are melted snow people. Oh, <laughs> Sounds awful, I think when I was a kid it? I'm sure I put a little snowman in the freezer you know. <laughs> you yeah because I didn't want to I don't want you to keep it. <laughs> put the snowman in the freezer. <laughs> it's only a little one. Oh, I, in the you freezer. know what? That's a great idea. Think about it in summer then can't you? Yeah. <laughs> Still there to put them out every winter. Oh, I'm so going to do that this winter. <laughs> going to build a little snowman and put it in the freezer. And it's, you know when the kids make things like that? I mean, one year my kids made some little, like three or four little snowmen and I really wanted to put them in the freezer. I'd never have room for anything else, but oh. I didn't. But we did, did take pictures. Pictures are a bit easier. Do you know what? We could make a lot of money. We could actually sell snowman, snowman freezers. <laughs> See the idea. What's the word cryogenic, is it? Like freezing <laughs> elements? Wow. <laughs> Why Bring not? It back in a few years' time. I was thinking oh, of so ready man. That's an age to tell. <laughs> so ready made snowman. <laughs> Oh, see, once you're in retail, that's it, isn't it? Oh dear, yeah. Start thinking of all sorts of things. Oh, you could. Uh, we mm. are, again, we're getting busy. Uh, please do check out your baskets. If it's in your basket and you're watching the demonstrations, it's wonderful, isn't it? Because you, you get mesmerised, you really do. And you're probably thinking, shut up, Janice, I just want to watch. I'm going to let you watch. You can keep watching. Just turn the sound down. Um, but don't turn the sound down, because I do need to tell you something important. If you leave something in your basket for 10 minutes, someone else can come and get it off you. We don't want that to happen. So if you've not checked out your baskets, just one click away, just check it out. That's it, you're all sorted, and then you can continue to enjoy the show. I know if I shut up, you'll enjoy it more. I'll do that now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've just finished that sky off there now. So now actually we can take this little uh, snowman off. And we've put a little shade in around him as well. Okay. So he's going to be nice and clean underneath there like that. That's amazing. Who would have thought, and I will shut up, don't worry. <laughs> Who would have thought just using grey in the sky could look so I just, I love silhouette. Just, just all black. Sometimes with just a little bit of colour is absolutely beautiful. So we're going to put a little bit more interest in. So I'll put a few little hills in here as well before we add anything else. I'm actually looking forward to winter now, I'm seeing this. <laughs> it's really starting to get cold, hasn't it, now? Yeah, even those dark, shadowless days, I think I'm yeah. going to look forward to them. So, a few little extra hills, just to give it a little bit more dimension yeah. before we start to add in our little animals. Do you know one of the things I really like about these stamps is, if you put any little... So, there, I put a little mark. Yeah. There's so many ways to sort of cover them up if you want yeah. to, if you're bothered. Okay, so let's get our little animals in now. So let's find my goose and get him in. Goosey gander. And I think I've left, yeah, I have, I've left the little footprints out, so I'll show you. Whether they'll show up, because like I said, they're quite pale. Yeah. But what we can see, we'll see what we get. So I'm going to pop him. Oh, see, I've done it again, pop. Put, we're going to put him here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking of that film with Norman Wisdom, what's good for the goose is also good for the gander. Do you yeah. remember that? I love that film. Okay. And then what we'll do is put our little squirrels in as well. And do you know what I've missed after all that? The little sheep in the background, so we'll put him oh. in as well. I think that sheep is amazing. The detail is just incredible. Let's see where we can go, actually. Not really. Oh, he'll have to go in the bushes. So he's right back there. Oh, look. He is quite cute. I am going to get myself a sheep one of oh, these days. Oh, he's amazing. It could, I think that might be my favourite stuff. You could always turn him into a ram if you've got like a micro... Yeah, little horns. Yeah. Could, yeah. 
Give them little horns. Little ram on the horizon. Oh, so there's one. And then the little squirrel, I like to sit him on his head. He's a nosy one, this one. Yeah, he's looking for his nuts that he's buried. <laughs> Have you ever seen squirrels when they bury their nuts? Their elbows stick out <laughs> side to side. It reminded me of a funny story, but I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh, have you? Can you not tell it on... Is it not for a Probably not, no. 4, 4.30 in the afternoon story? Well, I don't want to just say something that I shouldn't, so... Oh, OK. But it's about squirrels and nuts? Yeah. OK. My husband will be cringing now. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. So we're just going to start with some of these berries. So, again, putting something in the foreground here. Yeah. And we've covered up that little mistake that I did oh, there. See, so that's perfect. gone. Perfect. So it just gives it a little bit more dimension, having something sort of right in that foreground there. I'm and then let me some winter boots this weekend. That's what it's done for me, this. Yeah, I can't wait I love now. winter boots. So here's our little geese prints. Now, again, like I said, it is quite pale. So yeah. whether you're actually going to be able is to that, see it. That's pale because of the ink you're using. If yeah, you use I don't, yeah ink, just because I don't want it too yeah. dark because it's footprints. It's really just sort of a shadow in the snow. Yeah. So we don't want it too dark. So let's get some colour into this now. Now, all the ink pads that Wendy is using, we, they're Soutonico and we have them available. They're all on the website. Uh, they're a great little size as well for the little ditzy stamps, aren't they? Now, you can shop by brand on the website if you want to head there. Um, you've been using... Which ones these have you been are, using these to are create? These are Versacolor. Oh, they're Versacolor, yeah? Yeah, so they're not the Versacraft. These right. are the Versacolor. But they do look quite the similar. I think they do. Yes. Okay. So just giving our little snowman a little bit of colour there. So a little pop of colour. And then with the pro markers, I mean, again, these are quite old school now, aren't they? But we can go back and add a little bit of shadow to that as well. I can actually feel that it. scene. I can, yeah. I'm, I'm there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I can actually, I can feel the cold. And it feels good, <laughs> but I can feel it. Uh, right, so we're going to put some glitter in here as well. So, with the snowman, we're just going to sort of, I'm going to scribble, I'm going to be a bit messier than I would normally be, because we just want to sort of speed it up a little bit, don't we? So, we'll just sort of give him a little scribble of glue. But you're right, it is a nice sort of cold... Isn't it nice to know that the snowman's got friends? You know, when you yeah. leave him and you run away and all the kids have gone, <laughs> they're, they're not sledging down the hill anymore, and, you know, he was playing with them all, and now they've all gone, and it's night time, and he's still got his friends. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I am getting you know, emotional. I'm me. getting emotional about a, about a snowman. This is the sort of thing I do. I think it's spending oh, too it. much time designing stamps. I sort of have these little stories going round in my head, so <laughs> I'm sort of right there with you. I just think that's absolutely fantastic. Giving that as a Christmas card to somebody, they won't throw that away. They'll keep that forever. You can They'll make frame little, it. little frames that yeah. are beautiful to give, because sometimes I'll make frames for people instead of cards, because then yeah. they bring them out every year. Yeah. And it's nice to have things on the wall at Christmas time that make it look wintry and Christmassy. I think so. So I'm just going to finish off just by edging the bottom of this, just to give it a little bit more uh, colour at the bottom. So again, yeah. we're just using all black. So literally the only colour we've used on here is the reds for the scarf, and that is it, apart from the little bit of grey. And we've got this lovely, cold-looking, Christmassy. I just think that is absolutely fantastic. And there absolutely we go. Absolutely superb. Oh my days. Love that. Love that. Right, in order to recreate that, to make that, of course you can watch this show again online, but you need the stamps, don't you? Let's talk about the one day special because all of those stamps were in the one day special. We are approaching limited stock for the second time. We sold out in the first hour when this was launched. We managed to get some more back on extended delivery. And we are now approaching limited stock, and then that's it. £39.95 will be divided into two payments for you. You've got your £6 saving on there, which is great. £19.98 today, and we'll send everything out on the 27th of September because it's on extended delivery. It's well worth waiting for. It's only, what, next week or so, isn't it? Um, it's a superb price. When you have a look at all the different stamps that you've got in there, and I'll show you lots of different samples. I know we've got another demonstration coming up, and the demonstrations are absolutely fascinating. Here's a variation on the theme of the card that was just made there. Um, this is my favourite one. Look at the doggy. 
Look at the doggy. Little coat on there. Added a bit of colour. There's a sheep in the background. Um, I just think it's wonderful. I really, really do. Scenes like this just bring back memories of going sledging, um, you know, when I was a kid, even actually a couple of years ago. It, it just hurts more now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but all those little stamps as well that you can build those scenes, each one is going to be different every single time you put that together. And that's the beauty of using a collection of stamps like this. Now you've got the snowman there. You've got, oh, look at the dog and the cat playing the squirrel on the top um look, the dog's trying to get the squirrel i think and then you've got that lovely scenery in the background that's been built and made and created using the stamps and then you've got these beautiful scenes that you can put together 361595 is your item number go for your one day special don't miss out it's a superb deal and you can make and create professional looking cards time and time again 361595 is your item number right we've got another set of stamps for you on the show that did sell out but we've got them back on extended delivery also dispatching on the 27th of september and half the stock has gone we saw a demonstration with this at the start of the show building a wreath absolutely beautiful and these are going to be ideal for you for doing just that and also adding lots of detail to your cards not just making wreaths but adding floral designs to your one day special if you want to go for that only £11.99 and the great thing is with these additional stamps in your basket with your one day special it will only be £5.50, £6.50, no £6, sorry, £6 in your basket today and then £6 in a month's time if you're going to divide the cost into two payments. Aren't they fabulous? We've got a whole gallery behind us as well, which are just adorable for inspiration. Five, uh, 952972 is your item number, 1199. Now, we've been very, very busy for the rods. We are approaching limited stock. These are brilliant. What an opportunity and what a price to get these at. You've got four. You've got the different sizes. So you've even got the tiny, tiny one, which I believe is 12 mil. 12 mil? Yeah, that's 12 right. mil. Yes, so that's your 12, that's your 20, that's your 25, and then you've got your 30 mil shorty. I sometimes refer to myself like that. <laughs> A 30 mil shorty. They are perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just what you've been waiting for. 781058 is your item number. Uh, if not for yourself, a great Christmas gift. Right, let's head back to Wendy for another demo. Okay, so we're going to do something a bit different. So okay. we're going to do um, we're going to do a take on the, the little card with the water in that Laura's done. Okay. So thank you very much, Laura. So this is the one we're going to do this time. So this is, again, just using um, the little pigment inks. Oh, wow. It's, oh, it's really, really pretty, and it's very, very easy to do. Oh, that's gorgeous. So, I started, and I've just sort of taped off the bottom of my card because okay. I'm just going to leave the bottom white because I do like some white space on cards as well. And I've used uh, the circle from one of the stencils that, that sold out previously, but you could use a bit of paper. It doesn't really yeah. matter. You don't have to have the, the stencil for that. Uh, and then I'm going to start to add some colour on here as well. So I've taken it, so my water is going to be underneath, and I've just taken a horizon line, and we're going to colour above that now. So again, just the baby wipe over your finger. I've put a little bit of colour under this moon as well before we've started. So it will be sort of a paler blue underneath there. And we're just adding a little bit more colour around the edge. I'm just holding on to this because sometimes the glue isn't strong enough to sort of take the, the welly that you give it sometimes. Now, can we sell the cards we make yes. from your stamp? Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, as long as they're not digitally reproduced, it's yes. absolutely fine. Yeah, as many as you like. So just working around the top of the card now to add the sky colour. So this is quite a dusky looking colour, which I really like. These are two of my favourite colours, these, the uh, Atlantic and the Peony together. It's just beautiful. They are nice, aren't they? Yeah. So we'll do the sky a little bit darker than the water. So we've got the reflection of the, of the moon on the water. So underneath this section here, I'm going to leave white. Oh, there'll be very sparing colour underneath there because we want the reflection of that moon on the water. So easy how you're putting this colour on. It is, and it's like I said, if, you, if you're sort of a bit unsure about distress inks and things like that at the moment, then these are just great, because yeah. they're, they're very controllable. And if you're only doing sort of small areas, 
which a lot of the time is what I tend to do. If you're not covering a whole card, yeah. these are perfectly fine for that. So let's go with a bit of peony on the top. You can see when these two colours go together, it just gives you that lovely sort of dusk look. Oh, it's lovely. I always think it's difficult to do skies, but when you see a technique like this, it just brings it all together, doesn't it? Yeah. And like I said, it's not really difficult. I mean, there's a, you need to put a, quite a bit of pressure, so I'm not yeah. sort of tickling it. It's quite a lot of pressure that we're putting on there, but... Makes it really pop, I it? think so. I think it's worth it. So, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of uh, texture into that sky as well. So, let's just use a little bit of ripped paper. So we can have some sort of cloud effect in there. So underneath that, like I said, we've put a little bit of shading on there already. So I'm just going to make sure we've rubbed off any of that glue that's sitting underneath. And then we're just going to do some little lines that are going to float, little wispy sort okay. of clouds that can sort of float across the top of this little bit of the moon as well. So again, you don't want too much colour. I'm just going to rub that over the top like that. Can you see you've got these lovely little... Ah, oh, look. I see them. So just across the top. Try and use a little, a different part of the paper every time so it's not going to look the same. What a great idea. It just gives you that little bit of texture. In that sky there, like that. That looks brilliant. And then the water is pretty much the same sort of thing. So I'm just going to actually just put a little bit more colour on that bottom before we take that paper away. Okay. So we've got a nice horizon line there. And then once we've done that, we can start to create our water. So you can see we've got this mast out here with a little bit of tape in case anybody's wondering what that is. It'll all become clear. Is that in a like minute. Um, masking tape or yeah, it's just like washi um, tape? It's. Um, Removable tape, like scotch yeah, tape. Yeah, it's just a really low tack that. tape. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here now is start to add some little waves. So I'm just going to blend that so it's not too too white. And then the sort of same technique that we did here, I've literally just gone and made a really rough edge with my scissors. Yeah. So just cut in and out like that yeah. until you've got a sort of wave type shape. And then I'm just going to put that there. I'm leaving a little area for the moon because I want that to be paler. We're just going to go along and we're just going to start to add some of these and then what we'll do is just go over it with a little bit more colour in a minute. So you can see how we're starting to get these little waves. So clever. We've got cues on the phones again just to let you know if you are sitting there and the phone's ringing do bear with us. We know you're there. We will get to your calls. If you're on the website, check out your baskets. Make sure that you click to check on out. And then you've got yours on the way to you on the 27th of September. I don't know if these are ever going to come back. So in, certainly in this configuration at this fabulous price, 65 stamps in total. Imagine the different possibilities, the different configurations, the different ways that you can compose and compile your different designs each and every time. Whether it's just a tiny stamp, if you're given a gift tag that matches your wrapping paper, that matches a gift bag, that matches a card that you're putting together, a Christmas card, a birthday card, a wedding invitation, something for the wall in your home, maybe something for fabric, maybe something you want to stick together but you want the outline of the stamp to do that it's an incredible set and there's something in here for everyone the snowmen the animals the background the foliage and I know that these will go with other stamps that you've got in your collection as well 361595 is your item number two payments are 19 pounds and 98 pence give us a call 0330175552 we have queues those so the best way to order would be the website that's the craftstore.com very easy to do so. Head to the website if you've got the app, download the app. And if you're watching us on the app at the moment, the one-day special details should be just underneath. All you have to do is select that and then you can check out your baskets. Okay, so we've done the little uh, bit of water there and I've left it paler underneath where the moon is there. So if we want to, we can highlight that with a white pen later. Yeah. So ink up your, your little ledge with the tree on really, really I like well. This stamp. I love this. There's so many uses for it, aren't there? Mm. I'm just going to get some of that off It could also there. be like um, in the forest, not not over the sea. Yeah. But you know, you get these ledges Definitely, sometimes yeah. in the forest and then, and then you've got like a burrow 
Oops. and you've got the ridges over where the trees met once, but it's been washed away. That yeah. kind of look with the fairies and the trolls living yeah. underneath. <laughs> well, there's little ferns on this ledge as well. Is that? You look at it. If, yeah, if you were doing it in browns and greens, you've got little ferns oh. on there as well. So this has gone straight sort of over the moon yep. as well. So again, it'll just give it a little bit more sort of three dimension. Wow. So there's our little Look sea line. as well. Yeah, it's got roots growing through. And then what you've got are the added little roots here that we can put on. So actually, before we do that, I'll take this tape off before. So I'm going to have some roots hanging out from underneath the little frame that we've created. It could also be the an bottom. upside down tree because the roots could be the foliage. Like Definitely. A summer tree. I use them dangling down here. Yeah, they, yeah. they can be roots for flowers, like yeah. you did on the last collection. Yeah. They're just they're really versatile. So I'm just going to sort of go along this tape and make sure we've got a nice crisp line there as well. I think on all the samples that we've been looking at, the use of white in the designs has just set off the stamps and the designs so perfectly. Yeah, because they're quite a lot of them are quite simple, so you do sort of want some white on there, don't yeah. you? This is what I mean about the ledge in the forest. I've just picked up a sample here showing that. This one is... I don't know who's done this one. Oh, that's mine. Yeah, oh, that is one. it yours? This is showing off. The, this is what I mean by the ledge in the forest. It doesn't have to be water underneath. You know, you could have foliage underneath here, and it could be like the entrance to a cave or something like that. Isn't that fabulous, those two together? Wonderful. So we've got some tiny, tiny birds. Oh, I don't, I don't think we could have dared go any smaller than this. <laughs> they're very tiny, yes, but they're very cute, so they're great for the little tree. <gasps> so these are just going to go in the top just like that oh, and then you've got a couple facing the other way as well oh that is amazing i'm gonna to have to get a close-up look of one of these i'll try and find one of the one with the birds on it that's amazing it's They're not just the shape so... of a bird it is an actual bird do you know what i mean by that wendy <laughs> yeah it does actually look like a bird doesn't it it does wow oh i've got one here i can almost oh, i cannot no you cannot you can almost see, like, like if it's a robin, it's got like a little lighter area where the breast is. The yeah. detail. So you can pick oh. up the, the detail with a little pen or... I don't, I don't know how close we can get into that. I don't know. We'll see if we can come in a little closer. I'll hold it as steady as I can. So you can see just... Even there, you're coming in further. Now you're seeing more detail. I'm going to try not to breathe now. Oh, look at that. That's amazing and an amazing zoom in. Oh, Hugh, amazing. That's me shaking, not Hugh. That was me shaking because you were so close. That's awesome. That is awesome. And shows you the quality, not only of the designer, but I can't believe you've got a stamp to be that small with that much detail in. I, I, <laughs> I I'm not even going to ask how you do it, because it's magic. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. So what we've done here now as well, we've put the little root system on. So we've got the roots going through the actual um, cliff edge, and then we've got the added extra little roots that we've sort of taken outside oh. of this frame. So it looks like the, the dangling outside of the could picture be, onto could the be card. Articles. Yeah, could yeah. be, yeah. Look at that deer sitting on the air. Oh, what's he thinking? <laughs> I wonder... <laughs> I think he's waiting for Father Christmas, or he's just had a busy rutting season, so he's just <laughs> having a rest. <laughs> Chill out. Oh dear. All the does. And you've They're also in, the, in this little set, you've got some little tiny stars as well. Oh. So if you wanted to stamp little stars in white and then emboss them and put glitter on them, you could do that as yeah. well. So this is just sort of a different take on a little Christmas card, isn't it, really? I like how you've left the line for the white, but you've taken the actual stamps over the white. Yeah. I really like that. It's like the picture's sort of yeah. escaping, isn't it, into your card. Oh, that's brilliant. And you could always, before you put your cards together, you could always get a piece of copying paper and put the composition together. Oh, yeah. So that you've got an idea of how it's going to look. Just I mean, I always do that anyway. Do you? Yeah, do I always that sort of have a plan. Oh, you, it, yeah. you know, I didn't mean to. Do no, you? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay, and there we go. 
So this one, actually, let me just put some little stars on there first if I've got them out. Have I left them out? Have I? No, no. No, so we won't. So I'll show you the ones with the star on as yeah. well. So there's the one we've just done. And on the one oh, on wow. your left, it's got the little stars on there as well. That is just gorgeous. That is just gorgeous. I don't know whether we can get some of these samples behind, actually, because you might not have seen these. Um, they're absolutely incredible. And the different colours that have been used on them, you know, if you're batch making or you want to make a collection to sell or you want to make a collection just to give out at Christmas time, you've got the snowman here, but with different coloured backgrounds, just a plain background, for example. Love the shape of the bell with the snowman in there. My favourite on here, if I was to pick and choose, I think this one at the top, um, this one here, that's my favourite because I love the colours that have been used. I love that sort of lens drawing, like yeah. the vignette. Yes. That is just incredible. Incredible. And the one next to it as well, that's one of my favourites. Um, oh, my days. These are just absolutely beautiful. And I know, Wendy, that these will also work with other stamps that people have got in their collections. Yeah, definitely. Whether it be woodland stamps, whether it be Christmas stamps, whether it be uh, foliage stamps, all the stamps that you've got at home with these in addition to will build and create some amazing designs and if you're really into your tiny tiny cars these are so sweet uh, you can make them this hasn't been stamped out and then reduced this is the stamps yeah. that are in the collection <laughs> how amazing is that and you can see how small that is because there's my hand and I don't have really big hands I've got sausage fingers but I don't have big hands <laughs> that's another story for another day um, and then you've got those wonderful images. Oh, oh, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? So cute, isn't it? It really is. So that could be a little itty tiny card. It could be a decoration for a Christmas tree. It could be an invitation if you want it to be as well. So you've got your chance to make those smaller cards and the larger cards as well. Do check out your baskets. We've got 45 seconds left of the show. Wendy, I want to say a huge thank you. Your oh, first one day special. Much. Congratulations on your 18th birthday as thank well. Thank you. Thank and you. let's hope we have another one day special. See you very <laughs> soon. Five another 18. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope so. And I hope I'm still around to see it. Wendy, thank you so much. Thank you. It's You've been lovely. Really thank hard. You. Very thank inspirational. You. Do check out your baskets. Uh, the price for the one day special will be going back up at six o'clock when we have a brand new one day special launching. It's a delightful collection. You're going to be amazed at the detail when you get this home. 39.95. Those are your details. You can continue to buy after the hour. Thanks, Wendy. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. We'll Thanks see everyone. you guys after the break. Right, coming up next, we've got funky fossil festive fun. Then we've got perfect paper crafting one day special launching at six. And then we've got a wonderful woolly hour for you. Hi, I'm Emma. I work with Cricket to help you get the best out of your machines. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. I love Cricut because it allows me to take craft projects I have in my head and make them a reality. You can customise and personalise your paper craft projects, your home decor, clothing. You can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood, fabrics. The possibilities are endless. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricket. So make sure you don't miss the Cricket shows. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute to classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you.
William Morris is best known as the 19th century's most celebrated designer and a key figure in the arts and crafts movement. I will be bringing you a wide selection of printed fabrics from the archives of William Morris at fantastic prices. Yes, indeed. Good afternoon slash early evening, depending on where it's getting dark or early now, isn't it? Getting darker early. I closed the blinds last night. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. I closed them. Oh, I have to have the light on. Well, I walk around with a candle. Anyway, by the way, uh, we are <laughs> talking this hour. I'm like Ebenezer Scrooge. So with Ebenezer Scrooge uh, with a Willy Willy Winky hat on. Talking about Willy Willy Winky hats. We're talking gnomes this hour. Seamless link. Um, seamless link. Uh, we are talking brand new from Funky Fossil. We've got gnomes. We've got autumn uh, on the show as well. I've got pick and mix on stencils. Shop ahead of me on the website. And we've worked out this is the first time we've actually been in the same room together. Yes, it is the lovely. Uh, Sarah, how are you, love? I'm very well, my dear. Thank you. Because last time we got together, we were by Skype. Exactly. The yes. time before that, I was on my own. Yeah. Yeah, so I thought I'd do you a favour and actually well, come along. In well, like that. they sort of time. grabbed you in step by step. Yes, it, it, was, it was an induction process, really. <laughs> uh, this is, and you were telling us in the meeting earlier, this is, they're all brand new. They've only been launched yes. on your website a few days yes, ago. So absolutely. this is the TV exclusive that we're looking at now as well. So these have not been seen before in the TV world. And you are getting so much for your yes. money yeah. in this first little set. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like um, putting together bundles that really give you as much as I can possibly to get started and, you know, kind of be inspired by the stamps and then the MDF and the stencil with the gnomes uh, particularly. It just It's just fun. It just enables you to take your designs off the page and use MDF as well as, obviously, cards and uh, paper crafting. I adore them. Because it is it. There's something in here for everyone. There really is. So you've seen the stamps, which are absolutely to gorgeous. die for. They are absolutely gorgeous. I'm a massive fan of gnomes anyway, especially coming up to this sort of season, uh, the Christmas season. But then you can sort of use them all year round, especially these ones as well. Uh, because yes, they've got stars and baubles, but you could have them as elaborate earrings if you wanted to. Mm. And the ones with the presents could be a uh, birthday. Yeah. So you get your stamps. You're also getting your stencil as well. So you get that beautiful stocking uh, that's in there. I'll show you some finished samples in a minute. And then you also get the corresponding uh, stencils that will go over the top of the stocking. But then again, you could also use them on their own Absolutely. if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. which is remarkable. Then from all of that, not only do you get the stencil, remember you're also getting the masks as well. Uh, so you can start doing your masks, obviously turn it around because then it goes the right way. Uh, but you could go the other way if you wanted to because you also get the top as well. You could, you, just have it as a, you could just use those on the front of a card, on the front of a mantelpiece and do it that way if you wanted to. So you are getting the masks included. And on top of all that, you are getting a bumper stash of MDF. So you're getting all these little pieces and you think, well, what do they all create? Well, when you put them together, you are going to get three full little gnomes that you see here. So you're getting three times what's on this board to make three notes. So it's 50 pieces in total of your MDF is what you're getting, plus your stamps, plus your stencils included as well, for £21.99. And um, We have, though, a slight problem that we didn't realise before the start of the show. A third of the stock has already gone. You want to see little Sarah's face then? She was like, ah, oh, I thought we covered everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a third of the stock. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, a third of the stock has already gone. It is flying out the door. I'm hearing here as well. I can see why. I really, really can. You imagine these on your mantelpiece, on that sideboard yeah. that you've got there. These will be pulled out every single year. Oh. They, are, they are totally addictive. I'm very simple, but they are absolutely addictive. My house is going to be overrun with gnomes this year. I love them. They're just great. They're, because there's a solid body and then it, you build everything else up on top of it. Again, as you said with the stamps, they don't need to be for Christmas specifically, or you can personalise them to, to somebody that you know. Or I was thinking even at Christmas and the Christmas table, you could even stamp people's names on the beards yeah, and things. You know, I was just, thinking, um, if you've got a large vase that you normally put flowers in over the Christmas time, put fake snow in the bottom and then put your gnomes into that Aww. with a few lights around. It's yes. what could safely link up with baubles. If you've got lanterns, 
lanterns and things. But remember, these are the stamps that we're looking at now, but we're talking about your MDF. Things like the beard, if you've got faux fur and stuff like that, you could stick your faux fur on to give them that realistic look. If you've got those old fluffy socks and you've only got one of them, you know, like uh, sleep socks that you can get, you could start cutting yeah. them up. And if you're thinking, well, I can't know, how do I pay for these? You don't need to. Long as you've got all the shapes in there, and look at what you can do with all these beautiful gnomes on the front of cards. They are absolutely stunning. They and really, really are. All of them look shop bought. And um, th this set is the first stamp set ever that Charlotte um, has designed. So she, she's absolutely lovely. She's a librarian from Norway. Oh. And um, she has not designed anything before um, and sent me these illustrations. And I was like, these are just the perfect stamps. A librarian from Norway. I know. She's absolutely lovely. So she's hand drawn all of these and they're beautiful. Oh, I, so love that. I like the little backstory yeah, of a librarian. Just... <laughs> I like that. 50% uh, of the stock now is already gone here. 21 pounds and 99 pence. Save me just a little bit because we've got a nine o'clock show as well. Uh, 595766 is your item number. Uh, for this one. Very busy. 50% of the stock has already gone. I think this is going to be busy as well. We're moving on to the hedgehogs is what we're looking at for this hog. This is the hedgehogs. We've got hedgehogs, idiot. These are little hedgehogs uh, that you are. This is the most cutest stamp set I have ever seen. It is beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? So, yeah, this is designed for us by Donna, who designs the stamp set for us with every release and every time they just get cuter and more full of character and personality uh, and this one's just autumn to a T isn't it because you've got the pumpkins you've got the leaves but then you've got the just the cutest characters the squirrel is demented but adorable I love it. it no, it's true. And my producer just said, it has got, and the more you look at it, the more you look at the samples, it's got that sort of warm, cosy, snuggly stamp set about it, yes. which is very something I'd never thought I'd say on uh, about a stamp set. But it has. The more you look at it, you think, oh, it's quite cute. And you could do this. There's a lot of things you can do with a stamp set like this. And once again, yes, it is quite autumnal because that's the route you're going to go down. And there's not many autumnal sets out there. Yeah. Yeah. Because you normally have to adapt what you've already got. So you have to turn like uh, an acorn that used to be like the head of a rose and you sort of have to colour it nicely. And yeah, so with you, this, you, you get what you yeah, need. Yeah, you use the colours to give you the sense of autumn rather than the images themselves. But yeah, I mean, I, I, this one is, and I think from all the samples that the design team have put together, you can see how popular it's been with them. Um, but you don't need to use the characters on it. You just, the, just the leaf wreath and the pumpkins can make uh, a lovely autumnal card. Um, without without needing to put the cute characters on if that doesn't suit your style. I love it. It took me a while to work this out. I was like, is it upside down? It's not. It's the right way around. It's all the leaves are falling. Autumn is going. I thought it was one of cards where you turn it says another thing, but it doesn't. Uh, then <laughs> you've got your stamps on it. It's just me. I thought I had to say. Uh, look, there's something, and I know they're not before you start writing in, there's something quite Gruffalo esque about these as well, which Ooh. I also absolutely adore. If you're not familiar with the story of the Gruffalo, uh, it has got this sort of look. You could do stories with these. Yes. These are very much illustrated stories that you could go down. Uh, not only, though, do you get the, the beautiful stamps that's in there, you're also getting your stencil and you're also getting your die in here, which I adore. Mm. That. And that is a big old die that you're looking at, because in theory you're getting two dyes in one, uh, in that one, because you've got the beautiful flowers and you've sort of got the autumnalness yes. of that fleur de lis that you've got there, but then you've also got the hexagons that go around the outside. Yeah, ex ex exactly. So, I mean, on, on at least one of the samples, I've just cut, as you say, the kind of the leaf and acorn element out and used that as the decoration and, and taken the frame away from it. So, yeah, you, you can use it as a full die or as, a, as an, a kind of embellishment or decorative element as well. I, don't, I, I think it's beautiful. I really do. £28.99. Uh, it's going to be one of these sets. Already, once again, a third of the stock has already gone. Lots of things are flying out the door uh, this hour as well. If you like it, I wouldn't... It's very rare I say this, but I wouldn't sit on your laurels with this one and start checking out your baskets. Put it in your baskets and start checking it out. I did that for a set the other day, a stamp set the other day, and when I, by the time I'd got it in, I'd missed it. Uh, so, uh, I should have got it there and then I said I was going to get it in the break and I didn't because I had something out, I had a cup of tea instead, uh, and I missed <laughs> out. But if you like it, definitely get it. If I were you, £28.99, 967341 is your item number. From then, we press on 
uh, to our next set. Uh, these are your delightful divas uh, that we're looking at here. These are your beautiful, delightful divas. Once again, so much scope with these. Yeah, and, and again, another completely different style. Uh, this is by Zinsky Art, and, and uh, she's got a very distinctive style with, with her illustrations. Again, full of character, full of fun. And the wording that goes with those heads all tells a story with, to go with the picture. So it is, it's just one of those, you know, a real kind of um, raises a smile kind of set. I do like it. So if, if things think, you've got things like, uh, I, do this, uh, I do this thing called what I want. I like the way you say them. I'm a diva and I like it. Oh, that's our Catherine. Uh, <laughs> no more cake, you say. Oh, yeah. Funny story. I like the, these are the quirky yes. little things that you put on the front of your uh, cards. Um, you make my face smile. Oh, and if the clown fits? So, yeah. So the, they're, not, they're not your typical kind of card sentiments, but they're great because they just bring the character to life. This, and they're nice little, the sort of, you, nice little notelet size. Yes. If you want to yes. go notelet size. Or you can go to sort of your, your bigger cards. These can be the most elaborate cards to the quite plain and simple, but they still work yeah. both ways uh, with all these. Look at these adding bodies. Uh, if you wanted to add bodies onto them. Oh, I love these. It's the first time I've seen these. These are absolutely beautiful and quite quirky as well in the same way. Uh, that's by Jane. Another one by Jane. But you see, she's got nice little sets to do because they all yes. work uh, together really, really well. Uh, sort of teenage birthday cards. Yeah, as well, absolutely. I'm yeah, it's, it's just that you, everybody kind of knows somebody that those different expressions or personalities would work for. So, um, and you say some of them, I think. Um, of the, of the characters look a li little bit as if they could be a bit sarky and others look really sweet. So, yeah, it's they're just it's a great set to play with. And not only are you getting the stamps, though, you're also getting the uh, hello that we saw in the previous set as well that works well in Does the previous work, set with yeah. the hedgehogs. So you're getting the hello and you're also getting the speech marks and speech bubbles. Not only the template, you're also getting the masks included for all four of those shapes. So you can do in and out. And remember, once you've got a decent stencil, you can run them through your, um, your machines and you can start embossing with them as well. So if you wanted to do emboss work, you can do that. £22.99, 719229 is your item number. I feel there's bad news coming. Um, right, and Gnomes, I knew it would be. Uh, gnomes is limited stock. Limited stock. We've not even seen them stamped out yet. It's my first demo. You've not even seen a single thing stamped. <laughs> not a single. Uh, this is demos galore. Um, so, 21 bands and 99 pence. 595766 five, is your item number. Uh, start checking out your baskets. It's limited stock. We've made, it's now sold out. I knew if I lingered long enough. Uh, it's now. <laughs> Sold out. Right then, I will talk about the next one while someone has a little little chat to Sarah to see if we can get any more stock. Um, so let's talk Robins, shall we? Let's talk our Robins. Let me move the black card down as well. Uh, first of all, uh, you're getting beautiful. Right? Look at the size of these that you're getting here. Um, is Sarah okay? Yeah, we're all right to talk here now. Uh, so it's uh, beautiful. These are stunning. These are, the, the, this, um, this set's designed by Tina, Tina Ashton, and her style is, is very kind of, it's elegant and clean, so the line work is really, it's really kind of simple, beautiful for colouring in. Um, and the, I love with this Robin set the kind of the ivy elements she's given us with them because it's not necessarily, it's not, it's not holly, so you could use it all year round with, with it being ivy images yeah, and ivy hearts. So, um, yeah, I, I just love the way she's illustrated this set. I adore it. It's, as you say, especially the border that you've got there, because I can see weddings, I can see anniversaries mm. uh, with this as well. And we all know um, Robins means so many things to so many different people. Um, Robin can mean so much to people. But then not only are you getting that, you're also getting um, the leaf stencil underneath. Now, you imagine doing this as backgrounds that you've got there. So just running these through your dye machine and then bossing into that background, mm. bringing out with your gilding wax just the leaves and sticking your Robin on the front, you've got a very clean and simple card that's really going to work but then I said during our meeting earlier I was like could you turn these into other things than Robins and we, we all sort of come with the agreement you sort of can if you know your birds you could turn them into sort of the blue tits the great tits that are out there you could uh, Janice would be the best one to ask about this uh, but uh, she's a twitcher uh, that you've got but there's so many things I mean that birds wise not just through the curtains in general uh, for 17 pounds and 99 pence that you were looking at look at these they also make stunning wrapping paper 
Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're on craft, craft paper. On brown yeah. paper, yeah. just stamped out, picking out some of the elements uh, that you've got there would be absolutely uh, beautiful. Uh, there's so many more that I'll show you as the hours go on. Um, right then, uh, here's another. Oh, it's never good when we show you pictures. Here's another picture of the gnomes. Oh, it's good news. Good news, back on extended delivery on this one. Monday is what we're looking at now. Oh, it's nothing really, is it? What's that, 20th? Is it the 20th already on Monday? Mm. Uh, the 20th. Monday is when they'll be dispatched from now. Um, ah, by the time you get over the weekend, what's a few days between friends? Uh, Monday. Monday. I'm also being told now there's not a lot of stock. There is not a lot of stock. Uh, on this one, on the extended. So if you want the extended delivery, oh, I've just heard how many we've got on extended. There's not many at all. Okay, so if you want it on extended delivery, I wish I could tell you, but I'm not allowed. Um, if you want it on extended delivery, I'd start getting in now if I was you. Okay, £21.99. But what for, I hear you cry. Uh, this time, we are looking at, uh, once again, a beautiful stencil that you can also use. Look at that. Now, we've seen all the elements of this before, but we've never had it as a bundle before, which no, is nice. The, the stamp set's brand new, the Christmas sentiments. And so what, what it kind of got me thinking about was just having an essential set. So, you know, the paper pad, a, a set of um, stencil images, which are classic Christmas, um, and a set of really versatile sentiments. So I, I, you can make cards just with these, but also they're fabulous add-ons to all the other things on the counter. Well, you've got so. We'll read through some of the sentiments later. So you've got. Oh, I love this colour. Isn't it uh, gorgeous? Thirty-six. Pe that is beautiful. Two hundred GSM uh, is what you're looking at this one. So you go from the red polka dot to the sort of the green polka dot uh, that you've got there, to the larger stripes, sort of stars that you've got. A bit of gingham thrown in there. A beautiful Christmas palette uh, that we are looking at. But once again, necessarily not just for Christmas. 200 GSM, Assing and Ligment 3, 36 pages and 12 designs is what you're going to get in there. Not only are you getting your paper pad and your stencils, uh, we've also, as we said, got your brand new stamps. Things like um, uh, Bar Humbug. You'd very rarely see Bar Humbug no. on a set of stamps as well. No, and but there are there are those who aren't as keen on Christmas <laughs> as the rest well, no, of us. There so are. It's great. Yeah, so it's, it's a... There's, there are some, in, there's some really kind of classic, uh, the sentiments you'd expect to see, and then some that are meant to be a bit more cheeky and fun on there. Oh, I like them things like Santa I can explain. I like that. I like that one. Um, Santa I can explain. Uh, all is calm, all is bright, but they're all separate. Um, be merry, naughty and nice, winter wonderland, ho, ho, ho. Um, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. I love that. I love that. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> I love these. Deck the halls. Nice size as well. Whether you want to use them in your journals, if you want to do them in your scrapbooks, whether you want to use them on the fronts of cards. Uh, beautiful little size. £19.99. They would make a stunning little background. Shall I show you what you can do with them? Let's turn them into a background. Yeah, so on that one, I think I just chose two or three of the sentiments and just repeat stamped it to create that, create that background. Really simple. And then the star is from the stencil. I love it. Um, then you just a little mat and layer that you can do there, little in the little reef, uh, mm. making your own little baubles that you've got with these. With the paper uh, on the back, yeah. I love them. Uh, really, they really are nice, and they are for nineteen pounds nineteen. Nice, nice little giftable as well. You not, it's not breaking the bank. that no. You're looking at. And you, you'll have seen from so many samples on the counter, the gnomes and the cards, all have got the papers on them and, and some of the sentiments as well. It's good when we're not even about the enamel dots as well that we're going to throw mm. in. Oh, yeah, yeah, enamel that you're looking at these. Uh, different sizes um, that you're getting in here. So you're getting three rows of each colour uh, that you get, uh, which I absolutely adore because, once again, it blends with the paper pad so well. It does. Yes, they're, they're being made to perfectly uh, match together the colour tones, so... Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Nine nine zero four zero six is your item number. And then, I know our Scots favourites because <laughs> they're super soft. Um, if you want ever want to keep our Scott quiet, it's yes, it, definitely have one of these to have. Give him one of these. <laughs> these are beautiful. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. You're going to get uh, three point five, two point five, two centimetre, <laughs> and one point three centimetre. Whoever did that order. 
<laughs> needs really looking at. Um, so you're getting your 1.3 centimetre, your 2 centimetre, your 2.5 centimetre and your 3.5 centimetre is what you're getting in there. Uh, for those people, and I, know, I, I don't want to tell you how to suck eggs on this one, but for those people that have never used blenders before, I've only just recently got a set of blenders and I thought, ah, I'll be fine without them. Mm. They are a game changer because they make your work even better yeah. than it already was. Ab absolutely, and I was exactly the same as you. I, I thought, well, I've got sponge daubers, I've got foam, uh, yeah. foam um, blending, etc., and I was, you know, thinking that I was quite happy with the results. But given I do so much work with stencils, they are just. They're another, another league in terms of giving you that kind of airbrushed look, that very, very smooth coverage. They also kind of, a, 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 I find, quicker way of laying down colour, but laying it down evenly so, you know, you can get that colour in the middle of the card without worrying about harsh lines. They are at, they are beautiful. They're twelve ninety nine for your one point three, your two centimeter, two and a half, and three and a half centimeter uh, is what you're looking at uh, for your blenders as well. You really won't be disappointed, and they've also got that bit of give yes. in them as well. So if you are a little bit heavy handed like myself and you go in and you go oh i want to get that done quickly uh they have got that little bend in there so you haven't got to worry no if you are a little heavier you do get used to using them in the end and by the end you're lightly touched uh 12 pounds and 99 pence and then something else that they've got these are all the new ones you're looking at now, but there's about 133,000, I feel, on the website <laughs> of these. There is loads. There's 42 on the website, and we keep to, we keep adding to I use the royal way. Uh, we keep adding to these as well, because for £12.75, you can choose any four, which I think is amazing, because you've also thrown... It's very rare you get the new ones thrown in here as well. Yeah, true, and I, I'm just very aware that... Um, some people will um, like specific stencils, but not unless you want the whole bundle. Uh, so I like to make sure that we can add them all into the pick and mix, and people can choose those specifically. And three, four for the I always get it the wrong way around. Four for the price of three. Uh, it's a great deal as well. It really, really is. And you get, as you said, the ones with your pathings with the pumpkin in, and then you've got your speech marks uh, that you might want to be using in there as well. Best thing to do for these is jump to the website because you can see more. I don't want you thinking this is it all we've got. Uh, it's four for the price of three, so you're getting one for free. Twelve seven five. There's forty two in total uh, that you are looking at in this. Uh, you've got things like clouds in there. You've got in the sky, uh, in the clouds that you've got. Uh, you've got your Nordic star background. You've got your falling leaves, you've got your broken uh, edges in there, you've got your sunflowers in there, you've got your Buddha in there, you've got your fairy tale moon. Nice. Uh, ferns <laughs> that you've got in there. I thought that said Oreos then, but it didn't. Uh, you've got your tree rings in there, uh, you've got your pebble path in there, you've got shooting stars. I like that as well, the stack Christmas stack, words. Yeah. That's cute. And also those. Uh, see, they're so new look, we've not even put the images on yet, we've not even had time to take them. <laughs> uh, that pile of presents, I feel, would work really well with the Nordic gnomes. Yeah, absolutely, with the, with the, particularly with the gnome running with the pile with of presents. presents. Yeah, absolutely. I think it would work really, really well, like they're about to tumble down, like you yes. run into them. I think there's so much you could do uh, with these stencils. You pick though, you be the designer, you can pick whichever ones you want to go for. Four for the price of three, twelve pounds and seventy-five pence. Right. Let's get to demo, because I think this is about to go. So let's go in. What are we up to first? Well, I'm going to demo the gnomes first. Let's, oh, no. yes, <laughs> I, think, I don't think they'll be here for this afternoon, uh, for this night's show. Right. Uh, well, what I wanted to do first of all is just uh, show you the stocking filler stencil, which goes with the, with the gnome bundle, because um, it can look a bit odd on the stencil itself, but I just I wanted to just be able to give you different fillings for your stencil, ap uh, for your stocking aperture um, so that you can customise uh, the designs to suit you. And of course that open aperture, you can put other designs behind it as well. So you can have any of your other stencils uh, to create a pattern on it if you want hearts or, or something else. But um, I really like the kind of Nordic feel of these two, um, these two patterns. Can we make to sell? We've, we've had a question in from SJ. Thank you for your email, um, SJ. She's asked, uh, can she make to sell for charity? Absolutely. Anything that's handmade with the products, including the, the MDF gnomes, um, then you're absolutely free to sell. Oh, that's good then. Well, there you go, SJ. Uh, make, buy a few. Buy a few. I think they'll be uh, very popular. So, um, as you said, the, uh, the stocking comes with the two, um, the two aperture pieces. And at one point I was thinking, do, do we really need the top bit? Who's going to use that? But actually it's very handy just to fit back in uh, into the top of this stocking, so that when I'm inking up the body of the stocking, I'm not worrying you don't go about. Over the top. So, um, 
So I decided I would keep it in with the, with the package after all. So I'm using my blending brush, I'm using some twisted citron, and I'm just going to um, literally, and you're saying about kind of being heavy handed. I mean, I typically put my finger on the, the head because I, I sometimes when I want to go in and put a bit more pressure on the, um, on the, the brush and get more ink on, uh, that's a really easy way of applying a bit more pressure if you want to, but really lovely for, for creating very light, light coverage as well. So how quick and easy Look at that. is that? So we've got our bright green stocking and you could, uh, you could doodle over this or um, decorate it in any number of ways. And on the sample that I was showing you before, I used some of the stencil butters to go over the next layer with texture paste um, to create a little bit more um, dimension. But uh, I thought in the interest of drying and demo time, I'd just go back in with a different um, different colour of ink. So you can see the trees, the tree filling <laughs> um, of the stockings just fits perfectly over the top. You just line it up so you can see where you're going. Um, and I'll go in with a, a deeper green this time and I'll use a slightly smaller brush just to try and make sure I avoid any any of the other apertures that are on the stencil. You can always mask those off which you often see me do. So going in now with a, a darker green over the top. This would also make cracking little bunting for soft crafts oh, yeah, as well, using yes. it as a template to draw well, in. Yeah, absolutely. I've, I've done that as well with um, with the in, inners uh, and, and gone around patterned paper and yeah. you say it's... It is one of those sets where, um, or the stencils, that when you look at it initially you think, I'm not sure how, how I'd use that, but it's a really, really fun one. So I'm just scrubbing around <laughs> the trees here. Look at that. And so there we've got that just fitting ne neatly in without needing to worry about uh, masking or stamping. Of course, that aperture is a great, would be a great aperture to stamp into as well yeah. if you want to have a stamped pattern. Now, I want to make sure that my, the top of my stocking is nice and sparkly. So in we go again, but this time we will mask off the body of the um, of the stocking, and I'm going to use a Versamark pen. So it's the embossing ink in a, in a pen. Oh form. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Paula had these on this morning. I want to say. Has she? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so and they're great because all I'm going to do now, as you would do with a, a stencil, um, is just to colour in the space. Now one thing I've done here which I wasn't planning to do was what I could have done is actually dropped this aperture down a little bit so it wouldn't have even needed to have the stencil line in it. So that in terms of the, uh, the examples I've got I've just made sure that the, the top of the stocking But you could fits. do that now with that pen, could you not just you go could, through that line? Absolutely. Good point. So I'm just using the brush end here. Look at that, you'd never know. And there we go. I'll never know. I'd say if I hadn't mentioned it, we would have been okay with that. So all I'm going to do, the, the risk with doing this at this point will of course be distressing, takes a little bit longer to dry. So more of my um, Christmas stocking might be sparkly than I planned, but no, it's, you it's, can't, Christmas. it's Christmas. Yeah. You can get away with sparkles. Let's face it, if you don't have glitter where it's not meant to be, it's not Christmas, is it? That is very true. <laughs> so, so I've just very carefully... And this is um, sparkling snow embossing glitter from WOW, which is just lovely. So it's got, it's, rather than it being a clear sparkle, it's just got a bit of white in it, so it's slightly solid. And excuse my heat gun.
Remember, if you want the gnomes, not only do you get your gnome stamps, you're also getting your stencil in there. You're also getting your MDF in there as well. Uh, £21.99. It has sold out. It's back on extended delivery from Monday the 20th is what you're looking at with this on now. £21.99. Um, I feel it's going to go again, I think. Uh, get it while you can, though. 595766 is your item number uh, for this one, is what you're looking at. You get a lot for your money uh, in here. £21 saving of £4 as well. Let's go back to Sarah. So, I don't know if, if white on white embossing can really... Um, oh, no, we can see that. Thing, can it? But... Um, it do, what, I, what I typically do is go over it a couple of times and get as much get the depth that I want. Up. And what I'd done on the one that I prepared earlier nice. was added a little bit of um, white um, kind of glittery texture paste as well to give it a little bit more crunch and substance. So we need a gnome to go with uh, our stocking. And this is, one of, this is one of the images, I must admit, that when Charlotte sent them through, um, made, yeah, I just immediately fell in love with, that, with the whole set because I just think, thought this, this gnome diving into a stocking with the, with the full kind of snorkel and kind of goggles, I like, know, candy, yeah, candy cane snorkel. Um, it just, it's just so unusual. I'm, I'm looking everywhere for the piece of paper that I've just put in front of myself. So, and I, it's quite, it's a, it's a detailed um, stocking uh, it's image to kind of stamp out. Because you could cut him out and have him peering over the, like, the bottom of the card, like he was peering into yes. the card as well. Yeah, absolutely. Or, or say um, with the pile of presents um, stencil, I've been... Having him over the yeah. top, like he's climbed up and he's just peering through. So, it, they, they are just so full of character. I'm going to put you on the spot now, and I'm going to ask the question, and I don't know if you know the answer or not. Do you think there'll be more of these coming throughout the year, or maybe next Christmas? I know the answer to that, and that would be a definite yes. <gasps> there is more there gnomes, because you're buying into a collection of gnomes. Absolutely. That's what I like to hear. No, it's, um, Charlotte has got so many ideas with these characters for all the seasons, so yeah, I've, oh, seen, so yeah. I've, I've seen some future sets that we're going to be working on and oh, they're they like fabulous. It. So, uh, no, I just, lo I just love her style. Um, now, what was I going to do? <laughs> I'm I won't do a full colouring in. Okay. It's going to take me a bit long to do, but I'm just going to use some uh, watercolour markers, um, some of the Ecoline markers. So I'm going to use some Scarlet here, scribble it onto my mat. You can also, with your markers, go straight onto the, the paper and move it with them, um, move it with the water on your brush. And uh, I do both, depending on what mood I'm in. Details on the screen once again. I love this. I just think they're so cute. And they are really, I mean, they are really easy to, to colour in. I mean, if it, what I typically do with my, when I watercolour, um, images with the with the brush markers is quite often once it's dry go back in with some pencil and add a bit more shading and depth oh, okay. with a, another another medium so I like it's not just a plain old stocking you've got all the lumps and bumps in there as well of presents yes. and feet and arms and yeah, she's I mean I had to um, when we were working on the set I had to ask her to take some detail out because it, it was just so, um, so packed full of beautiful, beautiful kind of... Um, These on shrink plastic would look nice. Oh, yeah, because they're a good size, aren't they? So they, they would really, oh, shrink like lovely. Little um, wine glass charms and things like that. I like the one running with the presents, I just love that sense of kind of being late or well, that could be a Santa I, a Santa I can explain image as well yeah Santa the... I can explain why it's not in his sleigh <laughs> so as I say you can carry on going with this and, and add as much depth as, as you want to and I've, I've gone with the red, the red and green because um, obviously if you're using the paper pad to do a bit of paper piecing on the stocking rather than colouring it in you'd uh, you would have the, the perfect kind of combination in the red and green. Good for your mat and layering as well, because 
even though you've got all the detail that's in there, they're still quite easy to fussy cut out, I feel. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a great cutter outer, but actually with these that I didn't have to although there's loads of detail in them. Yeah, the it's red is quite isn't. yeah. Which is nice. And it, it also I've, that's great as well for making masks. So if you want to kind of have them into your um, in, into your design rather than being something you cut out and stick on top, they're very easy to cut the mask out and use that. Yeah. So if you're not a great cutter out, or sometimes taking the time to cut a mask is the best way of doing it because you only have to cut that once. That's true. Once you've done, so. it's done. So there we go. I'll say I won't do the whole of the the character because I have got one already where I've spent a little bit more time oh, look at that. Um, adding adding that kind of colour and the depth Gee. and you can see the difference there in terms of just a bit of pencil shading just to to make it a bit more vivid That's good. So, so rather than doing the full uh, the original uh, inspiration had all three on but I thought actually you could do a smaller card just with him hanging in front of the stencil stocking bear with me and um, when I put that on top of a piece of uh, an A6 card blank, and this is a that. piece of washi tape that we have that matches the paper pad, but it's on a different bundle on the on the website. But um, you could use the paper pad equally to create that That's trim great. at the bottom. And then in terms of the sentiments that come with this set, um, I just love these because we've got the kind of it's Christmas and then we've got lots of add-on sentiments. So you've got dive in, deck the halls, have a cookie, depending on which gnome you're working with. And I would cut it out, she says, <laughs> if I had a pair of scissors. So, and, and again... Not, I've got a lovely paper trimmer coming up in the next hour. <laughs> Oh, that would be very Seamless handy, thank you. Um, and what I typically do is just stamp a number out at once and, and have them kind of um, heat embossed and ready to go. So for, I've got dive in on this one for obvious reasons. Oh, this works really well. And there we go, it's Christmas dive in. It's just, I think, again, it's, it's a bit of a quirky twist on Christmas, but also very seasonal and traditional with the reds and greens so that's how that so there's, there's the mini version of the bigger of the bigger inspiration that i've done it. before 21 pounds and 99 pence and that is only a small element that you are getting there um not only are you getting that, you're also getting your MDF to make three of your gnomes as well. You're also getting your stencil uh, that's also thrown in there. 595-766 is your item number. It's only on extended it until Monday now, which is not that long. But we are now Wednesday, so less than a week, isn't it? Less than a week. You've got the weekend. Anyway, you'll be busy. It's going to be nice weather. You'll be out. Uh, £21.99. Something else, though. We've had an email in. Uh, from our Heather, and Heather wants to know um, about more, a bit more about the stencils uh, that I've got here. So some images missing from the website. Uh, we apologise for that. I will get somebody on it. But uh, let me go through them and give you the names of them so you know what you're looking at. Okay, so Sarah, I may need your help uh, for this, for the names that you've got on them. Uh, so this is the one that comes in with your gnome kit uh, that you've got here at the moment. So this is your gnome one with the little stocking uh, that you got. That is your little stocking filler. Stocking filler, yeah. Uh, that you're looking at. Let me just turn the screens around so she can see. Uh, so that is your little stocking filler Thank that you've got there. Then up next, uh, you've also got your wreath. Holly and Ivy wreath. Holly yes. and Ivy. Holly and the Ivy. Uh, then? Uh, that is Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Trio of pumpkins. You got it. Pumpkin trio, <laughs> you see? Say, say what you see, catchphrase. <laughs> I'm good at this. Uh, then, small speech, but a small... Uh, this one's called Let's Talk. Let's Talk. Uh, then... Uh, say what? Say what? Uh, <laughs> I, li I like this next one. I think yes, there's a lot you can do with this. It's a beautiful one. That is Autumn Glory. Autumn Glory. Loving the Autumn Glory. Uh, then Maple uh, Leaf. It's, it's uh, Trailing Ivy, actually, trailing Adam. Trailing Ivy. Trailing oh, Ivy. Oh, so <laughs> if it's trailing, it should be turned the other way. Uh, then that one, the last one, is your... It's Full Flurry. Full Flurry. There Full you go. Flurry. There you go, Heather, my love. I hope that helps where, with everything that I can help you with. If not, email me in. Best way to see them is on the website uh, that's on there as well. <laughs> uh, there's so many in there. I like the first two. I like the first two at the end, the uh, in the clouds, in the clouds. 
We just added that one twice. Uh, so you got in the class because you've got the outer and you've got the inner that's in there. So that's really helpful, uh, that one. Uh, like these, uh, start scrolling down. Uh, you've got your watercolour lines that's on there. Uh, you've got your falling leaves that's on there. You've got your broker. They sort of... It reminds me of uh, tree bark that you've got. Then you've got the beautiful sunflower that looks nice on a sort of a nice wall or a cushion. Because uh, remember, you can use these uh, in so many ways. Some other things you can use, though, is your little robins. These have been busy. Uh, these have been really busy. Uh, brand new today as well. You are getting the robin. You're getting the log that's in there. You're getting your heart. Uh, you're also getting your... Oh, your little singing robin. Oh, you could have that. And then the fa -la, la 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 coming out of his mouth if you wanted to, like he was singing. Uh, Noel. Uh, that you've got in there in your text form. Uh, you've also got a little um, mistletoe. That's the word I was looking for, Adam. Mistletoe. Uh, let me show you the size of the stamps. These would be nice on fabric and sewn, I feel. Bit of calico. Stamp on a robin. Little red, little red bit. And, oh, that would be, be cute. It's on the end of a tablecloth or a napkin. Mm, like personalised, that you can really personalise them. Uh, from then, you're also getting your uh, falling ivy. Falling ivy? Falling ivy. Trailing, Trailing ivy. Ivy. <laughs> ivy doesn't fall, it trails. Uh, then, you've also got... Uh, I absolutely uh, love them. Uh, from that, you can then create beautiful things that look like these. How beautiful are some of the, and it, plain and simple once again, but it really works. Yes, and I think, and that's also got the um, wreath with it as well. Yeah. So again, mix and match. Oh, I love them. Ah, this one's, look at that. You take Noel and the mistletoe out of that, that could be any time of the yes, year. Yes, absolutely. I mean, that, that I can see myself using the ivy, both the heart and also the single pieces to make frames on lots of cards. It could, Ross, well done. That could be a, quite Easter cards as well. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, <laughs> 17 bags. Uh, that's a, it was a good idea, Ross. It's very, very few and far between. Uh, 17 pounds and 99 pence. 034035 is your item number. I thought, mm, yeah, they could. You could. Uh, then, up next, 17 pounds and 99 pence. That's for your Robin. Uh, then we've got uh, your delightful divas. Oh, this sums up our Ross. Uh, delightful <laughs> divas uh, that you've got there. Look at these. You've sort of got the whole team on there. I reckon you've got Catherine, Janice that's on there. Uh, you've got Leonie definitely is on there somewhere. Uh, I don't say any more names, just in case. No, I, I think you've probably quit while you're ahead there. Yeah. Uh, 22 pounds and 99 pence is what you're looking at for these ones. Good size stamps as well, big stamps. But once again, nice to colour if you're going to use them in your scrapbooks, if you're going to use them in your journals. Uh, could you then start creating cards that look like this. Not only do you get the stamps, so remember you're also getting the Hello uh, die that's in there. So you get that beautiful uh, die and then it all works, also works with your sentiments because these could be used all year round. I love that card. I think it's the glitter. Uh, absolutely adore that that you're getting. Uh, those are your Divas, £22.99 uh, is what you are looking at for that one from there. 719229 is your item number. The hedgehogs, 50% of the hedgehogs now have already gone that you're looking at for this one. Um, these are cute. I absolutely adore them. I really, really do. With the little squirrel that you got in there, the little hedgehogs, two hedgehogs you've got in there as well. You've got a wreath in there as well. Even the pumpkin. Just the pumpkin and the wreath on its own really works. Mm, they do, and I mean that little that uh, that bunting with the acorns and leaves is just so it's just so cute. I mean, I would never have thought of drawing something like that. Um, but the two hedgehogs obviously face each other, so they could just be Valentine's Day cards or or any season yes. really. I mean, if you take away some of the autumnal uh, imagery from the set, the hedgehogs hedgehogs could be with you all year. I love that. Look, look at that. Showing him his nuts. Then you've also got uh, the wreath. I love these cards. Because things like this really work. Because sometimes you can be scared of a large bit of card. Yeah. I get yeah. scared of an A4 piece of paper. Because uh, you think, well, how, how am I going to fill that? But even if you just cut it down and using these stamps, because they're a nice size, they're going to yes. fill that card for you yeah. automatically and give you a beautiful finish uh, at the end. Let me show you a few more just so you can see what you can do with them. I, d I absolutely adore them. I think they're so cute. All these and then one more, and then I've shown them all then. Look it's, at that. It's just autumn colours, isn't it? I mean, it's just, they're lovely to work with, those rich reds and oranges.
But then you change the colours. You can use these all year round. Mm. Absolutely. You change the colours, you can use them to sort of bring them out and turn them, your, and obviously your pumpkins can be your princesses and things like mm. that, if you wanted them to be. Uh, £28.99 is what you're looking at, and you're also getting that large die uh, in there. Uh, 967341 is your item number, and then the star of the show is what we're looking at. Are oh, your little gnomes sold out? We bought it back on extended delivery from Monday, uh, which is not that long to wait, and it's still flying out the door. You get enough to make three of the gnomes, obviously yours will come planes you can decorate them up you can add or take away as many of the bits that you want to use them for you're also going to get your stencil in there and you're also going to get your stamps in there as well 21 pounds and 99 pence 595 is your item number uh, let's go back for another demonstration what are you up to this time i was going to um work with the hedgehog set now nice. and do an aut autumnal card um and use both the stencil and and the stamps and also sneak in the hello die which is in the diva Divas. set but as, as you've as you said and you noticed it it, it fits um fits with any any um any stamps and stencils that you have so i've i've got a bit ahead of myself and just made a very random background here oh, in, yeah. in these kind of oranges and yellows and i i simply did that by um using my brushes with distress oxides and then just uh, splattered some mica mist over the top so it's got a, it's got a bit of shimmer there and i did that ahead of time because uh, i am going to use some embossing glaze and of course if that was still all damp on, on the card um we'd have uh, we'd have a bit of a mess on our hands so i'm going to blend through this lovely cascade of, of leaves and acorns in the full flurry set uh, and I'm going to graduate the colours, so I'm going to start with um, Ground Espresso, so it's a really dark, um, strong kind of brown colour, as Ground Espresso would be. I'm just going to blend my um, Distress Inks. And I'm, I'm not going to change, I'm going into Age of Mahogany now, which is equally another dark and rich colour, so I'm not, I'm not worrying about... Um, cleaning my brush or or changing it I like this I like this technique I also like the way it sweeps down because so, once again it gives you a lot of scope uh, with that natural sweep that you've got in there it's kind of, I quite I, I like doing stencils that have got a bit of movement in them as you say because then you've got a, a base or a scene setter for, for positioning your, your stamps or your characters so and of course, being a stencil, you could turn it over and have it sweeping the other way, depending on what you what you were wanting to do. So we'll go slightly lighter as we go up the cascade. So, oh, let's go with a bit of crackling campfire. We've only got about ten minutes. Oh no! Uh, we are back at nine o'clock this evening. Uh, yeah. I don't know what we left though, but uh, if you've got anything in your basket, start checking them out. Yeah. Thank you. And I know Charlotte will be so thrilled that her gnomes have sold out. I mean, her first ever stamp set, I think. She'll be, um, she'll be really excited. So when we lift this, we can see how that, the colour is just kind of deepening as we go down towards the base. And, and as you say, what I've done with the um, scaling of the leaves is created that the, the image gets larger towards the bottom as if it's coming towards you. And what I'm going to do, Distress Oxide has a bit of a longer drying time. And I'm going to use some of the distra Distress Embossing Glaze um, over the top, which oh. is, I think this one's Fired Brick. So the, um, we've, we've had it on the channel lots of times. Um, but the good thing about this is it, it's a translucent uh, embossing powder, effectively, in the same colours as your Distress Palette. But you can put it over any colour and it will just change it, if you know what I mean. It will give it a, a richer a richer hue. Because you can see that you'll be able to see the colour that's underneath it, but it will also add a ready tint over the top. Yeah. So um, I think when you've got a strong background like I've got with this inky background, you want your kind of stenciling to to pop. And this is a very tricky manoeuvre. Returning all of that to the pot. So, if you just 
bear with me another bit of embossing i'm sorry i'm i am an embossing addict while you emboss yes our dotty sent in a lovely little ditty cool, oh you then. wait till you hear this he's not made this is dot are you ready <laughs> uh, with rhyme and feeling it says funky fossil blenders will blend into my life blending all my stencils with an inch of their life <laughs> so very soft and soothing uh, my ink across the card making the job so easy and enjoyable not hard swirl it left or swirl it right gently round and round whichever way you swirl it the end result is sound in fact buy yourself some extra and save a little dough so get some in your basket and make sure you sent uh, and make it all oh no and uh, make it all it all makes sense you know that's from our dotty all about your blenders that's amazing there you go Thank love you. I'll, um, if I can use that in the marketing You material. can, you can have this, you can have my version. <laughs> That's uh, you don't get that out of the craft channels, I'll tell you right now. Uh, right then, uh, so they are your blenders, get your, Dossie's loving them, she's popped two sets in her basket. Um, get them while you can. Uh, they are worth having a little look, £12.99. It doesn't matter which way you swirl it, swirl it left or swirl <laughs> it right, gently round and round, whichever way you swirl it, the end result will be sound. I can see that I'm packaging, Sarah. Oh, <laughs> I'd use her. I'd have that. Thank you, Doc, my yeah, love. That's wonderful. You said it much better than I could. No, she does. She does well, apart from I just mucked up the last line. It all makes sense, you know. <laughs> Finished Ooh. off with a bit of a blaster. So you Look can, at that. You can see there just how much more it pops having that glaze. Now, I could have gone, gone over with um, clear. Uh, clear embossing powder, but I do like that additional depth of colour that the the um, that it's fired brick, but that slightly ready tinge is given to the leaves. So that's our background created. And of course, you can see I'm working on a larger piece of card here, and would be trimming it down to fit my card front. Um, and then, in terms of the in interest of time, I do have. Um, a little hedgehog already prepared. I could stamp him out though and, and just do a bit oh. of colouring if we've got any, um, if uh, if I've got time, but I wasn't sure whether I did. You have got time we've got, uh, you've got about five minutes. Let's give him a, a little stamp out because I do like to, to just see how the images stamp. Yeah, you've got about, yeah, you've got about five, six minutes. We'll run, we'll run to the wire. Let's go for it. So, it doesn't matter which of my hedgehogs I stamp out. I'm going to stamp it in um, pine cone, which is, uh, not pine cone, acorn, fittingly, which is a versifying clair. But I'm sure Paul will have had these on exactly. this morning. So uh, check out the website at 7 o'clock this morning. They're, they're just fantastic. They give you a nice crisp finish. And of course, by inking the, our little hedgehog up in brown, we've already um, got the kind of colour that we need. Sometimes black's just a little bit too harsh. First time Depends. I've seen it. So are there more in this collection as well, of the cutie animals? Um, by Donna. Yeah, Donna's loads of um, stamps. That she's got, got hogs and kisses. So we've got, um, we've got um, snails. Yeah, ah. she's just a sheep. We've got, yeah, the um, feeling sheepish stamp set. So, yeah. Have a look on the website for the other yeah. ones. If you're liking the hedgehogs, hedgehogs. Yeah, she's, she's just, again... I don't know how she manages it because her illustrations look so simple, but they've always got lots of character. They in really them. have. So um, yeah, she's she's just fantastic. But uh, this one has been particularly popular. And remember, you don't just get the stamps; you are getting your die as well included in this one. So you're getting your die, and uh, you're also getting your stencil that's in there. So I am go. very not carefully just uh, adding colour to his spines and what what I've uh, often done as well when I'm colouring them in is then gone in with a pencil and added more to kind of uh, thicken or, or fill his um so where I, once again I don't want to tell people I suck eggs at home I'm not here to do that but where would you put the pencil because that stocking looks absolutely amazing that you bought in the second time round um, what I tend to do is just go with um, probably a tone or two deeper in pencil and just around the edges or under okay. the, it's, it's adding that shadow or depth which of course you can um, 
when you're skilled with watercolour and have the patience go in and do that but I find that actually just by adding a bit of pencil shading so it's, so it's not colouring the whole image it's just adding um, okay. adding a few touches to the I love this hedgehog look. and it's and it's so easy to to colour as you can see here I mean just even just the one colour if I then add a little bit of a darker darker brown to touches to add a little touches to vary them. So when you look at hedgehogs they've got a really kind of varied um, coats haven't they with is it a coat Spiny I don't, what bit. would you call a hedgehog's uh, back <laughs> yeah we, we know they're spikes but is it, is it, what's the collective name for a group of spikes spikes <laughs> Oh, we need Catherine. She's always got bizarre quills. Bats. Apparently, they have a quill. Cause it's like, is it porcu porcupines have got quills? Porcupine. Have you put porcupines in? Also, have you put hedgehogs in? <laughs> Are we asking Jeeves? Oh no, their the hair on the back. Oh, their hair. The hair on the back of the hedgehog is a set of quills. Oh. Set of quills, so his quills would be kind of different colours. I seem to have given this one a touch of jaundice. He's gone a bit yellow, isn't he? I shall, I shall, um, I shall correct, <laughs> correct that between shows. I like the little heart on his leg as well, like a little tattoo. I know she's got. That's one of the things with Donna's uh, images. She's always, she always adds in. Um, Little hearts and details on the in the animals, just so to say. Without now, I've made his body a bit yellower than I wanted. <laughs> it's cute but though, you, it looks like a cute little. But you can see the and you say you add, add some little uh, blush for his cheeks and a pink on the pink in the heart, and it's just just a lovely character. So um, we've got a minute and a half left. So really, all I all I need to do then is is position my um, obviously again very easy to cut out because we're not trying to cut out every individual quill quill quill. Um, so just give yourself the outline of the shape. For an image like this, I typically would leave a bit of a white outline because you want him to to pop against the um, the rich colours in the background. And then we've got hello. As our die and a lovely big it's a big uh, sentiment that and I think as we've seen from some of the um, samples perfect for putting a character on so you can yeah. standing on the on the kind of the or even holding like a balloon yes yeah yeah absolutely so kind of having it oh I'm going to do it in the time now but yes having it in the um, kind of going like that uh, yeah uh, I will is that what you mean? Yeah, like that, like yeah. he's holding it or like yeah. he's blowing it. Uh, it's... Uh, we will be back, myself and Zoe will be back at 9 o'clock this evening. Uh, so if you want yours, uh, get yours. But I'd start checking out your baskets if I was you as well. Let's put the details back on for the gnomes. They've been very busy, sold out. Uh, we're back on extended delivery Monday. Uh, Monday's all you're looking at. Uh, thank you, Sarah, my love. Thank you. I'll see you at 9 o'clock. What we'll we go up at time. 9 o'clock? What are we doing at 9? Um, we'll do some robins, I think. Let's do robins. Robins at <laughs> nine o'clock. Don't you go anywhere, though. Uh, check out your baskets for this. I said gnomes has already sold out, and I don't want you to miss out on anything else on the show. I will see you in a few hours' time. Yes, indeed. Coming up next is the brand new one day special. Now, if you're after giftables, this is the perfect one day special for you. Perfect, perfect paper craft one day. Oh, Lord. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. 
Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums, ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Good evening, everyone. How are you oh we're really excited about our one day special it's everything to do with paper crafting it really really is and we've got loads of stuff to get through and show you we've got a fantastic guest as well to take us through some demonstrations lots of demonstrations but I do want to draw your attention to the monthly mega deal this is an incredible deal the price is going back up tomorrow night at midnight this could be your last chance to get hold of this fabulous machine it really is now Price-wise, let's have a look on the screen, £139.99, but that does include your two embossing folders and your 30 dies that you're getting with this particular die-cutting machine. But it's no ordinary die-cutting machine. We'll take you through all the features in a moment's time. But the details on your screen, you're saving £10. It's available in that gorgeous gold trim colour. 880282 is your item number. The pink has already gone and sold out, but now you've got this opportunity to get this beautiful gold trim. It works exactly the same as the pink, but it's a gold trim. Now, three pence of £46.66 and pence is the best way to buy this because you're dividing the cost over three payments. 880282 is your item number. Right. Oh, by the way, anything else that you add to your basket now will be divisible into three payments how about that so if you're just starting out in paper crafts or you want to take it to the next level then this is the ideal show for you to start adding items to your flexi basket let's introduce to you the wonderful tina Hi, How are you? Hi, everyone. How are you, Tina? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. How excited, on a level of 1 to 10, are you for this show? 11. Excellent. That's <laughs> what we like. That's what we like. And how excited are you for the Go Power and Emboss die cutting machine? Oh, unbelievable. Do you know how long I've been using this? Go on. Two hours, and I'm in love. Are you? Yeah, completely. Well, we've, just, we've just been talking <laughs> about this particular deal and why this will stand above the shoulders of other die cutting machines out there let's talk about the features in this tina yeah it's it's absolutely fantastic because like you at home i'm a crafter like you know i i spend my like hard-earned money on yes. my craft and i'm thinking to myself why do i need another do you know what i mean why do i need another machine and to be honest i thought i was very skeptical i said okay yeah i'll use it that's fine and I put it through and one pass and these intricate dies that I'm using just cut and I thought, whoa, that's good. It really is quite quick as well. But one of the biggest features for me, and I don't know about you at home, but I do love my thicker dies. Yes. As well. Like and your big dies, yeah, big stars. And this yeah. gives you the option to use a thicker dies because you've got that opening. 
So it's it can be your one and only machine that mm. you want to use, to be honest. You can sell the others, bin the others, do what you oh like. My. Gift, give them away. Let's gift the yeah, others. Give them away, um, but this is, will do everything. It will. It is an electronic die cutting machine as well. Um, you've got the wider mouth, as Tina said, so you can put your big dies in there don't put your bits in there please don't um, <laughs> and it's really easy to set up as well now it's heavy the reason why it's heavy is because inside you've got those yeah, mechanics it's, it's substantial and what I, I love about this is because you know with um, some of the die cutting machines that you use the plates they you're always going to get some bowing so always flip yeah. them okay but the um, the plates on other ones can be sort of like this thick Whereas in this one, you've got this board. Right. And it, for me, I like, on other machines, I'm kind of struggling. Do you yeah. know what I mean? A bit. Yeah. It's, they're still good, still cut good, but I'm a little bit struggling. With this, it's all on the base plate and it feels better. You know, so as you yeah. pass it through, yep. I feel like it's sturdier. Yes. And I think you. that's why the cut is so good. Yeah, you know what, you're right. Because inside you've got what, which in essence is just like the old fashioned mangles, mm. but mm. it's mechanical inside, it's made of metal. That's why you've got that heavy feel to the machine, that sturdy feel as well. The reason why I'm turning it round, because I want to show you that the dies, plates can go all the way through. They, they can, can go in and then they come, come out. Yeah, they can go run all the way through yep. and then you can grab them from the other side. That's yep. what I've been doing today. I haven't run this through twice. I haven't okay. used the reverse. Yep. Um, tell a lie, I did use the reverse once. I need to see if it worked. Yeah. <laughs> and do you know what? So. There's, there's nothing wrong with using the reverse. It just means you're being extra... What's the word? Extra thorough? Yeah. Feminicky? No, that's yeah. not even a word. All, is it? all die cuts, uh, d like the dies that we use, they're all different from different manufacturers. So you may find that some don't cut as well as others, um, and they will need a couple of passes through. I'm using the Heartfelt, and I'm just doing the one pass, and they're working beautifully. Yeah, and it says right here on the box, powerful automatic motor for easy die cutting and embossing. That's what you want, isn't it? Uh, compatible with large cutting dies, embossing folders, hot foil stamps, cut foil and embossed dies and more up to A4 in size. That's great, isn't it? Having that extra size to work with. And you've got that 12 month limited warranty on there as well. Comes in a beautiful box. So if you are gifting this, excellent. Inside the box, you've got all the plates you need with all the instructions. So if this is your first time, Using a die cutting machine, congratulations, you're going for an excellent one. Mm. And you've got your embossing folders and those 30 dies as well. So that's your bonus in there, your 30 dies. Let me turn that so you can see. Uh, so we've got your sentiments in there and you've got those really cool, funky dies to get you going. So you can use it directly out of the box. Four payments, sorry, three payments of £46.66, and pence eight eight zero two eight two. But I did promise you we've got a whole bonanza of a show we have. We've got lots to get through. Any questions, email in. It's studio at craftstore.com. We've got the lovely Tina to take us through the items, and also we've got some great demonstrations coming up. We are aware we always have new people joining us, and we have crafters that are fairly new to paper crafting and need to stock up or maybe you're upgrading your current existing tools let's talk about the scoreboard yeah we love this it's a good size as well now on the scoreboard let me just lift that away from the paper because i want to show you the design of this you get your scoring tool included You've got your measurements going around the edge. You've got your scoring detail uh, lengths in there as well. Just like an Olympic pool, really. It is. With all those lines. So you've got your measurements uh, in inches and centimetres. There you go, going across the top. And then on the back, let me show you this, you have... Yeah, your scoring instructions, not just on that side and upside down, Janice, show it the right way. You've got it on both sides. You've got that on both sides. So you've got a great little tool there to help you create your different folds, your different constructions as well. And you've got those four little feet to keep it nice and steady because let's face it, if you're scoring on here, you want to keep it nice and steady. Why do we like scoreboards, Tina? They are um, fantastic. If we want to make our own base card, yep. then they're fantastic for scoring that. If, you, if you're into uh, making your boxes, Again, wonderful, because you're getting a scoreboard just gives you a, a perfect line. 
and it allows um, if you go sort of like gently down the score it allows your um, cards to get used to the fact that it's being scored if you like so excellent. all the fibers in the card yeah. will then fold nicely I like that yeah it's an excellent deal 21 pounds and 99 pence that's for your 12 by 12 your scoring board your bone folder and your guide five double eight five eight four right we've got a mini guillotine oh my days this is so handy um with anything that has sharp edges do be careful read all the instructions 1999 let me just take this off because it's the sound of a guillotine which which really does show you the uh, quality are you ready that's a good sound i love that sound um and it is the sort of guillotine that you can take with you and you can use it with that finger guard remember that's a guard so you can actually place your fingers on there but it also keeps your papers and cards nice and still why a mini trimmer guillotine why do we want this um if you haven't got a lot of space to craft in then that's a, it's a good thing to use because obviously it's not going to take up too much space but if like me and you craft on the go as well you can um, you know use this in your caravan or something like that you know so that you're not packing <laughs> everything sort of like up and you haven't got your big trimmers and stuff like that and there's a place for um, all of these different size trimmers I think they are fantastic and they're all the measurements are fantastic the actual guillotine effect I like as well so it's you know it's fantastic for the um, smaller cards as well if you like to I'm make smaller cards sorry i'm just trying to tell people there that i need but i'm just going to get my drink and let you see me drinking there's nothing wrong with that sorry <laughs> it's just water drink responsibly yeah so sorry tina I no dying, no then. that's fine so your smaller cards as well um sometimes you just don't want to get like a big guillotine out you know you don't want to get the bigger ones out so these are a handy one just to keep on your desk yeah excellent love that right and a great addition to your craft room <coughs> i'm all right don't worry uh, 232 387 is your item number right now just like we have mini tablets which are really handy because we mm -hmm. take them around with us and we use them a lot yeah. we've got a mini scoring board now 10 pounds and 49 pence is an excellent deal you get your bone, bone folder and you also get the instructions on the back and i don't know whether you can see this can you see that you have got your instructions there but this bit here you've got some scoring elements you have so elements they're lovely to pop if you're making some invitations or things like that then they're nice to pop on the bottom of of your um your piece of card just adds a little bit of interest back of your envelope as well yeah. emboss the back of your envelope how would we use those then so you lay your card down and then you use the scoring tool yeah like um an embossing tool ah, and then okay. trace around the actual area because through the paper through the card and the paper you will feel the actual indentation yeah. of those love that isn't that cute 10 pounds and 49 pence and that is going to be a great secret santa that is going to be a great christmas gift or a gift for yourself just keep it in your craft bag at all times no excuse not to do some folding and embossing three six nine eight six seven is your item number you could also play a tune on it as well if you want to let's move on me it would hurt uh, right <laughs> we have got oakwood archer for you uh, or oakwood for you we've got some stencils and we have got those beautiful dies and stamps so two of the stamps two sets of the stamps two sets of the dies and two of your stencils as well all for 49 at 95 10 pounds saving on that but of course we'll divide the cost into two for you for your budget 24 pounds and 98 pence 712119 it's really nice to get the whole collection together rather than buying some rose stamps and then hunting and finding your dies to go with it and then needing a stencil we've brought everything together in this complete collection and that's why we've divided the cost we will wait for your second payment, but we'll send everything out at the same time. How about that? 712119. Great collection, and always, it's a great go-to image of Rose, isn't it, oh, Tina? Oh, absolutely. One of the most popular cards are floral cards. So if you do um, buy, um, you know, sell your cards, then that is, it's a perfect to go for. You can, you're then allowed to use whatever card stock you like. You can use um, plain card stock and use the, um, yeah. the stamping element to change the colour theme and then you've got some beautiful background elements with these stencils. Love that. 712119 is your item number. Next up, next up, let's talk about the top um, dies we've got. This is your future, sorry, fuchsia fancy sentiments. 
fantasy sentiments. Your future fantasy. They don't make it easy, do they? <laughs> uh, 12 guys in total, £13.99. Uh, right, we have got best wishes, thank you. Thinking of you, with love, just for you, and be. Beautiful. Um, these are gorgeous. They really are. £13.99. Uh, and they're going to cut perfectly each and every time, whether you've got a die cutting machine or whether you're going for the monthly mega deal. We've got another set for you. And these are your fuchsias. I love a fuchsia. I was walking mm. Millie this morning. And um, it's that time of year when all the fuchsias are actually falling to the ground. It sounds sad, but it's like confetti when you're walking through them. They're absolutely lovely. Beautiful flower. £13.99. 618-770 is your item number. It's not limited stock, plenty available. That was from last time it was on, so it proved very, very popular. So really, you could say it's back to the fuchsia. Oh, dear. I tried. <laughs> there is a story about a huge magnet, which is like a flux capacitor, which has just been switched on today. That's another story for another time, but it's very exciting. Anyway. We've got a set of stamps. Talking about fuchsias, we are actually going back to the fuchsia. Uh, Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Four nine eight one five nine is your item number. Twenty-two <laughs> stamps in total. And if Adam uses that joke later on, it's fine because he'll be going back to the fuchsia. Mark two. Right. Uh, but in the fuchsia, what did you want, Direct Chris? to share with you at home and to let you know what I have to put up with when I'm here. <laughs> My director has just said, in the future, can he request not to work with me? <laughs> uh, uh, Chris, no stopping you, mate. It's fine by me. You do the scheduling. You do the math. Oh, dear. Let's move on. We've got some stencils uh, for you. Uh, love these. Are these together, may I add? They are. So it's a great little set of two stencils for you. Now, where have I got some? Yeah, let me just grab some black card for you. You can see it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but just to cheese Chris off, because he doesn't like, he doesn't like working with me, everybody. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pop. Do you see? Doesn't that look better? Yeah. It has made, and if you think that's made all the difference in the world, please email in and tell Chris to mind his own business. Mind his own beeswax. Right. Five double four two six zero nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Delightful stencils, Tina. They are beautiful, aren't they? I love stencils because you can do so much with them. You know, you can um, ink through them. You can put your um, different mediums through them. Um, we've got some pastes in the show. They're coming up. They can go through them as well. Absolutely beautiful. And you can use them on anything as well. Card, MDF, whatever you'd like. Do you know what? You could also use those if you've got some fabric inks and then you could do some stitching, some embroidery, which is yeah, really nice. Brilliant. Or use your micron pens and draw around them Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yeah. Lots and lots of ways to use your stencils. You've got your larger image, your four smaller images that you can use on repeat to make patterns. Five double four two six zero is your item number nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Right, let's move on to La Blanche because it's a whole mixture of suppliers for you. We do have La Blanche on the show. Well, we don't have La Blanche on the show, but we have our products, uh, and we have got some lovely Lux paste for you. Uh, Luxus paste, seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence. You also get the two little foam brushes as well like that really like look like something you need to like a blocky toilet with <laughs> <laughs> sink sink all oh, little feet for a puppet toy um but anyway sorry the bunch if you're watching <laughs> why do you like these tina <laughs> <laughs> i love these because <laughs> They are so like sparkly. They go onto glass, they go onto your paper, they go onto anything. And those little <laughs> toilet dishes. Yes. Well, let's just say it as we see it. <laughs> um, if you pounce onto the, um, the area that you're actually using, then it brings all the sparkly to the top as well. And it yeah. gives like a really lovely coverage. Yeah, it, do you know what? And it's, oh, well, Sam, really echoing because I'm talking into this. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, oh, it's lovely. Um, <laughs> 
It's really easy to put on as well, and my word, absolutely gorgeous. This being uh, a regular vase that you can pick up, but look now with that luscious, beautiful paste on it. Isn't it fantastic? Let me just show you the inside as well, because it goes on beautifully. It looks very, very professional, not patchy um, at all. Here's a bottle. Um, again, uh, isn't that fabulous? And then you can put a stencil on there. So all of this, you can build and create yourself at home. £17.99. You've got those great colours there. You've got the rose, the turquoise, the beige and the lilac. Um, let me pop that just there for you so you get your two little foam brushes as well. 885-554 is your item number. Now we've got these stamps for you. These are brilliant. These are your silicon stamps. They're foam backed as well. And the detail, I don't think we've got any samples here, but the detail is absolutely incredible. Let me just say, what you see on the front is exactly, exactly how these are going to stamp out. Mm -hmm. So when you see some packaging, you see an image and then you stamp, it's not quite the same. These are going to stamp out exactly the same with all of that fine art detail. And that's because they're like newspaper images and it's just incredible. Let me turn one around to show you. Um, because when you turn it around, when you start to put ink on these, I know we've got them at the demo area, we'll hopefully demonstrate with these. Um, and when you put the ink on and you first see the image, you'll be blown away. You'll be blown away at the detail that's on there. And what makes these so fabulous is that you've got that foam on there, so you can really push down. You don't need a stamping platform or anything like that. And you're going to get superb images time after time. I can't believe the price. $9.99, it's not a pick and mix. Get that out of your head now. It's for all of them. 14 stamps in total, nine pounds and 99 pence. That is an incredible price at 19.99, but we're taking 10 pounds off that price. Now you're getting 14 stamps for half price at 9.99. Two double one two zero six is your item number. Again, as a stocking filler, as a Christmas present, you've got the sentiments there as well. Absolutely incredible. Two double one two zero six. Right, let's talk about some metal frames and. Cavachons, cavachons, cavachons. Uh, right, so uh, that cavachon is from that metal frame just there. These are beautiful. And you also get your chains as well. Uh, £12.99 um, is absolutely beautiful. Now, um, sorry, my director again, what are you talking about, Chris? You see, he doesn't stop. He's chuntering on about <laughs> glass and metal. I think I'm trying to get the message across. <laughs> uh, right, so we have got the chain here for you. Have a look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Lovely little box style chain. Really like that. That's going to be great for decorative elements. Or you could actually use this as a chain to wear, which is beautiful. £12.99, 916285 is your item number if you want to go for those. Excellent value for money. Next up, we have got your rub-ons for you. Now, these are beautiful. And if you've got a box that you want to decorate, let me grab this one up here for you. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Uh, they're all gold. They're really easy to use as well. Uh, and in fact, if you're going for your bone folder on your um, scoring tool, you should probably use that to adhere it to it. So it is the rub-ons. Very easy to do. £17.99, saving £12. 513387 is your item number. It is a fabulous price. Not just the boxes, you've got your cards as well. And even if you just wanted to add that little extra detail, you've got that luxury in there as well. Oh dear, the snowman's fallen over. Uh, you've got that luxury element in there as well, which looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? It really does. Excellent. Uh, 513387 is your item number. Now, uh, finally on the counter, before we tell you about some happy hour deals, we have got some rice papers for you. Now these are brilliant. We've got some great colours in here. Beautiful colours uh, for Christmas. And if I can take one out here, I just want to show you some of the images that are on here, if you don't mind. There you go. Now, beautiful, beautiful colour. It's more decoupage paper than rice paper. But, Tina, we can use this in, in a similar way to rice paper, can't we? We can, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I do anyway. Yeah. You know, I do use it as if it's rice paper. So, I mean, you can, again, put it onto glass if you wanted to. If, you're doing, if you like to do, do you like uh, your glass bowls, then I'm putting the image 
face down onto there so that it shine it sh shows up through the glass is fantastic that's a good idea beautiful coaster there is that isn't that yeah, gorgeous yeah that's gorgeous so if i got um like a plate or uh, a glass tray and i put this on the reverse of the glass yeah absolutely well, how about using some of that Lux paste yep, on the back? Yep. I mean, that's got, I think, some like acrylic paint or something, but you could put some of the Lux yeah, on definitely. the back. And that's your um, definitely. absolutely yeah. luxury item. Some of the um, the rub-ons as well look yeah. beautiful. That is a Just great idea. Up. Great idea. So, however you want to use your decoupage papers, you can use them, of course, to build and create cards. You can use them like rice paper as well with the right mediums. And you're getting a great deal. 34 centimetres by 49 centimetres. Some of them with the broken up images on there as well. Just £17.99. Absolutely stunning. Right, we've got some happy hour deals for you. Yes, we have. Now, your happy hour deals are available for 36 minutes and 44 seconds. And that clock is tick, tick, ticking away. £9.99. You get 100 sheets, 235 GSM. And then £9.99, saving £16, which is a great deal. We've got Mirror Card for you. Oh, it's lovely. Silver and gold. Two great colours there in Mirror Card. 925302 is your item number. Um, and again, these will look great with your rub-ons um, in the gold and the silver. They're really, really good. 925302. You've got 36 minutes and 12 seconds and counting to get hold of your happy hour deals. We've got more for you. If you're going alongside anything in the show with your um, monthly mega deal, then you will be able to divide the cost of everything by three. Now, these are your cellophane bags. They're C6 in size. These are really, really handy for keeping your cards in, keeping, you know, items in, like your die cuts, for example. £9.99, saving £10. Absolute bargain. 607429. We've got some dice storage for you now. Now, this is your A5, and it's got your magnetic sheets in as well. Ten magnetic sheets inside your storage case, only £16.99. Again, a great gift for someone. If you're thinking, what do I get my mum, my dad, my sister, my brother, my friend, they craft. This is the brilliant gift to get them. 242 uh, 830 is your item number. The last one for you is your A4 storage. Here we go. Look at these folders. You could put a whole project in there and take it out of your folder, take it to your craft desk. £19.99, saving £3. We will be getting together again and doing all of those workshops, so I think this would be a great idea. 597314 is your item number. Right, those are your happy hour deals. Those are the items on the show. There's loads more on the website to go and have a look at, but Tina... What are we going to have a look at? Okay, so we're going to start off by using some of the heartfelt dies with this wonderful machine. Okay, so with the machine, you've got um, a run, an on and off button, and a reverse button. Okay, so you start by turning it on, so there. And then um, you, it comes with all of the plates that you need. So you've got the A plate, which is your base plate. You've got the B plate, then you've got your cutting plate. Okay, so... For, for the dies that are the um, slim dies, you use the A, the B, and then you pop on to your, um, the B plate with the cutting side up, your die. You then pop on your cardstock or whatever it is you're going to use, and then you pop on the C plate. And then you just offer it up to the machine, and then you press run. And it's as simple as that. Just through. If I want to reverse it, once I know that it's gone through a little bit, then I can press reverse and it'll bring it back. Now, what's great about that, Tina, I guess if your craft room isn't very big and you don't have, you know, so much space exactly. behind it, yeah. you can just put it in and reverse it out. Exactly. It's not always because, you know, you want to... Um, double cut it. Yeah, also. double cut yeah. it. So if I just peel this off, now you can see all of the different elements here. Of now we've had a question in already, which is great. And, okay. the, and the email's from Serena. Thank you for emailing in, Serena. It's great to have your company tonight. Serena would like to know, mm -hmm. can you use a die cutting machine with for Eileen Holt? Eileen Hull. Eileen They're Hull. big dies. 
Um, I'm, I'm not familiar with Iron no, Lincoln. No, I'm not. I must admit, but they're from Sizzix, so I'm oh, thinking yeah. pretty. Yes. Yeah, is there no thicker oh, the than big styes? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm, 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 you sh I'm sure you can because you've got the the wider gap. Yeah. So I would just obviously try out the plates. Um, probably with the bigger ones, it'd just be the cutting plate and the and the die itself. Yeah. So yeah, give it a go. I haven't got any here to try for you, so you know I would have done it, but. Um, have it give it a go but what I love about this machine is <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like me but I have several machines at home and my husband says to me why do you need that and I said well that one cuts those dies and then that one's electric yeah. and then this one is um, cuts the bigger dies but it's like a hand one and <laughs> this would replace everything it certainly would you um, know if we've got any big dies yeah. hanging around we'll see if we can find any we can't promise but we'll have a look for you Okay, so let's just taking these bits out, and it's so intricate. But as you can see, it's cut every single element out there beautifully. You know, and that's one pass. So, I mean, the dies together with this machine are just fantastic. Now, do we have these dies on the show? I think I, we do. Yeah, from yeah, we do. So, we if do. you like the look of it, you're thinking, "Oh, I'd like to have that." Do you know which one it is you're using? Um, I am using. I am using this one, I believe, with the edge. Yeah, I think it's the elegant swirl the gate. Elegant, oh, here it is. There you go. And a little bit of music as well to get you in the mood. Uh, you've got four dies, £24.99. Uh, it's beautiful. It really is. The detail's incredible. And this die cutting machine will cut it out perfectly. But your die cutting machines at home will also cut it out beautifully as well. 730840 is your item number. Okay, so that's that one done. And then I'm going to, there's another um, die collection that we've got on, and it's, um, it's got some matching stamps as well. And that's your holly um, and your um, little mini poncetta. Oh. So, dies down. We'll put the details on the screen. Every time okay. Tina uses something, we'll try and pop the details on the screen. And then you can follow along and then add those to your basket. Okay, as well. and then pop through. Press the run. I don't know what that exclusive means. It's brand new to me. Is it brand new to you, Tina? I've never seen that little logo banner. No, I don't know. I think we might be having a cheeky, sneaky look at something. I Ooh. don't know. But look at that. Ex we'll take the exclusive off, just in case. I've never <laughs> seen that before. But, you know, it's nice to see new things. Absolutely. Whether they're relevant or not. So there we go. We've got, like, the um, little die cuts coming out here. So, look at, I mean, look at this. They're just great, aren't they? So, obviously, depending on the thickness of card, depends on um, whether your, your dies will pop out or whether you, you know, I mean, a lot of the time, they, they just pop out. And you can hit them on the side here, but if I hit them on the side of my desk, they're going to go everywhere, you. so I am avoiding that. Okay, so let's pop those to one side, and let's make up one of the cards. Okay, so what I've got here... As I've prepped some other things as well, some of the um, this actual card stock is is on the shows, but you will see that I've got a couple of other ones in this particular demonstration because I was prepping um, that aren't on the show, but they're probably on the website. Okay, so we've got one of these trifold cards here. One of the when I'm card making, one of the um, cards that I use the most of is white card and then. The um, silver, <laughs> the silver and the gold. I just, I was just, <laughs> I was just checking out the gold cards. It's it's, every time I turn around to uh, it's, Janice, I, I, it's like I have no idea what she's going to be doing. Gold, the golden <laughs> child. <laughs> it's like being in a nightclub and they turn those uh, lights on and all your teeth are white. Like, yeah, but yeah, jaundice. I made it. <laughs> Right, it is a happy hour deal, that's why I'm showing you it. £9.99, saving £30. It is a great price, you get 80 sheets, uh, 300 and 320 GSM. Uh, 925302 is your item number. Did you see some of my dinner in my teeth then? <laughs> did you? Well, I hope not. I did clean them before I came to air. Uh, right, um, so that's your happy hour deal, and that's what uh, you're using at the moment. Okay, so...
I've cut lots and lots of different bits out here. Now with these, they're, they're brilliant these because what you can do is you can take one off if you wanted to so that you've just got this the single open um, and then use that as a topper on something else if you don't want to use it as a trifold. So I've got the um, base dies here and I'm just going to put little spots. Could you okay. make that blank card make uh, using your scoring tool that we've got available on the show? Um, I, with the um, actual cir circular um, top, I suppose it's possible. One thing I will say about the scoring tools is when, when you do get one, if there's a certain card um, like size that you use more often than anything else, then um, score, use your, like your permanent pens to score that line yeah. down. And then when you're using it, it's really easy to see you know what what you need to do I mean it's just you know it's a personal sort of preference isn't it we've then got the um, other die from the set that's going to sit beautifully just in that center so just pop in some glue on the edge like that and popping that down okay and then um, what I've got is in one of the other collections, which is the um, Lattice Swirl Gateway, you have um, a die in there that cuts this out, which is a um, thinking of you. So I thought I'd pop that just there like that. Oh. Do you know what you've done there, Tina? Mm -hmm. I've just, that is a, do you know something? What? Well, that's mirror card, isn't it? Yeah. So it looks like a mirror. Yeah. And you're putting thinking of you. So when somebody opens that, they're going to see themselves. So the message is thinking of you and they see themselves in the card. Yeah. That is genius. You meant that, didn't you? I did. You did. That is a great idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is though, isn't it? Thinking of you and then you see yourself. You do. Yeah. Why oh, not? Absolutely. You're just... Too clever, um, Janice, aren't you? Really, you're, you're clever. So, I then cut some of these um, of the the holly and the uh, poncetta out. And to be honest, I'm not going to use them as if they're like holly or or anything like that. I'm just going to yeah. pop in them, just laying them up there, like that. And I'm going to have a couple of the actual holly, different sizes. And what I love about these, which I will show in another demo, is you get the stamps with them, so you're able to, to like you know, colour them as well. And um, with the stamps, you're able to to get some dimension going as well by yeah. using your colours. And then let's pop this on here. I need to get my um, gel medium out done. I think. That's At least you've not got your dealy boppers on today. My dealy oh. <laughs> No, oh, no. There's normally something sitting behind me, isn't there? There is. We have got <laughs> we've got about. the sign behind you. Ah, oh, just like that. Let's get that little bit of a squish. But we could we could change that image. Oops. Maybe we'll do that later. Okay, just like that. And then you can carry on decorating the card. Can, can you, Chris, can you just, yes, Chris just did, you know we said we can put something behind you, you know, because before, <laughs> Tina, bless her, did what, three shows, and you had a plant behind you, and every time Tina sat there, it looked like she had a plant growing out of her head, and no one said anything. Anyway, so, like I've got now, like that. So we said, don't worry, you've not got a plant behind you this time, Tina said, okay, that's fine, but you have got a screen, so we could put anything into the screen. what we just did sorry we're being silly I'm, I'm, do you know what i'm not oh surprised chris, um, chris doesn't like to work with me I'll, I'll join him on that i don't even like to work with me all you, you, all you have to do is for chris is just to warn him never to dress as an egg that's all you have to say to him yeah i'll dress tell you as an egg. yeah i'll tell him about that later never dress as an egg oh, i can't wait to hear that chris dressing <laughs> as an egg D did he cause a stink when he dressed as an egg 
No, that's not very funny, Oops. is it? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. If you get more time, then you could put little dobs and dabs on these side bits, but, you know, here we go. Under pressure. We're well, not under pressure, really. I'm just lazy. Okay. So, there we go. Let's pop the... See, I'm doing this, and all I'm thinking is, what is she doing behind me now? <laughs> what was that, Dean? I said, I'm doing this, and all I can think of is, what are you doing behind me? <laughs> I'm not doing anything behind you. No, that's Tina, okay, then. not yet. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, you've only got me for the one hour. Oh, oh no, I've got you tomorrow. Twice tomorrow. <laughs> Please help <laughs> Oh, you got Adam later. That's fine. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yes. He's he's wonderful, Adam. I'm just lovely, Janice. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh my word! Do you know, right? People at home, lovely crafters at home. Do you know that you say one thing about one of the presenters, and the others, oh, the jealousy. Unbelievable. The jealousy. <laughs> that goes on here see now Adam will probably say to me I'm wonderful but Janice was obviously lovely he'd never say that he knows me too well uh, right <laughs> let's talk about storage this is very very busy uh, love uh, do you know what I love anything that stores anything because it means you know exactly where to go to to get those products to start working with them. Now, £16.99, pence, you get 10 magnetic sheets inside here. Let me just open this up. So the zip goes all the way around, which is fabulous because then you can open it up flat. We like that. Uh, really easy just to open up like so and close. It's as simple as that. You don't have the two little items at the side. You just pull it out. Now, we take the magnetic sheets out and it, the magnetic sheet is in a little housing so you could put your dies in one side you could even put your stamps on the other side you could put some cardstock in there your whole little project so you could put your little die cuts that you've die cut out and then you could put the die that you've cut them with on that side if you want to let's open that back up so excellent value for money not only do you get the die storage but you get the 10 magnetic sheets with their wallets already included 16 pounds and 99 pence love the design of this as well let me just do this zip um, up all the way around. Love a good zip. Um, and you've got the handle there. So it's going to be easy to carry around, but also, of course, for hanging up as well in your craft room. Brilliant. £16.99 pence if you want to go for that. 242832 is your item number. Now, if you're thinking, well, 10's not going to be enough. We've got some more. We have got another 20 for you, another 20 refills. Um, again, you might want to use these in a wallet or a folder that you've already got, so it's a great idea to go for these. £13.98. The magnetic sheet is inside. Um, I'm not sure if it's magnetic each side. Um, I'll, find out, I'll find out later. I don't have a die. Um, if I could tell, I don't... Let me just see if I, I can take one off here and then place it back. Just, no, I can't. No, oh, actually, I don't need to take it off, do I? Because I can see, I can see if it will stick. So let me try this out. So, right, just magnetic, one side. There you go. So go that side. Let me try it again that side. Yeah, magnetic on the one side, which is great because on the other side, actually, you could put your stamps uh, from, well, any stamp really, but your red rubber stamps would go there or the packaging from your die just to give you that inspiration. Uh, so if you do want to go for your 20 pouches with the magnetic sheets, £13.98, 252-434 is your item number. That is a great buy. Again, if you're thinking about getting gifts for anyone for Christmas who is a crafter, these are the essentials and they're probably the essentials they don't have unless they're watching now and they're buying them. But you know what? You can never have too much storage so great idea great idea now we've got a monthly mega deal for you and my word it's a fantastic deal if you've not got a die cutting machine and you want to get hold of one but you're thinking i'm not sure what to get i've heard there are thick dies like the bigs from sizzix i've heard that there are thin dies like the ones we're using now from heartfelt creations do i need two or three machines the answer is no you just need the one this is top top 
quality. We've seen this in action. We're also going to see it in action as we go throughout the shows. But the price of all of this, including your 30 dies, your two embossing folders, and all the plates you need as well, the price is going back up in midnight tomorrow night, midnight tomorrow night, just over 24 hours, £139.99. Yes, it's a considerable purchase, but it's the only purchase you're going to make. This machine's going to last you a very, very, very long time. Hopefully. Uh, three payments of £46.66. And 66 pence. So £46.66 today will get you your embossing um, and cutting machine directly to your door with your extra dies and your bonus embossing folders as well. It's really, really easy to use. You've got the wider mouth going in like so. So if you've got some of your big styes, it'll work perfectly. I'm just going to move that out of the way so I can turn this around. It look beautiful as well with that gold trim. It's a good weight on it. That means you're getting a sturdy machine that's got the metal innards in there as well, which is really important. And that's where your dies will come out. You've got that little flap there. Um, and it does give you the chance of course to run it all the way through it doesn't have to run all the way through it can go in and it can reverse because you've got the controls on the top that you can see just there it's your go power and emboss it's from couture creations 880282 is your item number for that so a great gift maybe the whole family can club together and get that for mum Oh, she'll be chuffed a bit. She really will. Uh, right, 880282 is your item number. Back to you, Tina. OK. I'm going to pop some more dies through. And the lovely John Lockwood, he's helped me out here because he knows that um, I'm new to this. And I was using it how you would use other machines. Um, but he has um, said to me that you actually pop the plate the C cutting plate in um, on top of the base plate, okay. which really makes sense because it stops it warping. Right. And also, I can put my fa my dies face down so that I know what I'm actually cutting. Got you. Okay. So popping that there, I'm going to run that through. Okay. Press the run. And that is, it will stop them walking, which is fantastic. Yeah. Do you know what? Isn't it lovely to have an electronic machine? Yeah. Uh, go faster, get fit machines, you know. Well, not go faster, but get fit with your mm. hand like this. It's not always beneficial to everybody. You know, you might have uh, an injury and it might not be feeling too well, but you want to carry on crafting because it makes you feel better. So to have a machine like this that you just press the button and your die cut goes all the way through is, is brilliant. It is, it is. And also, the Eileen Hull dolls, um, John tells me you need two C plates when okay. you're cutting those. So for the lady oh. that wanted to know, thank two you, John. Two C plates. Oh, thank you, John. Thanks for emailing it. Okay, so you with this die, you get this, um, like, a cutout from the actual... Is this the um, same die we were using, the original one? The um, no, this was um, a... Slightly different one. Let me have a little look. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get the right one for you. So I don't want to tell you any. That one? Fibs. No, no it's, it's not that one. That was a scalloped flourish. Flourish. Oh, it might be this one. Yeah. So we've got. Would it be called Art from the Heart? No. Would it? Hold on. Let me just move this. I think it's this one we've got, the Scalloped Flourish. Ah, that's the one, yes. Yep. Scalloped Flourish Gateway, £24.99. Uh, 11 dies in total in that, 025305. Very versatile, this uh, die set. It's absolutely beautiful, it really is. It is. I mean, the dies in, on, in the programme are, are just beautiful. If I just bring one of those in, what I would do is I would use the outer edge from the other die that we had and then use that as a base as well because, you know, the waste is, is just as good yeah. as the actual pieces that you're using. Anyway, I just wanted to show you, I'm going to cut um, one of these out. So what, the pieces that we're going to use, the actual little swirls, are, you know, you, you have this, you can use them as they are, yeah. or you can grab these next dies to go on top. What do you love about dies and using dies in crafting? I think they, you know, they add sort of like dimension, mm. and I love dimension to um, like your different cards and, and your mixed media. What I also love about them is even if you aren't a card maker, with the dies, you can cut them, um, you can layer them up 
to, to give them some depth and then use that in your mixed media as well. So yeah. if you prefer to do something else, I mean, I, I think they're just, they're great. I mean, sometimes people stencil through them as well. So what you could do is you could cut out the one that I'm going to be cutting out and then use your sprays through these. That's a good idea. So you don't necessarily have to use, you know, them as the, as the cutout. Okay, so there we go. So we've got the, the base plate, we've got the um, cutting plate, and then we've got the I've E got, plate. I've got a question then about mm -hmm. using them as stencils. Could we cut mylar? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And could we, if we didn't have any mylar, and I, I don't know whether you can do this, because I'm the sort of person who just picks up anything around me to try and do the job mm. that I need to do. If, oh no, I don't think that would work. What's that? If you were to laminate an A4 piece of paper, could yeah. you send that through with your dies and cut it so yes. it's already laminated? Yeah, yeah ah. because I, I think the, the pressure there is, is so good that it would probably, yeah. I've got, I've got another question. Certainly. You may or may not know the answer to this, but it's worth asking. Uh, maybe John, if he's watching, knows the answer. How about, you know the magnetic sheets that we sometimes sell? Yes. That you can use for making uh, fridge magnets. I wonder if we could cut them. I think so. If, I guess if yeah. you've got a big star, I a think thick so. Dye. Because if I've done it by accident, and I'm sure you could. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> Have you? Yeah, I've got lots of different shapes of fridge magnets. Oh, home. lovely. Well, there's yeah. a good idea then. Yeah. So there we go. So this is cutting through here. And you've got, I'm not going to worry about taking all of that out, but you've got the same as you've got here. As you can see, it, ha it has cut all the way through. So you've got the same thing. Just wanted to show you how that one was cutting yeah, because it's absolutely beautiful. Right, so if we bring in our card, now what I've done is um, I've got a mark on that, so I'm just going to use that as my my backing plate. Is because... that the rainbow card? The happy hour? I bet it is. Yes. Yeah, yes. we've got a happy hour deal on rainbow card. Oh, it's a fabulous deal. It's but beautiful. it's only for this hour and this hour only. You've got all the colours in the rainbow there and some beige and brown as well. Nine ninety nine, saving £16 for this hour and this hour only. Hence a little bobbing clock at the top. Um, and it will tell you, I think, in a moment's time, how long you have got to buy that deal. Ten minutes and 48 seconds. Where has the time gone? It's uh, not. 904455 is your item number. Now John has got back to us about the magnetic sheets, Tina, or the mylar. You have to cut into the metal plate that's included in the bundle. Yeah, that makes sense. So yep. there's a metal plate included in the bundle as part of your sandwich. All the instructions will be inside, but yes, use that. Oh, thanks, John. Brilliant. Well, at least we know we can make those fridge magnets, which is a great idea. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's um, brilliant. Quick mention of the cellophane bags. I'll put my hand in there just so you can see, because if I was to hold that up like that, you, you'd, you'd say, what, what are you holding up? But there you go. So um, you've got your cellophane bags. It, it, it does look like it, actually. What, what's the... It's the invisible man finger puppet. Or, or the, king's, the king's new clothes. What was that rhyme? The king's new clothes. You know the king's new clothes? Or the, king, the emperor's new clothes? No. Is it? No, it's the emperor's new clothes, if you know the story. They told him that he, he was wearing something, but he wasn't. And he was, and he was really proud. Anyway, that's not what this is about. This is about not storing your hands in or going to the garage and, <laughs> and filling up your car. Well, then you could use them for that if you were stuck. They are for your C6 card. Or, oh, I can't get them off now, can I? Sorry. Um, or for storing your little die cuts in as well, which is a, a terrific idea. So if you've got anything, you can catch it in there as well. Uh, nine pounds, it didn't work, did it? 